you know, when I do a big playthrough, let's face it, there's people out there who still do. This is how you don't play videos, and I'm okay with them now. I don't care anymore. Being very honest with all you guys out there, I don't give a crap about you. This is how you don't play anymore. I don't. I, the, the, they can't use the nasty comments anymore because my comments have been off for two years on YouTube. So I don't care about that. If they want to do edited style content videos, you know, abridging my playthroughs and say I suck at a game, I don't give a fuck. I haven't cared for a long time. Let them do it. It's not going it to... If anything, I've proven still being here after 11 years, those videos are not going to end me. If anything, a lot of them give me more attention sometimes. So I don't care. Let them do it, right? Shout out to the outsider who just gave me $3. So thank you, Phil, for the content. I've been watching for a while. You're a big inspiration to me. The reason I started making videos in the first place. Thank you very much to the outsider. Wave Ice just sent me $2. Said, I find your channel. This is how you don't play. Your vids are entertaining, though. Well, thank you, Wave Ice. The thing is, if you're watching this is how you don't play, and all it does is make fun of my gameplay, I'm totally okay with that at this point. I don't care anymore. You know, years and years ago, I used to be an idiot, and I would say, oh, no, people making fun of me, and this is how you don't play is a big deal. It's not really a big deal. Make fun of my gameplay. I don't give a shit. You know. Uh, Commodore92 to me $3 said, any form of edited content you're okay with people making about your stream? I, I said a million times. I don't care what anyone does. Okay. We want to make a montage of Phil failing. A montage of Phil raging. Whatever. One thing, again, to make fun of me for stupid shit that I do on my stream. You want to live restream and joke about it? Fine. Lampoon me all you want. You want to make... This is how you don't play videos? Fine. Make fun of my gameplay all you want. What a nice splash screen. A whole new cast. This is going to be interesting. A Yakuza game that's not the same ca characters. It's always the same characters. It's just so different, right? It's so different to see a completely different cast and, uh, and uh, you know, a new style of game, an RPG. I really hope this goes well. People seem to be under the impression this game is quite good. I'm happy about that because I was a little nervous, but at the same time, usually they do a great job with the Yakuza franchise, and it's actually one of my staple franchises to go back to and have a good time. So... Here we go again. Same old shit, dog. Just a different day. Here we go again. <clears throat> All right, here we go. And for people wondering, I am. Was there an update patch? <laughs> I think there might have been an update patch because that. What was that? That was some odd timing right there. Anyway, um, I'm going to go with English. Reason being, when you go with English, number one, you don't have to rely on the subtitles to understand what the hell's going on. Number two, they actually did a really, all right, a really good job with the voice acting in Judgment. They did a really good job with Judgment. And because of that, and because usually I would go with Japanese, but because they did such a good job with Judgment, I'm going to trust in their Judgment to get good voice actors and I'm going to choose English. Oh? Don't you look at me like that. <laughs> that's a look of death. I can't believe this is how you treat your mother. Mother? That's the mother? Oh, I had to make the next cut even deeper. And this time, not even your makeup will hide it. What? What the Stop hell? It. What is going on here? Don't you dare try to order me around, Toshio. Who do you think keeps this whole damn show running? <sighs> Jesus, what kind of a plot is this? Who cares about all this? What is this? Whoa. This reminds me of, uh, oh God. There's this movie my mom used to, had seen. And then I watched it with her, and it fucked me up when I was a kid. It was called Mommy Dearest. It was supposed to be about, I guess, a famous a famous actress who was like, really kids, like, being fucking like, shit. And one of actors, like, super super and they like, 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 I understand like, 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 Oh my god. Don't worry about the confetti. What the fuck? A giant gash. Let me give you a hand. How is it? Wait a minute. How is this even legal? I don't care if it's your mother or not. You gash your fucking face open. You go to the police. I should have time to finish it in the truck. Or just the bit players. Yeah. The main course has yet to take the stage. Yeah, I know. 
I'm going to the bathroom before the star gets here. What does that mean? Wait, wait. <laughs> he's gonna unload. He's gonna to totally take a giant dump to empty his insides before the pecking duck shows up. <laughs> Gotta make room. <laughs> Raining the end to subscribe for four months in a row. Thank you, Raining the end, for the resell. What the fuck? What the? What the fuck is going on? Huh? And why is there a water tank up on the ceiling? Like a toilet's water tank. That's some weird shit, too. J Japan's fucking weird. He didn't serve him pecking duck. He served him a delicious bullet sandwich. Oh, my God. He murdered him. Headshot, dude. Dad? Dad, that's his dad? Dad. Oh my god, this is fucked up, dude. What is going on? Shout out to River City Chosen One, just resubscribed for 16 months to Oshu's Phil. Thank you. What is going on, man? Wait a minute. Okay, this was the past. Now, who the hell is this? This is him as, as a, an adult? Well, what? Okay. Oh, he looks like he's a Yakuza now. Looks like he's the boss. Silent takedown. Oh, really? Last day of the 20th century. Oh, is that George Takei? Masumi Arakawa. Patriarch of a family. And all family. I can think about is what I want for lunch. Yeah, dude, is that George Takei? Eiji. I sent Ichi out to do collections. Oh, shit. Sulu. Yo, Joe Sawashiro, captain of the family. Okay. On New Year's Eve? Hell yeah, there's George There's money K. on the streets and there's work to be done. Yakuza don't get holidays in Kamurocho. What are you, Less Scrooge? Motherfucker? Well, this fucking plot started out with a bang. Okay, that was bad, but still, that was crazy opening. Can get caught? Get fucked, you cum stain! <laughs> Such language. Oh shit, we're okay, we're in action here. Chase down the thug. The chase begins. Oh shit. <laughs> Video teams. You didn't pay your rental down. fees! I know you're not an idiot. Why did you think you'd get away with hawking this? There's nothing illegal about selling animal fuck videos. Believe me, it's educational. Oh, I believe you. The problem is you were calling it uncensored porn and selling it to dumb, horny kids. Come on, Ichiban, do me a solid. Remember all the good times we had in middle school? Uh... It's not like this is hurting the Yakuza's bottom line. Cool. If you can, if you can select attack again before a fall enemy gets back up, a regular attack becomes a powerful opportune strike. Opportune strikes really dish out the pain, so take every chance you can get. Okay. Here we go. Opportune strike. No, I took too long. I did take too long. It's official. I suck. <laughs> so what? When it's time to throw down, my brain just starts thinking in Dragon Quest terms. Now that's a good Again reference. Again with the Dragon <laughs> Quest? What's so great about it? <laughs> it's an epic and dangerous journey, and that's exactly how I see real life. All right. You do know you're a freaking Yakuza. Truth is, you never want to be at rock bottom again. Again? <clears throat> So, rock bottom was when you were cooped up in that Soapland office playing non-stop Dragon Quest? Duh, it's your favorite game, <laughs> huh? be the man I am today without it. <laughs> A cool guy, full of the bravery those games showed me. And what they didn't, Arakawa-san did. That's where you get all this hero crap, huh? <laughs> Maybe I should give this gamer shit a chance. And Do so it, he man. became a famous live first, streamer, made millions. Money back to the kid. That's why I need someone to take to, to be able to win him at all times because he's like 
gravely ill, it seems. Oh god, he needs some constant medications too? Yeah, it's like an EpiPen. Usually this would be for someone who's having an allergic reaction or something. What is that? The latest and greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, ephed? It's a specialized performance enhancer. What? It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. Wait, what? How is someone who's crippled able to stand up? Uh, a fucking wheelchair. This does not sound like a good idea. Uh, I don't understand how an ephedrine injector can suddenly make muscle atrophy and Your bone master? issues Your master? or something that would cripple you make it go away. It doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, look at his eyes. Uh, <laughs> this makes no sense. His, his, his legs aren't gonna roid up all of a sudden. What? Let's go. Young master? <laughs> uh. Either this or it's bullshit. He's not he's not actually he's not actually paralyzed. <laughs> There's some weird shit going on right now. This doesn't Welcome. make sense to me at all. Oh my goodness, are you all better? I can't believe it. Oh yeah, he's all better. Yeah, right. <laughs> he's gonna end up dying, his heart's gonna explode or something crazy. I'm calling it right hey, now. Where's Yumino san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. Soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. So let me get this straight. Oh hey. my god. Here we go again with this, this freaking hostess culture shit in Japan. I still don't understand it. Every Yakuza game that comes up, every Yakuza game, you guys try to explain it to me and I don't understand it. So you're telling me that he's this isn't even really his girlfriend. This is a fucking hostess that he goes to all the time. And because he's talking, he basically, he's a customer of hers and probably spends a lot of money on her, right? He acts like she's his girlfriend when she's I'm married. I'm married. So he's like, oh, I want to be, be able to, to walk for my girlfriend on her birthday. So he injects her with a crazy ass drug? For what? She's not really his girlfriend. This is. Ugh. I used, I seriously, and you can watch all my playthroughs of Yakuza. I talk about it every time. I'm like, I don't understand the whole hostess culture in Japan. It makes no sense to me at all. That people would think that this paid for, obviously fake relationship is real, and in this case, do drastic shit. I. Anyway, Coley Coon has resubscribed for four months. Thank you, Coley Coon, for the resub. Carlton Junior Cheese says, "I can't speak for you. I felt like you enjoyed the Saijima one the most, whichever one it was, the one where he escaped from prison. Yeah, which one was that? Four? It was either four or five. They were, they were, they were both good. It was a really good playthrough. I had so much fun with it, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely six was not my favorite. I liked six, but." It was four or five was my favorite. I don't remember which one. It was the one without had four characters, and you're right. It was the story of him bringing out of prison and everything. That was a really good one. Uh, Jimmy Russell's PhD has subscribed for four months. Thank you, Jimmy Russell's for the resub. All right. I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. What the hell is this? I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up. This is ludicrous. Ludo, what? Use some normal ass words. <laughs> you don't understand the you word ludicrous. It's like my favorite You're word. Causing a scene, you moron. Aw, you two are so cute. I'm jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masato san. Wait a minute. Are they actually boyfriend and girlfriend then? If they're they're actually talking like they're really a couple, maybe they really are a couple. 
Oh, if that's the case, I've read the entire situation incorrectly. If that is the case. <laughs> wow. Huh? Hey, come on. <laughs> the name Ichiban means the best. But I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> we should start calling him Ichi Bad. Am I right? <laughs> this guy is like the whipping boy of all of Kamarocho. Seriously. So clever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone just makes fun of this poor guy. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Ha ha ha! You know, look who's laughing now, bitch. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> Really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just in high demand. Right. Now I really, now I don't know. Are they really together or not? Is this a situation where they really are in a relationship and he wanted to surprise her on her birthday by being able to walk and get her nice things or is this a relationship where he thinks he's going out with her and he buys her a ton of shit but it's not reciprocal i can't i can't figure it out i'm so confused right now red gamer seven took me a dollars it's about being want the feeling of being wanted people spend lots of money on host and hostesses simply to get the attention and affection they desire but they don't get it in their daily lives but you're paying for it so it's not you're not getting the affection you're getting someone to fake you affection, to act a certain way because you bought them things. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's dishonest in my opinion. But then again, it's not. It's just stupid because these people who go to these clubs must know that it's not real, right? You know you're paying for someone to just pay for their, their time, but it's not anything real. It's not going to lead to a true friendship or it's not going to lead to a true romantic relationship, right? I mean, you would think they know better since that's the whole point of the business. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, no one who comes to my streams is under the impression that if they give me a nice donation or gift a bunch of subs, that all of a sudden they're my best friend. You know what I mean? Like, they are doing that because they like the content I put out. There's a reciprocating relationship. What I do is I put out fun content for you guys. You guys then support through crowdfunding so I can keep making that good content, right? But you know I'm going to keep making that genuine good content. This is like someone pretending they're going to do something and then they don't. I just, I'm so lost. I still don't get it. <laughs> I just don't get it. Excuse Ugh. me. I'll be right back. It's okay. Take your time. Being your girl while I could. Now these two are just fucking money grubbers because they know that he's in a relationship with her and yet they're still acting like, oh, you know, I want more money from you is all it is. Fucking stupid. Thank you most all this time for 34 months of support. I really appreciate the resale. Uh oh, what's gonna happen here? Yeah, it's a gold digger. What the fuck? Yeah. It... Big walking wallet. Ah. Stop. This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Oh, see? They're not actually going out. I knew it. I called it. He thinks he's actually in a relationship with her, and he's not. It's this crazy cultural thing. He fooled himself into thinking he's actually in a real relationship with her when he's not. And so, see? Oh my god. Just now he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo. So, you could turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And if he found out, what do you think he'd do to me? <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. <laughs> yes, I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze him dry. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you later. Oh my god. If anything, this is like exposing the whole hostess host culture of Japan and how fucked up it really is, right? <sighs> Jesus. Now, does he tell him what he just heard? And basically break his fucking heart? I mean, the guy's already sick. You know, handicapped. 
thinks that his money's buying him love? Do you crush him like that by telling him the truth, or do you just let him keep believing? I don't know, man. Bill. I guess he heard. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. I mean, this is, all right, as fucked up as this is, all right, I gotta, I gotta add commentary to this. As fucked up as this is, what the hell do you think? It's a fucking hostess club. The business model is to milk money out of the customers, right? That's the point of the club. Like, there's not going to be a real relationship. What made him think there was? I'm so at a loss. Like, is it messed up that, that basically you're crushing someone's feelings? I guess at the same time, that's the point of the club. I guess that's how the business exists. They're saying, listen, you knew all from when you came in that this was just you're buying someone's attention while you're here, but it's not real. So why would you have to be emotionally upset after your own fall? So it's like, you put it through your hand and be like, you should have known that it's true. At the same time, I also like the whole business model is fucking evil. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't get it. What's hilarious is, of course, there's shithead trolls saying, oh, the irony. I don't. Isn't it ironic that I'm the guy? Give the, a fake feeling to anyone on my streams that I'm your close personal friend. You know what I mean? Like, when do I? I never do that. I, no one, there's no romantic involvement over the fucking internet of my streams. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys know you're here to enjoy games with me. We're here to have fun, interact, and have a fun conversation and have a fun game experience together. That's what you get out of my streams. You know it's never going to go any further than that. I'm not fooling you guys and telling you, like, I hate to say it, some streamers out there, I mean, not going to name names, but I think you, everyone is in mind. And so, oh, my God, is it that streamer who seems to ha do that kind of stuff with their viewing on You know, I don't do that shit. So you say, oh, the irony, fuck off. You're just idiot trolls. But it is kind of true. You have to think about other streamers on Twitch who do shit like that, right? And people criticize them harshly, saying, man, you got people who fawn over you on your streams and toss you money for what is fucked up. The whole thing, this cultural thing is fucked up, like, to the extreme. I just don't understand it. It, 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 it I, go, I don't get it. <laughs> Frog Detective, I'm not going to bring that up because I, I said I'm not going to bring up any specific streamers. <laughs> I'm not going to bring up any specific streamers. Uh, Google's 88 did a 100-bit cheer. Thank you, Google's, for the 100-bit cheer. I appreciate that. Just so everyone knows, about a little bit over half an hour left on tonight's stream. Okay, guys? Thanks very much for all your support so far. We are, you know, two-thirds on the way to the tips goal, which is very nice. Shook ones, just to be two dollars. He says people are getting charged uh, by Amazon for their PS5s. Really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Interesting. I'll double check. Not only I got anything yet. Then again. I have it. I have it linked to um, my bank account to pay, so I wouldn't know right away. It's not like it would go for my PayPal account or anything. I don't see anything yet. But anyway, yeah, Shook One says he got charged by Amazon for his PS5. Tons of people on Twitter and Reddit have been charged. Either in a couple minutes or maybe in the morning, I'll be charged. Interesting. All right, I'll have to give it a look. I'll keep an eye on it. I'm not gonna go crazy. Keep checking my bank account or anything. <laughs> okay. Huh? What's going on? What are you talking about? What are you guys talking about? Hold on. What are you guys talking about? My stream is still going, according to here, unless I got banned by a false copyright strike. Maybe I did. <sighs> it says my stream is offline, but I'm still streaming. Why is my stream offline? I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> I have no idea. According to this, I'm still broadcasting. I don't know what's happening. At least I'm still recording and I'm still broadcasting right now. I have not received an email saying anything about what could be going on. I am so confused right now. Uh, this is weird. This is weird because if I were banned, I would not be able to chat, chat with you guys right now. What the hell? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. My stream never went down. 
I didn't click anything. No. So for those who can see the stream, all right. Uh, what happened was I got that tip from Shook once, all right. And the tip said people are getting charged by Amazon for their PS5s, all right. So I said, okay, I'll check it. And all I do is I went to my Amazon account, all right, and I refreshed the page, which it said it still says arriving Thursday. It doesn't say anything about if I've gotten charged for it or not. I guess I, I don't know how I would even check that, honestly. Um, and then all of a sudden, you guys in the stream stack started going crazy, and you were, guys were like, oh, my God, the stream is gone. Did he insult a streamer and they got his stream taken down? Is it Super Hound doing a false DMCA? Uh, the stream never ended for me. The stream just kept going. The stream never went down at all for me. Do you think that was just a blip on Twitch? Maybe Twitch completely went down or something? Because nothing happened. I didn't get nothing, you know? That's Again, that's never happened to me before where my stream has continued to go. But then you guys told me that it got taken down or something. I don't know. Yeah, the stream... That's right, the chat was fine. The chat never went down, so it wasn't... There was no copyright strike or anything. I don't know. It wasn't my internet, because my internet kept going. I'm still recording. The video is a continuous video. Those watching on YouTube are like, what the hell right now? I have no idea. Uh, it's very simple. I'll be real honest with everyone. Just making an edited YouTube video is very easy. Doing live improv reactionary commentary is tough. The hard shit is sitting here playing the raw games. That's the hard part. Streaming is way harder than just editing videos for YouTube. Okay, it is. Real talk. Well, anyway. It's working now, right? I guess we'll continue. The Joker 420 did 100 bit cheers. You're not my friend after all we've been through. The food reviews is like, this is how you don't plays. It's all a charade. A, sh a, a charade. The card... Cordukius Kite Shield Cordukius We got about a half an hour left on the stream. I want to say thanks to everyone who contributed so far tonight. I appreciate that. And you know, with a half an hour left, we're two thirds of the way to the tip skull. If you guys want to help out, please tip me. I'd appreciate that. It'll help with the cost of all these games coming up this week. All right. Anyway, I don't even know what happened in the game. I guess a random punk just showed up. Yeah, look, a punk lane. Alrighty, everyone, welcome back to Kamurocho. It's time for my second ever stream of Yakuza 7 Like a Dragon. Last night I played this for a couple of hours. Of course, he has to stay alive in there. I don't know what Japanese prison is like. It's as rough as they say it is here in America. What would be my last meal as a free man? Asked Yukimura Sonata. Of course, a delicious KFC double down. Last moment, <laughs> Of course. While eating a beef bowl? For sure. What did you do to my hair? <laughs> I, I tried. It's just when you asked for a punch perm, I had to look it up. It doesn't exist the anymore. Truth is, I've never done one before. <sighs> this hair's wild. How am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? Oh, he's laughing at him. <laughs> he got the Bruno Mars look, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. The guy's sitting outside making fun of him. His fucking Super Saiyan look. <laughs> what kind of look are you going? So what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's pitiful. I'm sorry to tell you all this, but... You had to find out sooner or later. So the guy who was mentor, the guy who was father figure to him, the guy who asked him to go to prison for the sake of the Tojo clan, betrayed the Tojo clan, and basically were responsible for them falling apart and completely flipping the Tojo enemies. You imagine how betrayed he feels being in prison for 19 years for this guy and finding out the all this supposedly wrote a letter while he was in prison was a literal bullshit, right? Shook once, thank you for the $2 tip. Thanks for the message. I will take give a look to that later. I appreciate the support. Thank you for, for uh, trying to help me out here. Okay, let's continue. Don't let it get you down. To... Hey, look, that guy's wearing a mask. He already predicted COVID. Now, these two days, a lot of people were wearing masks anyway. For other sicknesses. Yeah, an e sig. You saw the e sig. Very nice. Mm -hmm. 
Did Arakawa-san really betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Answer me! What? I can't hear you over the landscapers. What do you say? Yes. <laughs> Honeyki. Honest pay for honest work. Fuck you. I don't do honest work, asshole. Only suckers do. <laughs> Only sucker works a 9 to 5 job. That guy's a Tojo loyalist. Get him! What? Get back here! <laughs> they chase him. <laughs> Get back here, man. Oh my god. Really? And that's perfect. Hold on, there's a weed whacker in my ear. I can't hear. What you say? <laughs> Damn it. Arakawa's son would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. You know what I like yeah. about this? You know, obviously the original voice actor is Japanese. They actually speak English. I like that. The musical is actually talking. And the actor's name. Realize you're talking to me. You're supposed to be English. 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 You're supposed to be you just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. <laughs> Parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. <sighs> Businesses are like women. You think having one will be so glamorous, but there's some upkeep involved. You need strategy, you need passion, and you need to work your ass off to make her happy. So. Are you gonna do what it takes to make that bar successful? Fuck! You guys wanna test something? Hold on. So you're hearing my voice now, alright? I'm gonna try something. I have no idea how this works. I think this is gonna screw it up. Hold on. Ready? How does it sound now? I'm, I'm louder now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's way too loud. Because you see what happens? I turned it all the way up. Yeah, I gotta lower it. That was not good, right? That was terrible. Right? See what I mean? That was my mixer. I tried to turn it up. What happened? Did it like blow your ears out? I told you. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I told you. So yeah, that's why I'm using my mixer here, you know, and I have it at about, I would say that's roughly 80% volume. If you make it any louder, it's just crazy loud. It's like sound terrible, right? That's what I think. That would sound absolutely awful if I made it any louder. And I just tried it, and everyone's like, no, that was really bad, see? <laughs> so we don't want to do that. We just want to leave it as it is. Okay, we'll leave it as... See what I mean? Like, we got to leave it as it is. We don't want to fuck with that shit. No way. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. People were like, oh, my God, my ears. I thought that was going to happen. All right, anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Dad, I'm done. The takes you'll run into. Okay. So we're going to be going underground in sewer, hashtag sewer level. The first level is a hashtag sewer level. What I'm curious is, can we see what his abilities are, right? I want to see what this guy's abilities are. And uh, just give me one second here, everybody. One second. Okay. All right. Let's see what his abilities are. So, you came. I figured you would. I knew you would. You never disappoint. <laughs> I knew you'd come. <laughs> Here. A fish. A tasty fish. Thanks. At first I thought... It was gonna be like Try a trick. Off the tail and putting it in your drink. Yeah, I thought I freaking like you know, master. Basically, like for the show, he show like Was he just fucking with him the whole time or what? Look at that. Uh, sure. Soak your fish in the drink. Oh, all right, chapter three, the town at rock bottom. So. We're going to do some can collection. Sounds very exciting. 
All right. But before that, I'm gonna stick this up his ass. Come on, Nango. This dumbass give you big ideas? I'll break so many of your bones you won't be able to beg anymore. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Umbrella fighter. <laughs> Can you actually shove it up his ass? That'd be pretty cool. You're done. Let's do it. Zang of the Yokohama gang. You don't want to be butt fucked. Trust me. Oh, wow. Pigeon raid damage the enemy by throwing beans at them and letting a flock of pigeons do the rest. Nava blows his trademark smelly breath at enemies face, lowering their defense. Appeal to an enemy's sympathy for downtrodden. You can hand over an item. Recover HP by sleeping on the spot. Let's try gnarly breath on this guy. Oh, rancid! <laughs> it reeks! It's brush the sheet, then yes! Oh! And, uh, where are we headed? That is disgusting. So, hey. I guess the Chinese Mafia is some big deal in Yokohama, huh? Not just the Chinese. The city is sliced up among the Ejin Three. The Ejin Three? Oh my god. So much story. We need to be able to save, man. I'm done the for the stream for today. The red shoes. Left with foreigners. Oh my god. Steamship. You. So knock it off. But I'll give you this. You're not totally wrong. What? You made a good point about having a criminal record. We do have one felon here lying low. Uh, who? Me. Ah. But you said you used to be a nurse. What did you do? <sighs> it doesn't matter. Shoved an umbrella up someone's Maybe ass. Maybe I found some motivation in that stupid... But that's definitely for another time. We are in massive overtime. I was supposed to end the stream about 20 minutes ago. Let's save up. And I really enjoyed today's session of Yakuza 7. I hope you guys did. I really had a lot of fun. And I'm actually very eager to jump, jump right back into it again. So, all right, guys. Until next time. Thanks. I'm going to the pre-stream. See him fool to me, Dollar 30. So, will you play the quiet man? No. Will I play stalker? No. Thank you for the tip. <clears throat> oh, hold on. Will I play the quiet man or stalker? No. Okay. Okay. Here we are. We gotta go get a job. Get a job. Sha na na na. Sha na 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 na. Whoa. Sha na na na. He got fucked up. <laughs> he get a job. Yeah, here we go. Get an attack chopper overhead. Shout out. Shout out to getting muted, dumb shit. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Disgusting. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. Okay. We're off to get a job. Sean and all, no, Sean and all, no, whoa, Sean and all, no, Sean and all, no, dip, 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 boom, 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 get a job. <laughs> I used to listen to that kind of music when I was a kid. I'm serious. <clears throat> what the fuck? Oh, hi. Stop begging and get a job. All right, thanks. Appreciate that. Title, seriously. Paradox Cheers says, hey Phil, what's going on, Paradox? Good to see ya. Cashmere Goat Cheers says, just got my PS5. Code Vein takes full advantage of the haptic controller and brings it to a whole new level. I can't wait for that playthrough. No. CM Fool to me a dollar thirty and says, you, did you mean to play Godfall? Wait a minute. You mean to play Godfall, but not a full run of The Quiet Man? Well, first of all, I don't know if I'm playing Godfall. Like, like I said, there's like a first wave of games I absolutely want to play on PS5, and there's a second wave that are iffy. A definite is... Definitely going to be Demon Souls, Spider-Man, Kabug Snacks, all right? After those, it's kind of a, an iffy situation if I'm going to actually buy anything else. Um, we'll see. Oh, by the way, oh my god, I only have 855 yen. Look how expensive the weapons are in this game. Well, I won't be buying anything right off. now. So, Godfall is a maybe, not a yes. But if you're going to ask me if I'm going to be playing The Quiet Man, the answer is no. No, I'm not playing it. Honk honk girl? Or for the pleasure of a honk honk? Uh, no? Uh, <laughs> uh, that's something I don't want to get involved in. Let's keep going. I guess we gotta go this way for the story. What the fuck is going on? 
I'm married, stupid! Alright, we're going across the bridge, going right into traffic. Sounds like a plan. Last Rambo! Oh! I didn't know that could happen! Dude, I got fucked up. I gotta heal now. Dude, I got rocked by that car. Son of a bitch. Pay for something else. Let's just call it what it is. A brothel. Everybody in this neighborhood knows it. This is crime, pure and simple. Happening right out in the open for hmm. decades now. Is is it illegal in Japan? Brainwashed. They don't realize what they're getting into. See, and this is the weird thing. In some places this is actually legal, in some places it's not. We already talked about earlier in this playthrough about these the, the weird soap houses or whatever the frick it's called, which I didn't even know what the fuck that meant. And apparently that was supposed to be a brothel. Now we got another brothel. Like, is this illegal in Japan? And if not, how the hell is it so rampant? Right? I. It's one of those things that I don't understand because you know, I don't really know Japanese culture that well. So I received two $6 tips. One from Battleduck9000. He says, don't mind me just pushing the tips off the edge. And then Lightside Hank also tipped me $6. And he said... Uh, put on that vest, Phil. <clears throat> so people are saying... People are saying it is legal. I guess some people are saying it's legal, but you need to actually, re like, legally register it and have a license for it. And I guess in this plot line, what's happening is this res restaurant is not is registered as a restaurant, but is really a, an illegal brothel that they didn't actually legally register for what it is, probably avoiding licensing fees, probably avoiding, let's be honest, regulation, Right? Okay, I, I kind of get it then. And I understand why they're protesting it then. Uh, Jad F resubscribed for six months in a row. And 24 months total. Says, I can't believe I'll say it. A JRPG is so much more interesting than Valhalla. Keep Yakuza on the mainstream. Honestly, I am definitely liking this better than Valhalla right now. I am. Okay? Oh! Righty then. I'm telling you, the man's gone overboard! He's polluting a precious natural resource! Let me assure you, we're doing everything we can to stop him. Hmm. Something happened over there? The river's gonna run yellow as mustard at this rate! <laughs> I highly doubt it'll be changing colors, ma'am. Either way, you get that menace to relieve himself elsewhere! What? So was pissing in the river? Huh. <laughs> Uh, why me? The a golden opportunity. <laughs> These random side missions. So we got a public pisser on our hands, huh? That's nasty. Bet that cop's not too happy about it. We gotta find the mad pisser. So I I might have told you guys this story before. My dad used to work uh, at for a helicopter company making helicopter blades. And one of the things they had to do was have this giant treatment tank where they would take blades and put them in there to be, have them treated a special way before they were able to be finished and ready to obviously install on a helicopter. Well, they had a situation where someone in the company it had to be because the only people who have access to the, the, the business, the tank, are people who work for the company. Someone overnight was going into this, this room with the tank and taking a shit in the tank. They were just like, and they called them the mad shitter. Whoever it was was someone who just hated the company or whatever and thought it was funny every single night to take a shit in the tank. Now think about this. That completely contaminates the entire tank. The entire tank needs to be drained, clean, and refilled with a clean solution in order to treat blades. If you treat a blade with shit in it, the blade could fail on a helicopter and actually cause it to crash. So this was causing the company thousands upon thousands of dollars to really, to, to have this fixed and this guy was whoever it was was doing it multiple times over and over can you imagine that the mad shitter but anyway here we're gonna have the cra the, the crazed pisser excuse me here we go hey officer people are so gullible people are such fucking sheep with this shit seriously yes yeah, can i help you with something uh no but i did hear that there's some guy draining his dragon into the river <laughs> yes oh uh, you caught all yeah. that Bits and pieces. Anyway, what's the holdup? Why haven't you arrested the guy? You have no idea, do you? If we don't catch him in the act, we lack probable cause. 
someone, yet somehow, the golden opportunity, uh, God, all these puns, has never produced itself. <laughs> Who's playing this keyboard? Do, 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 do. The golden pisser, the mad pisser, yeah, yeah, it's the blue pisser blues. <laughs> On top of that, information is only trickling in, get it? We know there's got a we got a menace with a leaky hose. Oh, we got toilets for that kind of thing. A crime's a crime. Oh my god. Hey. Lude conduct's what it is. Bastard ought to be penalized, yet he's out there every day getting that sweet release. I pity the fisherman and the fish. <laughs> Pretty messed up. Hope you bust them soon. As do I. Listen, you come around here often. Uh -huh. I'd say from time to time. Well, if you ever happen to witness this guy in the act of paying the water bill in our poor river, would you help us pull the plug on? Mm -hmm. You want me to, like, make a citizen's arrest or something? Mm. Yeah, I think you got the leverage to do it. We'll throw in a reward, of course. I'd throw more of us in a patrol if I could, but we're already drained plenty of, re drained plenty of resources looking for him. I'll be damned if we piss away more. Oh my god, it's a hundred piss puns. <sighs> that guy, like I said, everything about that guy is freaking stupid innuendo. Written for like a five-year-old. <laughs> it's not like he's giving you a rough time. Okay. Okay, then I'll help. I'll, if I see him taking a squirt, I'll make sure he eats dirt. Arigatou That's what I wanted to hear. The name's Tada. You can find me on patrol here most hours. Sweet. I'm Kasuga, by the way. So do All right, Kasuga-san. I'll leave the culprit to you. Kind of the station if you catch him, if you yeah. want. All right. Sure thing. Good lord. We have to find the mad pisser. So it says the plot, or the plot or mission is over there. What do we got over here? Oh, what's this? <laughs> If only I could get reborn as a sexy lady. Ready when you are. No, I don't want to think about that. That's absolutely fucking disgusting. I want to think about this guy being born as a sexy lady. Holy shit. Alright, good. Turkey burgers? I, just, I love turkey burgers. We haven't had turkey burgers in a long time now. We were eating them all the time. We got bored of them, so we haven't had a turkey burger in a very long time, but I love turkey burgers. Oh, shit. Do not get hit by a car. I learned that one the hard way. How much do you want for all of it? Yeah. Sup? Everything's here for sale, right? That's right. Quality merchandise is not trash. There's nobody to throw it away. <laughs> How much do you want for it? Oh? Huh? Passion just went up by one? It's, it's behind the camera, by the way. The passion meter. And it leveled up. I just hit level two passion. Okay. And I might end up throwing her away somehow. That makes absolutely no Next sense. Next thing you know, <laughs> the store's looking like this. I kept telling myself it was merchandise, but I could never bring myself to sell it. I knew I was being unreasonable, but I just... I can't say goodbye to these things. They're all I have left of her. <laughs> oh my god memories of, of a person in an oh, item yeah, is like i can understand if you have one memento and it's a, a special time of your life it's something something you got together maybe you went on, on a, a trip or a vacation and you got a, a memento together like a souvenir and, or, or someone's special journal or something you know it's something they wore not a giant pile of trash this is getting ridiculous time to bring this place back to its former glory <laughs> oh, Kyoko. <laughs> Poor guy, that's really sad. Timbo Slice just cheered. You have to pay 25 bucks for a PS5 and Call of Duty to be here release dates. Both are yet to ship. I expected to be here next Wednesday from GameStop. I call GameStop customer service. They're like, well, it's not our fault. So many orders came in. We can't refund you. That.
All right, so for both of those watching on YouTube and on Twitch, we had a mic malfunction, but it's actually not the mic at all. It's Windows having a, a driver issue crash. So it is what it is. I restarted everything. Now, what I was saying... Uh, FBG Duck just cheers. So Wings got a PS5. Good for him. I don't care. All right. Quite the traversal for this quest back and forth, right? Crimson Tide, I don't know why you feel the need to spam my chat with the same message about PS5's arriving dead. Every single console launch, there are some consoles that arrive dead. We've already been through the Xbox 360, and that's the absolute worst case scenario. Why on earth do you think that everyone needs to be worried? I have no idea. I'm not. If it happens, it happens. It happened to my Switch, remember? So, I don't know what exactly you want out of me. You've been spamming my chat for about an hour about PS5's arriving dead. Like, okay, great. Thanks for nothing. Alrighty then. You know, I get the feeling we're pretty similar, you and I. Huh? What? Do I look like a dirty, disgusting, homeless bum slathered in filth, disgusting liquor, and with a horrible life? Fuck you, you piece of shit. Family, before I ended up out on the... I look at it as irony. Isn't it ironic? Isn't it ironic? That I'm the guy. He was resistant to it, probably because his body was what? surrounded with water. Insta kill. Execute clown mode. Oh, slippery kick. <laughs> Dude. He busted his ass. Deactivate the clown mode. Yo, know, it said slippery kick and he fucking snapped his spine in two. And fell and was glitching on the ground. Dude, that was hilarious. <laughs> like, wah! Oh my god. Alright, that was funny. <laughs> That's a giant increase right there. Now, we should also... Can we afford the, this for... Oh my god. I don't want to say what it is. Can we afford this for a dot? No, this is... Oh, wait a minute. This is for the... Proficient Fox 24 cheered. He says, did you already play the Duke Nukem 3D 20th Anniversary World Tour? No, I did not. I don't think I ever played that. Nope. All right. So, all right, let's save up. So, next FYI, if you're following this playthrough, I am going to be playing it more, but, but, my PlayStation 5 arrives tomorrow. So, the priority when that shows up is obviously going to be hooking it up, getting it working, playing some games on it. I am going to continue to play this game, but... It may be staggered a little bit. It's not going to be consistent like it's been the past few days. Um, so FYI, yes, there will definitely be more Yakuza 7. I love the game. But it's going to be balanced with a lot of other games. So don't expect it every day. But there will be more for it. If you're interested when, you can always check out my schedule. At they call me DSP on Twitter. I'll update it regularly so you guys know when to expect more of this game. Okay? Great playthrough so far. I really like this game. I can't wait for more. Thank you guys for the support. And until next time. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Yakuza 7 Like a Dragon. I have not played this game in about a week, a little under a week. Reason being, the PS5 came out, as you can see it behind me here. And so, in the meantime, I've been playing everything on PS5. Tonight, I'm coming back to Yakuza 7, but I'm playing Yakuza 7 on the PlayStation 5. So, as you can see, the graphics look pretty much identical. Um, they did not improve the frame rate at all. It does not run at any better frame rate on PS5. I believe it's probably locked at 30. Unless there's a setting for it, which we'll take a look at, but I'm almost positive there's not going to be any uh, settings to make it run better or anything like that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be just a standard 30 frames. Um... Oh, here we go. Here's my first fight on the PS5. Alright, here we go. Wait a minute, dude. What level do these? 14? Okay, they're not that bad. All allies attack up. Uh, I wonder if I'll be able to hit more than one. They're not really grouped together. Oh, I did hit the other one. Cool. I got this. Watch this. Get alive. Yup. Oh. Well, I'm not blocking well at all. Oh, I just got it that time. I got a heal, dude. 
Wow, knocked him out with a giant crushing blow. So I'm level 11 fighting level 14s and 16s. It's not going very well. I'm just going to be honest here. Resist. I fucked it up, too. I did kill that guy. Uh, I think we're going to have to heal. Watch this. Little first aid. Thank you. Good, I blocked it. Get serious. They're too far away from each other. This is really annoying. Come on now. There we go, I got the extra. They're resisting everything. This sucks. They're resisting all my attacks. Not good. I'm your power now. This is not good. We ran into a higher level area and everyone's fucking me up. I can't block. Wow. We are getting out utterly destroyed right now. Watch this. <laughs> utterly destroyed. I got you. Not good. I don't think we're gonna survive this. We could run, but. Oh my god, little fucking 16, dude. If we can kill one, it would be a lot easier, but I don't think we're gonna even be able to kill one. Check this out. Wow, that's it. That was ridiculous. They were way too overleveled for us. That was way too overleveled for our party. So they still have my money. Oh, that's great. My money's been reduced by half, so that means all that work I did to try to get a level, for, uh, get an item for Adachi was a waste of time. I'm completely screwed now. Wow. And Chimera Dog Cheer says, do you really think it's the best idea to play seven games at once? None of them could have waited. Well, Chimera Dog, you have to understand something. Trying out a new console, people want to see every game on that console, you see? Like, it's not a matter of, oh, I'm actually actively wanting to start seven playthroughs. It's everyone wanted to see how every new game performed on each console. So without actually starting up seven games, there was no way to actually do it right. Now, here's the thing. Some of these games are going to be done right away. Like I said, Astro's Playroom, that's a super short game. We're going to be done with that tomorrow. Uh, the campaign of Call of Duty, that's going to be done as of this weekend, and then all I gotta do is every once in a while do a multiplayer session of that, so essentially, that game's kind of done once I beat the campaign, you see what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, like everything else is an active playthrough people wanna see. Now there are games I waited on. I didn't start Sackboy, I didn't play Godfall, right? There's games that I actually have skipped and not I'm not playing yet. And that was planned because I did not wanna have more than the amount of games that I'm playing now uh, at once. So it is what it is. I know that I cannot please everyone at all times. I know that there will be some, some people who will be disappointed because in particular they want one game over another and they're not going to get it. And there's nothing I can do about that. I can't please everyone all the time. All I can do is try to cover as many of these releases in as timely fashion as I can, have fun with them. And, you know, there's going to be some that I'm going to be taking my time. Like Yakuza 7, I'm not going to be rushing this game. I'll be taking my time doing fun side content and the like. And some people will be upset with that. That it's going to take me probably two, three months to beat this game. But I play games at my own pace. I'm not going to ruin the playthrough by rushing through it. You know what I'm saying? You're that bent on revenge. Why not put that kind of effort into your job point? <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Shut the hell up. We beat the shit out of all three of you. All right. Hello, work. I can't read that. <laughs> a special bathhouse? Oh, come on. He just scrubbed a, a, a freaking oh. brothel. Now he's going to have to scrub a bathhouse, a soap land. Hey. Hold on. Maybe that's the best you get these two. But I got years of service to lean on. According to your documentation, you've never been married. Uh, what's that got to do with anything? You're telling me you've done gone as long, you've gone this long as a lonely single man without resorting to paying for it? This seems right up your alley. Oh, my God. Huh? How dare you? I mean, it's not that illegal. Anyway, well, you boys need to build up some work history. And don't think this bathhouse is going to be a walk in the park. 
The owner there is a little eccentric, and it's totally up to him if he takes you on board, so good luck. Dude, this, they're never going to stop, like, mopping up jizz at this point. It's disgusting. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> it's so nasty. Okay, let's get the... Seriously, this, uh, this totally... This game totally exposes the underbelly of life in Japan. It seriously does. All the, the, the really, you know, not talked about businesses, the jobs that people have to do that everyone hates. Like, this is like the bottom of the barrel shit. And this is the whole game so far. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Ugh. This is disgusting. Where are we going, by the way? Uh. Great. Okay, very quickly, let me run and fill up my water because, I, like I said, I forgot to fill up my water bottle before we started tonight. Let me very quickly fill this up, all right? And then we'll resume. How you like my Zelda pants? Zelda pants. Ah, oh, shit. Ah. I was just talking with Kat about the game. She's playing it, too. She's a little bit further ahead of me in the story. Now, she didn't spoil her anything. But I don't know if you guys heard what she was saying. She was basically saying that... Um, she was saying that... At one point in the story, to progress, you need to have a certain level of, like, armor and, and items. So, it makes sense to do the side content. Because if you don't, you don't have enough money to do it. So, it's a good thing that I actually did do that stuff. Because she's many levels below me. And she's further than me in the story right now. Ah, okay. All right, let's continue. Oh, shit. What did I just do? I set a waypoint. I didn't really need to set the waypoint. I guess it's fine. Okay. Yeah, apparently if you don't do the side missions, you can just keep going with the story, but then at one point the story hard locks you and says, no, you basically got to go level up and get more money and get better, get better equipment or else you can't continue. You know, kind of like an RPG, like Dragon Quest. <laughs> oh, shit. What's going on? Mm-hmm. What the hell is this? Oh, come on. No, don't tell me this motherfucker's gonna fall. Oh, my God. Oh. Jeez. What the hell's up with this guy? <laughs> Just another crazy off the streets. Ending out of the ordinary. Okay, guys. Come on. Let's do this. Come on. Roger. <laughs> Oh my god. He danced with glee. <laughs> oh my god. He danced with glee. Ugh. Hit him while he's down. Hurry. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He did a flying booty bop. <laughs> no, don't do that. Oh! <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. Hit him while he's down. Hurry up before he opens up his coat again. Oh, my God. No, not a booty bop. <laughs> oh. We need, like, one more hit. He keeps hitting me with his ass. Stop that. Take this, you degenerate. Oh, my God. Come on, man. That was... <laughs> this is out of control, this game, dude. Oh, good. Some odd stones fell out of his ass as I was striking him. Let me go the world. All right. Well, Namba levels up and he learned a new job skill, push and shove. I'm hoping that's going to be an offensive skill. I guess we'll find out. Oh, my God, dude. Uh, what an asshole. What was his problem? <laughs> I swear. Sometimes this city gets uglier and uglier every step. What uh, the you'll fuck? Get used to it. Uh, not sure where you're going with this. There's Pokemon. Uh, these are your starter Sujimon. Which one do we want? Do we want the plant based? Fire based? We'll go. We'll go fire based because that guy looks like Asian me. He's got the same. Slick back hairstyle, and he's got my goatee. Let's so we're go, go with, with red. Yeah, Asian Phil in the middle okay, there. Then. 
bread it is. Yeah, you're right. Don't forget, the world's counting on you. So you gotta dispatch them all. Then you'll be the next Sujimon master. Right. There you go. Gotta dispatch them all, Sujimon. <laughs> You're so true. I'm kicking your asses too. Piss on me, I'll shit on you, Sujimon. Gotta dispatch them all, Sujimon. <laughs> There you go. Yes. All right. Well, Sujimon, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. Okay. Piss wizard. So I can't help that you're stupid and you don't understand intelligent, like, conversation and intelligent commentary on something and criticism. So sorry that you're stupid. It's time. All right. What is the fuck is this now? Now we gotta go to a fucking soap house. This is ridiculous. So we cleaned the brothel. We got a job at a soap house. Hi. Then we Maybe then we said, fucking had to fight a dude who flashed us in the street, and now we're Pokemon masters. Okay. And now we got a fucking road, we're gonna soap page. house. Oh my god. Front desk. The faucet stuck. Well, <laughs> just use the same bath water for the next customer. Ooh. Oh! Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind oh. the sink. Make it cloudy enough. We'll notice. Oh no! Oh no! Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Oh, that's disgusting. Hmm. Oh really? So you're taking the day off? Oh! The oh. Benefit. oh. And, uh, where are we headed? That is disgusting. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? Oh, come on! You're missing too much work. And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. This is getting more gross by the I mean, second. it sounds like a serious medical issue. Oh. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. But I guess <laughs> What? Are you crying? Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. Holy shit. I can't be your therapist, too. But come back <laughs> in as soon as you feel better. Okay? <laughs> Bye. I can't be your therapist, too. Oh, my God. I tell you. Girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Wow. So, Of course. A lot of people who come get tempted to this side of things because it sounds lucrative. But those are the types who think that they'll strike it rich without doing any real work. As soon as things they can turn for the worst, they run for the hills. That's why I only hire women far on the so far on the ledge they can't afford to take another step back. What a fucking scumbag piece of shit this guy is. This guy seriously needs a river dance on his ball sack. He's such a fucking low life. Women like that work their lives to depend on it, and that's what keeps my business stable. This guy's fucking I hate this guy. Hey. Stable my ass, you're just taking advantage of women in their lowest. You're the scum of the earth. I agree. See what you will, but lust weighs on the soul as as heavy as hunger, if not more so. Except with lust, you can't just satiate it with your local deli. You have to hold it until you find an outlet. So as long as women are willing to be on the menu, men are going to place the orders, and that's the world we live in. Yeah, the lowest form of life, the scum buckets of fucking the world have their own thing going in society. And this, like I said, this seems to me what this game is exposing is the underbelly so of fucking Japanese society that no one wants to talk about in public. These fucked up situations and really disgusting ass businesses. Yuck. All right, I found another this guy. He's banned permanently. He's not coming back, so he can go fuck himself. All right, good. Finally got rid of him. Hooey. He said, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Prostitution is illegal in Japan, but the establishment is flaunting it in broad daylight. Okay, I... I really don't understand this. People now have told me that these soap houses are common in Japan. That the, the brothels and stuff are common in Japan. But it's illegal. How? How is it completely illegal? Yet these businesses are operating. I just don't understand this. It's like, in the United States, it's illegal. So you don't see it. If it is, it's, it's completely hidden. You don't have a fucking giant, come to the bathhouse. Come to the, so how do they fucking do this? I just don't understand Japanese society at all. It, it, every time I play a Yakuza game, I get so confused. Kind of like, how the fuck does host and hostess culture exist? How do they have these fucking illegal things that are uh, allowed? Right? I just don't get it. Fallen1570 has subscribed for 38 months in a row. Thank you very much, Fallen, for the sub. I appreciate that very much. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. Hey. Working hard as ever, huh? What? You guys? From the other day? Why are you here? Oh, as of today, we're now employees. Employees, huh? My friends, the accomplices of criminals, the purveyors of prostitution, have made themselves known. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, criminals. Uh, if that was the case, why aren't we getting arrested? Because soap lands are dodging the laws by registering themselves as public bathhouses. My friends, this is what we call a gray zone, the dark stains on Japan, but that's the thing. They're not. Let's say, for example, all right, this is hypothetical because this is America. I register my business as a, uh, a hobby shop, and I claim that in the hobby shop, I sell toys, models, uh, collectible cards. But come to find out, I actually sell guns out of the back, right? The police will come investigate, or an inspector will come investigate, find that, and I'll either go to jail, and the business will be shut, or I'll receive giant fines. That's how it works in the United States. This guy is not even hiding. You see what I'm saying? Like, even if he registered as a bathhouse, it's obvious this isn't a bathhouse. It's obvious this is a whorehouse, because of the way he's presenting the business. You walk inside, you got pictures of fucking girls everywhere. How is this allowed in Japan? I understand. Okay, well, he registered as a bathhouse, so therefore it's legal. All you have to do is walk in the door, and you know it's not. Any cop who walks inside would know that it's not what it says, and therefore slap it with a fine or shut it down, right? Right? Am I wrong? So how is this allowed in Japan? I am so confused as how this is allowed. I just don't understand it. How does, the, how does the law, does anyone know how the law operates differently in Japan that they get away with this just because they register? If I register as a Subway sandwich shop, but I hand you crack cocaine over the counter, do you get away with it in Japan because you registered as the sandwich shop? Like, how the fuck did they get away with this? Right? I, I don't get it. I'm so confused. I really am. One word is that in Japan, they don't like confrontation. Some people are saying you're getting facts from a video game, but isn't this supposed to be representative of real life? Right? I'm not saying it's 100% accurate, but obviously these businesses must exist. They didn't make this up for the game, right? So I don't understand this. No one really seems to know either. I don't know. It's a culture thing. It just doesn't make any sense. Anyway, um, let's see here. Uh, so Suicide Waffles, cheers to keep your pimp hand strong. Don't forget to, <laughs> to get free puff puffs. Uh, no, that's not going to happen. Jin Star Root cheered and said, just be like in King of the Hill where they buy toys for $700 and get a free gun as a promotional purchase. See? That's what I'm saying. That doesn't fly in the U.S. How the fuck do they pull that stuff off in Japan? That anonymous cheer said, oh my God. Oh. Uh, oh my God. Excuse me. Oh. Uh. Oh my God, indigestion. Well, Barmy C. Dive says, I'd like to try to explain it, but it required the chat to stop spamming emos for a few seconds, and that won't happen. I mean, yeah, the chat can be pretty immature at times. If you want to tag me and try to explain, I'll try to pay attention to it. Um, see, Frog Detective Chiri said, How are you surprised? Do you think brothels don't exist in the U.S.? No, but here's the difference. Here's the difference. In the United States, if you're going to do something illegal, you have to conceal it. You have to say you're one thing. Like, for example, I guarantee you there are shops that sell guns, but don't say they sell guns. It's just like, oh, he sells guns out of the back, and there's no background check, so go back there, and for a little extra money than what you would pay for a real gun at a, re a legally registered place, he'll sell you a gun behind the, you know what I mean? I guarantee you that exists. But you have to hide it. You can't advertise. This place is obviously advertising what they're doing, yet they're somehow immune from it. It would take a police officer two steps in the door to see the wall and know that this is not a bathhouse. You see what I'm saying? So I don't understand how that's possible at all. So you're on the right track, Kasuga. In that case, I got a warning for you. The legal definition of a march means you're not allowed to stop moving. If you stop and start giving speeches, that's obstructing traffic. Your right to use this road was pred predicated on you performing a march. So the fact that you're stopped here is pretty clear violation. <laughs> Even if that's technically the rule, every protest stops to your speeches. And the police are fine with that. Sup? You know what you call that? A gray zone. Gah! <laughs> <laughs> Relying on a gray area to criticize a gray zone? Man, that's irony. My friends, let's keep going. We're marching. Wow. 
Prostitution's gotta go. No more in engine show. <laughs> Watch where you're going or you'll trip. Wow. I'm sorry. So, We Stream No Games Charity says, Intercourse became illegal in 1965. So then soap lands opened up where people can go there to take a bath with women and do everything but intercourse like oral or hand jobs. Okay. But, okay. So what you're saying is technically in the soap land, you're not actually supposed to have sex. Gotcha. But, is a cop there every moment? Okay, I see what you're saying now. So technically this place would be allowed. What the Bleach Japan is saying is, no, we know that the, the illegal thing's going on in here. Okay, now I think I'm understanding. Okay. Oh my god! What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Stay Don't lose them. There's a chopper outside. They're coming for me. Any moment someone's gonna swing in my window from a zip line, they're gonna go and break in and arrest me. They're coming, guys, I'm telling you. One day we'd like to go to California for. Cops outside, hear that? It's loud. I wonder how close they're gonna get. I wonder where they're going. Anyway, um. Now the siren stopped. <laughs> anyway, Ninstar Rune Chase, the chat's confused. Can you explain your thought process? I already did. Okay. They're coming, you hear them? Holy shit. They're coming. I'm not kidding. They're right outside. Here come. Oh my god. Here's the floodlights. They're coming down. They're coming in my window right now. Holy shit. Here they come. Alright. Sounds like it's finally gone. That was loud. That shit was like super duper loud. <laughs> okay. At least they're gone now. Holy fuck. If he's actually seeing it. She's seeing a guy on the side. Let's start with this cafe that she supposedly goes to. Alright, so it's literally going to become a, mi a mystery now, like a detective game. Where it's, it's turning into freaking judgment now, right? At least that seems like what is what they're going for. Okay. Well, let's continue. Let's see what the hell's going on for real. Alright, so it's literally going to become a, mi a mystery now, like a detective game. Where it's, it's turning into freaking judgment now, right? At least that seems like what is what they're going for. Okay. Well... Let's continue. Let's see what the hell's going on for real. All right. All right, ladies and gents. Real quick, I just want to do quick updates of everything. Let's see here. Since we are halfway through tonight's stream. We have lost five subs. We're down to 810 subscribers. The top cheer of the night is Suicide Waffles with a 200-bit cheer. And the top tipper is the anonymous $3 tipper from earlier. Ladies and gentlemen, we only have $7 to tip. All right. So I don't know what's going on. When I was playing Yakuza last week, everyone told me it was a great game. Everyone was very excited for me to play it. People asked me all weekend to play it. I'm playing it. I'm excited. I'm having fun. And it seems like contributions are dead tonight. Absolutely dead. There's like next to nothing. And the few that I'm getting, a lot of these people are trolls because of the things that they're saying. You can tell that they're just here to fucking annoy me instead of allowing me to enjoy the game. That's not cool. All right. Now, being honest with all of you, I like JRPGs. I love lengthy JRPGs. I like to take my time with them. But I have seven games to play right now. And for people asking me to play Yakuza all week, and then no one shows up and no one contributes to the streams, that makes me feel like other people are basically saying we want to see other stuff. So it's this simple, all right? If these streams end up being super slow, Yakuza's barely going to get played. I'm sorry, that's just how it works. I have other games that I have to play too, and people are asking for. You know, I took time out to play this because I really wanted to play it, and people were telling me all weekend, it's great you're playing PS5, please get back to Yakuza. So I did... And look what happens, okay? So I'm just being very upfront and transparent with you guys. I want to keep playing this game. You saw the awesome playthroughs I did of Judgment last year, of Dragon Quest XI the year before. I love doing these kind of games. But if people are just going to complain, number one, that they don't like the game. And number two, people are not going to show up to the streams, even though they're begging for me to play it again. And then when the stream happens, no one's contributing. It's like the, the triple whammy. You know what I'm saying? Um... And I'm sorry, but, you know, when I've got six other games to play that people are willing to show up and support the stream, I'm going to lean towards playing those games, okay? It's just, it's just cause and effect. So I'm just trying to be upfront and honest with all of you. If you guys like this playthrough, by all means, please show up for the streams and please support it, all right? In fact, when I hit record again, I'm going to say a little bit for the YouTube audience as well, all right? But I'm just saying, this is the problem is, 
when I got so many games to play, sadly, this is what happens. The audiences cut into each other, and some people might be like, oh, man, well, I'm only going to show up if Phil plays Demon Souls, and I'm only going to support if Phil plays Demon Souls. And I, you know, I understand that. At the same time, it's kind of disappointing because I like being a variety streamer. I like doing JRPGs, but I can't do these if people aren't going to show up and support the streams. I just can't. I have to. This is a business as well as a hobby for me, okay? So, if you like the content, if you're liking this playthrough, you like JRPGs, please support this playthrough when I'm playing it, okay? Captain K-Man did a 100-bit cheer while I was saying that. Thank you very much, Captain K-Man, okay? All right. I am going to quickly... Uh, Say something for the YouTube audience as well, because they didn't hear that spiel. And quite frankly, the YouTube audience contributing is very different than you guys live on stream contributing. So allow me to say something for them as well, okay? All right, bear with me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Yakuza 7. We got one more hour of tonight's uh, gameplay session. I just talked to the stream chat, but I want to be real with the YouTube audience right now, okay? Right now, I'm in the midst of playing 7. Please remember, the best way to support me is by tipping me. And please consider contributing, because it's been a slow stream so far. And any help is appreciated. All right, let's switch back to the original party now. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Yakuza 7. We got one more hour of tonight's uh, gameplay session. I just talked to the stream chat, but I want to be real with the YouTube audience right now, okay? Right now, I'm in the midst of playing seven different games during the busiest gaming time of the year in 2020 and some of the busiest time that I've ever had in the last few years. That many games just came out in the last week. Yakuza 7 is one of them. I love lengthy JRPGs. I like this game a lot. But it seems to me like people are clamoring for the other games. The only way that I'm going to be able to play this game more regularly is if people support when I play it, okay? I already talked to the people on the stream, and I'm hoping that if they support this playthrough that they will cheer sub or tip during the stream. But if you're watching on YouTube and you like Yakuza 7 and you want to see me take the time to keep playing it, even though there's a ridiculous amount of other games people are screaming for... Please support this playthrough, all right? Right now, if you're watching this on YouTube, check the description of the video, okay? In the description of the video, there's many ways you can contribute, all right? Throw me a tip, whether it's during a stream or not. Check out my Patreon, okay? Don't rely on ad revenue. I'm going to say this very, very, very honestly. Don't rely on, like, you watching the video and thinking ad revenue is making anything for me these days. It's not. A lot of these videos are getting claimed, and I'm getting nothing for it, all right? I want to continue to play Yakuza 7, but if I'm playing it twice a week and I'm getting absolutely dead streams, no contributions, and you know what I mean? I, I just can't. People are going to scream for other games. I'm going to play the other games instead. So I'm hoping that this playthrough will be much like it was with Dragon Quest XI, like it was with Judgment last year, where I can play it at my own pace slowly, right? I can take time to do side content. I can enjoy it and not have to worry about oh my god every time i play yakuza 7 it's gonna be a dead stream and now i gotta try to like make up for it on other sessions of gameplay all right if you like this please support it okay fair enough okay major right did a 100 bit cheer and says so great is full of wisdom and expertise about chef boy rd oh my god here we go again with this chef boy rd stuff thanks for the cheer this puzzle room you are lost, the stream. so it looks like sadly it's just gonna be a, a very very slow stream for tips and there's nothing i can do about it you know okay um i also believe i received a tip but i want to confirm that it's real before i give a shout out for it only because there's been a lot of fake tips recently there were even fake tips as earlier today on the first stream all right and it looks like this tip is fake I gotta confirm. Captain DCW, are you here tonight? I don't think he is. Oh, he actually is. Captain DCW, are you here tonight and did you just hit me? Sorry that I have to check because sadly there's so many people who are impersonating others. I have to make sure that this is legit. And right now, this one looks like it was not done from a registered account. So I have to confirm if this is actually from him or not. Kevin DCW says he's here. Did you did you tip me tonight? Or not or is this fake? Is someone impersonating you? You did? Okay, thank you, Captain DCW. I appreciate that. And again, I'm sorry to have to call this stuff out, but I have to do it because there's been so much malicious action against me recently that I really got burned because of it. So I have to make questions like this, and I'm sorry to derail the stream with that, but I appreciate you being honest and thank you for the support. A very generous $25 tip from Captain DCW which propels us up to $32 of tips so far tonight with about an hour left on the stream, okay? Penne Lord of Destruction, subscribed to the channel for a year. What's hilarious is I don't remember that name at all, 
So either this guy has phantom resub from behind the scenes. Um, oh, 672, I'll take care of that. Don't worry. Either this guy has resub behind the scenes or he changed his name recently. <laughs> 672, I'll fix that right now. Watch this. Wait, what? Okay. There we go. I want to make sure I selected the right guy. Uh, reckless charge to him. Good, I knocked the one guy down. I got a combo. Good. Dude, I can't. I'm done. I lost again. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. All these things are super high level. Like, that whole group was way too high level for me again, and I'm just walking to where I need to go for the mission. Yeah, this is, this is pretty bad. I guess every time I see a high level group, I just have to run away. I can't fight them. I can't beat them. They do way too much damage. Yeah. Sucks. I got completely fucked up. Yeah. Alright, so let me make sure this tip is real. It's all about money. It's always about money. Always. No, <laughs> there's security right outside. Yeah, something's really weird about this place. <clears throat> hmm. Let me guess, this will be our second dungeon. We have to break into this place and fight a bunch of, like, white coats. Right? <laughs> that would actually be pretty awesome if that's the case. The station. Oh my god, he's American, isn't Nonsense he? Nonsense you speaking. Would you tell me how to get to the station? <laughs> oh, shit. It's English. <laughs> Mark McCauley asked, do employers pay for healthcare in the USA? Typically, employers will get you on a group health plan. Meaning, you'll have better health insurance than other people who don't have health insurance through an employer. But, do they pay for it outright all of it? No. Absolutely. Level 23? No! Oh my fucking god. There was no escape! Oh my god. I cannot fight these guys. <laughs> I tried to run and I got fucked up so bad. Holy shit, dude. Okay, he's just gonna knock the fuck out. Look at him. <laughs> Jeez. Wow, that guy gave us 2100. Good because I lost a ton of money. <laughs> I lost so much money to these fights. <clears throat> Here's another random group. <clears throat> Not a loser. No, they're level 13. I'm not supposed to fight yeah. them. They're too high level. Nice knowing you. Oh, come on. Oh my god, there was no escape. I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna lose all my money again. Don't get caught. I got this. No one dies. Yeah. Let's go. Watch this. I got you. Lost again. The game wouldn't let me run. I lose again because these guys are too high level for me. I'm only like level 11, level 12. I should be fighting guys that level, not guys three, four levels above me. Oh my god. It's, the combat's kind of ridiculous at, at this point. Like, there's nothing I can do about this. Nothing I can do about it at all. Ugh. Dr. Tony Huge cheered. He said, Luckily, I tipped two days ago, so if you see information behind the scene that doesn't match mine, it's not me. Oh, I'm aware. And trust me, that's the thing. When I, when people, uh, when people tip, and I, I get to at least see some general info about them, then I can tell the next time around if it's really them or not tipping. Here we go. Here we go again. I'm trying. To, I'm gonna try to run. It ain't gonna work. Watch. Yeah. Adaptable. No, I wanted to run. I'm out of here. Come on. I can't run. I'm gonna lose again. 
I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. We're done here. Finally. This sucks, man. <laughs> Every enemy is super high level right now. I'm trying to get the fuck out of here because the story teleported me to this level. I didn't even walk here. The story teleported me here. And I can't leave. Look, it's she getting fight after fight. I can't beat these guys. Okay. Oh my god. Let's go. Wanna fight later? Uh, I'm starting to see a problem here. This is not good. The game put me into a part of the map where everything is way too high level for me and I can't escape. What do they want me to do? Make it count. See ya. Shit. I'm out of here. They won't let me run away. I'm up. We're done here. Shit. There's nothing I can do. It's not my fault. The game is a piece of fucking shit. They are morons. So, how'd it go? <laughs> uh, <laughs> get this. They're sending their most popular girl over here. For free. Whoa, really? Oh, really, I swear. Sex shops will do anything to stay competitive. What an idiot. She said she'd be here soon. Sorry for the wait. Huh? Oh, what the? Who the heck are you? Are you uh, a Daki Sama? Uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, Sorry for the wait. I'm Gary Buster Holmes from Poundmates. Poundmates? Is, is that the sex shop? <laughs> no, no. Poundmates sends people to help you fight. Help us fight? Hey, you shitheads are making way too much noise. <laughs> That's it. Uh... Shut you guys up. Oh, a handy group of punks. Just in time for your first call. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but let's go, Kasuga. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Cool. Pound mates are powerful allies with a wide range of abilities, but calling them it costs money. The price depends on the pound mate. Although your first call to each pound mate is free. Sure. Gary Buster Home. His skill is the Gary Buster Homecoming. Call on the service of a muscle-bound champion to pound enemies into oblivion, occasionally stunning those who survive. They're weak. So this is a summon. This is how you summon. You're summoning a pound mate. I summon you. Yeah. What the fuck? Why does he have? What the fuck? Service with a pound. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh my god. That's how you do it. Wow. Nice. Learn the job skill detective's determination. That guy's from Yakuza 1? Is he seriously from Yakuza 1? Special bond I felt. Thumbs down, motherfucker! <laughs> I understood well. I should just summon the fucking black guy. <laughs> I should just summon him and fuck him up. I don't even know what happened. How'd we get roped into this? I'm so confused right now. Way over here. Way over there. At the end of the bar district. See that? Yeah, I got roped to some baloney. Alright, anyway. 
It's time to save up, guys. Um, thank you for a good stream of Yakuza 7. We had some progress, although we did get distracted a lot by side content, but we did get some progress in the plot. The game is just so freaking weird. You know what I mean? Like, it really feels like they wanted to, to like, just constantly be talking about exposing, like, the, the dark, dirty underbelly of Japanese society. And sometimes it's funny, and sometimes it's just straight-up disgusting, and sometimes it's weird. So, I'm hoping it'll lean more towards the funny. I don't want to be grossed out constantly by really nasty shit. I guess we'll have to see, but so far, so good. That was a pretty good session. There will be actually another session of Yakuza 7 later on this weekend, another couple hours. So, at least we'll get a decent amount of progress this week, despite the fact there's no way I could settle down and, and play this for, like, major streams right now with all the other stuff going on. But I will do my best, okay? Thank you to everyone who contributed. Shout out to uh, Suicide Waffles for the top cheer and to Captain DCW for the top tips of the night. Uh, I appreciate that very much, guys. Until next time, all right? Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the world of Yakuza 7, Like a Dragon. It's been a few days since I played the roads here, but for some reason I'm in the middle of the road. <laughs> okay. Ow, I ran nuts first. See that? I looked at the stream chat, and Equilibrium is so upset that I didn't give him a shout-out. And I turn back to the, the game, and I run nuts first into a pole. Equilibrium, do you see why I can't just constantly be giving you shout-outs? I can't keep smashing my nuts. Okay, this is the guy right here, right? Execute clown mode. Can do to Huh? Oh, Susumu-chan, you're so needy. Okay, time for Baba. <laughs> what the? Oh! <laughs> you fuckers with the baby formula. <laughs> That's the dude who threatened the Oshima. What the fuck? Oh! What the fuck? Sorry to bother you, boys. Uh, yo, let's go. Uh, yes, goodbye. Let's get the fuck out of here. Not so fast, chief. What? Oh my god. Yo, he spit the shit out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh on, no. Boys. Let's pacify this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The Gondawara family patriarch? Are you fucking serious? It's a boss fight? It is. They're all level 13s. Listen to the music. Oh, it's a boss fight. Holy shit. All right, hold on. Uh, lower an enemy's defense. All right, gnarly breath to the Gondawara Patriarch. Have some gnarly breath, you rancid bitch. All right. So what is Bat Breaker? Heavily damage the enemy with the powerful swing of your bat. Let's do it. Oh my God, nice. Fucking home run. Well, oh, no. Me? Me? <laughs> That's right. No need to be shy. Drink the milk. Why not? Sure. Drink the baby the formula. Yeah, baby. Why not just go full on insane? Why not? Put on the fucking diaper. Do it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. This game is That's insanity. Nice work right there. What do you think? Good shit, ain't it? Yeah, ain't half bad. Right, right. Boys, two more baby bottles. <laughs> oh uh, my god. Yes, uh. Now, let's say we enjoy this second bottle good and proper. Huh? Boys, get this man a diaper. <laughs> I knew it. I called it. 
Yo, hold up. I didn't say shit about wearing a. Hey! <laughs> oh, man. Let me go! <laughs> Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll. Oh my god. Oh. Passion went up! Passion ranking went up. Level up! <laughs> what? Patriarch Gun Gawain Gondawara? The Pound Mage selection is expanded. He's a new summon. I have a new summon. What the fuck? What happens if you summon him? I wonder if it says in your menu. Deactivate the clown mode. You end up getting sidetracked for so long, you never make any progress in the story. It was always like this in Yakuza, by the way. This is not some new thing. Um. Oh, come on! A hundred damage? A hundred? Ow! Well, I'm gonna have to stop at a restaurant to eat. Cause that fucking hurt bad, dude. We gotta find a restaurant to eat at. Oh shit, there's a bunch of enemies right there. Jay Breezy just cheers said, have you been thinking about joining the Hollow Live rabbit hole? Oh, uh, let me think about that for a second. No! Okay. Fraud Detective Cheers said, my friend Derek is asking, do you, do you think the Karen meme is racist? K Derek would never ask that. Fraud Detective, you're a complete idiot. You should shut that, shut the hell up. How about that? All right. Very nice. All right, I guess we're going to go back, and we're just going to continue with the story now, the main story. Actually get some plot advancement tonight. What do you... Very good. So, real quick, let me just go into the bathroom and get some water, okay? Let me get some water out of the sink, and then we'll go continue here. Rah! That up. Uh, FBG Duck tipped and said, Do you fill your water bottle from the toilet? Yes, I dunk it right in. I make sure that there's usually some floater pieces in there, too. I love that. I absolutely love it when I get extra floaters. All right. Now I have to kill myself. Yes, Ready Bag, I know you're here. How could I not know when you obnoxiously proclaim your presence every five seconds in the chat? Hoy. All right, we got an idiot. Let's get rid of him. There we go. That was quick. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Very nice. A little non leveling up. And... You know, not a big deal. I'm sure that, you know, everyone will say that I, like, went and I sent out the bat signal for supporters tonight or whatever. No, that's not what happened. And by the way, we're about an hour and a half into the stream. Um, If you like Yakuza 7, you like this playthrough, you want to see it continue, please consider contributing during the stream. I would really appreciate the help. Like I said, with five other games that I'm currently playing and people screaming in particular for two to three of those games all the time, and this is not one of them, um, I would appreciate the support. Because there are people who are always disappointed when I'm playing something like this instead of the other games, okay? Hint, hint. Uh, oh, here we go again. Melee, melee, melee. Just cheered and said, Derek says a good persimmon tastes sweet and not very chewy. What? He says he would eat dried persimmon when he was a kid? Derek, is that even you saying that or is he quoting you pretending like you're saying that? Did I just ban this asshole? Melee, melee, melee. Melee, 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 melee. How about ban, 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 ba, ban, ba, ban, ban? <laughs> How about ban your ass? Not a loser. Cool. <laughs> you say you never had a persimmon. All right, fuck this asshole then. Ban melee, lay your a, ba, day, bay. Fuck him. Apparently someone got paralyzed and I missed it. Someone was paralyzed, right? I missed the whole thing because I was banning this fucking asshole. No subject too dull, no topic off limits, okay? You can listen to previous party chats by speaking to Iroha. So what's interesting about this is this is really exposing, the, again, the culture of Japan. So in an American bar, yeah, you could chat with a bartender, but the bartender's primary job is to fucking serve everyone drinks. Here they're saying they actually hire employees, like, just to talk to you. So it's kind of like you could go to a bar to talk to someone and pretend like they're your friend. You could go to a host or hostess club to pay someone and pretend like they're your boyfriend or girlfriend. Like, everything's pretend. <laughs> Everything is pretend, right? Like, <laughs> again, with the weird weirdness of Japanese culture. Uh, Dr. Tony Huge, are you still here? And did you just hit me? Because I'm not sure if this is you or not. I just want to confirm. Because if not, someone's impersonating you, which is kind of messed up. 
So I just want to see if this is really you or not. Is he even still here? He is still here. Okay, that was him. Alright, just confirming because, you know, again. Uh, so he tipped six bucks and basically said, you know, he, he, uh, you know, this is his tip for the night. It's not going to be a big one because he was cheering earlier, which he was. And he basically says, uh, you know, it's pretty slow tonight when it comes to chips and contributions. And he's right. All right, now I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to talk about it constantly, but he's right. And I said this earlier on the stream. I said, people who like JRPGs, if you want to see me play a game like this more often, especially because how long it's going to be, you know, especially but there's five other games I could be playing that everyone's yelling for, please contribute. Cool. Some people did. You know, Dr. Tony Huge did. He did cheer, cheer earlier. We got people subbing and everything. Django Pops, okay. thank you for the tip earlier as well. But in general, yeah, it's been pretty slow tonight. I don't know what else to say. I'm not going to sit here and complain about it all night. I'm just not. But he's making a factual observation. Yeah. So now when I look, you know, if <clears throat> it remains like this, when I look at future streams, they're like, well, if I'm going to play Yakuza, it's going to be slow. So I'm probably going to end up playing other games more often. I don't know. You know, I had this scheduled as a mainstream this week, but maybe I'll change that now. I don't know. I got to think about it. You know, like I said, yes, this is me playing games, which I love. And yes, I like this game, but it's also a business as well. I got to balance everything properly, you know. Okay. Also, again, if you're watching this playthrough on YouTube, I did mention this last time around. Um, when I was... Oh, shit. That mission appeared again. I kind of want to do it. See? Okay. Let's head back and do this other side mission. If you're watching this on YouTube, alright? Thank you, first of all. But understand that the ad revenue on YouTube is next to nothing these days. No lie. So... If you like this playthrough and you're watching on YouTube, understand that the streams are not getting a lot of support. In the last week, we actually had two specific people who came to the streams and, and uh, did contribute to say, hey, I support the playthrough, please keep playing it. I'm not gonna drop it, but again, if streams continue to be slow, uh, then I'm gonna probably play the other games that I'm, I'm playing more often, so. Expand Dong, both Miles Morales and Assassin's Creed Valhalla have been successful when it came to both viewership, interest, and contributions. So those are two games that people were telling me, oh, don't play them, don't play them. And then when I played them, people liked them a lot and contributed and liked the streams. So that's what I mean. Like, those may be games I end up playing way more than this then, if that's the case. Um, I'm just saying, I was shocked. But both streams were very successful. I know, I hate it. I'm tired of talking about the fucking money. I'm tired of it. Even if... Even if, seriously, I mean this now, even if I found a way to double my YouTube viewership, there's no guarantee ad revenue would even be better because YouTube is so fucked up that they just, and a whim, they just lose advertisers. And it's so stupid because, like, right now, oh, oh, it's planters. I can plant some stuff. YouTube is so dumb, and that's why I don't really care about YouTube anymore. You could work your ass off like on YouTube. Okay get great views was a really close call and get nothing for it. I just don't care about YouTube anymore. I don't. Now. Dr. Tony Huge, thank you for a $5 tip. To answer your question, uh, yes, it would be a consideration. Let's just put it that way. It's de definitely not a guarantee, but it would be a consideration. Okay, thank you for the tip. Elon just cheered. He says, your subs get mocked for using your emotes elsewhere on Twitch. Can you address this? Yes, there's an incredibly large group of people who are toxic towards me and the community because of the detractors. Because the detractors go around just making fun of everything that I say and do. They twist it in a way that people think that it's true that it's not. So of course there's a negative association with anything that I say or do. You know, what can, what can you do about that? Nothing. You really, there's nothing you can do about it at all because there's been years and years of misinformation on the internet. What's funny is people who actually come and give the, the streams a chance and come and hang out with us usually have a pretty good time. Right? That's what a lot of people say. Oh, man, I just heard so many negative things about you. I came by the stream. I actually enjoyed myself, and now I'm a fan. But that's the thing. People have to be willing to go through with breaking through that misconception. And a lot of people aren't willing to do that. They just go through with the, the, the common uh, insult or the common thing. They want to be part of the meme, part of the negative meme against me, right? And that sucks. It really does suck. I, and, you know, I don't want you guys to be harassed on, on Twitch and other parties places, but... You gotta be careful where you do stuff. I wouldn't recommend going to someone else's stream and just randomly starting using my emotes for that very reason, you know? 
and somniotic me just did a 500 bit cheer he said had a realization i'm following someone that bad mouths you not going to say who to add drama but saying that their reason for not liking you is dumb though i like their streams from time to time you are generally fun to watch here are some bits thank you very much it's somniotic me um pretty much everyone's reason for not liking me is dumb i don't know what else to say it's true Okay. Yeah, Anonymous, could you please be stop being ridiculous? I know you're just joking, but I don't want to talk about viewers in love with me. I'm trying to play a game and have fun here, guys. Come on. Hey. Stop this nonsense. Okay. Oh, okay. People are saying I forgot to put on the glasses. You guys are right. Sorry, I forgot. Let's get the gunner glasses on. Sorry, everybody. Okay. Yeah, Anonymous, you do realize if you don't like this game, that you don't have to be here when I'm playing it, right? Like, you're not... An employee, you don't you're not obligated to be here for games you don't like. I wouldn't mind if you don't want to be here for Yakuza, dude. Should I Anonymous says, but I love you. Yeah, but I don't want you to be miserable all night. I know you've been trying to like stay occupied with polls and stuff because you don't like the game. You don't have to do that. You could just like not show up on nights when there's something you really don't like. I'm serious, like I don't want you to feel feel shit. I want my mods to be happy. I want everyone to be happy. My viewers, my mods, you know. I don't want to hear that people are sad or, oh, I played a game you didn't like tonight and stuff like that. That makes me feel bad, you know? I don't like that. I want you to be, uh, uh, have fun and be occupied like everybody else. So now we're going to get stuck in like a 20-minute cutscene, which means I'm going to have like five minutes to upload these videos before my wife comes home from work. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I'm still having a ton of fun with the game. I don't mind, but still, it's like, oh my god, I'm going to be cutting it close. Oh, there she is. Do we finally get to hear now what really happened? No. Oh, man. Well, someone named Arc Lightning tipped me $50 and says, Phil, I'm not, not, I've not done it in a while. I've been very busy at work a lot. I got promoted to Senior Assistant Scientist in Immunology last month. Thank you for all the laughs and helping me unwind at the end of the day. I hope this is legit. What I could do is, is try to check. And I'm sorry, guys, that I have to verify this. But when it's a large tip like this, I kind of have to. I want to make sure it's not something bogus. Arc Lightning doesn't appear to be in the chat. If you are here, sir, watching, thank you very much for your tip. But I do have to verify because we have... Basically, we have a fake tipper who's been doing this quite a lot. All right. It looks like it may be real. And that's a good thing. It is verified. Yeah. It's a real tip. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you very much to Arc Lightning. And I'm sorry that I had to kind of audit the tip live. But I just have to do this to be careful, and it's actually real. A real account! A verified account! Oh my god! It's like one in, in one in a million, the needle in the haystack. <laughs> the diamond in the rough. Thank you, Art Lightning. That is super duper generous of you. $50 tip jumps us all the way up to $72 in tips already tonight. And we just freaking started. So thank you very much for that. Let me get the uh, gunner glasses on for everybody here. That's right, we had to audit. We had to audit the tips. I don't want to. But like I said, you guys know, I tell you live when I find out someone's impersonating someone or it's a fake tip and it's happened quite a lot. So gotta be careful about it. Gotta have due diligence here. Okay. These are my auditing glasses, actually. They're not gunner gaming glasses. They're tip auditing glasses. <laughs> I scrutinized my PayPal account very closely during the streams using these glasses. Okay. Oh, don't you love these memes that are born live on the stream? Uh, Excuse me. What you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. All right, we got a bunch of cheers that came in here. Hold on a second. We got Fruits07 who said maybe get, like, wet wipe, cleaning wipes for the glasses. Actually, once a week, on Wednesday, when I come back from my break, I disinfect everything in the office, including the glasses. So once a week, I do clean them with wet wipes. But I just found that cleaning cloth right there, which is pretty funny. Um, Rock Rocco Stocco cheered. He wants me to do a Japanese impression. No. Sambuca2020 just did a 250-bit cheer. He says you should keep a death counter for your bands. No, I'm not doing that. But thank you for the cheer. That is the biggest cheer of the night. Let's get you up on the leaderboard there, Sambuka. Thank you. Oh, hold on a second. I just realized something. I just realized... Oh, wait. It's 250, not 200. Well, let's get this accurate first. Okay. So, Sambuka... Um... No. Okay, sorry. All right, um... Frog Detective cheered. He says, in China, they said... Oh, I'm not reading that. You're disgusting. Rockastaco cheered. He says, come on, you did it on the early stream, and it was funny. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, stop asking me. All right, here we go. Let's continue. You know, it's really sad. 
Hmm? How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years. Only for things. A few shout outs. So, uh, Rock Ostaco cheered and he said, hold on here. Rock Ostaco cheered and he says, uh, how crazy is it that Jake Paul is fighting an ex NBA player on the undercard of a Mike Tyson fight right now? Crazy what YouTube can do. No, it's not crazy. It's stupid. It's fucking stupid. No one should care about that. Okay, thank you for the cheer. Ampact just did a 550 bit cheer. He says, I greatly respect you. Uh, you do what you do despite ha ha hate and all the adversity. I've been watching you from the beginning. However, many years later, here you are doing what you love and living your life. I admire and respect you for being true to who you are. Few in this world can say the same. Kudos to you, sir. Bravo. No. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. That's actually a very nice thing that you said. I appreciate that. Okay, thank you, Ampact. That was a very nice sentiment and actually a very large cheer. So thank you for that. Let's hit that on the leaderboard. Ampact. <clears throat> what the hell? Look at the pose she's doing. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't wait to see. She's probably going to kick everyone in the nuts or something. Uh, safety. You know what? She should have an ability. She stomps on you with her heels and, like, destroys you with her heels. I'm married, stupid. Train to Tokyo as soon as possible. Okay. But I don't have any clothes. Oh, come on. Don't have any clothes? Uh, yeah. All I've got are these bubbles. Bubbles? What are you talking about? Oh, no. Here. See for yourself. Oh, come on. What the fuck? What, Jasper? Don't look, right. Jasper. Well, Close your eyes. Got your cold. See ya. <laughs> Wait, please. Don't you see? Come on. on train like this. What is with this Don't game? Off. You're getting bubbles everywhere. <laughs> How did you even end up like that in the first place? <laughs> what the hell are your clothes? Well, earlier today, oh. I was enjoying my time at a soap land. Oh, no. Nice this new girl, Mika-chan, is just oh, so cute. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Jasper, what is Suddenly, going on, dude? While I'm doing the old slip and slide, I get a phone call from my grandfather. He's oh, not no. really the type to call, so I got curious and answered. <laughs> you answered, and... Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, little lady. Why don't you give it a whirl? I thought the cringe was over. I was mistaken. Okay. Timbo Slice says no one's saying anything, so maybe this is a normal practice of people just walking down the street in Japan with bubbles on. Maybe. maybe. You're pulled a, pulled a, uh... Pulled a Gozer. This is a Gozer from fucking the end of Ghostbusters. Gozer shows up completely covered in bubbles. That's it. So this is a Gozer style. Maybe they just really like, uh... Maybe they really like Ghostbusters. Is this where we're going right here? Sigvin... Did all of a cheer so when's the next boomer segment you're going to do? Every segment gets a boomer segment when you attend my streams, you didn't know that? And KD has Did start with how I know his name was pronounced Derek because I've been saying it that way for about 7, 10, 25 years and he's never said anything to the contrary. I think. Am I reading cheers or am I angry? I am incredibly angry, but I am reading cheers today, just so you know. Just don't be a 50-bit bitch, okay? Okay, I understand. In that case, right this way. Alright. Jasper Kitty, you can you can go in the vests. Why didn't you go in the vests? Hold on, Jasper's upset. I think I, I flipped the vest, so it's not it's not in a position where it looks comfortable to him. Jasper, you can go in the vests. Here, I'll fix it for you. Hold on, one second, everyone. Jasper needs some attention. Hold on. Here you go. Here's what we'll do. in the vest now okay yeah the vests were all sitting on the floor inside out so they weren't like comfy he used to, he used to like he to go in there he used to like to go and now there he's going to it right now all right he'll probably go in there now did we get a raid welcome to the raiders i don't know how many people are uh, coming here in hamburg welcome to the stream um okay let's continue <clears throat> let's continue <clears throat> All right, we're resuming. Here we go. Something, say something ridiculous with a serious face. People will buy just about anything. 
because he's trying to be a you know a, a, a what do they call silver tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just gonna say it one way. And hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. And that's what we have to stop. Thanks, Rockastaco. But please, no one post up any live event spoilers. They are not allowed on my streams. I don't care if it's pro wrestling. I don't care if it's boxing. People are going to probably want to watch that later. And if you spoil everything, they're going to be incredibly upset. Do not spoil any event results here in the stream tonight if you do i will have to give you a very 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 disapproving finger wag and you don't want that it's the last thing you want on my stream all right sneak attack was added to the suji deck yes. rank up good she's gonna have to rank up a ton i see derek yes guys please stop trying to repeat and, sh and steal things the other stream chatters are saying that's not right like derek was the one who had talked about a, a female character in yakuza and someone else copied it don't do that uh, not another snow crawl tree. Said, thanks for your, thanks for that man. It seems like it's all about Derek these days. Derek's not even here and hasn't been here in a while, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I think you guys are just jealous of Derek. You're incredibly jealous of Derek. Just admit it. Say it. So, so what the hell was that rouge or something? Was that something for her? Do you think? Yeah, mysterious blush, a cosmetic regularly used by a certain beautiful manager throughout her life. Boost the amount of job experience that can be attained from enemies. Oh, we need that because she's. She's way behind on job experience. So perfect. That's a perfect item. Jasper, why are you crawling on me? Why are you crawling on me? What is going on tonight? You really want attention tonight. You're like dying for attention tonight, aren't you? All right, now hold on a second. Where do we want to go next? Chunky Jack Chase, who takes care of Brunel Jr. when Cat is at work? There is no Brunel Jr. I have a cat named Jasper. What the hell is that? Is that a... A lobster? No, it's small. Is it a crawfish? A crawdad? A crawfish? Oh, it's a crawfish. I was right. What's it doing out here? You crawl up out of the river? Why is it posing? Wouldn't want you getting squished by a car now. The crawfish pose, everyone. Let's do it. Everyone do the crawfish pose. Mon voyage, little buddy. Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Why'd you do that? My sweet Nancy. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Huh? Oh, my Poor girl. Yo, this is like Judgment. This is exactly like Judgment. I think this is supposed to actually be a reference to Judgment. Hmm? Nope, that's a circle. That's not it. No. Okay. This is 100% a reference to Judgment because Judgment had the exact same investigation. Oh, that's got to be her right there. She's posing. Look. What's this? Yup, she's posing. That's Nancy. Hmm? She's doing the, the crawfish Y pose. Look. I just knocked over all my Christmas shit. Oh, it was Y posing. He was Y posing. He was glitched and Y posing. All right, that's her. Yeah. Got an X shape. I didn't pick that one. Really? What? Shit, my bad. I grabbed the one that had the Not X and was worry. posing. Why I'll did you pick the wrong to one? In this little critter too. But can you please go back and look for Nancy? What the hell happened? Sure, I'm on it. I grabbed the one with the X and was posing. The game gave me a different crawfish. What the hell? What the hell happened? Right there. Yeah, you know, okay, I know what happened. I targeted Nancy. See, look. Is this? I targeted hmm? Nancy. And what happened was the game took the other one. Even though I was targeting Nancy, it took the other yeah. one. That's so stupid that that happened, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Yeah, this is. Oh, that's my girl. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Come on, Cossacks. The Mark Hunter. What? My really? I'm sure. Oh my God, what is going on? What is going on? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> happening here sea bugs are cut above the rest uh, oh, she's the tastiest one I ever did see what the hell so she's just a meal to you hey do us homeless folk crawfish are a godsend 
And to get her plump and fit, I took her out daily to toughen up her limbs. What on I earth? Worked so hard to sculpt her into a meal. I nearly had a heart attack when you chucked her the river. You should have said that before. I thought she was your pet, man. No. Why did I bust my ass to find her? <laughs> You're not wrong. Then here, you get first dibs. You deserve it, Ichiban. But nothing like the first crunch of a fresh crustacean. Here goes. No, he's gonna, gonna kill her. No, he's gonna stop it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, or wait a minute. Hold on a sec. What's with you? Uh, Freshness is fleeting, you know. I, I. Could you hold off on devouring, Nancy? Devour. Devour. Huh? Oh, what are you saying? Now's the best time to chow down. The thing is, I kind of got attached to Nancy. <laughs> oh but my god. Searching gave us a real bond. What? Huh? You bonded with a sea bug? <laughs> hey, you're the one who named her and took her for a walk. Uh, Rocko Stocko Chi said, It's just a crawfish stopping a simp. Ichiban is a simp for crawfish. There you go. Fake tip alert! Fake tips! What? The Vesuvius tip is not legit? What? What? Fake tip alert. The Resuvius tip is not a legit tip. Is someone impersonating Resuvius? This is not good. This is terrible. Gee, thanks for the tip. Stop everything. Stop everything. Right now. I can't believe this. You're right. You're absolutely right. An unregistered account tip. Unregistered. Oh my god. Well, I'm refunding it. Alright, I refunded it. Okay. How much was the tip? It was five bucks. It wasn't a giant deal, but it's just a pain in the ass to have to do that live. All right, so now we got to subtract, if you can believe it. Now we have to fucking subtract from the tips total. <sighs> All right, fine. Fucking asshole. Whoever you are, I just have a very sincere message to tell you tonight. Fuck you! Okay. Um... God damn it. Right. You're in it now. Oh, hello. Oh. Nancy John, Crustacean Damnation. Uh oh. Here they come. Plague of Pinchers. The Y pose. Whoa. Superpowers. Ooh. Impaled his face. It didn't do anything. What the hell? It didn't do anything. It did like no damage. What was the point? Some extra cash. There's cats in the background. Look. It's nice being called a hero. There's some cute cats in the background. Grooming. That's very cute. By the way, Jasper is asleep in the pile of vests right now. He's also very cute. <laughs> Execute clown mode. All right, so. Whoa! Holy shit, look at that! Whoa, look at all that! Whoa! 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 Holy shit! What is going on? Look at this! I'm getting a ton of rewards! Look, look! I'm getting all these rewards! Boom! 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 Boom. Boom! 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 Deactivate the clown mode. Very nice. Owned. Oh. 
I actually like the fact you have a full party now. The game feels- Oh shit! Oh! Fuck. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, it looks like he's in business. My eye is burning. My right eyeball just started burning really badly. Ah! Ah! Ah, my eye's coming out of my head! Oh! No, it's not. It just it burns bad, though. It's annoying. Well, I guess that's it for now. I guess we come back here later to continue the quest again. All right, now I guess we can do, you know, I was trying to get to the main mission earlier and I ran into the hero stuff and I got distracted again. <laughs> I still didn't do the main mission. Um, you know, there's one more hero mission over here we can do. Then maybe we'll go to the main mission. We're doing like no qu story tonight at all. You notice that, right? None. All right, Derek, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you for bug snacks tomorrow. We have made absolutely no story progress tonight. It's all side quests. It's crazy the amount of side content they put into these games. By the way, the game looks good, and it's kind of a shame that I'm wearing these glasses and I'm only seeing the games in fucking yellow. <laughs> you know? Okay. Next time around when I play this, I will definitely focus on story. Obviously, it's nice to do the side content, but I know that some of you probably tune in to want to see story, and seeing zero story in a full-on, almost three-hour session is, I, I admit, a little disappointing for some, but next time I will definitely focus on story, okay? Cool. Bop it up, bop it up, bop it up. And dead. Ah, can I unlock fast travel here? I think so. So I think that's unlocked fast travel now. It did. Sweet. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, hello. Look what I'm playing. Holy shit. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, the hype of the PlayStation 5 launch has died down a bit. We're about three weeks... Three weeks from when the PlayStation 5 originally launched. Gomez says, have you ever thought about going back to school? I mean, what would I go back to school for at this point? Just being honest, I don't know what the hell I would go back to school for. Okay. <clears throat> I get it. I'll keep my mouth shut about Chinatown. Yo. Fucking Chinatown. All fucking Chinese. I killed every Chang, Chong, Chinky Chang, Yang, Wang, everyone in the fucking town. I'm kidding. Um... All right, uh, The Witness by Adam Jones is cheery, so can you ask Tony Hughes to, to donate a sub to his boy, The Witness by Adam Jones? No, and if you ask again, I'll ban you. Well, there you go. let's have a little <clears throat> faith in Sachan. Don't forget that, all right? <laughs> Jingle Pop says, but unlike GameStop, her job is actually useful and unique. <laughs> You've got a lot of spirit. Don't see that too much Damn. anymore. You can craft and enhance your weapons and gear at the Romance Workshop. What? <laughs> Why is it called that? Expand Dong says, Don't mention Kingdom Hearts. People want you to play the whole series now in 60 frames per second on PS5. That's never happening. All right, I'm going to make the bastard soda. So I'm going to have some items for when I can change my job. I'll have items right off the bat that I can use. That's what I'm talking about. So that's good, but I don't know what these jobs are. Wow, pretty good. Big Sylvan Sylvanio thumb to that. The Sylvanio thumb? No one's talked about that in a week since now. I'm not having thumbstick issues in Call of Duty anymore. My Sylvanio thumb. <laughs> Do we really have to go to that story again? The Sylvanio thumb? What the hell? My sing screwed Nihau, up over there. Welcome. Oh, there we go. Nihau, welcome. So this is the, the Chinese hostess club. Oh Whoa. boy, more oh, hostess yeah. stuff. A nice Japan. way to be greeted. Uh, unbelievable. Every single girl is sexy as hell. Unbelievable, you dumbasses yeah, would I, pay I to no be idea. here. A place like this was on Restaurant Row. Focus, guys. We gotta find Zhang. Dumbasses. <laughs> Get out! No one said you could touch me, you pervert! <laughs> On the contrary, your boss said I could have my way with you. All right, let's break every bone in his body. Okay. This nasty cue ball head tried to lick my armpit. Oh, that's a new one. Look at this guy. A shill board. Okay. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. Let's go. <laughs> 
Why are they just staring? <laughs> 50 bit Quan Chi said it's a rare enemy usually found on Twitch and YouTube. They use various techniques to get their, their victims to buy stupid shit. Yes, chill boards. Correct. <clears throat> Twitch TV looks for streamers who are going to constantly be begging for money. Okay? I need subs. Send me donations and subs. With us? Uh, no. Are you sure? No. Yeah, as long as don't you don't take a look at it and run out screaming. It is pretty filthy. Why the hell would you want to stay with them? Oh, nice guy. You know that? Me? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. Why would you want to stay with them? That's disgusting. A bunch of stinky ass fucking hobo men. <laughs> Why would they want to why would you want to stay there? Oh my god. Wait. <clears throat> is god. Mike Tuco was to me five dollars thirty eight cents apologizing for his previous behavior and saying Mucho's hooks to Jasper the best kitty. Well thank you for the tip, but I don't know who you are. <sighs> to get unbanned you have to email me at darksidefellowhotmail.com with your info or you can talk to a mod, but tipping me now is not gonna get you unbanned. I don't even know what your Twitch name is. Hey <clears throat> Explain. Yeah. And thanks a bunch. Okay, take a look then. <laughs> look at this. You can change jobs at Hello Work. Each character is suited for different jobs, so be sure to choose ones that work for each party member. Jobs will become available as you progress through the main story. However, you will not be able to change a job until you meet its prerequisites. <coughs> Excuse me. Changing a character's job will cause them to wear a uniform associated with that job. You can freely select for the uniforms available. That about covers it. Okay. I'll be able to place you in... Alright, and then Sayako... Can be either a hostess or an idol right now. So a hostess brings enemies to their knees thanks to a trenchy clutch bag and hospitable spirit. Capable of learning special hostess skills. They'll have the enemy completely wrapped around one's finger. Oh my god. Or idol. Let one sing and dance their way to victory. This is sounding good. Using an assortment of microphones. Capable of learning techniques to make complete fools of the enemy with cutesy movements or heal allies with overflow of charm. All right. This is sounding good because I'm going to need a healer if Namba is no longer going to be a healer. This is sounding good. Oh, oh, what the fuck? They just had to fucking put this in the game, didn't they? The Night Queen learns techniques that will send enemies and allies to heaven, hell, and everywhere in between with violent kicks. I'm a mature adult. Alright, we'll do that. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we got a bunch of spammers here. Okay, I'll get rid of the spammers. Hold on a second. So who's spamming? Got rid of him. Who else was spamming? Uh, I don't see it. Oh, here we go. So beautiful butterfly was doing it. Uh, yo, yo, chocolate milk oats was doing it. Okay. All right, good. Got rid of him. Who else? That's all I can see for now. Three people who were fucking spamming copy pasta. All right, well, enjoy your bans. Um, you know, if you want to follow the rules, you can come back at a later date and ask for an unban. But since you didn't follow the rules while I was looking at jobs, you basically just got fucked and you deserve it. So. Here, let's fight this guy right here. Let's see what our new abilities are. There we go. Oh my god, look at it. What the? Whoa! <laughs> he dances the entire time. Let's continue. Let's head towards the side mission. Very nice. The job system is definitely going to make this game a lot more interesting, I feel. Alright, yes, I'll get rid of this idiot. He's basically just fucking bothering everybody. I don't want to, but... Fucking moron. Alright. Fuck off, stupid. What a dummy. Try and enjoy the game. You got some asshole that's to fucking spam nonsense. Maybe this guy will sell a better hammer. LP101 took me a dollar. If you press taxi on the smartphone, it'll taxi you? Oh, really? You don't actually have to get to a physical taxi, you tell me? I didn't know that. Shit. Well, I already came over here. I don't think I... I feel the stats going Level up. <laughs> oh, you guys are right. I forgot the gunner glasses. I came back from break, and the gunner glasses disappeared, but now they're going to reappear through the magic 
of video editing. You see that? Look at that. They just appeared magically on my face. Can you believe that? What high level uh, production values I have around here. Anyway, I guess we're... Thanks for the money, dummies. Because that's exactly what you fucking are. A bunch of fucking empty-headed idiots who paid me money to get absolutely nothing out of it. Thanks. Much for clever conversation. Don't be so hard on yourself. It takes practice. I definitely wasn't a natural at it. But neither of us is looking for tips right now, so who cares? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what's happening with the club now? Still going strong, even without Nonomiya? Wait a minute. People in Japan actually have normal conversations and don't pay for people to talk to them at hostess and host clubs? Are you kidding me? This happens in Japan? I, from, <laughs> from the Yakuza series, you would think everything takes place at a host or hostess club. I've got the girls holding down the fort. They should be fine, barring any earthquakes. No. Never. I just have my hostesses secretly check in on them every now and then. Now, wait a minute. My son ate the cat, just said, it's a video game, Phil. Someone should say something about America if all they did was watch your stream. Well, damn well, I'm Mr. America. I am representative on this stream of every American. So you should absolutely talk about America as a representative of how I... I conduct myself on my streams, and I will take that responsibility 100%. Mr. America. That is my name. Nanoha yeah. doesn't want to see your story, too. He just insulted all shonen manga. <laughs> no way do you really mean that. It's true. No one likes shonen okay. manga. What are you, Let fucking stupid? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe what I can do is I can try to buy a new hammer. I don't think the pawn shop has it, but there's two places. Romance Workshop and then this place. Maybe one of these places has a new hammer for Adachi. No, it's Taylor just choose any plans to return to GTA 5 one day. New DLC is coming out. All of the DLC is for GTA Online. I don't care about GTA Online. If ever someone wanted to see me go back and play, oh my god, and play the story again, that I would consider for sure. I would consider doing the story again. Because I only played through the story once ever. Remember when it came out for PS4, I started doing it and people didn't want it, so I stopped. So I would consider playing the story again. But. I'm not going to do GTA Online. That thing is a complete waste of my fucking time. It always has been. It's like the ultimate time waster that they made a bajillion dollars on because people just like time wasters. <laughs> Lollerman is just cheering and said, if you have any questions about jobs or the best reach character, Kasuka is hero, Namba is homeless guy, uh, Adachi is enforcer, and Psycho is idol. The starting class for Kasuka and Namba don't need to be changed. It doesn't hurt the level jobs for the permanent stat increases in certain abilities. Well, I'm going to stick with what I got for now. And maybe I'll go back to those later, but I'm going to see what I got for now. Okay. Yeah. Move back, baby. I've been playing the game on stream. I don't have time to stop playing the game and somehow look up hard drive spaces. You've been asking all day. I appreciate you're interested in that, but I'm not going to be doing that during a gameplay stream, dude. I'm not going to drop everything to just start pulling up stats on the PS5. What he's doing is he's asking how much hard drive space do I have left on the PS5 with all the games I have installed on it. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'd have to look it up. I'll try to slot once or twice. Kill some time. Some of these have had way more games, way more matches than others. Okay, we'll try Million God, Return of Gods with the Gods. Oh, what? I have to download add-on content. Is it free? Yes. Well, that's odd. It never installed it with the base game. Oh, this sucks. I can't do it now. It's going to take forever. Look at this. Oh man. Well, I guess we're not doing this now. We'll have to come, we'll have to come back later. It's going to take a while to install, so I'm not going to do that now. That's weird. Why did they do it as a separate thing? That's never happened with a Yakuza game before. Huh. I've been smart with my money. I didn't blow all the money that I made. I've been smart with my money. I didn't blow all the money that I made. I've been smart with my money. I didn't blow all the money that I made. I've been smart with my money. I didn't blow all the money that I made. I've been smart. <sighs> all right. So outside of all that, guys, uh, right up front, right early on the pre-stream, I want to be honest with all of you. Yesterday really sucked for me and it had absolutely nothing to do with anything on the streams. The streams were going well. But anyway, streaming wise, all right, it was a great day. We had fun on both streams. It was a good time. But... Behind the scenes, not so much. Because yesterday, I received so many chargebacks behind the scenes, it negated what I made on the streams. 
and you know i'm not exaggerating here it, it literally negated any contributions that i got on my streams yesterday that's how many chargebacks came in now the thing is the good news is this is actually not as bad as it's been it actually was way worse at one point <clears throat> but i've been able to kind of at least put on a frontline defense here when these fake tips are coming in i usually can identify them and either screen you guys know i screen them now if i see a tip that's in a regular's name i usually will ask around and say is this regular here who is this person and if they're not there to confirm that it's a tip from them i refund it immediately um i usually am able to you know stop that problem from happening on the back end the problem is it's not always that easy there's people who come in here and you know it's a name that i don't recognize and a lot of these contributions are small that are now being charged back and those are e more easy to slip through the cracks. Okay, now, it just sucks because I've been getting like one a day, a couple a day. And they're very small. And it's not a big deal, okay? <clears throat> but, yesterday sucked ass, okay? Yesterday, I streamed. I had tons of fun streaming. And we had great streams together. I did raise stuff on the streams. It wasn't that you guys didn't contribute. You did. But... It was all negated by chargebacks. That's not cool. Putting out a full day of fun gameplay and work, honestly, and getting nothing for it. Imagine you went to work one day and, you know, you had you, you felt like you did a lot of great productive stuff and you get told, well, you're just not getting paid for today. Oh, thanks. Sounds like, sounds great, right? Thank you very much. Now, by the way, cheering, subbing, also great ways to contribute. The only reason that I say that I prefer tips is because tips I can it helps me right now. I can spend it on something immediately that I need. Cheering and subbing, I don't get any positive benefit from those for at least a month. There's like a month waiting time, processing time before I get any positive benefit from those methods of contribution. I'm still very, very appreciative of anyone who cheers or subs. It helps a, a, a lot. It really does. But you know, it's the tipping that right now would help me in the short term, especially to make up for the fact that yesterday got completely countered by bullshit. Okay. <clears throat> Apparently, she's here looking for Norma Mia, but she doesn't know he's dead. Okay. Now, apparently, I received a tip from FBG Duck, but I'm not sure if FBG Duck has ever actually tipped me before. Um, but it says he tipped me $5.50. I'm a $5.50 tip bitch. <sighs> well, let me know if you t actually tipped me, FBG Duck. If you did, obviously, I'll count it, but I don't know if this is really you or not. Okay. So, let's see what's going on here. Were you even listening? No, I never listened oh. to you. <laughs> uh, honestly, sorry about that. I make it a point to ignore everything you say. <laughs> it's cool. Stupid. Boost sales. Try running the business to get a feel for how management works. Okay. Wow. Negative. We're projected to lose money. It's not a very good business venture. I'm just saying. So it says. You guys can't see because it's at the top of the screen. It's so a share price ranking, rank 150. Management funds 500,000 yen. We got a job okay. to do. What the fuck? Look at this. Buddies now. So trust me, <clears throat> you need your beauty sleep. She doesn't have a thing for me, does she? Oh my god. You ever notice how she only picks on me? Maybe that's what she does to men she's secretly attracted to. Not what a idiot. chance in hell, old boy. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <clears throat> hey, how about I make dinner for everyone? Wow. You can cook? No. Like a chef. I'll just go buy some ingredients. Nanchan, come with me and carry the bags. Nanchan? Here we go. Oh my god, he's such an idiot. He's such a dummy. <laughs> she sure seems happy. It sure is a long plot segment. We had one fight in the hour of gameplay I've done today. And everything else has basically been a cutscene. <laughs> that was it. One single fight. And now cutscene, 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 cutscene. Holy shit. Like, to me, this game is work. To me, this is like I have to really work my butt off to fucking succeed. And I don't want to do that. I want to have fun. Let's see if I can do this extra hero for hire mission. Maybe we can actually do that side mission we never went to. Maybe it's safe now because we're higher level. Maybe we can actually... Maybe we can actually survive getting there. Ow. Yes, 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 yes! 
Yes! Oh, the final hit missed. Here we go again. Yes! 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 Yeah! Oh my god. Yo, that windmill is insane. That windmill is fucking crazy. Oh, never mind. I still do good damage to it anyway. Nice. Okay. You wanna fight? Yo! They're dancing! Synchronized dances! Nah, no, you killed the whole party! <laughs> Hollow followers. Nice. Mario Kart with a rock and roll soundtrack. Well, I don't think anyone's gonna catch. Oh no! Oh come on! Jesus! That sucked ass. They almost caught me because of that shit. Final lap. I can't believe I almost blew it. And then here's Day. Oh my God! Daytona soundtrack. Daytona. Let's go away. Let's go away. Daytona. I remember that from the arcade. Sonic soundtrack CD. Open your heart from Sonic Adventure. <clears throat> okay, so that was that. There's one more street over that has a lot of shops. Ultimate pork buns. Kaijin specialties. Robo, yeah, I did a hundred bit cheer yourself. Genuine respect for you. Many people would not have been able to persevere at what you've dealt with over the years. You are very positive and cheerful now. Thank you, Robo. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I'll be honest with you. When I started this, I was a different person. I was basically not taking it seriously. And yeah, I was kind of a, a, a constantly angry at stuff. You know, I legitimately love what I do. I, I feel that this is meaningful. People tell me all the time that they love the streams I put out, the interactivity we have, the fun we have together, sharing games together. It's really cool. Things are, are good. Things are good. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that support. Thank you, man. What is this now? Onion seedlings. Okay, something else I can plant. Cool. Thank you. Spawn killer with a good eye there. I completely missed it. As you know, I'm an old fart and I miss things. I don't don't have the good vision I used to have, so I miss out on things all the time. I'm not observant anymore. <clears throat> Very good. Okay. Do I wear regular glasses too? They're for distance. So if I'm driving on the highway or I'm driving a long ways, I'll usually wear them. But I don't wear them in the house. I don't need them in the house. Taking pictures? Take an ID photo here. Hmm. Ugh, I hate those things. They always make you look so ugly, don't you think? <laughs> nah, it'll be fine. What'll be fine? Well, you'd be amazed at how much editing these things can do now. You'll turn out gorgeous. You were supposed to tell me I'm not ugly. <laughs> Toughen the fuck up, bro. We don't have time for your bitching. That's right. Stop being a puss. Showed up. Hmm. And now that seed has blossomed into the most beautiful flower. So he was hoping that the Seiryu clan would try to avenge Nonomiya because Nonomiya was supposed to be pre being protected by the Seiryu, their territory. But in reality, they lured them in there as instead. So they're hoping that this video will make people think that it was still the Seiryu. Oh, really? Someone just asked me, do I think every game should have accessibility? Let me put it this way. Every game should have accessibility, all right? Now, obviously, if it's a game it? that's meant to be a competitive game, like Street Fighter, if you dumb down the controls to make them super easy for someone to make it accessible for them, that's great. But obviously, now you have to realize in tournament play, that's probably not going to fly. But outside of that, yeah, every game should be accessible. Why wouldn't they be? Got it. Embroidered jacket? I never already have that, actually. I'm certainly not one of these these people that's like, oh, everyone wants to get good. No game should be accessible because it should all be challenging and it, it should get good. I, I don't care. Like I said, unless it's a competitive game, that's a different story for tournament play. But outside of that, I, I don't see. I'll be honest. If I wasn't if I wasn't getting paid for this, I wouldn't be playing this game. Considering I've only got about 15, 20 minutes left to stream. Should I open it? Whoa. What the hell? Treasure displeasure? A creep crawled out of a safe for the first time. It's a dude, you know what it is? 
It's a fucking it's a it's a monster in a box from fucking Dragon Quest. A shaman. Yeah, dude, it's a monster in a box. Huh? Oh no! Expect ah! when opening these things. But if he was waiting for me. How long was he cooped up for? <laughs> Ages. So I wonder if in 15 minutes I'll have enough time to get to the next save point. If not, I'm going to lose some progress here, which sucks. Right? I might lose progress here. I don't know what to do about it. I'm going to take these off, by the way, because they're starting to bother me. Last 15 minutes of the stream. All right, let's see what happens here. Can I get to the next save point in time? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Oh. I really hope there's somewhere to save within 15 minutes because I don't have the ability to play late tonight, so this game can go fuck off. <laughs> I'm serious. I just have to fucking redo this stupid bullshit again. Cut all the skip all the cutscenes. Here we go. Oh yes. 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 Wow. Here. Please let there be a save point. Please. No! There's no save point! Instead, there's a bunch of fucking enemies. God damn it. Should I open it? Whoa. No! It's another one of these enemies! Seriously? No time for this. Oh my god, look at this motherfucker. Look at this motherfucker. Tinker's man. Black Mage C type just did 100 bit cheers. So happy to see Kuzi 7 get the daytime streams it deserves. It's my personal game of the year 2020. Sorry, Bug Snacks. By the way, when you visit Ichiban Confections, make sure you invest in improving the business periodically. Keep your employees happy and don't assign work to unhappy your tired employees. And don't forget to visit the workshop to upgrade your weapons. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Relax. Calm the fuck down. Stop telling me how to play and let me play my game. All right. Holy shit. Oh yeah, you guys are right. My camera's in a bad position. I need to move the camera. It's blocking all the enemy life bars. That's a very bad place for me to have the camera. Let's scoot it over here. That should be much better, I feel. Uh, you have an item. Lower the enemy's attack. Let's lower the enemy's attack. Sly pose. Let's do it. Oh my god. This is the first time I used it. It worked! It actually worked, so that's good. Um... I married, stupid! Oh my god. Why would they be arguing about this in the street like this? been dropping lower than that sagging ass of yours. My advice? Find a cushy day job and let the next generation run the show. Got it, granny pants. Do you see what I mean about... Do you see what I mean about this game? Like, you'll have a really awesome, amazing interesting serious story segment or a dungeon that's really cool and then back to this like over sexualized shit it's like they can't stop doing over sexualized content in this game and like i said earlier in the playthrough i understand maybe what they're trying to do is expose the actual like the underbelly of japanese society but he gets to the point it's like okay i get it you think sex is funny i i get it the millionth time can we like not keep doing this but they just keep doing this seriously this is rid absolutely ridiculous the friggin' the leader of, of Kythera or whatever that that island was that ends up being a cultist. The friggin' uh, the the weird ass dude who wanted to sleep with you the whole game, and now this random woman. Everyone is sleep, sleep with me, sleep, sleep with me, have sex with me, sleep with me. What the fuck kind of game is this, man? Like I'm seriously, like, I'm actually angry. I'm 37 years, I'm 36 years old, I guess. I thought I was 37. I'm 36 years old. I don't need to be constantly bombarded with this stupid shit. <laughs> That's not what I play the game for. Oh my god. Yeah, Swaggin says the devs are all virgins, which is good because we don't need their kids to grow up and make shit games. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, what the fuck did they do the game like this for? It's ridiculously out of control. It actually pisses me off. It's like my one, one of the major complaints I have. Oh, my legs! Stretching! Oh! Oh, my legs! Stretching my legs. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, da, da, da. I gotta wake up. Oh, is this it? Yes, it is. 
We are at 1,030 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, we lost four subs today. I'm incredibly incensed at this. I'm so upset that this is my live final stream ever. I will never stream again after today, just so you guys know. Gorilla X Pimp is here to choose the first one. If you're here for Chappers, two if you're here for Phil, and three if you like Wendy's Chili. Oh my god. <laughs> I took it upon myself to indulge her and waited for her to arrive. But for as long as I waited, she never came through the door. Six months went by. Then a year. Oh, wow. Until I finally got word that she had been in a car accident. Oh, no! She was taken from Oh, me. my God. That's so sad. In some ways, that legend malt is the only thing I have oh, left Oh, man. And Namba drank it. <laughs> oh. It's like, oh, fuck. Given I really that, fucked up now. Are you still going to insist I pour it? Priority. As long as you're flexible and responsible, you'll be dead free eventually. Sounds like you're my right. back tax is playing. Thanks for helping me sort <laughs> through that. Anyway. That's why when people are in the stream chat and they joke about my taxes and finances, they think it's funny and they make fun of me for it. That shit's not funny. You know, that shit hurts because you might think it's hilarious. You know, oh, he's an e-beggar. Dude, I just want to fucking have a nice life with cat. That's it. And I can't. We can't. We're stuck perpetually nervous about the future, about are we going to have to leave our house and everything. So when people do that shit, it's fucked up. All right? It just is. It's fucked up. And the people who do that kind of stuff, and the thing is, it's not even just trolls. It's just stream viewers, too. They still look kids who don't understand the, the, the actual severity of the situation that think it's fucking funny to joke about it. That shit's not funny. It actually, it hurts badly to see people think and take, make levity of my life and the fucked up stuff that happens to me in my situation. You know what I mean? Um... It sucks. And, you know, this is me kind of just being very upfront and honest with you guys tonight. But, you know, it's it, it does. It's very, very disheartening that people want to come on my stream and make fun of that shit when there's nothing to make fun of. It's a terrible situation. It's stuff that's been out of my control that's fucked my life up. And now, uh, a beautiful woman who I live with, who I want to marry, and all that, all on hold because of this bullshit. It fucking sucks. There we go. Dude, it's super sad. Like... I knew it wasn't going to work out. We're saying goodbye. But it's like, LB, it's like, yeah, I'm breaking up with you. Fuck off, motherfucker. You're a deadbeat. <laughs> like, what the hell? Why is it so upbeat? Maybe I'll skip the next round. You know, hold on. You know, it's respectable to worry about your sister at the same time your sister's actual, like, relationship is really none of your business. So I understand she's kind of being protective of her sister, but at the same time, that's her sister's judgment to make, right? I wouldn't be judgmental of a sibling's relationship because there's nothing you can do about it, you know? Love is love. Anyway. I have those days too. <laughs> love, I, I have those days too. <laughs> wow, it's bad. Oh my god, he's playing a guitar! <laughs> Alright, that's fucking funny. He wants to level up. Oh, it's a, it's a gamer song. Yeah, it's a gamer song. Alright, this is fucking funny. Let's go level up. 100! First in the world! Number one. I am number one. All others are number two or lower. West Central. Here we go. So then we'll go around, we'll do more side missions, but I want to change those two jobs right away. Okay. DSP Pepe says, can we do a poll to see how many fans want BTTV emotes in the chat? No! Stop asking. Anyway. Ah, Namba! Stop crowding me, dude. I'm trying to change jobs. Out of the way, man. Um. <clears throat> Hallelujah, he reigns. Just took me $21 and says... Uh, put on that vest! Alright, very nice. Modest wow, spender. Pretty good. And then we'll do... Let's do the Mirage Coat. That looks insane. Oh, I can't! It costs 100000 I can't afford it! Oh, it's so good and I, I spent my money. Shh, fucking... Ah! I blew it. I spent my fucking money. I've been smart with my money. I didn't blow all the money that I made. Yeah, I don't have enough money for any of this. I need to find a way to make a lot of money. 
I seriously have to make, find a way to make a lot of money because right now, things are not going so well in that regard. And the bottom line is, I need a lot of fucking money. Now, just to forewarn you guys, once Cyberpunk comes out on Thursday, that's what everyone's gonna want to see for a bit. So just understand, I am gonna keep playing this, but it may have to not be played as often. I am gonna balance this with Cyberpunk, okay? Blah, 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 blah. Sometimes the people are almost talking over themselves, and when they do that, there's no time for dramatic pacing. There's no build, there's no... It's just like, blah, 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 cutscene over. And... Blah, 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 blah. How about this? Fuck you! <laughs> How about that? I don't know what to say. I wasn't enough for him. I don't worry, even the toughest mistress in town. Oh, God, here we go again. What did I say about this game? It's a mistress in a sexual business again. Here we go again. Oh, my God. Here we go again. Same old shit, dog. Just a different day. Here we go again. Blech. All right, so we got a troll in the chat that I have to get rid of because he's being insanely disrespectful to my family. So this person has to go fuck himself. Okay, fuck you, you piece of shit. Dream I of, love of drama. That drama shit. I know. love it. I, I crave <laughs> the drama. What the fuck? Daddy oh, issues. Hold on. Warm and fuzzy whenever I see a swing. Oh, I really liked them as a little girl. My dad used to take my sister and me to the park all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, if I ever start a family, I'd want us all to play together on weekends, too. I'm having a hard time seeing Adachi as a dad. Oh, come on, I'd be a good dad, right? In fact, I'd be a regular old sugar daddy. That doesn't mean what you think it means. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. Ever. Huh? Oh, well, you get the idea. Started so sweet and ended in salt. If you want salt, I'll give them salt. I'll give them more than they can handle. As the months turned into years, my senses began to dull. Jeez. Eventually, I felt nothing. Wait a minute. Happiness is fleeting as they said. Wasn't there a James Bond villain? That that was the exact plot of the villain that the villain couldn't feel. And he became a super villain because of it or something like that. And then they fight in this big epic ending scene of the movie. And the guy couldn't feel anything. That was a James Bond plot, but I can't remember which movie that was. <clears throat> which brings us to the tree. The world is not enough. That's the one. Okay. It with my head. And did it? We. I got this. Hard ball. <laughs> he hits him in the ass with a fucking baseball. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Here we go. No one's fighting on Twitter. You can ignore our breezy. He's talking out of his fucking asshole. There's no one's supposed to pick fights with people on Twitter. I'm not picking fights with anyone. I'm playing a fucking video game. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Just ignore him. Here, allow me to debunk our breezy quickly on stream. Wrong. Okay, let's continue. Okay. What? That's crazy. Hey. All right, hold up. Whatever went down at the bars between him and me, nothing happened, and that's the end of it. No one cares what you say. All I need to do is take the shit out of context, and that's what people believe. Creative liberties, you know. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Now, I hope you're not thinking of going around exploring. You look at me like that. I can tell you're not bullshitting. You protected her, all right. Looks like I'm the fraud here. Instead of doing proper research, I only swallowed up the hype. You mean like Some every journal. single fucking person on the internet? Yeah! Just I am. Holy shit. Mm. Unfortunately, not everyone can bear the intensity. Most people take off running before they can discover its true potential. I bet that's why the other dude was running around all crazy. Kimchi works wonders on your health, particularly your skin. I suppose it's a hard sell when people start screaming bloody murder. By the way, that's complete horseshit. It's one of their weird... One of their weird <sighs> things with, with, with Asian cuisine is that a lot of Asian cultures believe that their cuisine does things that it doesn't scientifically do, but they all have these weird... Oh, this food makes you, makes you strong. This food makes you sterile. Uh, or no, excuse me, not sterile. It makes you virile is what I meant to say. They have all these weird beliefs that are not based in any fact at all. <laughs> okay. It does pack a punch... Though I was gonna die for a, thought I was gonna die for a second. No one's ever died eating kimchi. It's enjoyed by people of all ages. That being said, it seems like no one around here actually wants my kimchi. 
It makes me very sad. Hey, you're the guy who stepped in for me. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I did? Oh, yeah, you're Yumiko-chan. Oh, my God. Well, I don't know. That's what the submission was. That's out of nowhere. That's right. I hardly got to say thank you last time. Oh, please. I'm very happy with what you give me. Yumiko-chan has a day job. I bet no one guess when the sun goes down, she morphs into a, a queen of the night. Oh, my God. I wish for Leandro and son of mine would take execute clown mode. Anyway, Togbuchan decided to grow up and get married, unlike someone I know. And who do you think he married? Tell me. Go on. Yes. It's Miho-chan, your childhood friend, the girl who always walked you home, yet you never even asked her on a date. Yes, that Miho-chan. Can you believe that they're expecting a baby next year? Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Togbuchan's mother looks so happy, and wh who wouldn't? If her first, it's her first grandchild. I, for one, have longed to see my grandchild's chubby little face to tickle his tiny toes, but that day won't ever be coming to anytime soon with the way that you turned out. Wow. Clown mode activated. You hear me? I haven't even begun to say my piece, but my patience is running thin, so quit squandering your money, your time, and your life. At least have the decency to listen to the woman who carried you in her womb for nine months, then spent an excruciatingly 12 hours getting you out. They had to use the jaws of fucking life because you wouldn't come out. I'll see you later then. Deactivate the clown mode. Oh, and don't forget to eat your vegetables. Be sure to rinse them carefully, even if they come in a package. Understand? Wow. Wow. Uh, I ended clown mode permanently. Good lord. Alright. I have received a $10 tip from someone named Dragon Fist. They say I'm a big fan, and then they start asking questions about Dr. Tony Huge. Dude, I, I have no idea. Here's the thing, alright? People, I feel, get too wrapped up in dramatic shit, Okay? Dr. Tony Huge, or whatever you know, he wants to call himself on my stream, is welcome to my streams, and he's welcome to contribute. He does not become an overbearing person where he tries to make my streams about him, which is awesome because I've had contributors in the past who did that. They tried to make the entirety of my stream about them, okay? What's and, going on? Oh, hold on a second. They made the entirety of my stream about them, and that's what I appreciate about the guy. He's actually a genuine fan. He'll watch the content, he'll enjoy it, and he'll contribute to help, and he doesn't, it's not all about him. Other people recently start talking about him and making it about him, which is fucked up. He just wants to contribute and have fun on the stream like everybody else. So it's this simple. Mind your own business. Stop bringing up other people who are contributing. It's none of your business. If you have a specific question or something, but don't pry into their fucking lives. Don't talk about them constantly and try to make drama around them because it's none of your business. It's that simple. And if I see people who are going to try to make it their business to make people who are contributors miserable because you think it's funny or you think, oh, maybe I'll get someone not to contribute anymore, you're going to be out of here with the quickness, all right? So I appreciate this $10 tip, but you are dangerously on the line of verging into someone else's personal life and business. It's none of your business. Why are you doing that on a fucking gameplay stream, right? So stop it right now. You can say that right up front. It's not, not appreciated that people want to try to get into other people's shit and make drama where it doesn't exist, all right? So stop it. Okay. Who are you people? What is this? Oh, so this babes you Let me say thank you again. Sorry I had to hit you. <clears throat> but what can I give you? If I may. Would asking for another smack be too much? Oh my god. Huh? When you hit me just now. Fucking weirdo. I was stunned. I haven't felt that kind of pain in ages. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I go too far? <laughs> the opposite! I don't mean to freak you out, but I love being stepped on, spit on, crushed, maimed, you oh name it. Oh my god. But lately, I haven't been able to feel things. I'm glad this is ending. Alfred beat me down. <clears throat> that all changed with you. Never have I felt such burning admonition in my life. What you did was tenderize my heart. So please, I'm begging you. Tenderize my flesh once more. Oh my god. <laughs> With this! What the fuck? Uh, where the hell did he pull that out from? Wouldn't want you to, ma'am. Oh my god. Now execute me. Like <laughs> a minute, baby. It's so fucking cringy. Oh my god. Oh, gee. 
<laughs> oh my god, so the cringe. That's <laughs> <laughs> so boy. stupid. I'm at a loss for words. Uh. I've never been lacerated so lovingly before. Perhaps this is being too forward. But could you flog me senseless like this from now until the end of time? I promise I'll make oh you Oh my god. We could live so happily <laughs> ever after together. Yeah, too far, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's quite a tempting offer. Uh man who loves pain and a woman who lives to give it. You can't put a label on romance, I guess. Oh, my God. Huh. I wonder what they named their kid. <laughs> Thank God it's over. Holy shit. Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. I'm with the sun. And green more. <laughs> and with, I'm with the sun and with cloud. That was really stupid. Oh my god, now you can summon Mr. Masochist. Oh man. Anyway. <laughs> you, you can do whatever the hell you want. I get it, bro. You're scared. It's only natural for people to fear the unknown. Ugh. Uh. Dang. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Whoa! This way is too spicy! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm intrigued for tomorrow. I have no idea. Seriously, I have no idea what's going to happen with Cyberpunk at this point. We don't even know how it's going to run on console because no one's played a console version. So I'm excited for tomorrow, but let's save that for tomorrow. It's it's hard to sit and enjoy when you're constantly pulled out of the immersion of the world by a bunch of shit, you know? <laughs> it's going to feel good rocking a brand new Sodayama. Me, I bet I could fuck with this thing on. What? What? <laughs> Where did that come from? What the fuck are you talking about? Well, that sucked. I thought that you could bump him and get out of the way, and apparently not. Apparently, if you bump him, he immediately just steals your cans no matter what, which is stupid. I thought you could bump him and then go past them, but no. Can I bump him and take his cans? No! What the fuck? Dude, this game sucks if you can't... Oh, you can! You see what I did? I used the speed boost. Okay, if you use the speed boost in front of them. What happened? It said lucky. This person is... I can't move. This person is throwing cans all over. Oh, this is bullshit. So you can't ever touch them. Ever. Time to get paid. Good. Oh, the lucky dude! What? I pressed the button to speed up and it didn't speed up. I got robbed right there and now I'm facing the wrong direction. Oh, that was close. Kindness has gone up again, rank of Vita. That's, that's eight times. Oh, Can Quest Hero! Beat all the can collecting courses. Damn! It makes me think I could trust you with a favor. Uh oh. A favor? <laughs> I'd like you to meet with Anzai and find out what really happened. With the shape I'm in, I can't exactly hop across town. Meet with Anzai? But if you can't even get to him, how can I? There's a place on Hamakaze Street he hangs around in. Usually in disguise. Probably there now. The. Uh, in disguise? You sure you'd want you sharing that? I'm sharing because you did me a solid. Because you don't just believe whatever the mob believes. Rare thing. Uh, look, I'll make it worth your while if you help me out with this. 
Isn't that the second time today the game's calling out mob mentality, sheep mentality, where you just believe what you're told because it's a big dramatic mob that says it? Second time. And boy do I know all about that because of the shit that people say about me that's not true. So LP101 took me a dollar. He says, can I, level up, can I do more karaoke today and try to level up my characters at the bar? Maybe we'll see. I don't know if I'll have time, but we'll see. And King Michael's asking what I'm having for dinner. Uh, we are having um, goulash. My wife's homemade goulash. She made it once before. It was crazy good. So she's making it again today. <laughs> like I'm going to say no after all that. Because we need to do Namba's song again. Because I'm trying to level Namba, but it's just the same song again, right? Hope you're ready for this. Oh, really? Namba! I've been a fool, and you've been childish. This again. <laughs> yes! Can I do a perfect and not fuck it up at all? Never could go hide the truth in your eyes. Go, that's how I knew that smile was a lie. You're killing it. I love you is something you never say. Hey. Couldn't get it out, always just pulled away. Hey. So then, why? Please won't you tell me why You could find the words To say goodbye yeah. I'm such a mess I'm lost I'm no good at this I'm in love Still in love Still in love with you yeah. That's what I fucked up last time The rapid press He's been a fool. Perfect. No flaws. So I don't know what that's implied. I don't even know what that song's supposed to be about because it shows up another guy. 99.2 far, ranking of five. Probably because someone pressed more rapidly. But I did pretty damn good. I'm not stupid, I just like this song. Probably because I did it twice. Yeah, look, I leveled up my passion. Kid all by myself. It's gonna end up being a fight. Please, man. It's gonna be a scam. Right. Watch. But when you interviewed Takashi 20 years ago, it was in person, right? By the way, um, Lightside Hank, I I don't show as ever blocking you from contributing. I just checked. I saw your history of tips, and I blocked one and then unblocked it just to see if there was something that screwed up. But I not I don't think it's anything on my end because I just checked. I don't think I've ever. I don't think anyone's impersonated you or anything. So you look good to go. I don't know what happened there. If you're trying to tip and it's blocking you, I'm not. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I tried. You could try again, I guess. What if he remembers your <clears throat> face? He was. Here we go. Cyberpunk is tomorrow. People have been asking me all stream. Cyberpunk is tomorrow. Normal people don't get to play Cyberpunk today. I'm not one of the special snowflakes. I have to. I have to wait till the game to actually unlock. So I'm playing it tomorrow, guys. In the streams. Okay. Now you may notice my headphones are not on my head today. That's because my ear infection has come back again. Fourth time this year. Meds are on the way, um, and I got to make an appointment with a doctor specialist. Okay. I have a referral to do so. I'm going to do that, but basically for the next week, I can't wear headphones until this thing goes away again. Um, it sucks. It is what it is. <clears throat> the She-Wolf X cheers. It's sorry to hear you have another ear infection. This, it really sucks. The number of streamers who do not use headphones, we reach out to some of them and ask how they manage Echo. Your health is important. We don't want you to suffer. I don't have time to reach out to anyone, and quite frankly, I doubt anyone would talk to me. But if anyone knows any other streamers and you're friendly with them and you want to try to get information, please, by all means, do. I never wanted to start wearing headphones. That's the truth of the matter. When I went direct capture seven years ago, I didn't want to wear headphones. I wanted to try to make the audio work in my, my living room back in Connecticut. I tried everything. I tried 
reducing the amount of echo. I tried syncing the audio. No matter what people told me, it sounded bad. Even when I perfectly synced the audio of the microphone with what was playing through the speakers and everything, people still said it sounded bad. So I gave up, and I just wore headphones ever since. So if there's a way around wearing headphones, I would love it. By the way, if you haven't noticed, my fucking hair's all screwed up. Right here in the middle of my head, my hair gets separated and thins because I've been wearing headphones for seven years. It's called headphone hair. Uh, I would love to not wear headphones, but I need solutions then about it. And I, God, I have no idea what it would be, you know? I have no idea what it would be that I would do. So if anyone has ideas, by all means, or if you know someone you could contact and give me ideas, please let me know. I'm all ears. Literally, I'm all ears. My ears are throbbing. I need help. Okay. Well, that's two people already. It was the girl and him, right? Oh, that old lady. I wonder if she crossed the street yet. Yeah. Ah! She can't still be struggling. Maybe I'll check in case. If you're gonna give her kimchi, she's gonna shit her pants and it's gonna launch her across the street. Watch. It's gonna be like a big liquid jet coming out of her ass, but she's gonna get across one way or another, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh! Oh! Benefactor. Oh! And, uh, where are we headed? That is disgusting. I can't believe I used part-time hero to essentially wipe my ass. Please don't tell anyone about this. Thanks for choosing part-time hero. I got high-cut shoes and metal wire. <clears throat> New quest available, special delivery station constipation? What? It's special delivery. <laughs> wow. Jagalee says, you, if the air in your room is a problem, you think you need an air purifier? I mean, it could be. I don't know if the air quality in this office could cause infections. Who knows? I mean, possible. I mean, I did shampoo the office earlier this year, and the office basically is much better now. Like, I'm, I'll be honest with you. Before we shampooed this rug, this office was always, like, very musty. And yuck. it just really coming in here, the air quality, you could tell, was lower. All right. Now, it's definitely better than it was. It still doesn't mean the air quality is good, but it could definitely be an issue. I don't know. Oh, I got a silver spider. This is awesome, dude. Look at how many fucking bugs I'm getting. I'm, I definitely... I'm gonna benefit from this, I feel. I feel I'm gonna be able to craft a ton of shit. So I'm just gonna stick here for another minute and run around. Grab more bugs. Um, but anyway... <clears throat> to answer the question about the, the, the air purifier, maybe? Maybe I should try to get an air purifier for the office? Maybe one of the things I'll do next year, like I said, next year I definitely need a new laptop, I need a new chair, and maybe I should try to get an air purifier. Maybe that'll help. Is mayonnaise an instrument? I mean, it depends on how much juice, I guess. <laughs> if people figure out how to make a sufficient noise. Oh, ah. This is one of the locations for a. Oh, let's try again, loser. Yep. All right, my filth, it clings to me like wet clay. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Is this what you need? That's nasty. I can't believe I went through part-time hero twice. You think I'd learn my lesson by now? Thanks. Call us anytime. All right. Big rumble in little China. Oh my God. Big rumble in his guts. Where's little China? Oh no. All right. Let's keep doing them. There's another one up here. This is bad. He keeps using the bathroom. By the way, someone just pointed out he doesn't wash his hands. He wipes his ass with tissues. Facial tissues, pocket tissues. Which you know they're not made for wiping your ass. Right? And then he doesn't wash his hands on the way out. Cool. Ugh. Go. But apparently both he and his publisher went missing. You're going to murder Sonata? I don't know where everyone is. I don't know what to tell you. He's like, where is everyone? No one's talking in the stream chat. Yeah, I don't know, dude. The stream chat's incredibly slow today. The stream is still working. Yeah, the stream's still going. The stream chat's incredibly slow. No one's talking right now. Unless the stream chat crashed, which might have happened. The stream is still running for me, from what I can see. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. They're all, everyone's saying I'm here now. Oh, uh, no one... Basically, everyone is ignoring me. No one's interacting or talking with me at all on the stream chat. So I'm just having fun with the game. You know? It's weird because previous Spongebob streams were really fun when people were talking about me. We were having a good time. Like, no one today wants to interact. I don't know why not. I, I, I can't control that, you know? Well, someone just tipped me some money. The problem is they said something pretty fucked up. And I don't really appreciate that at all. They would say something messed up like that. Um, 
it makes me wonder if it's legit or not, honestly. So I'm just going to say fuck that. I'm going to refund it immediately because I think it's a fucked up message that they sent me. And I'm going to block them from ever being able to contribute ever again right now. Yeah. It's so fucked up what they said, I don't even want to read it. I'm serious. Like, that's this is a fucking messed up person. So. Okay. I took care of that. Pretty fucked up. All right. You also have a variety of skills at your disposal. Oh my god, this seems so complicated. You can refuse your able to critique your employees' counter arguments. Uh great. We'll start with the financial report. I'm gonna fail Listening this bad. Kusuga, if you would. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Let's move on to the Q and A. Please raise your hand work. if you have a question. I don't know what's going on. What am I doing? He can do myself. Have some faith. Unconvinced. Please raise your hand if you have a question. I don't get it. Never been better? Damn it. What's going on? Counter chance up? What? Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't get it. This is the time to act. Never been better. Fine. Unconvinced. I don't get it. This doesn't make any sense. Questions. This is the time to ask. I object. Hold on. Five. I don't even know how to. What the time is? What's this? Please raise your hand if you have a question. Okay. I get it. I just don't. Under, there's nothing to understand here. This is really fucking stupid. How am I supposed to tell what that is? That makes no sense at all. They did a real piss poor job of explaining it. Insanely piss poor job of explaining it. Oh, they leveled up apparently. <laughs> Are tanking. Nice! Tanks. It dropped. Our ranking dropped. <laughs> zero explanation. Absolutely zero. Just they just throw you to the wolves. Just fucking figure it out. Great. Delightful. No, there was no tutorial. Oh, they were the pop-ups trying to explain, but they didn't exp they didn't show anything in action, so you didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> that was incredibly stupid, is what that was. You got great work Ugh. today. I'm beat. Shareholder meetings are rough. Lawyer says it's a rock, paper, scissors system. Look at the RBG circle. At the top right of the shareholder screen, you attack based on color and spam a shareholder tenacity until it goes to zero. It's great, but what color beats what? <laughs> Never been better. Damage. What's going on? Counter chance up. What? I'm not nervous. What? Do, do I seem nervous? No. No, you're fine. And besides, the jumpiness is a cute look on you. Well, you know, I, I, I do get that sometimes. <laughs> hey, let's all keep it in our pants, okay? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, what happened? Is oh, it's zero. Deserted, I think that Sayako is uh, well, relationship is locked anyone? now. Did you see that? Kasuga. Is it a recovery item? It is. Recover 70 HP. Oh my god. 
Four Camaros says, why is this game called Like a Dragon? Because it's a play on words. It's supposed to be like Dragon Quest. Like the franchise Dragon Quest. That's that's the, the joke. Is that they turned Yakuza into an RPG like Dragon Quest. Go. He really pisses me off for a hot guy. It's always the sexy ones who piss you off the most. Oh my yep. god. That's why I prefer to associate with you guys. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing. You're all ugly. Like like Bigfoot's butt. <laughs> you look like hemorrhoids, all of you. <laughs> I think Sam Bridges cheers says you're almost skinny. Will you take off your shirt and prove it? No, because I'm ugly. I, I, listen. to make. Yeah, I bet your maker routine's no joke. <laughs> you're funny. Oh I like you. Ugh! Can you two stop flirting? <sighs> How about you tell us who you are already? I don't think the lady appreciates your tongue. It's fine. Why don't you introduce me to them? <sighs> of course. Where does your ego end? Everyone, allow me to present the leader of the Komijul. Uh, Song Hui. A little young to be the leader. She's a teenager. <sighs> She's 72 years old. Because <laughs> all what? Asians look young, remember? You mean she's their leader? <laughs> Komi Jewel's boss is a woman? Else. So you better start explaining why you have one. Uh, Ichiban! We don't, we still don't know. Whoa! Uh -huh. This bill is a misprint from our machine. It should have been destroyed. Tell me where you got this. Our surveillance network has been watching you ever since you arrived in the city. That's how we knew you had a fake bill. It's time for you to tell us the whole story behind it. Oh my god. Indeed. All right, hold on. Before we we do this, I got a theory. I know this is insane, this theory. His boss that betrayed him at the beginning of the game did this on purpose to set the wheels in motion so that all this shit would take place. He he assumed that he would be able to make his way in the city, get contacts, figure all this shit out. I think that he planted the bill on him at the beginning of the game. When he shot him, he purposely didn't kill him. He shot him in a place where he wouldn't die. And he put the bill on him so that all this would be set in motion. Because now he's going to find out all these things, right? He's getting all this intel on every gang in Ichinjo. Just by coincidence, they weren't looking for this information, right? They have no stake in this at all. They don't care about that. So, I mean, that's what I kind of think is crazy. Like a crazy giant network story where all this is happening and it was all planned by, by his, pre, his former boss. That's what I think, but I could be wrong. Kale. That's why we brought you here. Oh, really? All right, let's do it. We can go to the place called Survive. Survive Bar. There you go. One of my favorite bars just up the street. You cool with that? Yes. Sure. I'll have to get ready before I go. Let's meet at the bar. I'll see you there. So this must be how you recruit her as a party member. <clears throat> Kazuka can use a new skill called Stack Slap? What is that? Stack Slap. When the enemy won't learn their lesson, they need to be slapped harder. That requires a fatter stack of cash. <laughs> what? You beat them up with a stack of money. Oh my god. Alright. <clears throat> a new party member. Very nice. Uh, FBG Duck did 125 bit cheers. How's it going, Phil? It's going well. Thank you for asking. At least in the game, it's going very well. In real life, I'm still in a lot of pain, but... Uh, <clears throat> Story of my life at this point, I guess. I don't know what else to say. It's like get fucked, 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 get fucked at every step of my life. What the hell is he saying? Oh, I screwed up. Oh, man. Look at this, it's like a music video going on in the background. What the hell? Ha ha ha, he has his glasses! <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm fucking glasses and shit. Sunglasses. Oh, I screwed it up. 
I got distracted by the background. <laughs> He's rapping. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god. Alright, that was ridiculous. <laughs> Aggressive nasal noise has just subscribed. Thanks for the sub. <laughs> what a nice name. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Thank you to the local nomad who did a 100-bit chase. Can we get a Yakuza, baby? Actually, we... Yakuza, baby? That's like Akuma. Akuma, baby! That would be our story mission. Yup. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do the bodyguard mission. Okay. <clears throat> we'll do that. I wanna do all the side content. Someone just asked me in the stream chat, why am I doing all the side content in Yakuza 7? Uh, and a lot of it in Assassin's Creed, but I'm skipping the stuff in Cyberpunk. First of all, how about this? Fuck you! <laughs> how about that? Hey there, Elon Just Jerry. Are you consider expanding into doing tech reviews or IRL vlogs on YouTube? No! It's not who I am. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to play games and have fun and do great gameplay streaming every day. I'm not going to be doing that kind of garbage. Absolutely not. Dark Shadow Wizard Dragon Cheers. So are you still on track for getting a green screen and winning your stream deck in quarter one of 2021? All right, I've talked about this. So there's a, let me give you an update on my plans. The first, absolutely the first thing I have to do, I have to get a new chair. This chair is not comfortable for streaming and I've not been using it for over two months. I really don't like it. I need to get some kind of a new chair, okay? Um, I haven't had a chance to really look at that yet. I need to go to different office stores and stuff around here, see what they've got or see if I can find a good one online. Um, I also, I'm, honestly, I need a new laptop. My laptop is shot. This thing barely works. Now, I'm sure I could probably get a cheap laptop for a few hundred dollars. That wouldn't be a big deal. I'm not doing it for anything but monitoring the streams, but this laptop is just so bad at this point. I absolutely need to fucking get a new one. So those are like the, the step one of 2021 things that I need to upgrade if and when I can, all right? After that, then I can start to look to do other stuff. Um, the green screen is something I want to do, but I'd rather do it if I can do it in implementation of like other upgrades. So, for example, why do a green screen setup if also maybe sometime in 2021 I'm going to update my PC and then I can maybe do something better? You know what I mean? So, we'll see. But step one is definitely the chair. Step two is a new laptop. Once I have a new chair, then I can at least consider, okay, if I want to do a green screen, I know how it's going to look with the new chair. And everything. You know what I mean? So, we got to get through that stuff first and then we'll go into other upgrades, okay? It's definitely a possibility. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then 2021, I'm going to do a lot of upgrades, but it depends. It also depends on how stuff goes. we got to see how stuff goes with the stream support and everything. You know, it, things could change, right? Just because things have been good this year doesn't mean it's going to continue, but I hope it does, obviously. I want to stay positive. But let's see what happens. All right. Iconic. We should look around a bit. What if he's actually here? Yeah, let's go. The Witness by Adam Jones just did a 100-bit cheer and says, Since trolls keep flooding King of Hate forums, have you thought about shutting down your website? You save money while also not having to worry about dumb fuck trolls. I don't know what you're talking about. It's this, It's not trolls flooding the forums. It's like the same 10 idiots who come back with fucking uh, the same you know, uh, sock accounts. <clears throat> they think I'm stupid and I can't tell, but I know who they are. I just don't bother with it that much. I, don't, I use it for certain utilities like year-end events and stuff I need it for, but outside of that, I'm not gonna, I don't sit there and listen to their crap. <clears throat> So taking recoil damage. Alright, let's see how what this looks like. Damn! Yo, that did tons of damage, but he's right. He hurt him too. Witnessed by Adam Jones shoot again. He said, fair enough. My wife and I are looking at houses in the Renton area. Do you know any good real estate agents? No, I don't. Do I was the community in Renton? I don't know, because I live in a private community. It's very different than living out there with the public uh, apartments and stuff, so I couldn't even answer that question for you. Much like anything, Renton is a town that has many different areas. There's one area that's really nice. There's an area that's not so nice, you know. And you're going to pay more for the, the, the nice versus the not so nice. So, look into it yourself. 
I'm not a real estate agent either. <clears throat> Technical 2070 just took me $2.50. He says, I'm currently watching your Resident Evil 6 playthrough on YouTube. I love your commentary on it. Merry Christmas. You're the best streamer ever. Thank you very much to Technical for the tip. And Merry Christmas to you as well. Happy Holidays to everyone who doesn't celebrate Christmas. The winners by Adam Jones. Cheers. Have you thought about investing your hard-earned money in a cryptos? No. Cryptocurrency? Uh, no way I'm going to be doing that. I remember thinking this last time I was here, but this office had a ton of cats, huh? So does it. They were all strays, actually. We found them abandoned and weak. And because we kept ta taking them in, well, here we are. <clears throat> Shooting animals with kindness is a hero's task, too. Look at how healthy they are now. Yeah, man, people who rescue animals are heroes, too. They look pretty grateful. I'd like to think so. I can't imagine life without cats now. If it means protecting them, I would even become an anti-hero. <laughs> The witness by Adam Jones is now cheered again, so you don't have to throw your whole paycheck into cryptos, but it would be the wisest decision you made if you invested in cryptocurrency. I made over $200,000 so far. You're leaving a lot of money on the table. Yes, and how much exactly did you invest to make that $200,000? $5? No. You gotta, I, I know how it works. You gotta spend money to make money. That's how it works. In life, you have to spend money to make money. It's very rare that someone could come with no money and make more money. <clears throat> So those main cheers that you know every time you say you guys know I'm honest, I have diarrhea. I need some emodium now. Well, I'll be honest with you, Jetro's man. You know I'm a very honest guy. You know that I exude honesty. Uh, when you tell me that you're having liquid shits, it, it pleases me. <laughs> here you go. Okay, here we go. I try to be as honest as I can. Take it. Breaking it, breaking it, breaking it, breaking it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hope you're ready. Damn, we bounced off the car for an extra 100 damage. That was pretty sick, actually. How about a rose? Ooh, he resisted it. Damn, he resisted it. Uh, Witness by Adam Jones, Chief. So why don't you work with a financial advisor? They can help you build your wealth while paying your bills and staying out of debt. I already paid too much money to, like, my fucking accountant. Or not really accountant. He's my tax guy. I pay him so much fucking money a year, I don't have money to be paying a million people. That's the problem. I just don't. I don't make enough money to be paying a million people to do I'm shocked no one asked me about my ear today. Absolutely no one has asked me how my ear's doing. It's still got a little bit of congestion in the in the, the ear. So very light hearing loss, but no pain. And a little bit of, I'd say probably a tiny bit of swelling on the inside. Uh, you know, I'm t I, this is day six of the medicine. It's a seven day medicine regimen. So hopefully by tomorrow it'll be better. Now wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Excuse me, time ago, I was assaulted on the streets of Kamurocho, but Whoa. you came to my rescue before any harm was done. Kamurocho. You sure it was me you ran into? I wonder what what would his mission entail. I have no idea. Watch it end up being like an hour. Ha ha ha. Oh. Witness by Adam Jones now says I should set up a will for Cat and Jasper in case something happens to me. Thing is, I don't have like any assets. Like, I owe I owe a lot still on the mortgage to this home. So if I were to pass away, what I would think would happen is like I don't actually I don't know what would happen. I should I guess I should look into that because I know I, have, I don't have any unsecured debt, but I have a car loan in my name and a mortgage in my name. If I were to pass away. I don't know technically what would happen with that. Would they take assets from the house to pay that? Would it just go back, would it revert back to the loan holders? I have no idea. I actually don't know. I'd have to look into it. But anyway, that has nothing to do with the game. Welcome. How many in your party? Pocket Cafe? What is that? Let me know when you're ready to order. Hey. Hey, not to be rude, but my dig use a glass of water too, yeah? <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'll bring another glass right away. I guess she'll get here. I guess she'll get here when she gets here. Now what do I want to eat? You got? Wait, what? Help! What? Uh oh. Oh, uh, is the game implying what I think it's implying? She's not real? She's a ghost, maybe? Uh... I think so. I think this girl died. And this is her ghost. 
Oh, shit. Well, that just gave it a creepy spin. Hey, here's all for a sec. That pachinko parlor there sucked up all the cash we had. Sad, I know. Maybe you want to, I don't know, donate to our cause. Something along the lines of your whole wallet. Consider an investment to the youth of tomorrow. <laughs> Give me the money. Oh, I never expected Soji to react to people. But appear your clothes are dirty. Preparing to suck. Oh? I think there are still souls across our great land that have never heard of Soji. <clears throat> You've either been living under a rock or behind bars. Yeah. Back it up. Did you say this thing's a household cleaning? Okay. Chat is slow today. Wish you guys would, uh... I wish you guys would talk to me. Ooh, 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 talk to me. Uh, no one in the street even talking to me anymore, so I'm going to call it a night soon, guys. Sorry, but if people aren't going to pay attention, I'm not going to fucking keep playing. Still under no chest out frozen in this box, I don't know why. I don't know what to tell you. 3D Exotic is basically saying the game will have a point where you're required to grind because you need to raise 3 million yen to continue. I already know that. My wife told me because she got to that point, and now she's at the point where she is purposely just grinding. <clears throat> okay. To the point where she's just grinding in order to do that. So I know that's coming up eventually. Um, so eventually I'll probably have to go to the dungeon and everything. Well, for now, I want to do side missions. So I want to be at the top of my game when we rescue Junpei. Let's get ready. Let's do it. I don't know. That's it. Danny is asking, do I think I enjoy video games more or less than when I started doing this? Um, admittedly, more. Reason being, I was so heavily into competitive Street Fighter back in the day that I ignored most games. Really, I, did, I, I was completely out of touch with, with gaming. I didn't even have, like, any games for consoles besides fighting games and shit. And then I basically got back into games when I said, I've had enough of competitive fighting because I want to do something different. And when I did that, I reimmersed myself into playing games on YouTube. I got exposed to so much stuff that I didn't ignore that it opened my, my, my horizons. And I, let me tell you guys, doing these fun streams for you guys and hanging out with you and getting your feedback on what games I should play and stuff has opened my eyes in a big way to gaming in general. Like, I feel like I kind of missed out on so much for over a decade, right? And now, <clears throat> I'm, I'm heavily in the game. I love this, man. I really do. This is a new girl. You're gonna be all right, miss. Don't worry, folks. We're all gonna be in great hands today. Uh, hey. Okay. All right, the witness by Adam Jones is now getting permanently banned for being a disgusting person. So, you're this fucking idiot. All right. And what do you know? Looks like we got some grade A stinky trash right in front of us. That's quite a sight. <laughs> okay. All right, which vest was selected? Oh, I missed it. It closed? The fucking poll closed so quick. Why? What the hell was the poll result? I didn't get to see it. UW Dub says red one. Red one? Red vest one? Derek's is platinum one. What the hell vest one? Derek's says it was platinum. Oh my god. Let's says it was platinum. Okay, so platinum one? Alright, people were trying to troll me. Why would you try to troll? Oh my god, that was awesome. You destroyed him with the potted plane. Why would you try to troll me during the holiday season? Seriously. It's tis the season to not try to befuddle the streamer who's entertaining you. Stop trying to befuddle me. Be honest, alright? So it's the platinum vest then. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. Someone just told me to fuck off. Because they were asking about Kid Stealer. Well, how about you fuck off and you suck my butt and you get out of my chat forever, motherfucker. Yeah. Happy Holidays, biatch! Execute clown mode. Whiny old goat. Piss off! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! Oh! His body's brittle bone disease. Oh! Oh! He turns into paste. Are you okay? <laughs> oh. 
Deactivate the clown mode. Circle Hospital, one city over. It's a million they need. It's a million they'll get. I don't have a million. Go with one million yen. I don't have it. Everyone needs a million. Seriously, every fucking person wants a million. The dude over here with his robot wants a million. They want a million for this kit. You expect me to just come up with money? Do I look like I'm made of money? With my platinum vest, do I look like I made a money? Yes. 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 Oh. I th oh man, I thought this was I thought it was bowler. It's not. It's fortune teller. Allows one to gaze into the future using a precious jewel. Might sound bogus, but it's apparently capable of learning miraculous powers to bless one's allies. I mean, intellect of seven. I definitely don't have that yet. Yes, I feel stupid. Yes, I feel stupid. God damn it. Yeah, according to this, I have four, level, level four. So I can't do this until much later. Yes, I did call you stupid because you're stupid. Stupid. <clears throat> this only opens one, so every key we could open a gold. I should probably buy a bunch of these. Mysterious Mushroom. You Olivia, please stop it with your stupid memes about trolls. Seriously? No one cares. I don't say that shit. Only you do because you think it's a joke. It's not funny. Stop that. It's not in the, it's not in the holiday spirit. So stop it right now. Oh, yeah? Low Tier God just called me out. Well, shout out to Low Tier God for calling me out. Appreciate that around the holidays. It's always good to be. Oh god, he with a propane tank. It's always good to be to, to know that my name is in people's mouths or on the holidays. Oh my god, we fell asleep. Son of a bitch, this is not good. This is the toughest fight I've ever had in the game. We're getting cut the fuck up, dude. But that's over. She's you dead. Yup. Damn. We got fucked up because this guy has all these abilities we didn't know about. You're gonna be in a world. Oh my god. This is not good. Do something. So this will cure all status ailments. Which is what I need. I need them to wake up. Unaffected? So sleep is not a status ailment according to the game. Great. She's dead. We're done. We just died. I gotta do the whole dungeon over. I had absolutely no idea that it was gonna be like this, you know? How would I have known it was gonna be this tough? There was no way to know that. Yeah, I'm fucked. Don't get cocky. I'm completely fucked. Unless I could have a, a way to revive everybody, which I don't. My pound mates don't revive, right? Ugh. Get all these snacks I have. Revives an ally with half of their HP. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's go. I'm struggling now. Oh, fuck. I'm not down. First time I'm actually using items in the game, too. Right in the back. Okay, that was a close one. I had these two reviving items. I would have been dead. Lowers attack and defense. This is what I need. Lowers the attack and defense. What the fuck is this gonna be? Here we go. Big baby blues. Oh my god. I summon you. What's the matter? Oh my god. Do you want your milk? Maybe you Oh my god, look at this idiot. Man baby patriarch. Are you hungry? Oh my god, look at the enemies. <laughs> what a summon. What a fucking summon. That was insane. 
Well, she's got to heal. She's going to probably have to keep healing every turn. Wow. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Heal me. Here we go. All right. Now he knocked him off the stairs. Rotten Blast? Oh, I don't want to see this. No, don't do that. Oh! Oh, that's nasty, dude. It's like a fucking giant shit fart cloud. That's gross. That's real. That looks totally disgusting. Oh! Oh! Where are we headed? That is disgusting. So what are you guys doing? Like, no one's talking in the stream chat. What's going on? Seriously, like, no one's been talking for the past several minutes. What's happening here? You guys realize you can talk to me, right? Like, that's kind of the point of an interactive stream. Talking with the streamer, guys. AK Trader says the chat's bored because this sucks. Well, guess what? You're now banned. With the account that was created three hours ago. Just to fucking troll this game. See you in hell, motherfucker! Ah! Ah! Take that shit. I know I could talk to you. I am talking to you. I'm asking why no one's talking to me. That's correct. Huh. Well, okay. I gotta go do this mission to remember for the the, Ki the purple Kaisers. It's down here. So Central Street. I need to get to the cab that takes me to Central Street. By the way, I ran out of water, so <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna ru very quickly run over to the bathroom and fill up my my thermos of water here. I still got an hour on the stream. I'm confused. I'll take West Central Street. Okay. All right, so I don't remember who Kuze is from Yakuza 0. It's been way too long since I played Yakuza 0 to remember that character. But they're saying that that bunny character, that's Kuze hiding in the outfit. Okay. Give me some one second. I'm just going to fill up my, my bottle. I'll be right back, everybody. <clears throat> Dry as the desert. All right. <laughs> I, it's been too long. It's been, what, three years? Oh, my God. Jesus. They're crushing his bones. What do I say about the donation bit, huh? You can bow till your back hurts for all I care. That shit means nothing to me. Huh. R. Oh. Takasan. Please stop. You're going to kill him. Then tell your buddies to hurry their asses up with our money. Hand over the 20 million and we'll forget the whole thing. But you better go fast or we'll start adding interest. Grr. <laughs> oh? Hey. Sorry to keep you waiting. You must be a shitty Yakuza who take little kids, uh, who take kids a little too seriously. <laughs> and who the hell are you? Old man. Ooh. You want a little, this little shit's friends? Sure, I guess you could say that. <laughs> then, you know what we want, right? Beats me. Donation this, donation that. Who gives a shit? <laughs> nice. Asswhips like you who get a kick out of torturing kids? This should be enough. Yeah? <clears throat> do the next level of Ichiban Confections? I'm not going to do all of it. If I were to do it, I would do like one new uh, thing of it to see if I can you know, rank up and make money doing that, right? Um... Hey there, Elon Just Cheers, the chat's bored. Well, why are you here then? Okay, if you don't like JRPGs, if you don't like Yakuza, if you're bored by them, why are you here? There's obviously enough people here that enjoy it, right? So if you don't like it, come back when I'm playing a different game. I'm doing Assassin's Creed tonight, Cyberpunk tomorrow, Call of Duty tomorrow night. There's enough variety on my streams, you don't have to sit here and whine. So... Goodbye, if it bothers you, if it's boring, don't stick here. Go somewhere else, do something fun, that you find fun, and come back when there's a game that's of your taste. Okay. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> or, in to summarize, am I going to stop playing Yakuza because you don't like it? No! Okay. Now we can continue. Um... I honestly, I'll be honest with you guys. There's only 45 minutes left on the stream. Even if we started story, I don't feel we'd have enough time to do a significant amount of story. So I almost feel like I want to do more Ichiban Confections. I know some people complain. Uh, uh, uh. 
Well, I took that. That's what I want to do. <clears throat> okay. Um, where is the Jibon Confections? I always lose track of where it is. Is this it right here? There it is. So we need to fast travel over to Survive Bar. All right. Oh, it's pouring. Oh, JRPGs. Oh. Sorry. Sorry for those who have attention deficit disorder that this game is not holding you over. I'm very sorry. Come back when I'm playing something else. Okay. Yikes. 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 All right. Oh, I gotta take a sip. <clears throat> so you know what? Let's let's do Ichiban, which is right here. Let's do Ichiban, and then maybe we'll do if we have time, we'll do bar stories at the end here. Sadly, so Carlton Jr. is not here today, right? Carlton Jr. is the person who helped me tremendously uh, with this mini game last time. So I don't know how well I'm gonna do here because he's not here. I, apparently, it's harder now. Well, sure. thank you guys for helping me out so I can figure out what I was supposed to do in this game. Because I, I wouldn't... Oh, shit. I don't want to do that. I wouldn't have known if it weren't for you guys helping me out, so... Now, my properties are maxed, if I remember correctly. They're never... Yeah, they're maxed at sales volume. There's absolutely no reason whatsoever for me to uh, do anything here in regards to touching these properties, okay? I need to buy more properties. Um... What I should do, the tour guy. Everyone else is good. Okay, and everyone's happy, and nothing needs maintenance. All right, let's save up. Next time around, I'll probably, uh, I just want to get to rank 50. I figure when I get to rank 50, then we can give it a rest and do the story. Okay? And hopefully when we get rank 50, maybe we'll make a lot of money, because that's the goal I'm trying to do here, to make money to unlock the other side quests. All right, so today was 100% side content yet again, including the optional dungeon, and a bunch of other stuff. Next time around, what we'll try to do is finish up this business mini game uh, to get to rank 50, and then you make money and hopefully either unlock the other missions we can't do yet or progress the story. So this was a good, good stream. Hope you guys enjoyed Yakuza 7. There'll be more coming in just a couple of days. So no worries. I'm playing a lot of this game, and I hope you guys are having a lot of fun. <clears throat> Until next time. Thank you all. Obviously, thank you to everyone who supported the stream today. Much appreciated. Until I see you guys next time. Peace out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. To Yakuza 7 Like a Dragon. Where we left off, we were in the midst of the Ichiban Confessions minigame. We were doing the, the push to get a top 50 ranked company. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and we've been pretty successful. <clears throat> in fact, um, I think we're about to do a board meeting. A boardroom meeting, I think. Let's okay? get down to business. Yeah, board over, over. Oh no, we got one more business thing to do, it looks like. Now let's just re double check. I haven't double check. Okay, our employees need to be trained? No, everyone seems to be good. Alright, let's double check. <clears throat> well, Frappolin, did you tip me? I got a $2 tip supposedly from Frappolin, but I don't know if it's real or not. I need to confirm if it is. And if it is really him, the answer is no, I'm not making you a moderator because he asked, can I be a mod? No. And especially. The fact that you tipped to ask, you definitely can't be a mod now. Now you definitely 100% are out of the running. There's no way I would consider you now. Sorry. By the way, it was a $2 anonymous checkout tip, which makes me suspect if it's real or not. So, <clears throat> Frappolin, did you tip me? If not, I have to refund this. So I'm glad that I did this before I started with the boardroom. Frappolin, are you here? Frappolin. Hello? Hello? You don't think he's here? So it's an asshole. It's some asshole. Well, that sucks. I don't like assholes. Some people like assholes. I don't like assholes. So this guy's getting refunded. With your fake tip. See, it starts. Literally, I just start with gameplay. And we get a fake fucking a fake tip immediately. You see this shit? I had enough of this. Fuck you. Fuck you and your humbug. It's fucking... It's hot, It's Christmas week, right? Christmas week, and we gotta put up with this shit. Fuck off. Okay, let's begin. Uh, is Jack Spartacus here today? Jack, are you here today? And did you happen to tip me? Because I think we have a... Sadly, we have an imposter here who's impersonating people and trying to troll me. Um, and I want to know if this is really you or not who tipped today. Okay? I don't know if Jack is here today or not. <clears throat> Jack is here? I didn't see him earlier. 
Jack, if you could tag me and let me know if you if you tipped me. It's me? Cool. Thank you, Jack. All right, so Jack Spartacus to me $6. He said, have some money. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jack, for the support. I appreciate that. Okay. So we get them all like level 25 and hopefully we'll ace the boardroom this time. Because they've all leveled up so much. <laughs> Timbo slices cheers. If you go to Japan, would you have a Jasper sitter to take care of him? Uh, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. Hmm. Someone is claiming that they're the blocked from tipping, but to my knowledge, they're not. Um. Let's see here. Yeah, someone just emailed me saying that they're block they're banned from tipping, but I don't think they are. In fact, I don't think I've banned anyone from tipping in a while. <laughs> so let's see here not to my knowledge yeah I don't think I've blocked anyone for tipping in a while um what I would say is you could try a couple things you could try completely logging out of PayPal entirely clearing all of your cookies and everything and then logging back in so people have told me that fixes the problems um or you could just try a new account? I don't know what to tell you. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't see anything being blocked. Yeah, so I don't know what to do about that. It's not its not on my end, you know. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on. Well, I mean, she did 100 bit here. He says, Tim Curry says, what's the matter? Dark Side Phil wouldn't accept your stolen credit card. Oh, that's a reference uh, from Home Alone 2. Yes, Home Alone 2. Okay. Sigvin... Did Hunter Bitch here said, when's the next boomer segment you're going to do? Every segment gets a boomer segment when you attend my streams. You didn't know that? And KDS. It's one of the Tojo Clan crests hidden right there in the lobby. Um, what do you guys think? Should I should I save the sick kid? Or should I say screw excuse me, that's disgusting. Should I save the sick kid or should I say screw all that? Let's invest in a robot. What do you guys think I should do? Why don't we do raids? Well, because as you've seen, we get asshole trolls who do really disgusting things and wouldn't it be pretty messed up if you raid someone and then you got trolls go in there saying racial stuff that's, you know, completely ridiculous? I wouldn't do that to anyone. So, because of my level of trolling that I get, I wouldn't put that on anyone. I, they would just probably end up getting more harassment as a result, and that's why I don't do it. Gotta look at the bigger picture. Who's this? Whoa! Holy shit! Dan's Gaming just gifted a hundred subs to the community, dude. Dan's Gaming, wow, thank you so very much. That is amazing. I don't know what prompted this generosity or why Dan's Gaming is being so nice to us. But thank you very much, Dan's Gaming, of all people. You know, a very large streamer just came in and, uh, and, and helped out. Thank you. I mean, that's a hundred names. I don't think I'm going to read those. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of freaking names, man. Holy crap, that's a lot. What I would guess is a lot of these might be actually be Dan's gaming viewers because the thing is, I already have a very high viewer to sub ratio. Like I have a 923 subs on a channel that in general I get like 400, 500 viewers a stream. So in general, um, I already have a ton of subs. So I get the feeling a lot of these gifted subs probably either went to regulars who their subs just expired or to some Dan's gaming viewers. So congratulations to everybody. Who just got a sub gifted from Dan's Gaming? That is, thank you, Dan's Gaming. Wow. And again, I don't know what prompted this. You're a nice dude. Thank you so very much. That's really nice of you to help me out and also to help out all of my stream viewers. Thank you. Happy holidays to Dan's Gaming. That's really nice. <clears throat> very nice. Very nice. Okay. Why are none of them talking? Because I had to turn on sub only mode because some guy, excuse me, not sub only mode, um, followers only mode because some guy came in here and was was spouting racial shit. You know, that's against Twitch rules and it was disgusting. And there's no way for me to stop it because they found some way around the filter of Nightbot. I don't know how, but... So, thank you, Dan's Gaming. You're really nice, man. Really nice guy. Cool. All right. Let's continue. <clears throat> I, what I'll do is I'll give it a minute and then I'll update the sub count because obviously the sub count just jumped. But it takes a minute for, for Twitch to update that. So, I don't get it. That freaking guy. What'd he say? He said he wants to give us a gift. 
Is now really the time for this crap? Is it a hundred sub bomb? Is that the gift? <laughs> hmm. Seven, eight at night, where I'm doing a variety of games, like five or six different kinds of games. And uh, I'm going to be drinking during the marathon, which I almost never do on stream. And going to have some fun festivities. If anyone's interested in Christmas mood, swing by on uh, Wednesday, the 20, uh, 23rd. Uh, well, here we go. Alexander Rossi cheered. He said, I just checked Dan's Twitter mentions. People are flooding his mentions, insulting him, and slandering you over the gifted subs. There you go. And that's the what I mean. That's why, as I just said on this very stream, I would never host, or excuse me, I would never raid someone because there's disgusting trolls who harass me all the time. Dan's Gaming did nothing wrong. He did something very, a very nice gesture to myself and also to my viewers to give them all, give them all these subs. And of course, now these scumbag people are going to go harass him online because of it. That's why I wouldn't do a raid on anyone because all that would happen, it would bring those shitheads to someone else's business and stream. And I would never do that. So that's why I just kind of stay to myself. So <clears throat> thank you, Dan's Gaming, for the support. And I'm sorry that, that your Twitter will not be harassed. You might have to block a bunch of assholes. And by the way, you won't miss anything by blocking those assholes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, the president of Bleach Japan just got knocked the fuck out. You got knocked the fuck out, man! Give me my goddamn money. Now pay back the motherfucker, ain't it? Nigga! <laughs> For me, following him was a win-win situation. <laughs> the young master knows exactly how to use puppets like you. Thank you, King Michael. He just likes my t-shirt. Yes, this week I'm trying to wear all Christmas-related stuff. So today I'm wearing gremlins. Um, and then, of course, Wednesday I'll be dressed up in holiday attire. Probably Thursday as well. You know, so. Uh, hey there, Elon. Just cheers. I, I get put off from tipping. I think people will send me harassing messages. It was a lot better when we could do it anonymously. You can do it anonymously. Hey there, Elon Just, you don't seem to understand something. You notice something. There's no pop-ups on the screen for tips, right? So, what makes you think that your information is going to get out? Right now, if you were to tip me, and you were to say, this tip is from Joe Splamoni, and I just want to say happy holidays. When I see your tip come in, I would say, this tip is from Joe Splamoni, and he says happy holidays. Right? So, what are you talking about? I could see your point if the point was, oh, the pop-up messages are giving our name away. It's not. So what are you talking Like I told you guys, so I, there's some people who tip anonymously because they don't want their names out there. So I just say it's an anonymous tip. Um, and that's there's a group of people who've been doing that because they don't want to have their identity out there so people can harass them. So I don't know what you mean. You like literally have no point. What you're saying is completely nonsensical, actually. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> guys who get all weak. Eliminating corruption, creating a fair society, words like that have a lot of appeal. People thought it was naive, sure, but deep down it was exactly what they wanted. So people would praise us for our morality, if not our practicality. <laughs> Crazy, huh? A bunch of youths who'd never worked hard, shouting for the world to do as they said. <laughs> but all the attention made them feel accomplished. I thought people only did that shit because it's trendy. Exactly my point. We made it trendy, and that attracted people who wanted to see the hip. <laughs> Those types are everywhere. Wait. You can hardly walk down the street without bumping into them. You're telling me that all the activists in the world aren't actually in it because they actually believe what they're being activists for, but they're just trying to be trendy and feel better about themselves? Hmm, interesting social commentary here by Yakuza 7. And interestingly enough, look at the year we just had, right? Look at the year we just had, all right? I think this game is hitting a, a point <laughs> that has been raised many times this year, actually. They came to us in droves. The organization grew bigger and bigger. <laughs> we even paid a bunch of women to join so we'd be gender balanced. And that wow. attracted more people. <laughs> it was funny to see those Bleach Japan off the ground. What came next? Hold on. After he got it. So, in, in line with what we've been talking about, Fred Kaczynski just cheered and said, I think you're being too harsh on the phonies. It's not their fault they've been indoctrinated by decades of indoctrination on the liberal, anti-racist worldview of social justice and equity, then respond to incentives that make it advantageous to virtue signal. Here's the difference. There's those of us who can recognize that there are very good causes out there. Racism is absolutely terrible. We should absolutely should all be against racism. We should stop it. Police brutality. 
oh my god, police should definitely be held accountable for when they go way too far in enforcing the law. These are all things that are general norms that we all agree on, right? Absolutely. But not all of us get brainwashed to the point where now we think that we have to go to the extreme. We have to go protest in the streets and, and attack police and say defund the police. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a difference between understanding there's something wrong and let's make an active difference to try to change it versus let's go 100% to what this guy is saying with Bleach Japan. Create this giant force of people who are just in it for their own other reasons and really the entire thought behind it gets lost. This year... With all the protests about the police brutality and police doing the wrong thing, which were very, very, very warranted protests with everything that happened this year uh, with, 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 with the crazy stuff, right? Um, people dying when they're being arrested. It's ridiculous. Shouldn't ever happen, right? Does the, how do you make the jump from that to defund the police completely? Every crap is bad. Defund all the police. There's no logical jump there. That's called extremism. That's called allowing yourself to be swept up into someone who obviously has an agenda. And basically, it's called being ignorant. And that's the problem right now with America. A lot of people are ignorant. And they get swept up in these movements. And they're just stupid. And they just go to the extreme and don't even know why they're doing that. Um, he's basically saying that's exactly what they did with Bleach Japan. They created this movement to clean Japan. But then look what they did. They swept up all these people who were in it for their own personal gain. They didn't even understand really what they were, they were protesting. They get 100,000 people in a march when really the core group is only 500. You see? So it's interesting that this game is social commentary on exactly what happened in America this year. Now, the difference here for Kaczynski is he says, don't blame the phonies. No, do blame the phonies. You want to know why? Because they're the ones who ruin the movement. All right? Maybe this year, in 2020, we could have actually seen some major police reform in the United States. But guess what happened? Instead of actually getting that, what we got was completely defund the police, which everyone's like, we're not doing that. We're not going to completely defund police. There's people who are malicious who will commit crimes. We need police to keep law-abiding citizens protected and stop the people from breaking the law who are going to hurt others. So what happened? Most places have no police reform. Despite we had all these protests, Black Lives Matter and everything, all waste of time because the people went to the extreme. Because of the idiots, the phonies, ruined it for those who actually wanted change. I would have loved this year... To see real police reform. I would have loved it. I absolutely would have loved to see real police reform this year. How much really came about? Reality? Not much. We got a lot of people who are very upset. People quitting the police forces. Um, it's just a mess right now. It really is. You know, good, Really good uh, intentions can get corrupted by those who twist them for their own malicious purposes. That's exactly what they're saying here with Bleach Japan. They took people's intention to try to stop the bad stuff in Japan, and instead they twisted it to become a movement that now it's the only alliance or part of it and everything, right? It, boy, this isn't social commentary to what actually happened in America this year. I don't know what is. This is like 100% dead on to what happened this year. So, okay, now let's continue. Working on a <laughs> national scale, he started phase two. He sought out media attention constantly. And <clears throat> So what do I know about hot pot? I've done it a few times. I like that you can choose the different flavors of broth and the different Time meats and, and veggies quest. and things you cook. My problem is when I when I go to eat somewhere, whether it's going out to eat a relative's house or whatever, right? If I'm going out, if I'm not cooking at home for myself, I don't want to cook. You understand? Like some people love going out and okay, I'm gonna get lobster. I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna crack the lobster open and and try to suck the meat out of the the freaking the crustacean uh, shell or whatever. I don't like that. I like that I'm going somewhere, the food's already done for me, you know what I mean? Like, to me, if I'm going out of my house to eat, I don't want to have to work to get the food ready. If I'm at home and I'm going to cook, that's different, right? Because at least then I'm making my own stuff and I'm probably saving some money because I'm putting effort into the cooking or whatever. When I'm going out, I don't want to have to cook some hot pot. Like, I've had it a couple times and it tasted amazing. But it was a hassle to have to cook all that shit myself. And the other thing is when you go out, a lot of times you're real hungry. You know, I want to eat as soon as possible. I don't want to sit around waiting for myself to cook this meal. Uh, but the, oh, this guy's stuck! He's stuck in the corner, so the heck? <laughs> Lean and go squeak, already lying. He says, you remember you promised charity during your marathon stream? No, I didn't. Never promised charity. Do you remember? What was it that I said at a special event I'd like to do maybe one day that would be charity? It would be cool. It was a good idea, but I can't remember exactly specifically what it was right now. 
Didn't promise charity, you fucking idiot. <laughs> This is definitely a good thing I would like to eventually do. I told you guys that I've always wanted to do a charity event and I never was never able to. Because when I the, the year that I was gonna do it, I planned it all out and everything, and then fucking haters did so much fucked up stuff to me that year. The false copyright strike, uh, 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 fucking swatting and everything. It was really bad. Damn. Dollblast says people who are afraid to talk to you because they'll insult them or call them idiots. No, I only do that for people who are idiots. If you're an idiot and you're going to say something stupid like, Would you ever beat up another streamer in a boxing match? Yeah, I'm going to call you stupid because you're stupid. But most people aren't stupid. It's only drama queen idiots trying to cause problems that would do that, so I'll call them idiots. Yo, did you hear Jess P said he's going to beat up wings in a boxing match? Watch Fuck you, moron. <laughs> Dorky cheers, so would you rather fight Mike Tyson or replay all Crash Team Racing with a Guitar Hero controller? Uh, if I fought Mike Tyson, I probably would be faster than him. I would think, because he's pretty old and he probably can't move very well anymore. So maybe I could like, get around him and have to like, like hit him in the legs or something. But Crash Team Racing, I think, would be pretty unplayable with a guitar controller. So I'd probably fight Mike Tyson. Plus, it would be pretty fun. I think it would be a lot more fun to say to someone, did you know I fought Mike Tyson versus, did you know I'm an idiot who played Crash Team Racing with a fucking Guitar Hero controller? You know what I mean? I'm still gonna watch over Nanoha from my big sister perch somewhere. So if Yamashita-kun turns That's out creepy, to be a though. total creep, <laughs> then I'll just have to step in. Whatever it takes to make her happy. I get that. I'd want the same. <laughs> You're a good sister, Sachan. I'm sure Nano Hall will eventually realize that. Hopefully I don't know. Later. It's, it Thanks seems so to me like it's creepy that you're always going to be watching over and controlling someone's life. My sister. I really am grateful, you know. I'm glad you're in my life. Alright. Friends like sisters. There you go. Bond has been maxed just like a Dachi's. So, she can get more experience when she's not in the party, and she can use a skill tag team, Bombardier Bash. Alright, cool. We got a new tag team ability we can try out. The one with the Dachi and, and Kasuga is pretty good. Um, But no, like, I understand, like, she's trying to look out for her sister and everything, but at the same time, isn't it kind of creepy that she's trying to control what her sister does in her life and everything? Like, sometimes in life, you just gotta make your own mistakes. If the only reason that you ever are protected from anything is because someone's constantly controlling things behind the scenes how will you ever learn for yourself you know what i mean and now the sister just basically got out of that situation because of her i mean that's great you don't want the sister to obviously have been you know played by that guy but will the sister ever truly know what happened and or what's to stop her from just getting into another similar situation because she didn't learn her lesson you see what i'm saying like sometimes in life you just gotta suffer with the consequences of your bad choices so that you will learn and do better and if the sister doesn't learn then how's she gonna do better some people think it's just a game i understand it's just a game but i'm just saying in real life in perspective to put real life perspective on this right like if the sister isn't told the truth that the guy that she fell for was a complete scumbag then what's to stop her from falling for a complete scumbag again you see so I, I feel that like she needed to be told the truth of what was going on to avoid that situation from happening again. But that's my take on it. I look at it as irony. Isn't it ironic? Isn't it ironic that I'm the guy? Derek says, will the Christmas decorations be coming down because the holidays are over? They're going to stay up at least till New Year's. Probably sometime in early January, I'll take them down. Now, I don't know what else I want to do because I have the ability to put stuff up now because I have all this space behind me. I don't know what I want to do or what I put up there, you know? I don't hardly have much to, to decorate the streams right now. So, I don't know what to do. Open to suggestions. You guys liked the PS5 box at the launch of PS5, but then people said that it was there for too long and complained and whined and bitched. You know, instead of enjoying, they just had to complain and whine a bitch. So, it's done. Dude, I can't even believe it's edible. Uh, and that you're still alive after eating it. But, sounds cool. Thank, thank you for uh, getting that. That helps me out a little bit. In fact, it's been a while since I actually checked on my Teespring. I wonder if anyone actually did buy anything for my Teespring for Christmas. I have no idea. I haven't checked it. I should probably give it a look. 
Okay, I unlocked a new cab. That's cool. So I literally just said no impersonators are, are using other people's names and stuff, and they got this idiot who's doing it, so they're banned. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, here we go again. Five-star Hulksta. Cheering and said, not to burst your bubble, but Google? You may have been passing these. You may be in a different class than everyone else if you get that. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just a fucking idiot. I'm just going to ban him. Because it's a fucking troll account. Fucking morons. There. Fuck off. Okay. Finlandia was correct. I guess Finlandia. And the other one is Ritar Ritardando. Okay, that makes sense. Because to to slow down or hold back, it actually is the word uh, rit retard means to hold back or slow down. So, retardando, that makes sense. Okay. Got it. Uh, 30.303. There are six types of chess pieces. King, queen, rook, bishop, knight, and pawn. Which of these can turn into any of the other pieces save for the king? Turn into any of the other pieces? The queen can make any move like any of the other pieces. Yeah. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've done every single piece of side content available at this point in the game. At this point, there's actually nothing else to do but... Wait a minute. you got to be kidding me. A new side mission opened up. You've got to be joking. A new side mission opened up. All right. <laughs> Another new side mission. All right, um, we're gonna get to this cab and then go to Seagull Cinema and then we can continue with the story with it. 40 minutes left on stream. I don't know how far we're gonna get with the story, everyone. If you have a problem with that, blame the game creators for putting in so much fun and addicting side content. Because I just can't stop myself from doing it whenever I see it. It's too good. Dang. Time for a stinger. We have a stinger. He's on fire. Beautiful. Steven Seagull plays two. He says... No, if Steven Seagal plays, stop being fucking gross. How about that? And if you continue to say gross things like that, I'm just gonna ban your ass. Being a fucking asshole. Okay. Okay, before I go inside, I should save. I don't know what we're gonna encounter in there. I got about 25 minutes left on the stream. We'll see how far we go. Thank you to everyone who hung out with me today on the stream. I appreciate that. And uh, uh, maybe we get a few more contributions by the end of the stream. That'd be nice. If not, it's still cool. Thanks for hanging out. All right, so here we go. Can't go in unprepared. Here we go. Nice suit. Give me the money. He runs away. He's getting away. Let's go after him and make our way up. It's safe to assume Zhao is being held captive on the top floor. Being a puss. Come back here. <laughs> Back here, you puss. Got it. Good call, Tureen. Get him out of here! Get him out of here! <laughs> well, most likely, we don't know what they're gonna throw at us, so we best be prepared. Well, we can recover okay, the promise. I don't know if we can plan. save here, right? Let's gear up, get ready, and go do this thing. I'm like, I can't play any further because I don't have time to finish. But the game doesn't let you save. This sucks. Should I open it? Got it. Yeah, there's no save point. I'm out of time. This blows. What was, I guess this means I'm probably gonna have to redo this. Seriously, I doubt that it auto saved. See, I doubt that it auto saved. So I'm gonna get fucked over here. I'll go through the door, but there's no way I can finish this. Uh. From next time, I can't go, guys. Stop it. Go overtime. Go overtime. I can't go overtime. I got stuff I got to do. Eat dinner with my wife. She's going to work. I got stuff I got to do, man. So I have a schedule, streaming schedule because I have a life. I can't just be here doing overtime constantly. All right? I would like to. I definitely like this part of the game, but I can't. Listen. Here, let me walk in the door and see if it auto saves. Okay. Okay. That's it. We're just going to end it here. So hopefully it auto saved. If not, what can I do? I just got to redo the... Uh, I gotta redo the dungeon. What can I, what can you do? Nothing, right? All right, guys. So thank you very much. 
Mm. Oh, come on, man. You better let me fucking save within the next There's five minutes. There's nobody I'm... here. If I can't save in five minutes, Gee, I'm turning the fucking I'm game off. I'm serious. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Yakuza 7. The good news is... We are in the midst of a pretty cool story segment. The bad news is, when I was doing it last time around, I did the story for about a half an hour. If you remember, I went inside this restaurant and did a bunch of fights. The game saved none of that. There was no way to save when I was inside of this restaurant. And now they're forcing me to redo the entire thing from the start. That really sucks. I'm not going to lie. That genuinely stinks that in seven Yakuza games, they haven't figured out that the game should actually autosave better at every step of a mission like this, you know? So we're just gonna skip, we're just gonna go right to the combat <clears throat> and try to get through the fight. Sucks I gotta do it again, but what are you gonna do, right? No use crying over spilling milk. And also, Serpent of Eve cheers, you missed a five minute cutscene last time after that I could have saved the game. Well, I was told there was a boss fight and everything. I didn't have time for it, if you guys remember. You know, I didn't have time to do it. I was, I was at the very end of the stream. I didn't have time to do a cutscene, you know, and or in another fight, I had. If you remember that day, uh, I had to hurry up because dinner was ready. All right, well, what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> okay, <clears throat> let's continue. <clears throat> Excuse me. Finally, we're at the top. Oh, here we are. So sorry, guys, for 20 Most minutes of redoing did. gameplay. I obviously didn't want to do that, but the game forced me to because it didn't save last time. But now we can move on. Um. Okay, and then this idiot who I thought I had banned earlier, and I didn't, insulted me again, so now I'll just ban him because he's an idiot. <clears throat> there we go. You know. Temperature in my office is pretty hot, fan with the opera. The sun is outside beating right now. I had to have the, the shade closed all day because the sun will not stop beating on the office wall, so it's pretty hot in here. Why don't I turn the air conditioner on? Because I can't. I have to install... You don't understand how an air conditioner works. You need a closed circuit. <laughs> Where are the glasses? I forgot, but I'm actually going on break right after this. Like, immediately after this, when I come back from break, I can the glasses on, I guess. <clears throat> Got a spider, but not, ah, but not a scorpion. Ah! Ah! My nose itches. Ah! Ah! Sorry. Okay. Hey. Wait, look! Never mind, it's back. The next, the next mission of the circus is back. So you know what? Let's go trade in our hero missions, and then let's go do the next circus mission. Cool. Boo! To me, dollar said, "I'm becoming everything I hate a circus act." Except that didn't happen. So shut the fuck up. Okay, let's continue, stupid. <laughs> yes, I'm becoming everything I hate by playing a game, enjoying the game, interacting with my audience, and having fun. Oh, I hate all those things. Oh, terrible, terrible things. Fuck. An entertaining, positive stream. Ah, oh, terrible. Terrible, terrible. Stupid people. No. Let's be honest. I'm becoming everything that you hate. Me being successful. Oh, shit. That's why you gotta fucking speak up like an idiot. Oh, shit. Still successful. We can't handle that shit. Hell no. Oh, uh, let's... What the hell? Gorilla Pimp. Thank you for a $4.20 tip. You have a giant garbled paragraph. That's talking about complete nonsense, and I'm not going to read that entire thing. He did say, what's up to Derek in chat? And he did say, Yakuza makes him laugh. So there you go. Those are the two things I'll actually read out of his giant paragraph that makes no sense. But thank you for the, the tip, Gorilla Pimp. I appreciate that. <laughs> Fucking cuck! Killed two of them. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> he just goes, whoops! Drops the ball right on your ass. All right, that was cool animate. That was a cool animation right there. He's like, "Whoops!" Wow. You suck. You suck. Servant of YouTube. He says, "Can you put the camera on the right side? We can't see which skills you select in the conversations now." No, because if I put it on the right side, it blocks the energy bars during combat. There's no real way to put it anywhere where it's not going to block stuff. We already know this. I've been playing the game for you know a month and a half, almost two months. Uh, everyone knows this by now. Uh, I'm trying to find a way to not block the critical stuff, and I would say, since you can hear the voice dialogue, it's not that big of a deal if it blocks the subtitles of the side combos, um, especially because they're they're pretty scarce at this point anyway. Uh, there's not much I can do about it. It blocks everything. <clears throat> All right, well, that's that. So apparently there's a cap I missed behind this building. 
How am I going to celebrate tonight? I'm not really. I'm, I'm streaming, and then my wife is working. So when my wife comes home, we're just going to have a normal a normal night of a little bit of relaxation or whatever. We're not doing anything special. Really. Look at this. We have to fight these baseball players. Watch. <laughs> Oh, the green screen that I have is completely broken. I haven't used it in five years. It's been sitting in my garage, and it's, the, the lapidating has been falling apart. It's also way too big for me anyway, so... <laughs> it's not gonna happen. You can go squeak if you don't notice. I'm talking to everyone. Except you. Because you're obnoxious, but I'm talking to everybody else. Everyone else is cool. Oh, that's disgusting. Excuse me. I'm really sorry, guys. Whoa. Flaming Amulet. I already have one of those, I believe. Serpent of Eve cheer, and he said for breakfast he had two number of nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number forty five, so one with cheese and a large soda. There you go. Ellipsian says cat's gonna be mad if I wander if I wander all day and don't do the story. Don't worry, there's nothing there's really nothing to do. I have to do the story. Like there's nothing left to do. I I've done everything. So there will definitely be story advancement. That's where we're headed. But burp in front of cat too, yes. In fact I burp even more in front of cat. Profuse explosive belches. Absolutely. But you really want to talk about the about the problem is the flatulence, the insane amount of farts that come out of my butt. It's absolutely disgusting. I don't know how she lives with it. Honestly, I really don't know. <clears throat> Cat, you need to get out now. That place is toxic. Wait, what? But Marty have a dark airstrike, heart sharp, jack heart chip. Where's the dice roll? It said she learned a move called dice roll. Oh, here it is. Boost one of your allies' stats by rolling lucky dice. Oh, that's it? That's shitty. Biggest cheer of the day. Will anyone top him? We'll find out. Onion Onion Onionitis has subscribed for six months. I hope you're having a great stream so far. So far, it's been good. A good, a good 45 minutes of Yakuza 7. What I'm going to do, I am going to close my blinds. As you guys can see, the sun is coming out. It's getting very bright in here now, and I can't see. <clears throat> Not that I don't enjoy some sunlight, but it's kind of distracting when it's blaring in my face. I can't, <laughs> I can't see anything in my office. UE560 did a 500 bit cheers. Have you ever broken the law in your whole life? Uh, I'm sure I've done like driving stuff. I'm sure I've sped, probably went through a red light, you know, that kind of shit. But as for like, you know, st serious stuff, I got that I can think of, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> okay. All right, so what's gonna happen? They want to go to High On Tower. High On Tower. A grenade with no pin in it. Whoa! Well, that's the end of that chapter. Illumination. So chapter ten is finally done. Woo! Okay. Well, we got some information. So it seems like Arakawa was not intending to kill. Kasuga. The whole thing was a setup to get him into a gin show. Uh, and to get him into into that guy's uh, attention with the fake bill. So that's interesting. Where's the plot going to go from here? I have absolutely no idea. Alright, a few shoutouts. Kate, cheers and happy New Year's Eve. want to shout out everyone in the chat for making my 2020 better. 2021 is for positive vibes only. Thank you for the cheer, Kate. Lick Slack of Dune says... You look sleepy, you better slap your leg, slap my legs away. I told you guys, I am detoxing from caffeine. I used to have coffee every morning. I then before then I was having the uh what was it? The powder drink every morning. And then before that, I was having um kickstarts every morning. But I've completely weaned I'm weaning myself off of caffeine. I'm trying to make it so that I don't drink it at all. Uh not not it was Mio water. That's what I was drinking, Mio water. Yeah, I'm trying to get the caffeine out of me. And, and, you know, some days it's going to be worse than others until I get totally used to not having caffeine and being able to move around and work and everything. And not, you know what I mean? Like, it, you know, it's, it's going to take a bit. There could be some days when I'm like, eh, but it's okay. Yes, Kiryu-san was the first time of the Tojo-kai. But, the most important thing to do with the Tojo-kai was that person. Can't you do that, Tate-san? It's the Kiryu-san's director, right? 誰がキリュウ担当だ。人聞きのあり。そもそもキリュウさんだけ逮捕されるってのはどうなんです？現役バリバリの登場会幹部はおとがめなしって聞いてます。<笑> 
Shit posters and hot takes? <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? What is he doing? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like Kiss. Japanese Kiss. What the fuck am I looking at? What the smiling? <laughs> what the fuck? The middle apocalypse. What the hell, dude? Why am I calling my New Year's resolution? Number one, to have a year without monster drama. Like seriously, to have a year without crazy monster drama, no nonsense going on, blowing stuff up, being stupidly dra dramatic, and hopefully no crises or anything like that this year. I'd like to have a smooth year with no no panic okay also this year coming up i want to improve my setup i would absolutely love to do things like i said i need a new laptop i need a new chair uh a new webcam a new pc like all these things are things i would love to do this year but i can only do that if things go smoothly and there's no crazy panic and shit going on you know what i'm saying so let's see what happens but that's kind of what i want what i want to do this year all right what did you do because it's just nuts that it's always something there's always something you know and mm -hmm. all right well it hasn't updated yet son of a bitch it looks like the patriarchy has tipped me 41 dollars and he says something's never changed in 2020 i've needed that to be the case more than ever thanks for sticking in there i'll see you in 2021 mm -hmm. patriarchy if that indeed is you thank you very much and we'll hit the tip skull but i want to confirm it like i said i made changes this morning to make it so that only people with verified accounts and only people with verified addresses can tip me. So I'm trying to make sure that everything's legit and I've been checking every tip so far today and they have all been legit. But I need to double check this one. And it's not showing up in my PayPal yet. So we have to, unless Patriarch is here in the chat and can say, yes, that's me. But it's not showing up yet for me. I have to wait a minute. No, here's the thing. If we can make this work and we can make it so there's no troll tips, I could turn tip notifications back on. Which have been off for three months. And I'd love to do that, but we have to verify that Pretty troll good. tips can't work. So. I know you guys definitely like to the you like the pop-up messages for, for, for support. I know you do. <clears throat> and I want to have them come back. I absolutely want to want them to come back. But we have to stop trolling first, so I have to see if this is gonna work or not. <clears throat> Camaro says, who's the chatter that interacted the most with this year? I don't know. It, you know, people say it's Derek. I mean, but Derek's not here all the time. There's there's chatters who are here almost every stream who I talk to every day. It's just that you guys don't realize. You think, oh, because Phil always talks to Derek. It's like, I mean, yeah, I talk to Derek a lot because he's a nice guy and he has a lot of interesting discussions to have. But I talk to other people more often, I feel. Okay, then. Rank up. Ooh, we learned Giga Swing. Probably the best multi-hit swing in the game, I bet. Sweet. like it. The card Cardukius Kite Shield Cardukius When he gives you the eyes, that means his mind's made Yo. up. Then you better be ready for anything. Luckily we've got time before nightfall. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jethro's main chute is some of us are concerned your eyes are shut again. Please be open to some exercise. Yes. Cause my eyes burn because I have no caffeine in me today. You know, and I'm trying to wean myself off of caffeine, which I've been addicted to for quite some time. Obviously, that means that it's, I don't have exercise and I'm dying. You, you got it. You hit it right on the head. I'm dying. What about the gym? What about the gym? What about it? Look. What about the gym? Look at me. <laughs> oh, it's another stupid business proposal. Dude, when I go back to that mini game, there's going to be a million business proposals. Oh, Jesus! Ah! Oh. Well, it's a good thing that I'm about to heal. Ow. Finish him! Oh, boom! Double crane kick finish. Very nice. Sermon of Eve Chiri says that there's that mission to survive bar to get better weapons. Sermon of Eve, you're not, you're not correct. All right? What, my wife was watching that stream because she wanted to know what was going on that you kept telling me to do that. And she looked it up, and you're absolutely wrong. There is a mission for weapons that opens up later on in the game at Survive Bar. When it does, the icon shows up on Survive Bar to do it. You giving roses to that woman doesn't do anything besides start stupid romance shit. So you're an idiot who's trying to get me to do stuff and waste my fucking time. So, fuck off. <laughs> 
I'm not stupid. I'm married, stupid. Well, Sermon of Vichy, you said you're right. I'm an idiot. Ban me and score me forever. Well, obviously, if you were lying to me in order to get me to do stupid romance quest shit in the game, yeah, you are an idiot. I don't, I don't know why you were doing that. But obviously, I, like I said, we looked it up and found out what you're saying is a complete lie. That mission Jinjo opens up later on in the game by itself. I don't know why you had to be an asshole. Remember what Jungi Han <clears throat> said? Well, I think I'm toxic now. LB101 took the dollar and says, Divine Shot is an area move. It attacks all enemies. Sorry I wasn't the guy who said, who said about romance. It was me. I got confused. Sorry. But no, that guy that guy had said that. He was he was the one who was uh, who said that today. And he was wrong. He's full of crap. <clears throat> That's a lot again. <clears throat> Alright, so. Basically... I knew about this part coming up because my, my wife has already played past this part and she didn't tell me the plot. I had no idea I needed 3 million yen to get a candidate to run. I just knew I needed 3 million yen. She told me this was coming. So prepare for it so that I knew it was coming and, you know, I had some, maybe some ideas of how to raise the money. So, uh, an anonymous gifter who gifted us up to handheld fat guy. Well, I don't know who the hell you're talking about because I'm certainly not getting my handheld. I'm not fat. So, fuck up. So. Light Coon 1988 has done a 100-bit cheer and said, Happy 2021, loving a mustache look. I don't have a mustache look, but I think what he's saying is that he can't... Say, the new running meme with my, my, my haters is, You can't see Phil's beard anymore, which is true. It's all white. My beard is all white now, so you can't really see it. So they all make fun of it and say that I only have a mustache, not a beard anymore. So... <clears throat> PP Pants Boy sent me $3 and your beard is weird. Well, thanks, dude. You're a weirdo, too. <laughs> Jethro's Rose Main cheered and said, I love the mustache. Why'd you shave the chin? See? Here we go. I didn't. I told you. My, my chin is all white hairs. Actually, if you watch my Christmas marathon event, that intro video, you can actually see clearly that I do still have the whole goatee. It's just all white now, you know? It happens when you get older. Chill Positive Frog cheered and said, Am I going to let the goatee grow back or it's a new look? Again, the goatee's there. I'm feeling it right now. It's there. It's just all white. You can't see it. All right, Derek. See you later, man. Enjoy Thunderdome if you do get into it. We'll start with a hundred. Oh, great, a two. Four and a two? Terrible. I obviously have to hit. Okay. Hit. Hit me. 16? Oh, come on. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, good shit. Come on, don't only hit 21, you fuckhead. He's got 14. He's got 21, you piece of shit. You piece of fucking shit. That's bullshit. I got my money back, but it's still bullshit. Here we go. Who again? Come on. 12. You know I got a hit, and you know it's going to be a face, and I'm going to lose my money. Hit me. I fucking called it, dude. Come on, that's a bunch of bullshit. Oh, damn it. It's fucking bullshit. Ten. Fifteen? Oh, come on. I got a hit. You got a hit on fifteen. Play the odds. Hit me. Fucking shitballs. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Definitely standing on twenty. Stand. <clears throat> Seventeen, I win. Okay. This is sucks. I've, I've made no right. progress. I'm back to my thousand. Blackjack knave, five hundred out of five thousand. Uh, Ten. Sixteen. Come on, no, no. Hit. Hit me. <laughs> I'm so oh. done. You know, if I double down, I'm not getting a face card. You know that. I'm gonna double down. I'll double down. Oh yes, double down on 21. Oh, this is great. This is great, come on. 15. 21, no! Come on. That is bullshit. I can't believe you got 21 and fucking negated my double down. 13, I gotta hit on 13, I have to. Hit me. 60, hit gotta me. hit. <laughs> Carmen T2000, subscribe. Thank you for the sub, Carmen. So this is bullshit. 
Now I'm down by 200 chips. I'm down by 200 chips. Fourteen? I got a hit on fourteen. I'll take the insurance. I didn't want insurance. I bought it by accident. Hit me. I bought insurance by accident. Fuck. Insurance means if the dealer has twenty-one, you don't lose by default. Hell yeah. This sucks. I ended up losing fifty during that because I bought insurance by accident. Okay, six. I've got. 12. You gotta hit on 12. Hit me. 16. I'm gonna stand on 16. Stand. 14. No, 7. Yeah, 14. Bust! Yes! No hard feelings, right? Yes. Yes. No uh. I need 1,500 chips, goddammit. 14. Hit. Hit me. Come every time it's a fucking face card. Every fucking oh, time it's a base card. This is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Nineteen. Obviously, I'm standing Stay. on nineteen. Nine. Eleven. Twenty. I get fucked oh, again. I got it. fucked. I got fucked. Come on. How you fucked, man? Ace, come on, blackjack. Blackjack! Blackjack! Alright, I have blackjack. Hell yeah. That means you win bonus. Blackjack Nate, yes. I won bonus. <clears throat> oh my god. 17, they gotta stand. I win. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. I've gotta go wins going here. I'm up on ships. This is good. I need 1,500 to get the Namba item. Okay. Blackjack again! Another blackjack. Good shit. Yes, it's more bone. Now I'm gonna hit. Hit me. 19. Alright, stand on 19. That worked out. Yes. Yes. No oh, 20! It's so fun. Blackjack again! Nice! Got three blackjacks! Blackjack. Okay, gotta stay on 18. You gotta stay on 18. I'm about to be a complete fucking moron to hit on 18. Stand. 10, 13, 20. I lose again. Oh, damn it! I'm never gonna win it. I'm never gonna win enough to get the Nama item. I'm never gonna win enough. Oh my god. Okay. Oh shit. Oh come on. This is real bad. I'm splitting. I'll split. Oh, what? Yeah. I got. Th Wait a minute. There's two, two eights of hearts. Why are there two eights of hearts? What is that? That's not a, that's not possible. If you're using a deck of cards, you can't have two eights of hearts down at the same time. This is bullshit. Well, I gotta stand here. Stand. I'll hit there. Hit me. Uh, wow, two, double 16. Stand. The dealer has to bust her. I'm fucked. Fucking shit! I've lost twice. It's so done. Twice. Twice. Okay. Do sarimasu. Betto, onegai shimasu. Dewa, ajimemasu. Showing an eight. Fourteen. I got a hit. Hit me. It's always a face card. Always oh, damn it. a face card for me. Do sarimasu. Betto, onegai shimasu. God damn it, man. Oh, I got a hit. Hit me. Okay, stand on 19. Stand. Dealer has 20. No. That's so no. no. Oh, no. Undertaker. Fuck. 
I'm never gonna get it. I can't get it. Okay. You're in it now. No MP. Bleeding profusely, scorching breath. He's about to die. Great. Ow. Wow, he killed he killed Kasuga. And now the game is over. When Kazuka dies, the game ends. And I lose all my money. Not that it matters, I don't have a lot of money anyway. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't, that doesn't really affect me at all. But that's frustrating because I didn't heal. It's all because I didn't heal. I forgot to heal, and it completely screwed me over. God damn it. <clears throat> I got owned. Olivia says, if you do the cat, you'll find it. You'll unlock a quest to do one more for an extra million. Well, then I should find the cat. I gotta figure out where it is, though. Ashen G Forever took me $5. Said, I started to support you on Patreon today. You're a very good streamer. Well, thank you, Ashen G. I appreciate that. I really do. You know, not a lot of people pledge to my Patreon. I'll be honest. Most people these days, um, they, they only will contribute on a stream because they want a live shout-out during the stream. But, you know, the Patreon stuff is behind the scenes, pretty much. And it does help. It's consistent support for my stream so i appreciate that you went uh went and supported patreon as well as being thank you ash and g and what do they get gugats that's what they got all right guys about 45 minutes left on today's stream thank you to everyone who has supported it so far including the top tier of lights for soul including the top tipper one minute man we're 46 dollars in tips it would be really nice if we could get some more tips by the end of the stream uh i need the support right now and in particular uh, with all the, the annoying fake tips that I was getting recently, you know, I'm trying to make up for it. It would be really nice if you could support the first stream of 2021. We could hit the tips goal on the first stream of 2021 and put on a vest. That would be a really great way to start the year. Obviously, contributions are not mandatory, but it would be a good thing. Okay? Thank you. In advance for anyone who considers contributing. By the way, I really desperately need the money to help with my tax situation. So, hint, hint. There's a cat! I hear it! This is it! It's the last cat! Where is the cat? Shit. Hmm? The cat's here. It's definitely here. I don't know where, though. I can hear it. <clears throat> What's going on? This guy's a bitch. By the way, we're at two-thirds to the tips goal, guys, with about 25 minutes left on the stream. It would be really nice if we could hit it. We're so close at this point. We'll see what happens. Oh, uh, let's do another hot pepper. Cool. Beautiful butterfly. I quit lightning returns at the final boss because the game was a piece of donkey shit. And the final boss was not beatable without going back and grinding for another 10 to 20 hours. You know this. You're just trying to call me out and trying to make me be a hypocrite when I'm not. So you can go fuck yourself. Stop being a, t a fucking tool. Seriously. It's not funny. It's not fun. You're just a fucking asshole. Okay. Uh, the cat is supposed to be around here somewhere. That's 100% a lie. No, beautiful butterfly, your argument wasn't on point. Your, it wasn't no argument at all. You're just fucking being a dick, repeating shit they're saying in the tractor circles because you're an asshole. Ooh, I got nail scratch. I wonder what that is. This is the thing. All the things against me that are, oh, see? We'll make Phil sound like a hypocrite. No, if you have five seconds to actually research the real situation and you use logic, you'll realize it's not true, but that's the thing. This is what, what the people who want to constantly make me look bad do. They take something that's a snippet of truth and they expound upon it and it's a ridiculous argument that's not true, but you'd have to do research to figure it out. So for example, is it true that I quit Lightning Returns after playing it for like 40 hours? Yes, but the ending of the game is irrevocably broken. The game forced you, oh, just underwear. Oh my God, hold on. The game forced you to grind an additional 10 to 20 hours of boring, repetitive gameplay in the final area to level up enough to beat the game. Imagine if you got to the end of Yakuza 7, everything's good. Oh, the final boss is now 20 levels ahead of you. Go to the room before and grind for 10 hours to beat the game. That's the game. So I'm not just going to waste my time. The game itself wasn't good anyway. It wasn't good at all. The game was absolutely fucking terrible. So I was already pissed off. I had to spend so much time to beat it. Then I get to the end and they pull that shit. That's a different situation than, than Cyberpunk, for okay, sure. But you're an asshole for What's bringing it up like that. For trying to compare stars. apples to apples when it's not. And you know it's not. You're just a shithead. 
Retro Jim Cherry said, when I joined the Yakuza, if such a thing were necessary to save Jasper's life, if it meant saving Jasper's life, I would join the Yakuza. Yes, absolutely. I am being raided by Project Katana with a party of four. Well, welcome to the Raiders. I don't know if you guys can talk because sadly we've had to have, uh, we've had to have, uh, followers only mode off for quite some time with bots invading over the past week. But it looks like Project Katana is talking, so perhaps they actually are able to talk. That's good. All right, well, welcome. To lock guys up or torture them either, especially one of your own, like Mabuchi. I'm not sleeping. My eye, my right eye is burning bad right now. I'm trying to, like, ignore it, but I don't know why it just started burning out of nowhere. He and I call the same place home. Nothing really worked hard here. <laughs> Imagine me training day in and day out with no rest at all. So what was your resolution, Adachi-san? <laughs> Ignoring him. <laughs> huh. well, I guess you could say I did. <clears throat> to lower my uric acid. Oh, there you go. Ah. That's something that I need to do. We're talking about And an anonymous gifter now didn't. Wow. Now gifted a sub to DSP the Gout Lord. That's right. I'm the Lord of Gout. Phil has a gouty fat butt. Feels a gouty fat butt. Feels a gouty fat butt. Healthy piss, damn it. That's right. The doc told me to work on that, so I tried cutting down on beer. But since I lost my job before this year's checkup, I'm not even sure that did anything. Uh, then I guess both Adachi-san and Namba-san lost this year. <laughs> Don't lump. <clears throat> the Wolverine toy, what the fuck are you talking about? He keeps spamming the stream chat. Why don't you stream on Tuesdays if you need more money? Number one, what are you talking about? What does that have to do with anything we're doing on stream? And number two, I need a day off once a week to run errands and spend time with my family. Is that too much to fucking ask? How about you stop being an obnoxious douchebag in the chat and shut the fuck up so I can enjoy a nice game of Yakuza 7? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I'm very sensitive today. I need to be treated with with uh, with kid gloves. A light, a light, gentle touch. Okay. We shoot no game says you can make a lot more money in the next game. That's cool. Alright, so there you go. He's an asshole troll and he's out of here. He says, oh, there's no mods, so I'm good. I can say whatever I want. And now he's permanently banned, so fuck you. Alright, very nice. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got a Tojo Clan crest for winning that fight. I don't know if you guys noticed. It was part of the loot. Oh, yeah, there's no mods here today. I could be an asshole to fill all day. Oh, fuck, I got banned. Idiot. <laughs> all righty. Big help if you didn't call me for a couple days, okay? No. Well, look who's a busy bee. You've been seeing a lot of pretty flowers these days. No, it's nothing about girls. Listen, I'll call you when things settle down. I'm happy. <clears throat> Tuna Ungiri. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Blah me out. The mold is turning me. Jesus Christ. Stupid allergies. Excuse me. Alright. In Star Room Cheer said after the 50 bit bitch incident, I've been singled singled out and harassed in chat. I'm considering suing for emotional distress. I'll settle for an out of court shout out. Well there you go. Shout out to Nin Star. Just don't be a 50 bit bitch, okay? Feel free to talk to me, guys. Right now, absolutely no one's talking to me. So, it would be nice to have a conversation if everyone's ignoring me. You're in all this money and you can't fucking go back. Ashen G Forever just sent me $1.50 and says, I like your streams. You're a great streamer. Thank you, Ashen G Forever, for the tip. They get us to $40 in tips. Now, guys, I'm only streaming for 40 more minutes, all right? I would appreciate it if you guys could support the stream. I would appreciate it. Tips are preferred. Uh, with only 40 minutes to go, we haven't even hit the halfway to the tips goal. Any support is appreciated. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna walk away. Now, now how I want things to go, but it's how things are going. Good stuff. Guys, only 15 minutes left on the stream. Thank you to everyone who hung out with me today. This was a great stream. Obviously, tons of progress being in a new city and everything, which is really sweet. Uh, if you do like this stuff, I hope that you will support it. Last 15 minutes to support the stream. Thank you very much. Workshop. By the way, I don't think anyone's gonna 
contribute at this point. It's been a pretty slow stream. Admittedly, this stream's been really slow. Cheers, everything. Like, I don't know what happened, because usually when I play Yakuza, it's pretty good. Today, for some reason, it was very slow. Maybe it was just a day or something. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we're finally going to upgrade the goddamn blacksmith. Gentle's Ring, thank you for the cheer. He's joking that I got rid of my goatee, which I did not. My goatee is just turning increasingly more white the older I get. So mm -hmm. it's harder to see on this little webcam. But I do still have the goatee. People like to make fun of me and pretend like I don't. So, there you go. Alright, hold on a second. Ah! <laughs> my mouse has been having issues recently. I don't know why. My mouse has been having some big issues recently where it just doesn't, like, register when I go to move it. Good. So, I'll take it. Sage Fox Socks says, my hair looks better because I'm not wearing the headphones all the time. I mean, yeah, look. That stupid spot that used to be in the middle of my head, I don't have it anymore. In the last month, it kind of basically fixed itself. Okay. We're on the last leg of this. By the way, the chat crashed. What just happened? The chat just crashed and my internet's out. Oh, great. My internet's completely out. On both lines. Whoa. <clears throat> internet, internet, but here we go. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> yeah, the internet just went crap on my stream. I don't know why, but my chat also got screwed up. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. People are still chatting in the stream chat. What happened is the stream chat went down and then came back. So it appears that it is working. Like, my internet came back. Oh. But it looks like like the stream is, is crapped out. <clears throat> here. I'm still here, guys. I'm obviously not banned because we're all still here and I can chat. So I have no idea what happened with the net, but it's showing that the stream isn't working. I can try to shut down the stream and restart it. This is weird. Yeah, I don't know what happened with this stream. I just want to check and make sure I didn't get any emails or anything that say that I'm in trouble. Here's what I can do. I can refresh my, my Twitch dashboard. Oh, wait, it might be coming back now. I think the stream is coming back now. That was weird. It was an odd blip in my internet. Yeah, that was very weird. I think the stream's coming back now. That was odd. It blipped the internet. The chat went down and back up. The stream went down and back up, but now it seems okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was. And by the way, there's, there's absolutely no way that that could have been a DDoS attack or DDoS attack because... No one has my IP. I changed my IP last year, and I have not clicked on anything. There's no way anyone could have my IP. So there's no way that was a DDoS attack. <clears throat> yeah. All right, can everyone see the stream again? I didn't do anything. When the internet went down, I just sat here. <laughs> Are we good? We're back? That was, uh, that was very odd. I don't know. My internet went bloop and then came right back. Something happened, but it seems okay now. Okay, you guys ready? All right, everyone can see me now and said we're good to go. Odd. Okay. Let's continue. No, I didn't see. That's the good thing, Polish Frog. I didn't click no links, nothing. I don't fuck around no more. No one's getting my IP address, man. Nobody. All right, so. On to the 26th or... Nah, you know what? Let's go. Let's just make sure. Let's just go outside and let's refresh our MP. Just to be sure we're good. Yeah. Just to be sure we're good. Let's go eat. Did I forget to record for YouTube? No, I never stopped. Frappolin, I never stopped recording for YouTube. It just has continuously been recording. Uh, it's very simple. I'll be real honest with everyone. Just making an edited YouTube video is very easy. Doing live improv reactionary commentary is tough. The hard shit is sitting here playing the raw games. That's the hard part. Streaming is way harder 
than just editing videos for YouTube. Okay? It is. Real talk. I never even fought any of these guys before, I don't think. Dragon Kinagashi, if I can beat him in five turns. I hope I can. I'm going to try. Number one Moses fan cheered. He says... Uh, here we go. The U.S. Capitol building is overrun by rioters, which caused the electrical Volcan to be stopped. Yes, we talked about this. Uh, we talked about this an hour ago on the stream. There's no reason to talk about it right now. We've already talked about it. So, there's no point in derailing the stream talking about it now. We talked about it before I started playing the game. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> talked about it at length now. <laughs> Guys, please stop talking about politics. I'm only going to warn you once. You know it's not allowed. So talking about it, you're purposely disobeying the rules, so stop. Super Slide Gaming. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Super Slide Gaming Chaser, why do you know I like Code Vein? Because I played the beta for it, and no one liked it. No, absolutely no one liked the beta. They said the game looks boring. It's a crappy knockoff of Dark Souls. And I kind of agree. I thought it wasn't that good. Um, then all of a sudden, when people found out that there were anime-ish girls with giant boobs in it, everyone wants me to play it. Oh, what a funny coincidence, huh? So, no, I'm not playing it. Because overall, reviews were lackluster. People said it wasn't a great game. And I'm not going to waste my time playing a piece of shit so you can see anime titties. You can go watch them yourself. So there you go. What was she throwing? Thumbtacks. That's the funny part. People are like, oh, you just won't give the game a chance. I fucking played it. What are you talking about? I played the beta. People hated it and said, don't play the game. Then all of a sudden, like two months later, oh, you didn't play that game with the giant boobs. Yeah. So I'm not a fucking teenager. Hey, He's an idiot. When's your birthday? Oh, here we go. Was for the Shut the fuck up when I'm talking, you stupid anime bitch. Good, which is what I want to do. It's why I came here. So that's good. Mob says thanks for the cheer. Stop derailing my fucking stream with nonsense. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, that was wild. <sighs> okay. Mobsters, thanks for the cheer. Listen, my wife and I kind of feel the same way about this game. The first 10, 15 hours is so heavily into like the underbelly of Japanese life. The soap lands, the hostess clubs, the prostitution rings and things that exist in Japan for real. And it delves into that, and for a while, it's a lot of sexualized content and humor. And for me, like, I'll take some of that, but for me, it was like, it got overbearing. It was so much of it. My wife felt the same. But then the game gets heavily into serious topics. The, the plot gets to a point where it's really interesting. Right now, the plot is really interesting. You start unlocking new, new characters, new areas and everything. And once basically you're out of that initial 15 hours of immature shit, and the game gets a lot more serious, it's one of the best RPGs I've ever played. So, is it worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it to tough it out through that initial tie boring... I don't want to say boring, it's just kind of annoying. Like, it really was early on, it was just like sex, 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 sex. Like, oh my god, is it really that bad in Japan? I guess in some places in Japan it really is. It's part of their ingrained culture that, that sex is such a big part of it, right? But, the good thing is, you can move on from that, and now we can see how serious the game has gotten and how much fun it is. Alright, so, that's a good thing. <clears throat> Better than sex cake? <laughs> Better than the sex I'm not getting at this exact moment. Mobs is choose, is there any particular reason you're wearing a PJs? I don't wear PJs, I'm wearing, these are considered, uh, lounge pants, and a t-shirt. How is this PJs, exactly? Do you expect me to wear full-on dress slacks and a full suit? As a gameplay streamer, is that what you want? If that's the case, go somewhere else, because that's not me. Alright, here we go. Okay. Alright, let me get rid of this guy who's basically thinks he's funny. He's not, he's just being derailing and it's fucking annoying me. So I'm just going to take care of that real fast. There we go. Okay, get the fuck out of here. Hate Army, Lick oh, hate Army LLC if you don't like the game, then you can leave. You don't have to watch me play an RPG cool it's totally cool if you leave and you don't watch i don't care i'm playing an rpg i have to beat this game focus on it so if you don't like it you can leave and i'm okay you don't have to sit here and complain about it like a baby grill experiment i hate the game i never play but i love your political speech in the morning it wasn't a speech it was just me basically talking about current events and giving you some of my opinions and that was before all the chaos happened in our capital today i mean how crazy the day that i decide to talk politics chaos erupts in our, our, our national capital I don't even know what's going on. I've been playing the game for the last two hours. I don't know if any updates have happened. Who knows? Uh, hate Army LLC. Uh, I'm not gonna read about this anymore. If you can, if you can play one more time, you're out of here. Stuff around. Mm-hmm. Hey, if I disguise myself as one of them, 
I could slip right in. Why is he walking no, so no, no, slow? No, 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 Looks like he's in a loonies pants. Right <laughs> <laughs> he shat himself. See our Kawasan. I need. No, you don't get it. You can't. And I don't give Gotta a walk shit. Just I'm going The turret doesn't go down my leg. Where is he in the headquarters? Toxic toilet juice. No, that's blocked. Okay. Oh, that's right. People are screaming for the gunner glasses. Screaming. Why aren't you wearing the gunner glasses if you raise fifty dollars today? All right. Perhaps these will help me in the upcoming fight. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. There's a spot on them though, so that's not going to help. <laughs> How Thanks for the money. Dummy. Yeah. When you do a tough boss fight, he's getting the first thing you gotta do is buff everything. So hopefully this this cowmate, the stupid Mr. Masaches, hopefully this will buff our defense. Right? Oh my god. Well, it's a stupid animation, but hopefully we get defense. Oh my god. I just fucking do that. Oh my god. Let's go! Haha! <laughs> Uncomfortably, Uncomfortably numb. You're in it now. Yep, got it. Uh, Hideki Tojo fan, I'm gonna ban you. Okay. Shit! <laughs> well, I'm gonna fuck this up. Alright, see, it's time to ban- I told you I was gonna ban this, this Hideki guy because he's an asshole and he's fucking saying stupid shit and now he's getting fucking banned. And he can kiss my ass. Uh, let's do six and six. Pay the million to help the sick kid, right? Let's do every. Let's let's say. Oh. Let's go help the sick kid. Out of the way. <clears throat> Arakawa. Bullshit! What kind of shady crap is this? Can you imagine if the mafia dissolved? Like, what would the people do? They don't have legitimate job skills. What are they gonna do yeah, with their lives now? That, They're Ichiban. all criminals. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Remember now? Yeah, but uh, I still didn't. How about instead of all that dumb fucking shit, you actually put on a fucking shirt and tie, you come into work, you sit the fuck down at a desk, and you actually do some goddamn fucking work like the rest of us. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who's that? <laughs> I knew you weren't really gone. No fucking way. So finally back. The dragon of Dojima. It's fucking Kazuma Kiryu. Holy shit. <laughs> what is he doing in the game? Oh my god. I did not know he was in the game. Watase. You're gonna do great. So they give him bags under his eyes to make him look older. That's it? Is that really it? He's only gonna be in it for like two seconds. <laughs> That's awesome that he's that they brought him in though. Hey, Ichi. Call it a date, I guess. Oh really? Oh, how romantic. How romantic. Yeah. <laughs> about it later. Sure thing. Clear your schedule. I can and talk get some about some pecking days. And get murdered <laughs> at the table. This is Hoshino of the Serial oh, Clan. Oh, look who it is. Kasuga. You need to call me as soon as you get Oh, this. did he finally find a candidate, or did this something morning, go wrong? Uh-oh. They found Arakawa's body in the ocean. What? What? Arakawa's dead out of nowhere. What the fuck? Yes! Oh. Uh, <clears throat> now, you gotta be shitting me. <laughs> After all that! After all that, they just fucking drop. Oh, he's dead now. Oh my god. Like I said, this game, these, this series, this game series is some of the best and craziest writing of any kind of a dramatic game series. Like, what a ch chapter 12 is like the insano chapter. The return of Goro and Saejima exposing everything that's been going on behind the scenes of the plotline of the entire game. The, the the return of Kazuma Kiryu, the reconciliation between Arakawa and Ichiban, and now Arakawa's dead. What? <laughs>
Oh my god. <clears throat> Talk is cheap. The Yakuza way to lead is with bloodshed. The weak always fall in line behind the strong. Help me! Time to accept it. Among the men in this room, you represent the weak. Oh my god! That goes for all of you. Oh! Oh! What's with the what eyes? Look at his fucking eyes are all glitched out. Ha <laughs> ha! My eyes are fine, but his eyes are going. <laughs> Huh? Kindness oh. up. Uh, aren't you a gentleman? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you might be right. Well, what about you? Would you go through with it? Of course I would. Life's about experience, and when you hit my Good age, ass. your babe <laughs> radar only gets bigger. You say this even though you're practically retirement age? Well, yeah. <laughs> What's the point in giving yourself a level cap? Okay, then. Go get into some wild encounters and grind till you're out of stamina. Oh, my God. A video oh, game but then RPG you'll just get reference. eaten and get a game over, won't you? Oh my god. He says I can't escape the dungeon at the last second. Hmm? Terrible. <laughs> That's terrible writing right there. That's absolutely terrible writing. Oh, uh, the ultra cringe. It's un for me, it's unwatchable. Because that's the kind of person I am. I, I, wa I can tell when something's cringe and something's fake. It's unwatchable to me. I can't watch that crap. But there's dumb people out there who like it. You know? All right, guys, about an hour left on stream. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do with story progress. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Great progress today. Great stream. And uh, looking forward to more here. If you would like to contribute and help out, please, by all means, do. And please tip me if you can. We're trying to hit the tips goal today. The dragon difference? What's this? Hold on. This... Okay. Those vacuum, I'm directly talking with you guys now. What the fuck are you talking about? Just because I'm not directly talking to you, maybe because you're being obnoxious, doesn't mean I don't want to talk to others. <laughs> Team Big Nuts, if you keep this up, I'm just going to ban you. Because I'm not putting up with fucking detractor shit, and that's exactly what you're doing. I'm not going to put up with shit. So you fucking stop right now in your track. Don't even say it again. I mean it. Don't even fucking open your mouth again with that shit. Nose Vacuum, seriously, if I could change your username, what would it be? Anything but Nose Vacuum. Which is drug related and stupid. You think, you think when I verbalize all my thoughts like this, you, say, you feel like you're in my brain? My brain is not a place you want to be. It's a very scary thought, what you just said. You know, put a fucking brain in your head between your two ears and stop just repeating and parroting what dumb shits say to try to say, make things sound bad. I can't say shout out to OFB Terminator, who did a 50-bit cheer, says, What playthrough on YouTube do you feel you were the most obese while you were playing it for your fans? The most obese? When I first started doing YouTube, I was very large. I was still working that office job. Remember, 2008 through 2010, I was still working the office job. And I weighed a lot back then. Like, seriously, you can watch, just look at those videos, you live there, oh my God, right? Um, today, I, I'm way less. I'm certainly not skinny at all, but I weigh way less today than I did back then. Um, probably by a good 20 plus pounds. Uh, so I would say the earliest stuff, the earliest stuff is when I was the biggest. What about the gym? What about the gym? What about it? Look. What about the gym? Look at me. <laughs> Expand Dong says, have you considered ordering Muscle Bob arms to get your lost strength back like in one SpongeBob episode? No, don't you remember that they were all show and they didn't work? Like, they didn't actually make him any stronger. They just made it look like he had buff Let's arms. Get down to <laughs> it was all appearances. Total score and cheers. Imagine if you underwent the cyberpunk treatment. Instead of having silver hand in your head, you had either Elon Musk... No, both Elon Musk hmm. and Gary Busey. I would jump right off a roof. Just... <laughs> pancakes i'm done how about this fuck you <laughs> how about that from his sources he thinks that there will be a remake of pokemon diamond and pearl this year oh that's a, if, they, if that's true i'll probably play it yeah oh. get it oh my god flinched and cannot move you gotta be fucking joking i need one more fucking hit what the fuck just let me fi finish the fight. Good God, man. Something's going down. It's urgent. <laughs> okay, hold on. No, hold on a second. <laughs> I just got so distracted. So, ever since last year, 
when I had a lot of false DMCA's against this Twitch channel that shut me down a few times, I linked my YouTube channel to my feed here, my Streamlabs feed. Because remember, there was a few times I streamed on YouTube and I wanted to be able to see things from my YouTube channel. So now whenever someone subscribes to my YouTube channel, I can see it. Just, you got to listen to this one. Are you ready for this? Thanks to the person who just subscribed to my YouTube channel, whose name is a hedgehog rose pink gay bumblebee march line bubble gay. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate that. <laughs> how, am I supposed to, how am I supposed to keep playing with a straight face when I read that? <laughs> All right. Hurry to the Seriu Clan HQ. <laughs> Two Bar King says he recently unsubbed to my YouTube channel. Oh, that that earned you a permanent ban here. You should have admitted that, Two Bar King. You're banned now. You're out of here, dude. I killed Phil. It's insanely disgusting what you just said. I'm incredibly offended. You better stop saying disgusting stuff like that. You might find yourself uh, permanently banned. I was 15. Just a dumb kid with no direction, no future. We're really going to get a giant cutscene after that fight. No save or nothing. <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> and Zhao's getting there. I think he's one level behind. And, you know, we're getting to the end of the game. We're getting to our last chances to, to up these... Oh! Our last chances to up these friendships. Oh. Uh, we got... Oh, my God! Oh! Holy fucking shit. That was ludicrous. Luda! That was ridiculous ludicrousness right there. Luda! This is ludicrous. Luda what? Use some normal ass words. <laughs> I usually don't understand the you word ludicrous. It's like my favorite word. Causing a scene, you moron. You need to talk to him. Uh, yeah. Mr. Warakawa and I need to have some fucking words. He has some shit he needs to answer for. <laughs> Whoa. Who the hell? What the hell? He's back. I thought it was just a cameo. What? He's back. Why are you in Ichincho? Kazuma Kiryu. I was just passing through. Passing through my ass. <laughs> He's back. You helped us out in Osaka, I think. Winding down here, probably just do one or two more fights. There's not much else to do. I got a tip, but it actually seems like a troll tip. So I'm just gonna take a look at it quickly. Eh, it's, un it's an unverified tip. And it's someone insulting me, so. <laughs> so I'll just refund it and say to this guy, fuck off. And, uh. Oh, good. Now I can ban him, too. He says, oh, it wasn't a troll tip. I know, but you insulted me in the tip. So, now you can get banned. Especially because you just started following me. Fuck off. Okay. <laughs> Fucking asshole. So, you guys don't know what he said in the tip. He insulted me in the tip, so he can go fuck himself. Thanks for speaking up. So, I can ban you from the chat as well as ban you from tipping me. I appreciate that, stupid. Let's try that again. I have two PayPal's yet. I mean, were you guys not paying attention to my bankruptcy hearing last year where all this information came public because the detractors fucking rebroadcast illegally my fucking hearing where I had to explain all of this to, uh, to a judge? <laughs> anyway. And Aoki hired him to whack Sawashiro. <laughs> I don't care how good he is. That's an impossible hit. Why do you think that? Because Sawashiro's in jail? The landscapers are here. They're pretty fucking loud. Their faces in. Yeah. Well, you're right about that. Guess you're starting to figure me out. But will you do me a favor? Uh -uh. Help us out. So we loud. Who's a guy like you? No. Oh my god! There's like that. ten landscapers outside. It sounds like. <laughs> I've already done more than I'm allowed to do, Kasuga. If I keep going, it would be considered a breach of contract on my part. Damn, what shit deal did you sign? He's supposed to stay out of Yakuza matters. Oh, for fuck's sake, who the hell's the fixer? 
Oh, would you please just clue him in? And I think we can. So trust me. And more importantly, keep trusting your friends. Uh -huh. That's the path to become the real deal. What? I can't hear you, Kiryu. Tell him to turn off the fucking weed whacker. This is goodbye, Kasuga. It's in your hands now. <laughs> Funny. Ugh. You know. Oh, Nairzox did ask something about CD Projekt Red bought guy making an ap apology. I, I don't care. No one, I don't care anything about CD Projekt Red because you can't trust them anymore. They're completely dishonest. They lied to everyone <clears throat> about the launch of their game, so I don't give two shits what they say. I trust nothing that they say. I'm the streamer. Make it exciting. All right, what I'll do is I'll, I'll fly over to Poland, and I'll make them make a good game, and then we'll play that one. Here. How Let about that? So Ruby Atomic says, chat's discussing your rock hard biceps and wondering what your workout routine is. What I do is I, I flex these big guns constantly. When I'm off stream, I'm just walking around the house flexing like this as I walk through the house. My wife says, what are you doing? I said, I'm working out. And I just go, oh, 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 constantly. It's really, really good. Anyway. <laughs> okay. The detractors are saying noodle arms. That's because the detractors are stupid and don't understand that when you have long arms, there's not much you can do about it. Even when I used to work out all the time, th this part, my bicep would always grow. And it, actually, at one point, it was much bigger. But this part, I worked on my forearms. They don't grow. It's just because they're like, really long compared to other people. Like, my arms are, like, really long. I don't know why I have such long arms. Because neither my dad or my mom have long arms. But I have, like, really long arms for some odd reason. I always have. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, I mean, I agree. My forearm's very skinny. It always has been. Even when I worked out, it never grew. Because they're just, like, really extended arms. Very odd. Why is the game so quiet right now? It's, like, super quiet. I don't know. I have no audio. What happened? I seriously have no audio right now. Oh I have no audio. Why? You guys can hear audio of the game, right? My audio is completely died. This is odd. Yeah, what the fuck's going on? Well, hold on. There's a quick way to test what's going on. This is my plug in on these headphones. And they work, that means sadly these headphones just broke on me. Let's see what happens. You're weak. You think you can win? Nothing. Okay. So it's not that. What's going on? This is not good. What the hell happened? Yeah, nothing. You wanna fight? You can win. Well, some something odd is happening here. This is not good because I need to have audio to play fucking video games, right? Uh, hold on a second here. Take your best shot. Did my board have popped out of the back of my PS5 and it's very unlikely? Very unlikely, but let me try, let me see here. Don't get caught. You wanna fight? This is not good, guys. I don't know what happened. Don't get caught. Quite bad, actually. All right, here's what we'll do. Let me do this fight and save the game and see if I should, like try restarting or something. I have no idea. If I have no audio, I can't play any PS5 games. This is not good. Don't get caught. Yes, I know you can hear. What the hell does that have to do with me? <laughs> that has nothing to do with me. That you can hear. I obviously need audio to continue to play games, guys. Because remember, here's the thing. My audio on, on PS5 
is basically bootleg. What I'm doing is, I have my PS5 is hooked up to my capture setup. My capture setup goes to the TV, but I'm using the optical audio out on my TV in order to get audio. And I do this both with this and with my Switch. And I've never had a problem. I hope my uh, my optical port on my TV didn't just break. And I also hope that my PS5 didn't break somehow. But it makes no sense because if you're getting audio on the stream, that should be good enough. I don't understand why it's 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 not working. You know, this is very weird. What's going on? What the fuck? You're in it now. Oh yeah. What the hell's going on? Yo, the game crash! Look at this! The enemy walked down the street? Are you serious? I can't attack the enemy, he's gone! Look! The enemy disappeared! What the? Anyway, let's just save. I don't know what's happening at this point. What's weird is that my, my my audio receiver here is saying that it's working. Like, I'm looking at it, like, everything here is glowing with the lights to show that it's working. But I'm getting no absolutely nothing. Ugh. Alright. I saved, so let's back out of this. Now. Nothing. Dead. So we'll try a couple of things. First thing we'll do, let me shut down the PS5. Okay. Okay. Someone said, plug your headphones to the PC. I can't. It's all the way over there. It wouldn't reach. I don't, I don't have an insanely long headphone cord. I guess that could be a really bootleg way to fix it, but... You know, if I if I could figure out a way to run it long enough across the office. But let me let me mess with this for a second. So let's see something here. I'm basically unplugging and replugging in every single cable possible to make sure it's not a cable malfunction or a connection malfunction. Okay. Sometimes you got to do this. <clears throat> All right. Unplug this. Replug it in. Unplug this. I'm unplugging and replugging. Okay. Everything now has been unplugged and replugged. Okay. So now let's turn on the PS5 and see what happens. This sucks. I mean, you're you're absolutely right. The workaround I can do is try running a cable all the way from nothing. Nothing. What the fuck is going on? How did it die? How the hell is the audio completely dead? You guys can hear it and I can't. It makes no sense at all. This really stinks, man. How did this happen? And it was working perfectly fine. No problems. The only thing I can think of is my TV is screwed up. My TV is malfunctioning now. My TV is not passing the audio through like it's supposed to. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. None. I don't know why I can't... I'm not hearing audio. 
I know you guys can't see the options. I'm on my TV. Relax. Jesus, people. I have no clue what, ha what just happened. The bad part about this is... This is also going to affect my Switch. Nothing. Dead. Dead air. The wor Honestly, the worst part about this is now I'm not going to get any of the features of this Astro receiver anymore. Um, instead, it's just going to be straight up stereo auto, auto audio coming out of my uh, PC. And what sucks about that is to adjust it and shit for games, I have to walk to the fucking PC. This blows. Why did this happen? Right? It has to be the TV. It's the only thing I can think of is the TV. Because if you guys are still hearing and seeing everything, then that means the PS5 is working. That means the cable is working. That has to mean it's the audio pass-through of my TV broke. Which sucks because it still lights up too. Like the, the optical audio out is lighting up. What the fuck, man? This blows. Yeah, see this cord? I don't think this cord's gonna be long enough. We could test it. Let's let's test it and see what happens here. So now I plugged in my headphones, now I swear the audio died, right? <laughs> now you got no now I have nothing and you got nothing. What the fuck happened? Now there's no audio out at all. What is going on? This sucks ass. I have no idea what's happening right now. Why would this have stopped working all of a sudden? Why did this just stop fucking working? It was just, I don't understand what's happening. I have no clue what, what just happened. It was just playing out audio for you guys. And I plug in the headphones and then the audio stops working entirely. Right? Let me try something. Shit. I want to try to play a video and see if we're getting any audio at all or if the audio has completely died on my PC. Let's see something. I'm going to play a random video. Ready? It might be really loud. Warning. So, it works. One hour of Animal Crossing New Horizons done. Let's, uh... It works. You heard that, right? You guys could hear that? Did you guys hear that? You heard it? So, it's not the PC. It's the PS5 is fucked up somehow. I was going to say, oh, it's not the PS5. It is because now the PS5 audio fucked up. See that? Let's try restarting again. Let's restart the PS5. This sucks. What the hell happened? I was, it was literally just working. Nothing yet. Nothing. What is going on? It's dead. No, no audio at all. What the fuck, dude? Don't tell me my PS5 is broken. Seriously, don't tell me my fucking PS5 is broken. Because you can't get another one. Right? <clears throat> well, I could... Right, Hobo X says, What if you change over to a different console to confirm it's the PS5 that's fucked up and not something else in your setup? That's a good point. All right, let's do that. Let's switch over. Let's let's try Xbox One. All right. Let me switch. <clears throat> but I don't hear anything. Nothing, right? 
No audio. Nope. So that means it's not the console. That means there's something in my setup is screwed up, right? Yeah. That means something in my setup right now is screwed up. And it's not, at least it's not the console. Well, what could it be? It could be, I mean, I've never heard of an HDMI cable doing the video and not the audio properly, you know? Hobo X, I don't have a ton of cables. I may have a couple extra. Like, I think I have, I have one HDMI cable right here extra. But I don't have a ton. Because think about... There's a cable... This is the problem. There's a cable going from the PS5 to the capture device. And then from the capture device to the... Excuse me. There's a cable going from the PS5 to my HDMI splitter. And then from the HDMI splitter to the capture device. I know it's not... It cannot be the HDMI cable going from either the PS5 or the Xbox One to the capture device, because I just changed that. I have two different ones I use. It could be one of these other cables. JP was taking saying some people are saying there was a Windows update that screwed up saying, I don't do Windows updates on this computer. It can't be that. Can't be that. What the hell? It could be OBS is screwing up and I have to restart OBS, but that wouldn't have explained why. That would not have explained why I was getting no audio out of my headphones because my headphones were plugged into the TV and that has nothing whatsoever to do with the capture setup. I am so confused right now. Could it be the splitter? Maybe it's the splitter? But again, have you ever t heard of a splitter? Okay. Have you ever heard of a splitter doing the video and not the audio? Right? I've never heard of that. Not once have I heard of a video and not audio working with a splitter like this. If it was anything, it just wouldn't work at all. You know what I'm saying? It just wouldn't work at all. This is so weird. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to stop recording for now. Sorry. For those watching on YouTube, sorry this happened. This is terrible because I can't play any fucking games if I don't figure this out. All right, well, I'll stop recording for now. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Yakuza 7. The good news is I fixed the audio issue. It was the stupidest thing ever. The knob on my receiver unit here somehow was turned to mute the audio of the game and only have audio playing of voice chat, which I don't have voice chat in a single player game, so it sounded like it was dead. I couldn't figure this out. I didn't know what was going on. It took me almost 45 minutes to figure this shit out, okay? Which obviously is a pain in my ass upsetting that this happened. I don't like missing 45 minutes of gameplay of an outstanding game like Yakuza 7. I'm very upset, and... Special theory of relative brutality. I wonder what that is. Uh, I'm, I'm basically very worried because I think that the office may be haunted and that a ghost during my stream came in and kicked the receiver unit because the receiver unit was on the floor far away from me to the point where I wouldn't have been able to reach it with my foot. Okay. Reading the book will improve your intellect. Guess what? Are you a functional retard? I have to ask. Oh, uh, let's see here. <laughs> LP101... To me, dollars. If you can believe it, there's a, a trophy to find five prostitutes in this game. <laughs> like I said, much, very early on in this playthrough, it really seems to me that this game, you know, emphasizing the gray area of Japan and everything, like it really tried to make it like like have a lot of that kind of sexualized content earlier on. Now that we're past all that, I think it's a much better game. Like now we're heavily into the serious yakuza focused plot lines, I'm really enjoying this, the, the game. Earlier on, it was just kind of cringeworthy that they kept doing it over and over, that kind of content. Um, I'm not shocked to hear that's a, that's a trophy. I'm seriously not shocked to hear that's a trophy in the game.
considering, you know, the way it was set up earlier. The frickin' soul glands and everything. So, okay. Seriously, this is rid absolutely ridiculous. The friggin' the leader of, of Kythera, or whatever that that island was, that ends up being a cultist. The friggin' uh, the the weird ass dude who wanted to sleep with you the whole game, and now this random woman. Everyone is sleep, sleep with me, sleep, sleep with me, have sex with me, sleep with me. What the fuck kind of game is this, man? Like I'm seriously, like, I'm actually angry. I'm 37 years, I'm 36 years old, I guess. I thought I was 37. 36 years old. I don't need to be constantly bombarded with this stupid shit. <laughs> That's not what I play the game for. Oh my god. Yeah, Swagger says the devs are all virgins. Which is good because we don't need their kids to grow up and make shit games. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, what the fuck did they do the game like this for? It's ridiculously out of control. It actually pisses me off. Like my one, one of the major complaints I have. Oh yeah, I can find proof of Cleon's corruption right here. And by the way, I will again say to you guys, I apologize that we did miss out on a good like 45 minutes of gameplay today because of my technical difficulty. As stupid as it was, the dumbest possible thing is what happened. And I apologize. Right. Don't turn the knob. I'm going to stay away. What I'm going to do, I'm going to break that knob so it's always on. <laughs> I can't believe it was a stupid knob on my fucking headphones that screwed this up and made it so that I couldn't get sound in my headphones for like 45 minutes. But anyway... So today, don't expect any story progress on this session. I'm not intending any story progress on this session. I'm intentionally trying to just check out Kamarocho. All right, that's it. Like no, no actual uh, advancement of the plot at all. AK Trader says the chat's bored because this sucks. Well, guess what? You're now banned. With the account that was created three hours ago, just to fucking troll this game. See you in hell, motherfucker! <laughs> Take that shit. I don't want to accidentally do the, the mission, or the story mission, so I have to not walk into this area over here, or else it's going to trigger the story. <clears throat> Excuse me. You guys, if we have any moderators on the stream today, please be aware there's probably going to be annoying trolling activity. I already just had some. You know, I'd like to focus on the game, and I have to be keeping my eyes on the chat constantly. Oh, some enemies. Hello, Jay Bowler. How are you? <clears throat> Snow Carl Tree says, consider. Oh, here we go again. If anyone is going to bring this shit up about firearms, I'm just going to ignore you. I'm not going to talk about personal shit like that on the stream. It's none of your fucking business. And to bring it up, I'm not going to put up. So if I see it again, you're, I'm just going to ban you. I'm serious. You got to understand, this is a fucking gameplay stream. We're not going to talk about private shit like that. That's exactly the kind of information that people want to use against you. So, you can't, can't talk about that shit. I'm not putting up with it. I see it. You're out of here. Alright? Use your brains. This is bar for older people. Oh, uh, just a vending machine here. Did the chat die? My chat has not moved for two minutes. I'm thinking the chat died on my laptop. Let me check on the desktop here. The chat's still moving on my desktop. For some reason, it froze on my laptop. I don't know why. Completely froze up. Let me see if I can refresh it, because this is what I used... I can see you guys are chatting over there, and I can't talk to you because the thing froze here. Oh, my God. I think... Oh, man. I can't even right-click on it. The whole thing is crapped out on the laptop. Jesus. Well, I'll have to see what happens here. I might have to force a restart on my laptop. The whole thing froze up for me. Let's go this way. The laptop still says it's restarting. I told it to restart, what, two, three minutes ago? It still says restarting and it has the, the loading logo thing. That's how bad my laptop is. I told you guys, the first priority, once I get past you know, this month where I have to pay all these taxes and bills and shit, I've got to get a new laptop. That's got to be number one. And a new chair would be number two. Those are the two top things. All right. The laptop is very slowly booting up right now. So you guys never saw me do this in real time. You don't have no idea concept of how slow this laptop is. It's still booting right now. It's at the desktop now, and now I'm waiting because now what's going to happen is it's going to slowly try to restore it. Like it'll try to reopen the browser to where it was before I restarted it and everything. It's going to take like an hour. 
The laptop is that bad. <clears throat> Still wait. Oh, here we go. Okay. First pop-up. Flash player says that Flash doesn't work anymore. Uninstall the Flash player. I'm not going to bother with that. <laughs> That's right. Flash was canceled. In late December, Flash was canceled. There's all this, this program that pops up, and it says error updating. I don't know what the program is, nor can I uninstall it. I've tried multiple times, and nothing happens. It just pops up every time I boot the laptop. So I just let it boot with the error message, and then I m minimize it, and I ignore it. <laughs> it never goes away. <clears throat> Okay, now it looks like it's attempting to open up possibly a browser. It's trying to load the browser. It's taking this long. So we've done the Cerberus Cup. Let's do the Pegasus Cup. It's probably going to warn everyone. It's kind of boring. It's definitely a knockoff of Mario Kart. Um, it's not super in it's interesting, but I want to do some of it because I ignored it the whole game. Well, the house, I'm not trolling. The game's just not that fun to watch. You guys, I'm serious about this now. Everyone says every game's not fun to How watch anymore. How did you get on, Hamogi? I can't make, I can't make you like video games anymore, guys. Robot. I can't. I'm sorry. Didn't even speak. <laughs> All right. I wonder how many laps you got to do. <laughs> Definitely a Mario Kart knockoff, but it's it's nice that they have side time. Like, this, you know, like, they didn't have to put these mini games in. So even though it's not super meaningful, I think it's nice to have something else to do to break it up. Especially if, you know, maybe you're in a segment where you really have to grind and stuff. You're like, okay, I want to break it up now. And do something completely different. Yeah, so he knows exactly the path to take to every boost. Slightly catch it up on him, but not by much. I need to hit him with an item. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I can't even... Dude, I can't even turn around. Oh my god, you're joking. There's no way to turn around in this game, so you get hit by that, you're completely fucked. Well, he's definitely getting first. There was nothing I could do about it at all. There was no way to turn around. Wow. I guess I'm getting second. The good news is I got first twice, so I should still win the whole circuit, but... That's pretty bad that unlike Mario Kart, there's really no way to reverse the victory. Yeah, I'm fine. They're not going to catch up. I came here to see you. Yeah? Unlike Suguru here, I don't give a steaming turn about data. I just cut loose and go wild, letting my instincts take the wheel. I hope you'll make the next tournament fun. I guess that's the dragon tournament is the one he's going to be in. Dragon Circuit? What the hell? <laughs> he just started playing music. Gee, thanks, YouTube. He starts playing music out of nowhere. <laughs> that was great. Motherfuck, motherfucker, he laughed at me. <clears throat> Akira does remain unchallenged wow. in the Sky, Sky Highway course. We gotta do it. My ball sack's gonna shrimp up, shrivel up. That's what we're going to be working on. Where's Jasper? He's in the house. He actually, during the break, when I was talking with Kat, just getting ready for work, I laid down on the bed. He jumped up on the bed and started biting me and rolling around and grabbing my arm. He was being very silly. He wanted to play. Very rambunctious cat. <laughs> okay. Tonight when I play Street Fighter on my late stream, Jasper will be, al be allowed in the office as long as he behaves. You know what that means. He'll jump in front of the TV. And no biting wires. If he cannot do those two things, I will let him stay in the whole stream. But we'll see what happens tonight. We know it can be very iffy how he behaves, right? So. Cashmere Goat has reached over 16 months as we need a Jasper cam. There we, I told you guys this before. There's no way we could do a Jasper cam. Jasper doesn't stay put. Jasper is an energetic cat who moves around a lot. Even if I set up a camera at like a, a place he frequents, you'd see him for a couple minutes, he'd be gone. There's, there's no way you could actually set up a Jasper cam. He's not one of those these cats where he just likes to mosey around and lay in the same spot a long time. He just doesn't do that. I know there are plenty of, of cats who do that. They're like, oh, that cat loves laying on this spot. So, you know, you take pictures of them there and stuff. You can't with him. Like, he's everywhere. We'll walk up there, but we'll eat on the way to get our full energy back before we head into this dungeon. 
So the focus of today's stream is the dungeon, all right? If you're not cool with that and you don't want to just see me grind in a dungeon and talk to people while I do so, probably not the right stream to attend here today, just being honest. Um, <clears throat> that's what we're doing on, uh, focusing on today. So if you're not interested, you probably just want to go take a dump or something. I don't know. Um, uh, items. Derek says, Betty White is celebrating her 99th birthday by feeding ducks and eating a hot dog. Very exciting news. <laughs> Very exciting news. Sounds about as exciting as what I do on my birthday, right? Very exciting. <clears throat> so, thank you to Super Blind Man. <laughs> thank you to Blaine. <laughs> and thanks to everyone who's been cheering, too. Let's try that again. <laughs> that time it worked. Very nice. It was a dud at first. Oh my god. Uh, do we have any moderators on chat today? We have quite a lot of uh, asshole troll accounts. And I don't want to sit here fucking doing this every every two minutes. It's very annoying at this point. Oh, uh, what is going on in the stream chat right now? Why is there a spam? Where the hell is the moderation? Anyone want to take care of this insane amount of spam? Even though we have multiple moderators on the stream chat right now? I'm really getting pissed off, so I hope if we have a moderator who can pay attention, I would appreciate it. I don't want to have to put the chat on, like, you know... Well, then again, what it is is they're cheering, so they're bypassing followers only by just cheering. That's what it is. So, But first of all, let's do the shout-outs here for cheers. We've got... Hold on a second. Ghost of OIC, who cheered, and here we go. He basically is trying to make a joke about only iced coffee, which isn't working because no one cares. But he says, uh, yeah, see, I've been a blank since your blank playthrough from 20 blank. Thanks for the years of content and positivity. See, he's trying to be a generic person, I'm trying to make fun of it, he's being stupid, basically. So, thanks for the cheer, but you're stupid. All right, another fucking idiot's getting banned. Derek says, where is this located? This is an underground sewer in Kamarocha. All right. It's really cool that uh, I learned my final ultimate ability as the host class. I mean, hopefully it's good. All right. <clears throat> yeah, sadly, guys, we got no mods here today. I don't know why. We had mods before, and they took off. So we're going to have these trolls, and there's not much I could do about it. I'll just do my best. Do my best to get rid of them when they show up, okay? You know you'll love to see it. Oh, man. All right, hold on. I got more more, morons to ban. Oh, my God. Listen to this. All right, thank you for banning this fucking idiot. Sweet. Oh. Well, let's see here. I'm trying to see, because a lot of these are trolls. I don't know if this guy got banned yet before or not. He's already banned. Good. Down from the sickness cheered. And he says, why are the why are the, the my haters obsessed with my looks? You'd have to ask them. I don't know why. They're just they're fucking stupid. I don't know what else to say. Who cares about how a, a fucking gameplay streamer looks, right? Like this is the most important thing on the planet. Um Man of Orange tipped me a dollar. He's talking about religion. No, I'm not talking about that, but thank you for the dollar tip. <laughs> uh has nothing to do with the stream. Oh, uh, let's see here. In from the pastures, just cheers. I love chilling your vids after a long day of working in the fields. Okay, well, thank you. Scotty Freeman cheers. He says, have I ever been in a fight? As an adult, no. As a kid, yes. Uh, uh, here we go. So this is down from the sin. This guy's a fucking troll. What a shock that all these accounts I've never heard from before are trolls, right? All right, well, enjoy your fucking ban, bitch. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to use on him. You want to go? A gift for you. Watch me. What the hell? I got a second attack. You have, he must have the high stat where you can attack a lot. Damn. Gun his ass the fuck down. Bring it on. get Messiah. Would you die now, please? He still won't die. He sobered up at last. And he finally stopped bleeding. He didn't hit us once. He seriously didn't hit us once this whole fight. I think I... Oh, he healed? Why did he heal? He got a thousand HP back. I have no idea why. 
I have no idea how he healed like that. Let's go. Let's go. Finally, dude, took forever. That shoes you took forever. <laughs> oh, I see. Melfis TV says he has the same ability as Kasuga, where when he's about to die, he can recover once. I see. <laughs> Oh my god. That was wild. Big old bean says, how about no, no more JRPGs for at least six months? Here's the thing about that. That's fine, and there actually are no major JRPGs coming out right now. The problem is, we gotta play Divinity Original Sin 2, which is not a JRPG, but a different RPG. <laughs> I know. It's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Definitely, we're gonna get him out of here. Boomer side gaming could be two dollars to block him and get him out of here. Thank you for the tip. The honest troll cheered. He said, "Is your Teespring still a thing?" Yeah, Teespring still exists. We can go back to Ichiban uh, Holdings and try to do the business mini game further. There's two more stages of that, and it seems like that's the only way I'm going to make any money, which sucks. Obviously, I want to I want to make money outside of that, but it looks like they've pretty much limited you to doing that. Or we could do more Dragon Cart. Um. And try to finish up Dragon Guard and see what happens with that because I have no idea. This is only hard because you can't see. If you could see, this wouldn't be hard at all. But I can't see the corners because of the fucking fog. That's what makes it tough. Alright, I, I might. Oh no! You gotta be kidding. Oh my god, dude, there's no way to. There's no way to back up, so I got fucked there. There's nothing I can do about that at all. I can't hit him. Wow, I'm fucked. I don't see any way to catch up with this guy now. Yeah, I got completely screwed with not being able to see the tires on the corner. What the hell? Wait a minute, he got stuck too! Holy shit, he got stuck. All right, hold on. Hold on. Fuck. Now I'm screwed, he's got the items he needs. I don't have anything. Did you see that? I hit him with a, a, a rocket and he took off in front of me. Are you kidding me? I hit him with a rocket and he gained speed and took off. <laughs> wow. That was complete bullshit. I shot him in the ass with a rocket and he got a speed Damn. boost. 100% cheating. Did you say I'm dead last? No, he's not. What are you talking about? Getting hurt on my ass. Oh no. Oh, I got fucked up on the corner. See, that's bullshit. If you touch him, he gets a boost of speed and you slow down. How does that make any sense? And also, it appears like he gets the speed boost even if he doesn't touch them. Like, he's not even touching the speed boost yet, he got it. I also don't think he's getting affected by the oil at all. Oh, look, he fucked up. He hit the wall. Yeah, I don't think the oil affects him either, which is also completely fucking broken. He drove through all that oil and didn't slow down at all. <laughs> I missed completely. Yeah, the oil's like unavoidable, and he's just driving right through it. He doesn't slow down at all. Everyone else does. How did I fucking miss that? Oh my god. Wow, I hit him all those times and he didn't fucking slow down. 
I just did all the speed boost. Are you kidding me? I did three speed boosts and he maintained ahead of me and never I never caught up. Wow. Beats me. Fuck you. Fuck you, you dumb fucking ass cuck fucking pieces of fucking shit. You guys couldn't make a fucking video game if someone handed you a completed one. Yo, this shit completely cheats in this race. He's immune. He's immune to, to the oil, right? He doesn't... He, he continuously gets speed boosts, even if he doesn't have them. Like, it basically, this is just like Mario Kart now, right? Like, they turned it... They definitely turned it into Damn. Mario Kart, where it's completely broken. It has artificial shit that he just cheats with. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> That's crazy. Yeah, my car's fully upgraded. It's not the car. It has nothing to do with the car. It's the race. He just blatantly cheats. Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, great. I thought this was the other turn. I thought this was the next turn. It was a big shoot. And it was not that. Well, he just got stuck, so I looked out. I got completely lucky, though. Okay, I got the blue. Oh yeah. Wow, it didn't even slow him down. I hit him with the fucking move that's supposed to stop the guy ahead of you. It didn't slow him down at all. Alright, I wrecked him there. I love I hit him with the blue shit. It didn't even light it's the lightning. It didn't even slow him down. He kept on going with my speed. What in the hell, dude? Damn it. Fuck. You gotta be kidding! Oh my god. I did it. That was annoying as shit, dude. That was so annoying. Oh no, I won! Here we go. This is a longer one. You can put, still put up a prediction if you want. Because it's three races. So you have time to put up a new prediction. Okay. Get ready to eat dust! What the fuck? What the fuck? Why did that just happen? Oh, uh, what was that? Damn it. That's never happened before. I love when you trash talk. It's just talk, and the trash comes with you. I got screwed over because it glitched right at the beginning and, and struck me against the wall. There's no way to catch up now. What happened? I lost all my speed for no reason. What happened there? Yo, this race is completely fucked up and glitched. Yeah, look, I lost speed again. I used my speed boost and I it doesn't work. What is going on? It's like the whole mini game is broken down. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, I don't know what's going on. This is completely fucked up. Fuck this. I'm doing it over. That's bullshit. It didn't work from the start. It was fucked up. From the start, it was fucked up. What am I going to waste my time for that? with that for? <laughs> Go ahead, race. Immediately, I get, I get fucking knocked to the side. And there's no way I can catch up because the game glitched. What the fuck, dude? It better not do that shit again. It's wasting my money. It better not do that shit again. That's fucked up. The speed boost is seriously the best item in the game. Everything else is... T oh my god. Everything else is terrible. Yo, I can't turn! The game wouldn't let me turn. What the fuck, dude? Oh, yeah. 
Well, I'm done now. Wow. It wouldn't let me turn. The game refused to let me turn. That's not my fault. That's broken shit, dude. That's completely broken. Completely broken. It's not over. It's three races. It's three races. People are like, oh, it's over. No, there's no payout. It's not over yet. There's th a series of three races. This is a Grand Prix. Wow, this is nuts. There's, I don't know how I'm supposed to catch up now. Look, they're not even giving out items. <laughs> there's no items on this map. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? There's no way to control your cart at all. You just bounce around like a pinball. I hit nothing and I acted like, acted like I did. Phew, that was a good comeback there. The problem is the guy, the guy who got first got second, so I have to win the next one or I can't win. If I win the next one, I think we'll tie and I win the, by default in a tie. Oh, why did the bet end? It's not. Why would the bet have ended? It's a Grand Prix. It doesn't even make any sense. Why would the bet have ended? <laughs> yeah. So if I win the next one, it's a tie for first, and then the game gives you the win. I think. Get ready to eat dust. No boost. Whoa. Oh my god. Yo, I couldn't even see anything. What the fuck? I missed the item? How? I drove right over it. The game thinks I didn't get it. Can you get the fuck out of my way? Oh my god. Yo, we're never... Dude, the guy... Look how far I had the guy in first game. Oh my god, I can't turn! Yeah, it's fucked up. This is bad, man. This is gonna be take forever to beat. Look how far ahead the guy in first is. What the fuck were they thinking of this shit? Wow, he was imp absolutely impossible to catch the whole time. From the very beginning. So the very beginning, I didn't know that at the beginning there was going to be that thing in the middle that would stop your momentum. So I got slowed down once, and that was the end. There was no way to ever catch up to the guy in first. No, he never, never made an error. He was completely flawless. I have to say that's exactly how Mario Kart is. It cheats. You get a guy in first, and like, oh, I'm flawless now. Because you're not near me, I'll never make a mistake. That was terrible. Now I know, at least now I know the map. Now I know to look out for the middle. Don't don't hit the middle or you get fucked over. How about a race? Oh, we got They took all the items. This fucking asshole took every item. Wow, I can't turn. Again, I can't turn. I'm, I'm holding it and everything. It doesn't turn. Look at this. What the fuck? How are you supposed to come back from that shit when it doesn't work right? What? What happened? Again, what happened there? Wow, I'm never gonna catch up. I can't even move. Wow. Wow, I... This is nuts. I can't even make basic turns. It won't work right. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, and it doesn't It doesn't respond. It's over. Well, fuck this. Wow. That was a complete... Way. I did worse that time than the first time. It won't turn. It won't turn on those fucking turns at all. I, I jump, and I go to drift, and everything. nothing. It just, he kind of just sits there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back 
to Yakuza 7. Once again, my webcam is not in the right place. It seriously never is when I play this game. It's always slightly off. Let's move it up here. So, ladies and gents, welcome to Yakuza 7 Endgame. The last couple of streams, I've been focusing in on trying to finish up any remaining content before we head into the finale of the story. That is very much what we're going to be doing today. Remember, I had switched up everyone's jobs, and we're doing some, some different stuff now with the jobs and everything, or and or basically trying to get the final ab cool abilities unlocked for certain characters to make them as powerful as can be for the finale of the game, okay? <clears throat> now, that being said, everyone, I, <laughs> I'm shocked. Begin shot. Power and impact. Change shot direction. So closest to the pin challenge. Damn it. All right, well, I got that fixed. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea why that happened, but okay. Um... A big... Oh, I already did this? No, I didn't. Big Rock Lobster cheered and said there's a bad ending where Aerie will work in a soap land. That's fucked up. I wonder how, how that happens. I don't know if he's... Big Rock Lobster. No, Big Rock... Rockster... Big Rockster Lobster. <laughs> cheered again and said, Why do you always say I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about in response to things that you know very well what the fuck I'm talking about? Because I still don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But thanks for the cheer. Okay. Polish Frog, honesty is always the best policy. It is. If you know you've done something wrong, just admit it, and people will, will acknowledge it and forgive you for it, versus if you just come and fucking lie constantly and you're dishonest about it. It's just gonna get worse. I try to be as honest as I can. Okay. So. Here we go again. Big Rob Lo Rock, Rocks the Lobster cheered again, talking about Luna Mills. I don't know who the hell that is, but thank you for a 50 bit cheer. All right. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, would you hire him to work at Ichiban Holdings? What do you guys think about this guy? <laughs> uh, sure. No, we're not hiring him. Holy shit. CM Fool to me, another dollar thirty says, why not Stalker? How else will you know the story? I don't, dude, I hated Stalker 1. I played it in a stream, remember? It was terrible. The game played like shit. The game is so outdated. I did not enjoy it at all, so I don't want to play Stalker. That's why outdated game we got a job to, job okay. to do is stalker worse than the quiet man it's it's just so let me put it this way it's so outdated there's so many games that have that done what, what stalker was trying to do better that it's not oh, worth so playing it anymore. you know what i'm saying the quiet man is just a piece of garbage game from start to finish stalker seems like at one point it was probably a really good game just that now so many other games are better there's no point playing stalker you see see i'm fool to me dollar faces tell me the lore of stalker well, it's, it's basically a game that's meant to be, like, like kind of post-apocalyptic. There's all these different factions fighting for control, like, of the world, the government and stuff. And there's all these mutants and stuff that are going on. It's pretty, pretty crazy in that regard. But it's like, I already played Fallout. I already played, you know, games that did this already better. So I don't want to play Stalker. I hated the combat. I thought the combat was a joke when I played it. It was, like, so bad. Isomorph says you pretty much have to play Stalker with mods. It, it seems that way. It seems to me like if the game was modded to be more digestible, palatable, it probably is a, a good game. Alright. Why do I hate Monster Hunter? I do not hate Monster Hunter. At all. I played it on 3DS. I thought it was alright. But people got bored of it, so I stopped playing it. 
Then when Monster Hunter World came out, I tried the beta or demo or whatever it was. And people on the stream literally told me this is boring as fuck. Stop playing it. Never play it again. So I never did. <clears throat> There's nothing to do with me hating it at all. It's the viewing audience. Nathan Tools cheers. I hate. I miss walking to the video stores, renting games, and being able to actually see if you like it without spending sixty dollars and end up hating the game. I know. Being able to rent that game for five bucks and play it for two days and figure out if you like it or not was a huge thing. It really was. Uh, winning a business isn't all about making money. No matter how much profit you bring in, there's no point to doing it if you don't give back and try to create happiness for someone else. You thought only of yourself and stepped on whoever you could to boost your way to the top. And look where that got you. Please. We need a miracle. <laughs> miracle donation. <laughs> it sucks the money out of their bodies. <laughs> That's great. Yo, that's fucking cool. It sucks the money out of their bodies. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you. That was a great stream. Even though for a lot of people, I know you're going to say that was the most boring Yakuza 7 stream ever. I hear you. But we got through the grindy part, okay? Next time around will be final, you know, updates, upgrades, and then into the story. So next time around should be interesting. Will I beat it next time I play it? I don't know. But should be pretty good. All right, guys. Thank you so much again for the support. I know I knew it was going to be a slower stream today because this was all I was doing. I expected it to be a You know what would be awesome to end it on? A nice juicy contribution, I'm just saying. <laughs> a nice juicy tip to end the stream would be really nicely appreciated, guys. Thanks very much. <laughs> I didn't wear a vest today, you know that? <laughs> I feel. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Yikes. It's disgusting. Moonwalkman says, yo, time for the end game. Have fun. Time for punching some hoodlums. Thanks for playing the game as well, he says. Say hello to you. Okay, Lummox, a hired hoodlum. Hello. More than three times now. Awesome. You could upgrade it again. Oh, my God. This costs 200000 So, what else can I upgrade? Cheers, what in the Lord's name was that? I don't even know what you're talking about. And we got a dumb fuck troll. I'm just going to ban it. If he's already banned, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. He might already be banned, but... See here. He's already banned. Good. We'll start with the financial report. PW Dubs sub has expired. PW Dubs, you're just gonna have to renew it yourself. What can I say? This is super easy to make money, right? Ashton G Forever just gifted a tier two sub to PW Dubs. Congratulations, PW Dubs. I'm getting a tier two sub from Ashton G Forever. Thank you, Ashton G Forever, for the channel support. You should be very thankful, PW Dubs. All right. The chat is not moving. I don't know if no one's chatting with me or if my chat has crashed on the laptop, but it's not moving and it's been a minute. So I'm curious what's going on here. Hopefully I haven't not been banned from Twitch. That would not be good. Oh, it's moving again. Okay. In order to go to the challenge town. Don't hit me. Son of a bitch. Uh, Pile O San cheered 100 bits and says, What do you think about the hate Pokemon Sword and Shield get? I think it's overblown. It's a fine game. I do too. I mean, the people who hated on it basically said, like, the animations and stuff weren't good. Um, but for me, being that usually, you know, I don't play Pokemon often. And when I do play Pokemon, it's been, like, on a handheld. Like, it blew me away. It was on a console. I thought it looked good. But most people hate it. Oh, the animations aren't next gen. Dude, it's a fucking Switch game. Seriously, it's a Switch game. What did you expect? You're expecting next-gen performance on a fucking Nintendo Switch. It ain't gonna happen. Oh, boy. All right, so everyone, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish grinding this one run in the tower, and then I'm pretty much done. I think we're gonna go back to the, the, the vendor and try to upgrade again. We'll actually have to buy the, uh... I actually have to buy the, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, the crafting items as well. Okay. Win within five turns, so we'll go all in to try to win with him.
All right, everyone. Sorry about that. Stupid OBS error, which a lot which forced me to restart the PC, which took like 10 minutes, but now I'm back. Sorry about the, the mess up, you know. Nothing I can do technical difficulties. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> no, it doesn't count as my break. It was 10 minutes of me setting up a PC. How the fuck is that my break? Snowcrawl, use your brain. Retro Jim says, do you think Snowcrawl's overly enthusiastic with suggestions, but he may mean well? It doesn't. It actually doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he's well-intentioned or not. He's annoying. And he has to understand that, and he has to stop. He has to learn. He can't just keep distracting me and pissing me off during streams. I have to be able to put out a fun and productive stream for everyone and not get annoyed every five seconds by something he says. So he needs to fucking chill out. To run past these assholes. Why does why everyone scream? Ooh. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, no, we gotta stop the stream. I just received a dollar tip from an anonymous tipper. And they just informed me that Almighty Tevin is watching my stream right now and talking crap about me. Ah! Ah! <clears throat> Out of the way. I need drugs. And, you know, that's fine. But for me, I can tell you guys, without without actually the, telling you the full extent of it, I was on a cocktail of medications. All right, we're going to do it, guys. Finally. Right now, we're about to head into the end game. Finally. Oh, well. Snow Curl Trees, can you tell Chat King Michael isn't a troll? Don't harass him. Yes, he's not a troll. Don't harass him. In fact, don't harass anyone. If you do, I'm going to ban you. Because harassment is not allowed on my streams under any circumstances. To warm up with some cats before I take on the lions. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so it's only like we're going to have a showdown with Tendo at Millennium Tower, right? <clears throat> By the way, everyone, please get along in the chat and stop arguing. I mean it. Like, stop it. Just chill out. It's the finale of the game now. We have to concentrate on the story. Please stop. <clears throat> really? I gotta go through the Arakara. There are no save points after en entering the tower until the end of the game. It's two hours or so, says Daryl Robson. Well, are there auto saves? Because I don't have two hours left on the stream. I'm, I'm going on break in ten minutes, not even. And then, uh... I'm going on breaking 10 minutes, and then I only have an hour left. So I don't know what to do then. I don't know what to do. Does it autosave at all during that time? If it doesn't autosave, I'm fucked. I guess I'm going to go on break. There's like nothing else to do. What else am I supposed to do then? I can't finish the game today. What else am I supposed to do? No, I can't go overtime. I have to eat before my wife goes to work. Can't go overtime. No. 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 All right, I don't know what to do. <clears throat> There's no auto save. It's all or nothing. You're serious. Oh my god. Come on. So what do we do? I hope you want to want to me a dollar to ignore him. It will not take two hours. No, I do it. It will. Because the cutscenes. You know how fucking long the cutscenes are in, in Yakuza. Even though the gameplay might not be two hours long, you know there's going to be insane cutscenes, right? You know that. All right. Let's save up. We'll take a break. When we come back, likely what we'll probably end up doing is, like someone suggested, just go to Kamurocho Underground and, and you know, grind for a little bit. Because I don't have time to finish it. We'll finish it next stream. Okay? All right. LB101 to me, dollars you can save in there. I've platinum the game. <laughs> Everyone just said you can't. Everyone literally just said you can't. Now you're 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 disputing. So <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. I have to clear my throat. Sorry guys. Oh my god, excuse me. Wow, I am being absolutely revoltingly disgusting right now. This is ridiculous. Action packed action, actually, uh, is asking, would I ever go back to Shadow of War and replay it because they, they got rid of the pay to win mechanics? Uh, no, I don't care about that game anymore. Duh. No, I really don't care about that game anymore. 
Yes, I am doing a tip audit. Because I didn't see if Big Papa Phil was here. If Big Papa Phil's not here, how is he tipping me? Six seventy two just tipped me six dollars seventy two cents. Said, "Oh shit, we got a tip out of Ebo." Smart ass movies or something unfortunate, making it positive as you can. Big ups, brother. Yes, it was. You know, people actually had been asking for something like that for a while, and then it was actually Polish Frog. Got to give credit to Polish Frog for for the emo. So thank you, Polish Frog, for the emo. So yes, we have it, and thank you very much, six seventy two for the six dollars seventy two tip. That gets us up to sixty one dollars in tips, and with uh, roughly fifty minutes left on the stream. Can we hit the tip skull, guys? It would be nice if we did. Thank you guys for the support. Let's continue. BG stuff, the troll tips don't count as part of the uh, the tip skull because you know those idiots are just going to end up trying to charge that shit back anyway. And now I die. So the whole thing was for nothing. <laughs> the whole thing was for nothing. Now wait a minute. If you retry from the safe room, you keep your experience, don't you? Yeah. As many times as it takes. So I was rushing to try to get out, and I died because of it. But it's alright. I think you keep the experience points, right? I'm pretty sure you do. Yeah, I think I kept it. 63? I'm pretty sure I kept it. No, actually, I didn't. No, I didn't keep the experience points. Nope. Alright, well, that's it for now, guys. Um... So Kume won the election. Yeah, Kume won the election. Kume. Applaud for Kume. La 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 Look at this guy. This is the random construction worker. He's not supposed to be here. Oh, what the hell? There's trash behind us. Living trash. Look. <laughs> Toxic weastoids. You fucking freaks. There's the one in the next room where I have to balance. Oh, I'm toxic again. Good. That's great. I, I barely stepped into the cloud. I'm toxic. Thanks. <laughs> My back is killing me. Adachi, you sound like me. He sounds like me, man. He's complaining about his back. So this question was from Twitter. It was from the King of Storm. And he says, how did your back injury start? Um, I've talked about this in the past, but it was quite a long time ago. And you don't want to be buttfucked. Trust me. Always shown our passion for improving the country. And now it's time to show the people that we're willing to put in the work. Wherever a gray zone shadow darkens the land, we'll shine light on it. We will succeed where others fail. We will not sit back and tolerate criminals while lining our own pockets. Right. <laughs> These are my principles. They are the reason I founded Bleach Japan 20 years ago. And I'm proud to say they are the same today. Oh, what's going on? What is it? Warrant issued for party chair rail. You'll get incitement of murder. Party chair, do you have any comments about this report? <laughs> it says you're wanted for murder. It's a mistake, obviously. Some absurd claim by people who have a political agenda against me. Everyone, please remain in your seats as we look into this allegation. You're trending, sir. The buzz on social media is that Rio Aoki isn't even your real name. <laughs> is that true? They're saying your real name is Masato Arakawa. In Yokohama, <laughs> day, a gang leader named Masumi Arakawa was killed. Could it be that he was your father? <laughs> <laughs> 
You can't just walk away. Face the public and explain. I saw it on your face. You recognize the name Masato Arakawa. Party chair. Is Ryo Aoki your true name? <laughs> it's funny. I... Cousins Ventures and more goat laughs at Filbert. Well, first of all, I need something to laugh at. Second of all, I don't necessarily know how to replicate the goat laugh that everyone says I do. Oh my goodness. Huh? For one. huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll take it. Oh. Oh! <laughs> That's great, they got his voice actor to do it. He voice acted the scene. That was pretty good, man. Oh boy. Oh my god, it's all the different Tojo Patriarchs. Oh. Holy crap. A gangland shootdown. <laughs> Guns of the Forefathers. That was sick! Oh my god! Yo! <laughs> wow! That was ridiculously sick! Wow! Yo, that was amazing! I am like blown away! Well... Wait a minute! Robson the Super Kitty Punch? Robson! <laughs> Summon Robson the cat. I didn't even know. This is hilarious. Robson the cat. Get in on this. Everyone get in on this. <laughs> Come here, Robson. Yes, hello. Fake wild tiger of town. Oh, so cute. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. That ain't cute. Oh, boy. Robson, ultimate tiger. Super kitty punch. Fuck me. No! Fuck you! <laughs> Gamers are fags! Fuck you! This is what happens. He created such a web of evil that he made fucking brainwashed people and stuff to follow him and when he, when he changes or betrays them then they lose their minds too. Like, this is what happens when you do this shit. It's fucked up, but it's he he made his own bed. He created a group of fanatics. That's it. Alright, well, obviously we're gonna have some post-credits cutscenes, but Oh my god, listen to what they're playing. Isn't this Ode to Joy? I think I remember this from V for Vendetta when everything was blowing up at Parliament. Ode to Joy. Yeah, obviously this video is going to get content ID matched. There's nothing I can do about it. Haha, <laughs> Crimson Tide says, This is the song that I hear when someone tips $100. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's got to be it. The final moment. Yep. Very good. Very good. That's how you write a story. Tied up all the loose ends. Of course, there's a few things there you got to suspend your disbelief. But you tie up all the loose ends. You get a good ending. Leaves it open for a sequel. It's good. Well, well done. Well written. And what a way to take... What a way to take the, the classic JRPG formula and turn it into a modernized thing. Like, South Park, as silly as this sounds, South Park did it with the Stick of Truth and then later on with the uh, Fractured Butt Hole, you know, took the JRPG gameplay and turned it into, oh, look, modern kids beating each other with sticks and shit and pretending like it's magic. But this game really just completely made a full-fledged, you know, from 100% uh, authentic JRPG with modernized stuff. And that was so well done, man. Really well done. Alright, well let's save because as I've told you guys, this will be the end of the story playthrough of Yakuza 7 for me. Meaning there's no more story left. But, I like this game so much 
that I will consider, well, actually, I am going to do some post-game content, because apparently there's going to be two optional dungeons that are going to open up here that uh, I want to check out. Well, just seriously, like, every moment I played this game was a pleasure. It was so good, man. That's what I mean. Like, I grew up with JRPGs, and it's awesome that 25 years later, 30 years later, I'm playing JRPGs that are amazing like this, set in a modern setting and everything. Like, seriously, just absolutely outstanding. And I absolutely enjoyed it. Thank you to everyone who watched on stream over the many, many streams. By the way, I'm not even kidding. It was like 28 streams or something crazy like that. Thank you to those who watched On Demand on YouTube. I'm sure it took you quite a while to finish the playthrough, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks to everyone who supported the playthrough. Because you guys support my gameplay of long, long, out, uh, long drawn out RPGs like this, I'm able to play them. There was a time when on YouTube I couldn't play lengthy RPGs like this because the YouTube audience was fickle. I don't have to worry about that anymore because I'm crowdfunded. So thank you to those who supported the playthrough over the last two and a half months that I played it. Super good, man. Very like, outstanding. And, and by the way, I said this on Twitter last night. Now that I've beaten the game, I'll absolutely tell you this is one of my favorite JRPGs of all time. Standing among the, the links of great games like Final Fantasy 4 and 6, Chrono Trigger, Earthbound, um... And more modern games, you know, Dragon Quest XI, Persona 5, and definitely Yakuza 7. These are some of the best JRPGs you can play, you know, and it's it, outstanding. Don't, what I will say is this, even if you've never played a Yakuza game before, don't be afraid to try this game out if you like JRPGs, because it's it stands alone as an amazing JRPG, but it also stands as a really great Yakuza game. It's like the best of both worlds, so, good stuff. And by the way, yes, I do hope that they do make Yakuza 8 just like this one it's the same cast continuing on of course i want new characters but they definitely did a great job of establishing a brand new cast to carry the mantle into the future and i really enjoyed this game thank you guys very much until next time and when i say next time i mean post game content which i will be checking out i want to see what's new in there so thank you very much guys Not over yet! Liquid! Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, my story playthrough of Yakuza 7 is concluded. However, I like the game so much that I definitely want to at least take some time to explore the post-game content. I don't know how much of it I'm going to do. It really depends on how much there is and how much I like. So let's actually jump back into the game. Alright, and let's actually see... <clears throat> so, Yo Momo was here, says that sub-stories are still available, so if there are sub-stories left over that I didn't do at some point, I could do them. I'm pretty sure I did them all, except for the silly romance ones. But outside of that, I'm pretty sure I did everything else. Russian Roulette. Heavily damaged multiple enemies may strike allies as well. Spread Mysterious Roulette to activate one of many possible outcomes. Oh my god, just, it's completely random, basically. Uh... Hmm. If I put Night Queen, I'll change the fucking outfit so we don't have to see the stupid sexualized garbage. Alright, so I need to eat, and I need to go to Papa. We can do both over here. Can you guys please stop spamming the fucking sleep emote if you're bored, leave. If you're bored and you don't want to see post-game, leave and stop fucking complaining like a little baby. And I mean that too. Stop being a little toxic jerks in the stream chat. You say. Idiots. Ugh, he's doing boring post game. Then why the fuck are you still here? Leave. If you don't want to see post game, leave. Who's hungry? Me. Major Riot, you weren't gonna tip anyway, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, if we leave, who's gonna tip you? No, none of you who are complaining were gonna tip. Not a single person complaining was going to tip to this stream, so you can just fucking leave if this is your problem. All right, get the fuck out. I'm not stupid. Shut up. If you leave, there'll be five viewers left. At least there'll be five happy viewers and no one bitching yes, in the stream chat, so it. let's do it. Sounds good to me. Mr. 2800 Hours Chase at a temperature remotely rummaging. Oh, here we go. WWE Champions. Here you go. A fucking idiot. The meme you morons can't let go. You can go fuck off. Stupid idiot. I did it! Oh, let's see here. Spawn Killer tipped me a dollar, so I think you have about 60,000 videos on YouTube. Do you think anyone can surpass it? I'm sure someone has, but it's probably, like, not meaningful videos. You know, like, oh, I want to make the most videos on YouTube, so I make 
one billion one second videos. You know what I mean? I don't know if anyone's done 12 years of content back to back like I have. Execute clown mode. Wow, I'd be like nothing. Uh, let's see here. What did she learn? Damage an enemy with legwork that aims at the vitals. It may leave an enemy brainwashed. Oh, dude, kick him in the nuts. Let's see if this works. Kick him in the nuts. Oh, no! Oh! 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 That was fucking dirty. Repeated ball stomps. Oh my god. That was something else, dude. <laughs> Yikes. Deactivate the clown mode. Destroys nutsack. Stop, 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 and break. Pop. Oh, she did She split his nuts. Damn. She killed him by splitting his fucking nuts. That's how it's done. Scooby Bureau just reset for six months. So is it gave the balls touch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. You're an annoying ass Yakuza who won't fucking get off your ass. You pop his nutsack. He's done. You he missed the room. That's what I would do anyway. I would pop his fucking nutsack. I don't know about you guys. What's this? Raw Platinum War. Actually, that's what I did in Project 7, remember? When I shot Gash's Snake in the nuts about 70, 80 times until they exploded. Why do I do a YouTube intro? Because people watching on YouTube would not know what the fuck's going on if I didn't. That's why. Because I'm, I'm nice to my audience. I'm not a prick. I actually like to be nice and explain what's going on, feel a little bit of air professionalism, you know? Maybe it would do you some good to figure that out. I'm laughing my ass off, ha ha, funny. Maybe, you know, if you had some professionalism, you'd be asking some stupid questions. Think about it. It's cool, you don't have to watch the gameplay if you guys just want to chill and talk to me. And so I'm saying, if you talk to me, we'll keep conversation going. It doesn't, it's, this really isn't about riveting gameplay or anything. It's a post-game dungeon. It's meant to be repetitive combat. I think everyone knows that, right? <clears throat> Am I a fan of- Oh, that's disgusting. It's absolutely revolting. And because you said that, I have to ban you now. You gross person. Uh-oh, he's coming. He missed. You're a disgusting freak. You're out of here. This game has enough disgusting freaks in it. We don't need more disgusting freaks. Oh, look at that. Was, you know, I accidentally almost banned Evilibrium because I clicked on his name by accident. I'm not scared of Divinity Original Sin 2. I told you. It's definitely going to happen sometime this month. Or I, I should say- Sometime in February, because that's the next one coming up. It's happening in February. Okay. <laughs> Execute clown mode. Okay. Um. What the fuck? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Yo, that was cool. He's like fucking wigging out on the fucking table. <laughs> All right. Clown mode activated. Nah, it doesn't do much damage. It's a lot of MP use for not, not much payoff. Okay. New Age Herb. What the fuck? He got all his health back. Wow, guess we just got fucked. We just got fucked. I'm not kidding, like, just, uh, just it undid everything. We just got fucked. There was nothing I could do. I never had an opportunity to heal him. Wow. So we just played 47 minutes, and I just lost all that progress. I'm not kidding. We lost it all. Because the game doesn't let you save during that dungeon. And they all ganged on Kasuga and never gave me an opportunity to sit, to heal him. I had no chance to heal him. <clears throat> wow. What the fuck? That was bullshit.
Like, that was real, like, legitimate bullshit. There was nothing I could do about that. So it sounds to me like every fight then, every fight that we do against, like, a tough, a tough enemy group, I have to use that Perseverance move with Kasuga. Because if he be, he's the unlucky one they all gang up on because they all get multiple turns. And if, you know, we don't get a chance to heal, 47 minutes down the drain. Well, fuck all that. I'm just going to turbo through it now. Fuck this. 47 fucking minutes. Because we just wanted gold dust, bro. Huh. <sighs> Unbelievable. No, see, there's a difference. And here, here's Covert Kelly. It's meant to be difficult. No, 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 no. There's a difference between difficult and just cheap. There's nothing you can do about it. Difficult would be like, okay, the enemies are doing a lot of damage, so you have to micromanage your party to make sure you're constantly healing each other and everything. There wasn't even a chance to heal. It was, I hit Kasuga for 50% damage. The next guy came out, I hit Kasuga, kill him. Over. There was no chance to do anything about it. So, there's a again, there's a difference between, oh, that's kind of challenging versus, oh, just an incredibly cheap insta-kill start from the beginning. And this is why when I was playing Persona, it does the same shit. Persona 3 does exactly the same shit, and it's completely broken. Yeah, oh, I'm just going to insta-kill your party now. Oh, okay. What? Well, wait, why did I just play the game all that time if you were just going to cheaply insta-kill my party and I didn't give me a chance? <clears throat> and that's the problem with some of these RPGs, and this game has not had stuff like that until right now. Now, again, this is the post-game ultimate challenge dungeon, okay? So, that being said, all right, fair enough, it's hard, but still, that's frustrating. And I'm going to vent my, my criticism and say, yeah, that's bullshit. It shouldn't be that they can just all dogpile on fucking Kasuga, and you don't even have a chance to defend yourself, you know? You're, oh, well, fuck off, you're dead. No, that's, that ain't right. <clears throat> that is not right. Yes, I hit it this morning. That's correct. I said it. it was a long time running. I wasn't hitting it. So it would be nice, you know, I hit it earlier today. That's true. It would be nice if I could hit it again tonight. It would be very nice. It's like people think, oh, you hit the tip skull once. That means you're good for life, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. I, I, you know, I worked once and it worked out well. You know, that one time I, it did really well. So, you know, I'm good for, for life now, guys. Thanks. This is, what is a fucking dumb thing people say. I used the wrong ability. See what happens if you distracted me? I used the wrong ability. Alright, Cory M, I guess you're gonna get banned. There you go. Since Cory M wants to talk shit, he can, uh, he can sit outside the stream. Yeah, because you just talk shit. You're being an asshole to me. What did you think would happen? You think I would be happy about it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to talk shit about the streamer and insult him publicly on his stream. All right. So now you can go sit outside the chat for 10 minutes and see if you want to behave like a fucking a normal person when you come back or if you continue to be a fucking asshole. All right. <clears throat> Lone Loma, I just do a 210 bit cheers. I love your Yakuza streams. Hypothetical in your charge from. If, if you're in charge of From Software. Okay. Dark Souls 4, Bloodborne 2, Demon Souls 2, Sekiro 2 are all in on Elden Ring. Um, I See, we don't know anything about Elden Ring. I can't comment because we, we literally don't know anything about Elden Ring, so I can't comment on Elden Ring. Out of all those other ones, I would go for Bloodborne 2. Bloodborne 2 was like the most unique, and let's face it, Dark Souls, we had three of them. We don't really need another Dark Souls, I don't feel. Uh, three was enough. I think Bloodborne was outstanding, and we want more of that kind of gameplay, right? Um... We've wanted more ever since the game came out, right? Sucks. Um, I don't want Sekiro. That, yeah, fuck Sekiro. That, that, that was a failed experiment, in my opinion. Sekiro, they seriously shouldn't even make another one ever. It was a good game, but the other games are just so much better, in my opinion. I don't think they should ever make another one of those. I'm completely stuck, and now I'm dead. Fuck you, From Software. No, really. Fuck you, From Software. And then, you know, can't, can't answer anything in regards to... Uh, in regards to uh, Elden Ring, we, we, I wish we knew a single. I wish we knew a single piece of information about it. They have shared nothing. We know nothing at all. Nice. R Rand B for the soul. What is this? What? 
Uh, I'm just gonna start banning these stupidity that some idiots are saying. If you're gonna continuously talk about my fucking wife and shit, I'm just gonna ban you. I don't care. I don't even care what you're saying. Like, <laughs> keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth, you stupid Look fucking disrespectful go. prick. How about that? Sweet. How about you shut the fuck up? I'll take Grow it. the fuck up. Get out of my stream. There you go. I did it. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, just so you guys know, as you know, I'm usually streaming till about 9.15. It's about what I'm going to be streaming till tonight, give or take a few minutes or whatever. So we got roughly about another 35, 40 minutes to go on the stream. Thank you to the top cheer, who's local nomad, and the top tipper, who's OGX Focal. Currently, we're only at $14 in tips, so... Basically, what I wanted to see tonight was an experiment. If I were to do chill late night RPG content with people supporting. Right now, sadly, the answer is not really. The answer is pretty, it's pretty slow and doesn't seem like people really are interested in seeing more of this game. Even though this is ultra challenging, I already died once, right? Uh, I don't know what to tell you. You know, unless things change by the end of the stream, I don't know if I'll do this again. Well, it's been a pretty damn slow night, everybody. I'm not gonna lie, it's been pretty damn slow. I gotta try to kill this guy. This guy does crazy fucking damage. So this is the guy I gotta do away with right away. He's weak to blunt. He also has insane... Dude, he's a tank. He's a crazy-ass tank. It's so ridiculous. Alright, he's weak to lightning. We're using that. Good. We gotta try to kill him as soon as possible. Let's go! Yo, he's doing it again. I survived with nine health. Wow. No, I didn't. Look, he, che he cheated. Yo, good thing I did it. It's a good thing I did it, or else I would have died. They got double turns. Wow. And sh what the fuck? Yo, this party is insane. This party is straight up insane. The amount of damage that they fucking deal and the things that they can do. I gotta heal. I can't do peerless resolve. I have to heal. Or else all, multiple people are gonna die. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Yakuza 7. It's been a week since I played the game, and if you guys remember last week, I played the optional super dungeon, and I thought that was it. It was not it. There's actually more to the game, because it has an, a real optional end game super dungeon, that apparently is much more difficult than the super dungeon that we tackled last week, which, by the way, that one was difficult. So, what we're doing, moving forward, I'm going to be doing late night two hour increments of Yakuza 7, where we basically try to take on the ultimate final dungeon. All right. Um, Queen, she needs two more levels, it looks like, to get. Ex <laughs> yes, Essence of Extreme Bondage, tying them up with ropes. Jasper Kitty is trying to knock the TV over. Jasper Kitty, get down. Jasper Kitty, down. Down. Okay, he got down. He was trying to knock the TV over. So they are level 99. Holy fucking shit, dude. His, oh, his attack rose. He surely needed to do that. 1,000 damage instant kill. Uh, I don't think I can do the final Millennium Tower. <laughs> Not yet. I think we're going to have to grind. Ouch. Me being very honest with you guys, when I was on tw on YouTube, I thought it was great. I was like, man, I could just make videos and... <clears throat> oh, I am in Kamurocho. What am I doing? But I need to get to the sewer dungeon, which is right here. I was like, man, I could just make silly videos on YouTube playing games, having fun. I make a bunch of money doing it. I got my friends come over, play games with me. We make a bunch of money doing it. It's pretty crazy that people like stuff on YouTube so much, right? And it was good for a while. It absolutely was good for a while. Um, and then a few things happened. YouTube changed a lot of things that basically screwed over my channel. Um, as well as people, of course, trolling me on YouTube. But, in reality, the truth of the matter is thus. When you're on YouTube, you are at the whim of YouTube. YouTube dictates how the site works. YouTube dictates how much money you make on ads. It's all about YouTube. I'll give you a perfect example. You guys ready for this? In the month of December, I got a certain amount of views on DSP Gaming on YouTube, all right? It was a good amount of views. It's not great like it used to be. It used to be insane. I probably got less than a million views, but it was still a solid amount of views for my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming. I made a good amount of money in December. Why? Because in December, YouTube basically gets a ton of ads because of Christmas. 
Okay? So that's great. And I got a ton of ads, a ton of ad revenue, a ton of money, and everything was good. In January, I received exactly the same amount of views on YouTube as I did in December. I looked it up. It's exactly the same amount of views. I didn't do any more, any poorly. It was dead on the same. Okay? Guess how much I made? Less than half of what I made in December. Less than half. Why? Because YouTube sucks. They're terrible. They don't know how to sell ad space. They don't know how to consistently do anything right. They basically flub into every kind of success they've ever had. The only reason they have success is because people put content on there people want to watch, not because they run the site well. The site is really shit. I'm sorry, it just is. They've made it worse and worse over the years. And there's no, there's absolutely no explanation or excuse for them to have no advertisers come in in January. Less than half of it. Like, it's, that's, that's pathetic. That's, they should be embarrassed that they can't consistently bring advertisers to the site. That's their whole goal. That's their whole point is to bring advertisers to the site. That's all they really have to do to make money and they can't do it. They literally fail at that. So for me, as someone who's going to be someone reliant on making money because I'm making content that people can watch and digest and then it becomes the way that I make money, okay? I gotta look at it like this. On Twitch, as long as I'm consistently putting out good content and you guys crowdfund said content, you like what I'm doing, and you say, okay, I'm going to watch Phil, I'm going to support his stream via, you know, cheering, subbing, tipping, etc. I can make consistent income. In fact, I can tell you guys right now, I'm making way more consistent income on Twitch than I was ever making when I was a full-time YouTuber. Because on YouTube, there'll be months where it's sky-high ad revenue and then super low ad revenue, even though I'm doing the same work and getting the same views. And that's stupidity. That how can you operate a business when you have no actual clue how much money you can make any given month because the website you operate on is sucks ass and the people just basically are terrible at doing their jobs. And that's pretty much the extent of working on YouTube for a living. It's that bad. Uh, I don't even, I'm, I'm not even like trying to hate on YouTube here. I'm just telling you like that's what it was. It's like every month I work my ass off on YouTube to put out tons of content and I have no idea what I'm making. I could never predict what I was going to make because it was different every month because it was dependent on them selling ads rather than me putting out good content. You see? So the truth of the matter here is for your question here, no, I don't wish I could go back to YouTube and make a living on YouTube. I would never want to go back to being at the mercy of a major corporation, a bunch of fucking employees who were all fucking Ivy League educated, silver spoon in their mouth, pampered babies who get to go on fucking crazy Pilates breaks and fucking eat, uh, what do they call it? Uh, not pomegranate, pomegrapples during their fucking breaks at Google and shit and do all this crazy shit instead of actually running the fucking website. Because that's the truth. They suck. They suck at what they do. Their employees suck. The company management sucks. The whole company sucks. Always has. They think they're better than everyone who uses the site. And they change things on the site without telling people because they think it's, oh, it's for the greater good. No, the greater good is when the people who use the site tell you what they want, not vice versa, you fucking stupid, elitist pieces of garbage. And that's how they act with their fucking business. People trying to make a living on there. And they get their entire livings ruined because some idiot thinks that they have a, a fucking idea that's better than what everyone else thinks is good. And then they fuck over their entire business. It's just, it's ridiculous. And I, I got so frustrated being on YouTube and trying to make it work, I'm very happy I'm not there anymore. And I mean that, like, I am so happy that I am not on YouTube anymore to put up with their fucking bullshit. Because it's just, it was thing after thing. Every, it was like every month, there was a new thing on YouTube that would screw you over. Oh, the ads got fucked up. Oh, this got screwed up. Oh, that's like, dude, yeah, one day we gotta fucking get over all their fucking bullshit. And just say, hey, will it work? And it never really did. There was always other issues. There was always bullshit going on that would screw over the content maker trying to make a living on YouTube. And to the point where I'm just tired of it. And I'm glad I'm not there anymore. Twitch, I almost never have issues with Twitch. Almost never. I think maybe a few times every once in a while, the stream screwed up or whatever. For the most part, I don't really have any kinds of issues with Twitch. If anything, you know, yeah. I, I have to watch what I say and do on Twitch because they change their rules every once in a while. But I have tons of fun being here on Twitch, interacting with you guys. This is better content than I've ever put out, I, I feel, anyway. Just because of the interactive style of the content that I put out. And I enjoy what I do, and I make a consistent living. I do. I make a consistent living being on Twitch when I could never do that on YouTube. So, screw YouTube. That's why YouTube is just an archive of my shit, and I'm never going back to, to doing that ever again. Okay.
We got a lot of contributions that just came in. It's crazy. Huh. <laughs> All right. Continuing on. Prepare for the meat. Cheers is the only reason I ask. I'm sure it gets annoying for you to, st to stress tips. Before you never had to worry about making money on streams. See, that's true. But here's the thing. Before, I had to worry about YouTube working. And whenever YouTube didn't work, now I had to come out and tell everyone, man, everything sucks now because YouTube fucked up. And, hey, guys, you can help me out this way or that way. And you, instead, I just you guys know the deal with Twitch. You know you come here, you support the stream, right? You, you contribute. That's crowdfunding. That's how I make my living. You guys know that. You know the deal. You know how all this works. So, it's consistent. While on YouTube, it was always inconsistent. There was always something new going wrong. Always fucking everything up completely. And Here we go. if anything, if you guys have seen the last year, that's the opposite of what's happened on Twitch. Like last year, ever since basically I got better financially on my feet, things have been a lot better. Um, and I haven't had any of these crazy, oh my God, it's an emergency streams. I really need everyone's help or anything like that. You know, like basically everything's been going good. So that's a good thing. And that's what I mean. Like, yes, I understand what you're saying that, oh, you rely on tips. I mean, that's true, but. I always rely on view, uh, views on YouTube, and if YouTube fucks up, then that's screwed up too, so it's just pretty much the same in that regard. Jasper is now repositioning himself in the vests. He's redigging himself a new place in the vests. <laughs> Funny. Lemon Vitamins, Cheery said, you've been playing 10 minutes and already ranting hard. Well, because someone brought up something that made me rant. You guys know I'm always going to rant about YouTube because I was there for so long, and basically had so many issues with the site you guys know all about my issues with youtube and the problems i had there because they suck so oh let's see here lollerman's cheese says this critique of youtube is a bit odd when you rely on twitch as the platform for your business it's owned by the biggest corp in the world amazon ran by a bunch of ivy league people and they constantly change their rules aren't you in the same predicament no if you haven't noticed i make as much as i as i i i on twitch I have unlimited potential to earn. Let's just put it that way. On Twitch, because I am basically saying, if I put out a free co a product that you guys really like, support it. Because it's crowdfunding on Twitch. I can make unlimited. You see what I'm saying? It's unlimited potential. Right? Now, of course, are there realistic limits? Yes. I'm not going to get a millionaires coming on my stream and tossing me giant contributions. It's not going to happen like that. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, there's no cap and there's no limitation. Twitch cannot in one day just say, oh... We've decided to dramatically reduce the amount of money you can make on Twitch. That's not going to happen, right? YouTube can do that. YouTube can say, oops, we screwed up. We can't sell ads this month. So therefore, we dramatically sure, decrease the amount of money you can make on YouTube, despite the fact you put out great content. That's my problem. On Twitch, You can it's, it's dependent on crowdfunding. And because it's dependent on crowdfunding, everything's good. As long as you put out great content and people like it, they will support you. While on YouTube, it's all about, oh my god, did, did YouTube actually sell ads this month so that I can make some money? It's very different. It's ridiculously different. I've explained it a lot of times. <laughs> YouTube, you, you are a slave to YouTube doing their job. While here, you can actually just enjoy what you're doing. And just as long as you're putting out good content, things work out. Okay? Um... Lemon Vitamins said you should do the grinding in your own time and stream the dungeon so we don't have to watch the boring stuff. No. No. I don't have... First of all, in your own time. What own time? My own time, I don't play games. I'm spending time with my family. I don't play video games in my own time. This is... My stream time is my gaming time. There is no offline gaming time where I sit in the office playing this. I want to be with my family outside of the office when I'm not working. You understand? Um, No Vagabond here? No, no Vagabond here. Um... Now, also, the whole point of these streams is to chill with you guys, to have fun conversations, like we're having right now. The conversation we're having right now, that's the point of, of me playing the these streams. This is not, oh, riveting gameplay that Phil's doing that's going to blow you away. We, we did that. That was called the regular playthrough of the game, you know? That been there, done that. Now we're doing the post-game grind, and if you don't like it, that's fine, but... The reason people would be here would be to chill with me and have a good time, uh, you know, during a post-game dungeon super grind to, to beat that, that final area. That's the point. So you have fun with you guys, have fun conversation. It's not to entertain you with the gameplay. That's done. I, the enter the ga entertaining gameplay of this game is pretty much done until we take out a super dungeon, which we're not ready to do yet. All right? So if you don't like it, that's fine. Come back. I'll let you know when we're finally equipped to do the super dungeon. But I knew this is what it was going to be. I said the entire time this is what it was going to be. If you came expecting something else, you failed. Not me, you. You failed. Right? 
Limit Vitamins Cheerios. If we are having a conversation, we're listening to you rant. Because you asked me a question, I answered it. That's a conversation, stupid. Why are you being so negative? Why are you being a dickhead? Seriously, why are you being a dickhead right now on the stream? Everyone's having a good time, enjoying the, con uh, the fun, the conversation, the discussion. You gotta sit here and complain. So it's this simple. If you're not having a good time, either you can leave of your own volition or I'll make you leave. So you make the choice. If you want to leave yourself or wait a couple minutes and then I'll remove you from the chat. You make your choice. There you go. You're just gonna hey. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! I don't know. What do you guys think? Rank up. Excellent. Look at me go. Level up and rank up. 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 Everyone leveled up and ranked up. Prepare for the meat cheer. Says you believe with your limited person-to-person -person interaction, you have developed a unique accent. I don't know. I I speak to you guys all day, every day. Right now, I talk way more with you guys directly every single day on stream than I ever did before I was a content creator on the internet. I, I, I didn't talk to people that much. Now I talk to people a ridiculous amount all day, every day. <clears throat> Seriously. On my office job, I sat at my desk all day doing work. Yeah, I had human interaction with my coworkers, but it wasn't all day. Same thing with my other jobs I've had. Like, this is the most I've ever talked and interacted with people this particular job. So, I don't know. I don't Do you think that I, I have developed a certain like like dialect or a way that I talk on the streams. Actually, Bruda Bruda Zobalabada says you don't get an accent from talking, you get an accent from an accent from hearing. Is that true? If you hear someone talk in a certain way, that your dialect mannerisms will change. I am I'm not I don't know about that. Okay. Prepare for the meat cheers. I empathize the end of certain words. I've never heard it before. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what you mean by that. How do you empathize a word? <laughs> How on earth do you empathize a word? Oh, emphasize. Oh, it's emphasize, not empathize. Okay. Emphasize certain parts. Why do I demean people who mistype words? Who did I demean that mistyped a word? I misread a word and I didn't demean anyone. What are you talking about? What is people's problem tonight? Everyone needs to relax. Seriously, everyone needs to just freaking relax. What is going on? Everyone just chill out. <laughs> Everyone's all uptight tonight. This is supposed to be a nice chill stream. Why are you all uptight? What is going on? It's still touchy. It's still touchy. It really is. Okay. Sparring King Cheer, he says... I know you've done a single premium shout out before. Can King Michael and King Derek get a double premium shout out? So, King Michael and King Garrett, Derek getting a double premium shout out here tonight on the stream as a result of Sir Spar and King. Congratulations to Derek and King Michael on your custom made shout out. Very nice. Don't get cocky. Hey, Dark Side Weave, maybe you should not mention fucking strap ons in my stream because if you do again, you're probably out of here. Being an idiot. <laughs> Watch me. Crowd Clarion Chudy says your old uh, vlogs are very cool because it's a humble look back at more simple YouTube. Right. Back in the day, when I used to do those vlogs, you're talking 10, 10 years ago, right? It was just me in front of the camera talking, just being honest with you guys. About it. And that's how it was back then. Absolutely no one in order to make a living on YouTube, needed to have a budget. No one needed to have a giant, expensive camera, fucking fancy lighting, a, a, a studio. None of that existed. It was just people fucking around on YouTube, being funny, being silly, having fun, being honest, and basically just sharing their lives with everyone. And then at some point, someone realized, oh, you can make a lot of money on YouTube. And they turned the entire thing into a commercial venture where everything had to be insanely high-end, crazy production value. So it's like watching a television show instead of actually someone enjoying something and showing off talent. And that's the problem. The whole fucking YouTube got ruined by people who threw giant money and production into it, which is not what the point of fucking YouTube was supposed to be. It was supposed to actually be people with no production value and no money being able to showcase their talent. Your personal TV channel or tube. See? But then it, the whole thing got ruined. All right, we got another troll. Let me ban this person. There we go. 
Lean in ban. I got a nice lean in ban for someone who just assaulted me. Goodbye. Alright, here we go again. The same idiot. You know, it, it, go, it does have to say that obviously people must think my wife is attractive considering the fact that the trolls talk about her making an OnlyFans so much because they're fucking sickos. But it's obvious they want they obviously want to see more of her, if you know what I mean. <laughs> or else they wouldn't be talking about her making an OnlyFans constantly. Well, it's done. <clears throat> I love of, drama. Of drama shit, I know. love it. I, I crave the drama. <laughs> Big old Bean says, can I get a zoom in shout out? A zoom in shout out. I mean, no, 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 you can't get a zoom in shout out. That's ridiculous. Why would you ask for that? Jody West's son. Cheers, and where are you? HBS merch. I'm looking for a mug. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. What is that? Oh, well, let's see here. The truth gets banned. Oh, he's, he's the troll. I see. I'm reading it, and he's basically saying that my fans are all on disability. He's a fucking asshole. So you can go fuck yourself. You're not the truth. You're a piece of shit. And you did get just, just get banned. So there you go. <laughs> Now we got a bunch of idiots coming in here with stupid names like DSP Tax Plan and shit, so I'm just banning all of them. I don't care. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna address it or read what they say. I'm just gonna outright ban them. <laughs> there we go. That's why when people are in the stream chat and they joke about my taxes and finances, they think it's funny and they make fun of me for it. That shit's not funny. You know, that shit hurts because you might think it's hilarious. You know, oh, he's an e-beggar. Dude, I just want to fucking have a nice life with cat. That's it. And I can't. We can't, we're stuck perpetually nervous about the future, about are we going to have to leave our house and everything. So when people do that shit, it's fucked up, all right? It just is. It's fucked up. And the people who do that kind of stuff, and the thing is, it's not even just trolls. It's just stream viewers, too. They're little kids who don't understand the, the, the actual severity of the situation that think it's fucking funny to joke about it. That shit's not funny. It actually, it hurts badly to see people think and take, make levity of my life and the fucked up stuff that happens to me in my situation. You know what I mean? Um, it sucks. And, you know, this is me kind of just being very upfront and honest with you guys tonight. But, you know, it's it, it does. It's very, very disheartening that people want to come on my stream and make fun of that shit when there's nothing to make fun of. It's a terrible situation. It's stuff that's been out of my control that's fucked my life up. And now uh, a beautiful woman who I live with, who I want to marry and all that, all on hold because of this bullshit. It fucking sucks. All right, we got a troll to ban there. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to add your dollar to the total in a second here. But we got a troll in here, so we'll take care of that. Duh. Yeah, you know, it's here's the thing. Like, all right, you want to make a crack? Oh, let's 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 reference mobile games and laugh about it. Fine. When people come in here with 14 accounts and they're constantly talking about it and trying to derail the whole stream talking about it, no, of course that's annoying. I don't want to do that. You know, I'm someone who can laugh at myself and laugh at a meme or whatever. But that's the thing. These people aren't normal people. A normal person will make a funny reference. <clears throat> oh, ha, ha. And that's it. They, they drop it. These people can't do that. They're obsessive individuals. Like, their mind becomes so hyper-fixated on something so stupid. And now it's like, oh, let's do it like, okay, let's make the frog reference. Cool. Now let's spam frog emotes for the next 72 minutes in my stream. I just said 72 twice in like a five minutes span there. But you see what I'm saying? Like, it's about moderation. You might make a joke. Okay, not the entire stream is now about this. No, it's not actually. Uh, you know, it's my stream. We're having fun with games, chilling, we're interacting. It's not about you taking over the stream with your stupid name. You're very dumb. Yeah, here we go. So this guy says I have a thousand accounts. It's the guy, it's the moron who just says fake cheers over and over. No, we know you're a loser. Like you didn't have to tell us that. You don't have to tell us that you're a complete and utter loser. We know that from when you come in here with your thousand accounts and continuously talk and cheer and say stupid shit. Like, we know you're a complete loser. You're actually a lower form of life than anyone actually on my stream right now. You are actually at the bottom of all of us. Like, we shit, and then, you know, you're below the turds where the turds fall on the totem pole. Like, we know that. You don't have to tell us and call it out in, like, a cheer. We know that. <laughs> Robot Wizard cheered. He said, "My birthday's coming up. Will you give me a happy birthday. Full screen would be awesome." He wants a ha a full screen happy birthday. No, oh, okay, happy birthday. There you go. Thank you for the cheer, by the way. It's the biggest cheer of the night. Robot Wizard, thank you for the cheer. Retro Jim, here's the thing. Okay, so Retro Jim just cheered. He said, "What's the big deal? What would change if you were playing a mobile game 
It wouldn't change your impact. You would all with your fans. The truth is, you're right. It wouldn't. Who cares? Who cares what who, what a content creator does behind the scenes? The problem is the insane accusations that get thrown at me along with that. It's not, oh, Phil plays a mobile game. It's, oh, Phil spent like, you know, $80,000 on a mobile game. And it's all that money he should have been putting towards stuff. And see, what, that's why this happened and that happened. He's lied to his fans for years. That's what I mean. It becomes this insano conspiracy theory horseshit. That's just so wild and insane. To believe it, you'd have to be an actual fucking idiot. You'd have to be one of the most gullible, simple-brained people. Especially when everything they say is insane circumstantial evidence has nothing to prove anything, but that's what they believe is true. It's like they say, if you want to believe something is true, you will believe anything to get to that end. People want to believe that I'm a scammer. People want to believe that I'm a horrible person because then they would feel that, like, all the years of hatred that they've thrown at me completely illogically would have been warranted. When in reality, the truth is, no, none of it's warranted. It's just insanity. They're losers. But they want to think that they've actually somehow behind the scenes been right about everything all along that they've ever said about ESP. So they latch on to bullshit and, and they just believe it all with no actual factual proof of anything. And here's the thing is that there's idiots who like, they will just continuously move the goalpost. Okay, what about this? You explain that. Oh, but then what about this? Wait, wait a minute, I just explained one thing. What's this? Oh, here's something else, here's something else. They just move the goalpost when it comes to shit like that. So even if you waste time trying to say something that this is what they're saying, they just have 10 more things to say that they pulled out of their ass. And now somehow you're supposed to be able to answer for everything that's ludicrous and stupid that was made out of nothing, right? Here's the truth. I'm just going to leave it at this because I'm definitely not going to be talking about this all night. But I will say this and leave it at this for tonight because this is the end all be all and no one will ever, ever be able to answer this. All right. If somehow behind the scenes, I'm secretly playing all these mobile games and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on mobile games. All right. How in the holy hell was I granted bankruptcy last year? All right. When you go through a bankruptcy procedure, just so everyone understands this, because maybe some people don't. You have to provide all of your information. You have to fully disclose everything. During the process, if it's discovered that something is not disclosed, you have to fully disclose it. If you don't, you could be held accountable legally. You could go to jail. You could have giant problems, okay? And certainly, if it's discovered that you're hiding hundreds of thousands of dollars of mobile game spending, they're not going to grant you bankruptcy, okay? Like, just the, the entire fact that some idiot would actually think that I went through this insanely long process. That process for bankruptcy started in late 2019. I actually first met, if I'm remembering correctly, I first met with the bankruptcy lawyer in like September or October of 2019. And that process continued all the way through like May of 2020. Almost a year. I had repeated meetings not only with my bankruptcy lawyer, but also with actual people involved in the process. What do they call them? The trustee? As well as a judge. I personally met with these people to explain the ins and outs of what I do for a living, how my finances work, where my income comes from, where my debts come from, all this stuff. Like, I do line by line. I'm not even kidding you. I was sitting there with a judge, line by line, going through a PayPal statement, trying to explain to them, that's a tip. That's something I spent money on here one day. That's it. I did all this. This is... It was not an easy process. This is something that took a ridiculous amount of time. This is something that took a lot of money because let me tell you something. My situation was so complex. Number one, because of what I do and people not understanding exactly what it is. But in addition, because of the amount of people who told me, people who actually lied and went online and closed all this slander with the mobile game shit. There were people who were contacting the trustee saying, Phil, not only is he like a, a crazy mobile game spender, but he has all these offshore accounts hidden in... Outside, he had, they felt, oh, he has like five PayPal accounts. He has offshore bank accounts. You got to look into all of this. They did all this to me. They made it so that this this process that normally would be a very streamlined process ended up being a process that took a ridiculously long time because of all the slander against me on the internet. And the slander that actually sent this stuff to the trustee during the, 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 the whole process of the bankruptcy. So just think about this. If I could possibly have gotten away with fooling anyone... How when everyone sent all that shit to the trustee, right? We went through every single line of data possible. And I had to explain away everything and tell them exactly what everything was. 
And at the end of the day, there was none of the bullshit that these idiots say. None of it exists. It's completely fabricated bullshit. I don't need to sit here and justify, oh, there was a, a picture on the internet with extra pixels on it. That proves that you play mobile games and spend money. Oh, there was a, a phantom mod who revealed information over here or there. That proves what we're saying. No, none of it's proven. Wanna know why? Because I had my bankruptcy granted. If anything, if one of the crazy amount of things that they said about this whole thing was true, the bankruptcy would never have been granted. Do you honestly wanna know what they say when I say that? Oh, well that's just because Everyone involved is a boomer. That's actually what I get told. Everyone involved was a boomer. So you're telling me, let me get this straight, okay? My bankruptcy attorney, the trustee, the other judge who was involved in the process, none of them have any idea about anything on the internet. They're completely ignorant to the internet. They don't understand a thing on the internet at all. And so they just took a big rubber stamp, a big, a big rubber stamp and said, thump, oh, it's good. What? It's like, what are you talking about? You actually believe that people who their full-time jobs is to review cases for bankruptcy and or either approve or deny bankruptcy based on reviewing tons of, of, of evidence. You actually believe that they're so dumb that they just have a big red approval stamp and they go thump and they don't actually look into anything or try to understand anything. You really believe that. If you believe that, you are beyond help. You are so dumb and so brainwashed in your mentality that I'm evil and everything that I say and do is evil and I'm a liar and everything that there's no, no factual explanation will ever prove anything to you because you ignore the facts to come up with more conspiracies. You see, it just doesn't matter anymore. They're that dumb. They actually think they're that dumb. They actually think that the bankruptcy would have went through because somehow I'm such kind of a magical smoke and mirrors guy and i could fool multiple people who've been doing this for a living for their whole fucking life these aren't people who are like newbies on the case i have someone who i think they were doing it for 15 20 nice. years is their job Hell you're telling yeah. me they're that bad at their job oh. that they just they missed every they missed all the offshore money that i'm funneling to an account over here they missed my five extra paypals that i don't tell anyone about and they missed hundreds of thousands of dollars in mobile game spending. Yes, they missed all of this. You're absolutely right. They're the worst thing ever. They don't know what they're doing. You're out of your mind. You're out of your fucking mind. And I don't need to address shit like that. That's why when people say, oh, why does not Phil ever talk about it or answer this or that? There's no point. The evidence is right there in front of you. There's no way I ever would have had bankruptcy granted if any of that shit was true. Zero chance that I would have gotten my bankruptcy granted, which means none of it's true. But instead of saying, okay, well, I guess it was all bullshit, after all, that's why Phil denied it all along, instead it's, oh, well, what's the excuse because there's a boomer involved? It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? You are insane. You are actually insane if that's what you think. And there's no helping people like that. So I'm done with the subject. I'm not going to talk about it again tonight. There's no point in bringing it up because there's nothing else to say. I would not have gotten bankruptcy, granted, if anything they said was true. It's all what shit always was. And that's, I don't need to specifically address every individual little nonsense thing they bring up because none of it makes any sense in regards to the big picture. So fuck that. Hmm. Okay. Now let's do some shout outs. Oh, let's see here. The hated one cheers says, why not just ignore it and go on with your day? Oh, I do. See, the hated one, I absolutely do. The, th the point that we're bringing up here, hated one, is that there are people who just don't give it up. Like, I don't, you, if you don't notice, I don't bring it up, or hardly ever. Every, every once in a while, someone will reference it and I'll have a good laugh about it or something. But you know, like I said, there's no debunking stream. I'm not wasting time on it. There's no point because you're right. It's all stupid. The people who are here to hang out with me and enjoy don't care about that. They know it's bullshit. They know it's all fabricated, but just like the escort saga, just like the, the, uh, the fake mod saga. Just like every other saga, right? The fucking Project 7 scam saga. Every saga they come up with, that's all horseshit. Because think about that. Just think about how insane the, and, and immature they are that they think my life is a bunch of sagas. Like a fucking anime. Like this is fucking Cell Saga. Gee, are we in the Saiyan Saga, the Cell Saga? Or are we hit coming up on the Boo Saga yet? Like where are we right now, right? What the fuck are you talking about? Are you insane? That's not life. Life is not a bunch of anime sagas. Like, what are you talking about? But that's how they are. That's how these people are. They're nuts. Yeah. They actually think that that's how life is. Like, but anyway, 
Yeah, you know, you, you notice I don't sit here and just talk about it. Uh, you don't, you know, I'm not going to waste the time discussing it or anything like that. There's no point. There's no point. Oh my god. I didn't even do the, do the punch button. Alright, let's see here. Gimme, gimme, Mo. The thing, here's the thing, gimme, gimme, Mo. Alright? Because he says, I don't even understand why the mobile game is still a thing. Like, why do they latch on to that kind of stuff? Here's why. Because previously in my life, all right, before 2017, I was a very transparent person. I would constantly share things in my personal life from behind the scenes all the time, okay? When I became a full-time streamer in 2017, when I made, had some really big life changes, all right? And finally, when I got into a new relationship in late 2017, early 2018, and when Kat moved in with me, I said, I am changing everything. I'm going to make it so that I am not going to reveal stuff from my personal life to the public. Because every time that I do, they spin it negatively and they do these crazy conspiracies. They do nutty stuff and they try to make my life miserable. Okay? And so, I made changes. You know, at one point, I would vlog everything in my house. Everything in my house. You know? If, this, if, this, if I had gotten Jasper in, say, 2015... There would be a million videos and pictures of Jasper all over the internet. I would make a whole video series with Jasper and everything. Like, seriously, I mean that. Like, it would have been a completely different situation than how it's are right now. But when I became the, a full-time streamer, I 100% told myself, I'm not going to allow these people to ruin my life anymore. I need to make changes. So I did. And when I made those changes, okay, people didn't have anything to work with anymore. They didn't have... I don't know all Phil's personal shit, so now I can't actually spin it into to toxic shit so we just have to make shit up and that's when things like the the mod who was actually catfishing people pretending to be a woman for a year and then tried to basically get me kicked off a of twitch that we had that going on and then we had oh phil phil is paying for an escort which was completely 100 percent a lie there was zero actual evidence of any of it but they acted like there was see they just had to completely try to find other ways to fuck with me because i wouldn't provide them with that that avenue to do it anymore by giving them the personal information that they could use and twist into something negative so that's the thing like they had to go crazy and, and basically now that's why you see all these insane things why is it for a year this is what people are talking about because they're losers they have no factual information to use anything so they just make shit up constantly and they try to use every little piece of tidbit of nonsense and spin it into a huge thing to prove a crazy conspiracy it's just, it's nutty thinking. It's the same people who think that COVID is a fucking hoax. It's the same people who listen to Donald Trump and storm the Capitol. It's the same kind of fucking people. There's no difference between them. They're all this fucking same. Th that's what I mean. Like, they're not. They're actually nuts. No normal people would ever entertain or believe that shit. That's inc incredibly non that's nutty thinking, the way that they do this shit. Seriously. It's, it's, it's insanity, and I, it, there's nothing, there's no justification for it or anything, it's just, they're crazy. To, to go the extent of, that they have to try to ruin my life, I'm someone, they don't personally know me, right? They don't personally know me, they don't know anything about me outside of what you see on a stream, right? No, they, but they, they make it their life's agenda to stalk me and to destroy my life. Why? A normal person doesn't do that. These are crazy people. That's the only explanation for any of their behavior. They're crazy people, and they've latched onto internet people, like internet content creators like me, who are easy targets, who have no defense against it. I'm not rich, I can't sue these people into oblivion to stop them from doing the shit that they do, so they get away with it. They're just nuts. They think that they can get by completely ruining someone's life. Anyone who would ever go to that website, kiwifarms.com, and actually participate in that kind of behavior has mental illness. Normal people would never do that. Not a single person who's right in the head who has a good, happy life would ever go and try to ruin someone else's life. It's that simple. But they won't ever admit that. They would never admit that. Because that, again, that would mean that everything they've done is wrong. There's no justification for what they've done. They want to believe their craziness, their conspiracies, to think that somehow they're crusaders for good. And all the fucked up things they've done to people and harassed people with over the years are somehow justified when in reality not a single one is. Because they're fucked up in the head. <clears throat> there you go. Okay. Going back here to the save room. Let's see here. Um. Uh, let's see. Yeah, everyone's joking about what I said about anime. When's the when's the DSP Tenkaichi Budokai saga? 
But that's what I mean, they do that. They literally say, what's the next saga? What saga? Here's here's what I do every day. I turn on a stream, I hang out with you guys, and I play video games. That's that's my life. And I have a good personal life behind the scenes you guys don't know much about because I don't tell you because these idiots would spin it into negative shit. That's all. There's no saga here. There's no drama. It's just me and my viewers having fun. That's it. And that's the thing. They're so angry because there used to be things that were dramatic. There used to be sagas and things going on, and they are, there aren't anymore. So they have to just make shit up. They have no other avenue to create drama, so they just have to invent shit. And, and you know, it's, 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 it's insanity. That's the best description for it. It's being nuts. Having no life and having so little to do with your own life, you've lost it, so you have to ruin everyone else's around you. And uh, I certainly hope that you guys will, will join me next time around because I will do it again next week as a late night stream, okay? Awesome. Uh, I mean, I have to agree with you. Once again, just like with everything with the current bullshit that they say, there was nothing factual about that. And what it is, it's all circumstantial. They'll say, oh, look, Phil said that his, his girlfriend came to visit him and baked him brownies. Now, here's someone who says that they're an escort and was f paid to fly out there to stay with Phil, and they have a brownie recipe and a picture of brownies. So, obviously, this is the same person. It's like, what? There's no evidence. That's called completely circumstantial evidence. It's someone making shit up based on stuff I've already given you publicly in order to pretend like they're part of something that's not real. It doesn't make any sense at all. But that's it. When you're a conspiracy theorist, right? When you're buying into this insanity of this stuff, you just want to believe. So you will fool yourself into believing it. If anything, that's actually a really good example that you brought that up, Gimme Gimme Mo. You would think that once that entire escort saga, which to so many people seemed fully plausible at the time, okay? Once the entire thing was debunked, you would have think that would have been the end of it. All right, enough with the conspiracy theories with Phil. People are obviously making shit up constantly, so we're not going to believe the nonsense anymore. Nope, they were on to the next one, then on to the next one, then on to the next one. Because they're fucking stupid and nuts. Normal people don't follow that shit. <laughs> anyway, yes! Yes, Jasper Essentials, I 100% am comparing people who make the conspiracy theories up about me to QAnon. 100%. It's the same kind of people. I'm not saying it's exactly the same people. I'm saying it's the same kind of people. You want to believe something so badly, you will take anything as evidence of what you're trying to prove. It's insanity. That is not logical thinking. That is, That kind of thinking can lead to things like we've seen happen. Crazy shit in the Capitol. People who are so nuts, they just believe shit. Oh, Trump didn't win. If Trump won the presidency, stormed the Capitol. What are you talking about? Where's the evidence? There's zero evidence of anything you're fucking saying. What are you doing? You're out of your fucking mind. Now, how many people went and did it? Now, those are people who did it in person. Those are the ultra nuts. But these people who do shit on the internet, they feel like I can participate in this crazy activity and I have absolutely no repercussions for it. You know, the people who stormed the Capitol are in jail right now, federal prison. They tracked them all down and fucking arrested them all, right? Because they broke the law and went crazy. People who do this crazy conspiracy sh theory shit on the internet, they're protected. Because they're anonymous, no one can go after them for their nonsense. It's really fucked up and disgusting when you think about it, right? It's pretty fucked up. And here's the funny thing. Casper goes, says, Phil's on the left. No, I'm not. I am not on the left. I'm not on the left, and I'm certainly not on the right. I'm on neither side. I told you guys a million times, it's not about politics for me. It's about me having personal beliefs about that. And that's who I am. And, you know, I'll always be an independent guy. Same thing with my streams. I don't shill. I don't lean to one belief system or the other, I tell you how I how I feel it is, no matter what I'm doing, okay? And just because I'm being critical of insane conspiracy theorists who stormed the Capitol doesn't mean that I'm leftist. It means I'm a logical human. If you can't see that, you're a conspiracy theorist and you're nuts. I mean, that's insanity. Anyway, let's continue here. Um, Hans Celebratory says, is Phil paranoid? No, I'm not paranoid, but number one, I do have... A pet that's a free roaming pet that I have to care about and make sure that he's safe. And number two, you do realize I got death threats recently, right? So, you know, due diligence, it makes sense to kind of be a little bit extra careful when you hear loud noises. I'm just saying. Um. Help! Oh, let's see here. No, Robot Wizard, we're not doing any fucking debunk streams. There's no point. As you saw tonight, I talked about stuff briefly. That's it. Tonight was supposed to be a chill stream. It was good to have something to talk about while I'm grinding here. I'm glad that we, we talked about it got, it, got it out of the way. And now we can talk about other shit. There's no reason for debunk streams and shit like that. 
Uh, you know, business as usual with games. Alright. There's only one way... There's only one way to solve this. There's only one way to solve this. Alright, here we go. <laughs> there we are. Alright. We've solved it. Problem solved. Alright, very nice. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Because here... This only happens once in a lifetime. Only once in a lifetime. When people are so ridiculous they can't agree. Uh, Very nice. <laughs> Retro Jim Chu says, make it a thing double vest at 200. <laughs> double vest at 200, he says. Double vest. Well, we didn't raise 200 tonight, so you guys must have, you guys got lucky, I guess. I'm getting stronger. I've changed the vest game. Well, there you go. We'll do this. Every t every time I raise $200 in tips, I'll do a double vest. How about that? That's the stupidest idea ever, but someone said it, so I'll do it. Because it's so stupid, I'll do it. Double vest at 200 There you go. The new meme has been born. Double vest fill. DVP. Double vest fill. Oh, my God. My new name is DVP. I'm using it every day. What's up, everyone? DVP here. How you doing? The double vest streak begins as pray for rock. There you go. There you go. Double vest. If we raise two hundred dollars on the stream, it's double vest time. The double vest streak. The thing is, we didn't raise two hundred today, so. <laughs> Did he die? He died right away. Damn. Oh, let's see here. This Star Room Chiesa, would you say the Nickelback of content creators? The, the meme was that Nickelback was first published by a publisher that was known for putting out metal bands, so the meme was Nickelback is a bad metal band, which evolved into just Nickelback is bad. No! That's stupid. It's a dual vest, no, by the way. You're welcome. Look who's the pork is thanking me for a great Yakuza 7 stream. You're welcome. If anything, seriously, that stupid fucking mobile games meme that the haters do, I'm just not addressing it anymore. Every single time anyone brings it up, I'm going to say, I don't have to answer any of your questions. All I have to say is, I was granted bankruptcy. That's evidence it's false. You're a fucking idiot. And that's all I'm going to say from now on. The bankruptcy went through. You're a fucking idiot. Have a nice life. There's no point in wasting time on that discussion anymore. There's just no, there's no reason. Because no matter what I say or do, they're never satisfied. So, you're a fucking idiot. Obviously, facts are on my side. You're dumb. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's it. That's seriously the end of the discussion. I'm not going to dis discuss it any further than that. That's all you'll ever get out of me on that subject. <clears throat> Alright, this is a legit tip, thank God. This one is from Sturban1, who tipped me $10, and he says, What do I think about the VTuber trend? Would you consider becoming a VTuber? Well, alright. Well, first of all, I guess what I need to do is understand it. And from what people have explained to me, I've never actually seen one of these things. Alright? For them to understand the way a VTuber works is, it really is a live streamer. Right? But the live streamer uses an animated character on the screen rather than their real person on webcam. Like, it's a it's a rendered character, right? Like, 3D rendered character who looks kind of like That's an anime character or something like that, right? And I guess the streamer plays that character Hell on yeah. the stream rather than it being the real person. It's like they're portraying a character on the stream. That's my understanding of it. Please, by all means, if I'm not understanding it, Please, uh, Strong. please correct me if I'm wrong, because I may not know like, what I'm talking about. That's what people have told me it is, okay? Um, but if that's the case, like, here's the thing. If you are 100% known that you're just a character, that's what you're known for, and that character somehow becomes popular, hey, I guess all power to you. I guess some people would argue, oh, that's not genuine, because that's not the real you, you're portraying a character. Uh, I hate to tell everyone, that's no different than what a lot of top streamers do. Right? A lot of top streamers, they're dressing a certain way, they're acting a certain way, they're dyeing their hair, they're acting over the top, they're screaming, they're doing mannerisms that are something that are a character, you see? And if that character is what gets over and what people like, you're doing exactly the same thing as VTubing, except you're showing a real human there, dressed up, rather than just showing the animated facade. There's really no difference. There really is no difference, okay? Now... Obviously, some people are going to be upset because I, I actually heard about some of this. I actually heard, and this maybe maybe I'm misunderstanding. Oh, again, maybe I'm misunderstanding. I've heard that there's some female streamers 
who get a certain kind of audience, let's be honest here, certain kind of viewer, who likely is a male viewer, who fawns all over them, and tends to like donate a lot because it's a female streamer. Obviously, I completely think this is stupid as hell. This is women preying on lonely dudes. I think it's a messed up thing that this happens. I don't agree with it at all. All right, if you're putting out quality content, that's one thing. If you're preying on guys on the internet because they just want to dump money on you because you're a girl who dresses up for your fucking stream and you're flirting with your stream viewers, I don't agree with that at all. That's my personal take on it. You could disagree. I think it's fucked up and it's immoral. All right, that's my take on it, okay? But apparently there are some of these women who do this for a living, who are now upset because these VTubers, these virtual girls, are just, you know, animated. They're not real people. I mean, there are people behind them voicing them, but they're basically virtual girls are actually getting attention and traction in the streaming communities. They're getting followings, and, and in a lot of ways, they're taking up the money that these women used to make doing what they do on the internet, all right? So it's kind of like, I don't know, like, this is basically almost like a purist versus a new school technology argument. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of, in my opinion, it's all the same shit. Seriously, in my opinion, that's all the same. And I don't like any of it, personally. Like, I think it's all stupid. I don't think that anyone should be so dumb that they're just throwing money at someone for a virtual flirting and shit like that. It's dumb as fuck, okay? But essentially what happened is people realized, I don't, you know, you could capitalize on that market with a created character. Right? And what's the, what's the difference, let's be honest here, with people here who have the waifus and things like that on the internet and all these guys around the world that are completely in, enamored with anime and shit. What's the difference between that and the VTuber? Seriously, like, what's the difference? I don't know if there is one. Because it seems to me like it's exactly the same thing. It's just, it, to me, it's just it's sad, but it's still the same thing, right? So, how can you argue one way and not the other? Right? How can you argue that a human being completely dishonest with their viewing audience, flirting with a guy and making him feel like maybe he's going to get something out of his that's never going to happen, right, is somehow better than someone made a virtual character that doesn't exist and does exactly the same thing and someone throws money at them? Like, that doesn't seem to make sense to me. Like, you put two and two together, there's no logic there. See what I'm saying? Like, it seems like if you're okay with one, you have to be okay with the other, right? But they're not, because they're angry because someone else is basically doing something similar to what they were doing and basically making more doing it. They don't like that. They don't like that at all. Or maybe not making more, but taking away. You know, it's, it's called market share. They take, they're now sucking the market share away from them. It used to be this certain group of, of people who did it, and now it's virtual characters doing it. Personally, you guys know my take. I That's the dumbest thing ever. I'm never going to think that's anything worth anyone's time. Um, people who, do, who support that, I mean... If you want to, go ahead, but I think that's incredibly stupid and a waste of everyone's time and money and, I mean, what the hell? Like, how are you ever going to have a real-life relationship if you spend your whole time sitting on a stream with someone across the world who's lying to you, flirting with you, pretending like they like you just to get money from you? You're never going to have a relationship. You're never going to have anything meaningful in your life if that's what you do with your time. That's a complete waste of your time and money and effort. You should be out there actually maybe trying to actually have a life for yourself. That's not virtual, and it's not, you know, actually meet a real woman who is romantic and you can have a relationship with and actually build something with in real life instead of wasting your time on virtual shit. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, that's my take. Now, would I ever do anything like that? It, it, listen, as a joke, yeah, maybe if someone wanted to see something as a ridiculous joke, Phil did a VTuber stream for April Fools or something, right? And I filled, I figured out a way to do it easily. It wasn't a big deal. I could just do it one off stream or something stupid. Then yeah, I would never do that as something serious. That I, you guys know who I am. You recognize my voice. You've been seeing me do this for over 12 years. Dude, I'm not gonna turn all of a sudden one day into a fucking VTuber who hides his fucking face and you're like, no, yo, now I'm doing it. No. no. No, that's not gonna happen. That's that's ridiculously stupid. Um, not gonna happen at all. Okay, here's the final vagabond. Then we can go back. Oh, let's see. Frog in a party hat. <laughs> wow, frog in a party hat. You do realize that Sun Quan is a fucking uh, a tr uh, a restreamer and got permanently banned when they finally got exposed and with definitive evidence that they are that restreamer. So we're not talking about them on my fucking stream. I don't care what kind of a tuber they are. They're permanently banned because of that reason. So we don't talk about that shit in here. Yeah. 
Oh, let's see here. Why do I lean into the mic to burp? Just to disgust you, particularly, Sun Quan. That's why. It's like, oh, you're another annoying questions tonight. <laughs> Sun Quan, if you ever ask me when I'm playing Divinity again, I'm just going to ban you. I've had enough of your nonsense. Everyone already knows the answer to that. I've only answered it about 40 billion times, so I'm not wasting my time answering stupid questions anymore from people like you. I've had enough. There's an item over here. Westside Phil, if you think there's nothing fun about the chill stream, you can leave and not complain. I already warned everyone tonight of the kind of stream this would be. It's just about interaction with me and grinding. If you don't like it, please leave. Come back on another stream that you enjoy. Don't sit here and bitch or you're going to get your ass kicked out of here. I have zero tolerance for it tonight. Zero. Oh, here we go. So this guy is basically a troll. So this guy can go fuck himself. What a, what a shock. Um, oh, shit. That is not what I wanted to write. He's already banned. Good. Okay. All right. I received a $5 tip from Undisputed Red Fox. I don't know if I really understand the question. Let me pose it to everyone in the stream chat and see if anyone understands what this is. $5 tip to say, since it's a slow night, here's some more. It ain't much. I'm sorry. I spent a lot last weekend. I went to a trip to Atlanta, but dumb question. The Yellowstone Volcano woke up. What emotion do you think you would have? What would you like to be doing at that moment? What are you talking about? Yellowstone Volcano? Where is Yellowstone? I don't even know where that is. It's somewhere in the U.S., but I don't think it's anywhere near me. Yellowstone? Right? So why would why are you, would you be asking me about what would happen if, if a random volcano erupted? Right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? It's in Wyoming? Oh, okay. Great. Watch me. I have no idea. I don't know how I would react. I would say, oh, volcano. Just like that. I would say, oh, volcano. There you go. Mythical's coming. Wing, wings started a vest streak. <laughs> Are you serious? Did, did Wings of Redemption actually start a vest streak? I don't think so. I don't think he would have been that tacky to completely copy me, right? I don't think so. But true adult, no. Nothing Wings says is true. I pay no attention to what he says. And you should stop propagating ridiculous rumors. Absolutely absurd. And stupid. Okay, thank you. Uh, Sturbin one? Yes. With the top tip of $10. Uh, with only about half an hour left on the stream. Actually, I take it back to more like 35 minutes. I would really appreciate it if anyone wanted to contribute could help out if they could. Number one, I'm already trying to offset a $50 chargeback from earlier today. Number two, I just got several fake tips tonight. I had to refund that cost me. And number three, we didn't the tips go earlier today. And now we're way far from hitting it. If you could contribute tonight, guys, please do. I would really appreciate the help if you could, okay? Thank you. So anyway, thank you to Hugh Jazz for that tip during the boss fight. I really appreciate it because, like I said, it's been a slower stream today. Yes. All right, so shout out to the following. First of all, we've got Plazat5, who took me $5. So this is a great stream. Thank you, Plazat5, for that. I appreciate that. Up to $30 in tips. And then I got an $8.50 tip from Super Bat Cat, who says, sorry that it's slow tonight. Listen, you, know, you don't have to apologize, all right, ever. No one has to apologize because it's a slow night. That's not how it works. I appreciate all contributions. Like not every night could be a great on. one for contributions. <laughs> Today in particular was a very slow day overall. And then on top of that, I got chargebacks and fake tips. So it's like double fucking whammy. Nothing you can do about it, man. All right? If you're here, you're having a good time. Thank you. If you can't contribute, please do. Please, by all means, help out. But you should never feel bad. Never feel bad that it's a bad day for contributions or anything like that. It's not what this is all about. Okay? <clears throat> In general, I found it all evens out. Okay. However, contributions are mandatory. Or not, excuse me. Boy, did I screw that one up. Contributions are mandatory. <laughs> All right, so let's ban this guy now. <laughs> there we go. Power to him. So you get an idiot like Canadian Mustache, he says. Yeah, Phil says it all evens out, but tomorrow he'll complain that everything's uneven. Yeah, because tomorrow if the stream's slow, then it didn't even out. Right? That's the point I'm making is hopefully, usually in general, things even out. You get a slow day, you get a good day. 
it, you know, average day, it all evens out. But if it doesn't, then I'll be honest. You know, people just don't like honesty. They want to believe that the world is roses and beautiful snowflakes and rainbows, and they don't want to actually believe that, like, there's hardship and there's things that happen. So, if you don't want truth, get the fuck out. There you go. And the bottom line is, I need a lot of fucking money. Derek, yeah, I don't think I've ever done a Power Rangers uh, game playthrough, right? So, so back in the day, before I did Direct Capture, but I was just doing random shit. During the summer times, I would sometimes do random marathons. I would do a Spider-Man marathon, because a new Spider-Man movie was coming out. I would do a Batman marathon, because The Dark Knight Rises was coming out or whatever, okay? And I actually bought one summer, I bought a ridiculous amount of uh, Power Rangers games. I had like seven games to play. And <clears throat> I threw it around as an idea. People didn't really take to it as well as the other marathons that I did. It never happened, and then I went to Red Capture, and I had no ability to capture those old-school games anymore. I never played them. So, I think I gave them the Rambo. I'm pretty sure when I moved, I gave them all the Rambo. <clears throat> Just gotta try to turbo through this to get to the save point before the end of the stream. Alright, guys, this will be last chance for anyone to contribute and help me out tonight, and I would appreciate it if you did. Please do if you can, okay? Well, thank you very much. I just received a $12 tip from Snow Bunny, which is the top tip of the night. And let me tell you guys uh, what it says here once I get it on the leaderboard and we add it. It looks like we will get at least a halfway to the tip skull tonight, which is nice. Pay pegs? Pay pigs. I said pay pegs. Good. Let me get the glasses on before people freak out. <clears throat> You're welcome, Evil Equilibrium. Okay. So, Snow Bunny says... Let's at least get you to fifty dollars to negate the nasty charge back from earlier today. Sorry, you still have to endure this shit. It's really not for you. Put out a quality stream six days a week, and people mess with you. Yeah, and if it's not chargebacks, then it's fake tips on top of that. So not only did I lose fifty bucks from a chargeback, then there were a bunch of fake tips tonight, and those hurt me too. So it's fucking bullshit. I appreciate your tip. Thank you for that. Oh, <clears throat> uh, Greenpeace, thank you for the cheer. There's no overtime ever again, ever. At least for now. What? What is a racist name? All right, so Dark's Darkest did 100 bit cheers that for some easy souls go either fight the small dragon boss or the zipper head boss. I have no idea what the fuck that. Means. No, it's not. That is not a racist name. All right, so now apparently I've said two racial slurs. Sure, I did. Actually, I didn't say the first racial slur, and no one even knows what you were talking about with the other one, you idiot. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> what a complete moron. No one even knows what you were talking about. No one has any idea that anything was said. You're a complete idiot. Oh, my God. All right. Well, I guess I have to wait and ban this guy. And, uh, it's so fucking boring to have to do it. There you go. All right. So now you're banned. And now this guy's banned. All right. And now this guy's banned. Okay. There you go. There you go. I... Oh, another troll. We got another troll. Hold on. I get to ban someone else who's cheering. Let me make sure I get the right person. There we go. It is? That is not br That's not racist at all. That's not what it means. Not. It's At least in the United States, that's not racist at all. I know what that actually references. That references uh, people who, who ski a lot, actually. So that is not racist. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. It's not. <laughs> Fine, then. If people are going to freak out about it, then I'll do this. Because it's not. To me, I know it's not in the United States, but fine. There. Wow. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, Greenpeace. No, that's not. It's not, a, it's not a, a, char, a slur from the South. You're a liar. You're a fucking idiot. It is not from the South. <clears throat> Blatant lie. Oh, here we go. So, the person who tipped me is now pissed off because you guys are saying that it was supposed to be something racist, which it's not. So then they tipped me again. And they used the name Kitty Cat this time. And it's a $13 tip, and they said, 
per Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, informal, a young, attractive female skier. For Merriam-Webster, a person, especially a girl who's a beginner in skiing. But people are stupid as always and want to cause drama. Yes, you're correct. So, kitty cat is not racist. I know for a fact exactly what it is. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I know I know what English terms mean. I'm not dumb. That's why I put it up on the leaderboard. But people want to be idiots, so they can go fuck off. Okay. Hell yeah. Carlton Jr. changed that the rumor is it's a Diamond Pearl remake. Must be talking about the Pokemon Direct. Uh, but that the Sword Shield has the Sword Shield engine, a sequel to Let's Go Pikachu. Not very excited if that's true. We'll see. I think Pokemon has become a little too casualized. Yeah, I completely skipped out uh, on, oh, uh, whatchamacallit, on <laughs> Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go TV. That's what I said. They said they're not even serious Pokemon games, so I didn't play them. And I don't think I missed out on anything, even though I'm a Pokemon fan. Uh, I didn't think that it would make sense for me to play those games. They just seemed pretty crappy. And, you know, I don't think I missed out on anything. Get it! N oh my god! Flinched and cannot move. You gotta be fucking joking. I need one more fucking hit! What the fuck? Just let me fi finish the fight! Good god, man! Rykova2077 has resold for seven months. Thank you very much, Rykova. I appreciate that. Look at me go! Retro Danny asked, I like my haiku of him. I think he did it earlier, and I don't remember it. Yes. My brain was so scrambled from playing stronger. fucking uh, Ghost of Goblins earlier that I don't really remember anything from that stream. I think that my 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 mind has actually it has like like post traumatic stress and it's trying to completely forget what happened on that first stream. <laughs> Can't take it. Oh really? It's detractor art. This fan says detractor art made for the Bloodborne old hunters. This is how you don't play. They really draw art for that stupid shit? <laughs> Why? <clears throat> Why do they bother with that? Nothing in, like... Like, okay, you make fun of me and make fun that I suck in games. There's nothing that I do that warrants drawing crazy art like that. Even if you're trying to make fun of me, like... Wh what? And by the way, the old Hunters... If you're talking about the original old Hunters playthrough... Alright. The second old Hunters playthrough I did, when I went back years later, I kicked that thing's ass. I remember I was... I, I had a lot of fun with it, actually. I actually went back and did New Game Plus, and I beat, uh, what's his name again? The boss that had kicked my ass so many times, Ludwig or whatever? I went and beat him in New Game Plus on the first try. Okay, that was great. <laughs> you know, it was just a matter of the first time that I played uh, the Old Hunters DLC, I really had zero interest in it. If you remember, I played Bloodborne earlier in the year, and that was during the hardcore gaming season when there was like a lot of big games and, and just a variety of games coming out in a short amount of time. I did not want to play that DLC. I told you guys that. And people fought with me that I needed to play it right away. Why am I playing anything else but the DLC? I was, I was trying to stream other stuff, and people would just come... And literally sit there and complain the entire stream. Why is this not Old Hunters? Where's Old Hunters? Why is Old Hunters? So finally I caved and I played it and I didn't want to fucking play it. And I quit it within like two sessions. I don't want to play this anymore. You know, I didn't, I just didn't care about it. Eventually when I went back and I did another full run of Bloodborne. And this time understanding the parry system. Which I did not get my first time around. Once I went and replayed it. I Not only did I find the game way better. But I liked the Old Hunters DLC. I thought it was actually really, really good when I gave it the actual fair shake. But I didn't give it a fair shake the first time because I didn't want to play it. Shout out to Creative Square did 100 bit cheers at Viva La Raza. Uh, Carmen T2000 cheered and said, Does Cat tell you stop? Don't touch me there. What? Carmen, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, seriously. All right. All right. I'm going to say something right now. All right. I'm going to say it. Very matter-of-factly, I want everyone to listen up. It's very important, okay? If you want to make a joke on my stream about me, about gameplay, about, you know, I need money for something, you know, those are all things that are fair, fair game. They're fair game. Why? I'll tell you why. Because that's part of my stream. My stream is about gameplay. My stream is about, you know, this being a business. If I need help, yes, I do ask you guys for help. This is all matter-of-factly true. If you want to make fun of me for that kind of stuff, I put myself out there on a daily basis, and it's, you know, it's fair game stuff, all right? 
Here's what's not fair game stuff. You ready? Talking about my fucking wife in stupid and weird fucking ways. I had it at this point. I don't want people bringing her up with weirdo shit. I don't know what the fuck this means. I don't care. You shouldn't say shit like that about my wife. She's not part of my streams. She has nothing to do with anything. Why? You know, if you want to... Okay, what did you have for dinner today? Oh, Cat made a really good dinner. I'll tell you. That's it. It's not your place to now try to make fucking weirdo memes and shit with my wife in them. Shut the fuck up. All right, we got some trolls. Someone just, you know, insulting my wife. Go fuck yourself. No, really. Lick my ass. See you in hell. <laughs> Moron. How about this? How about I stalk you online? I find all your family members on your social media. And all of a sudden, when Carmen T. cheers about my wife, I bring up your grandmother and say something weird about her. Would you like that? You think that would make you a little uncomfortable, bro? Huh? You think it's a little fucking weird if I did that? So how about this? Shut the fuck up and stop saying weird shit or you're out of here. And I mean that. That's for everyone. You shouldn't be bringing up stuff about personal stuff that has nothing to do with the stream. Why the fuck would you make a weirdo meme about my fucking life that has nothing to do with anything? Shut the fuck up. If I see it again, you're gone. And I mean it. I don't care who you are. No one's immune to that shit. You don't bring up my family in zero ways. Shut up. Like, overly sensitive. When I finish the tower, will I go for the platinum? Ask Aragorio. I don't know how to get the platinum. I don't know what the platinum entails. I think you need to do every single side mission in the game. And I don't know if I can... You wanna go? Frog in a party hat. I don't care about wings or what he said or does. I don't even know if I can trust you. I don't give a fuck. Stop bringing him up right now. I don't care. There you go. Shut up. Bring it on. Major Wright just cheered. He says, Phil says, leave your friends behind. If your friends don't eat Chef RD and if they don't eat Chef RD, then they ain't no friends of Phil. It's them or us. You wanna go? Do the boy RD dance. Do the boy RD dance. <laughs> Let's go. Eat some pasta if you want to. You can suck it out of a can. It's all processed. It's full of sodium. And I'm not really a fan. <laughs> to the boy RD. <laughs> the chef boy RD. Oh my god. <laughs> now what we gotta do, we gotta make songs now that are memes for other streamers. Because then people will use the songs to troll the other streamers. We gotta do a Wendy's Chili song we have to make, come up with. And we have to come up with something like, uh, I don't know, $30 to turn on your webcam or something. <laughs> we gotta come up with troll songs that I'll sing, and then people can capture those songs and can go troll other streamers with them. There you go. <laughs> That's what we gotta do. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <sighs> Frog in a party hat, you're right, I did yell at you 20 minutes ago for talking about wings. I can do whatever I want on my streams, that's correct. That's absolutely right. I'm the streamer and I can direct the stream however I so wish. If I want to make a joke song about wings or LTG or another content creator, I can do that. That's up to me. <clears throat> and when you have a head of a regulatory body telling you the opposite, literally lying to you, stone faced lying to the public, because he's trying to be a, you know, a, 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 what do they call Silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way, and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. And that's what we have to stop. <sighs> Harassment is against terms of service? I'm not harassing anybody. I'm not harassing anyone. It's called a lighthearted joke, dude. No one's, making, no one's actually, like, trying to hurt anyone or saying anything malicious here. Factual observations are not... Are not, uh, malicious intent. Like, for example, if I said something like, um... LTG is a sexy man. Thirty dollars he'll turn on his webcam. <laughs> something like that, right? That's not... That's not in mean. That's not mean-spirited. That's a nice, upbeat song that he can use on his streams if he wants. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> uh, hey, Steph. Hey, Step Bro. Now, cheers. Why are you making fun of Wings? No one is making fun of Wings. No one is. No one's making fun of Wings. So here we go. This is fucking idiot is back, by the way. Okay, he's gone. Good. Thank you. It's the same guy. It's the same fucking guy again. <laughs> the same guy making the dummy accounts. <laughs> What did Wings say I am? What? If Wings says I'm that, we'll tell Wings he's a Kalamazook. 
Take that, you motherfucker! <laughs> what am I talking about? I have no idea. I'm being stupid. Oh my goodness. The web- the webcam- the webcam scam? The scam webcam? <laughs> we can come up with this stuff. Watch me. <laughs> oh my god. The webcam fight? scam. Yes. I mean, truth is, people are silly enough to fall for that kind of a thing. I guess more power to the guy. If literally people will pay the guy to turn on his webcam, I mean... There's some fucking weirdo people out there. I always gotta wonder something like that, like... Okay, you guys know. If you support my streams, you're helping me out behind the scenes with stuff. I tell you what you're helping me with, right? You know what it's going towards. Yeah, it's no, You know I'm not living in the lap of luxury here. You know that I'm not going off on extravagant fucking vacations and nothing. You're telling you, it goes to taxes, it's going to all the back shit I didn't pay because all the financial troubles and shit, you know. You know what's going on, right? Why? That's why you support the streams. I'm not going to be like, oh, okay. So this is going to be the stream until someone pays me. Like, what? Like, why would I do, why would I even turn on my stream then? And the, the real question isn't, the question is not the follow, okay? The question is not, why does he do it? The question is, why the fuck would people pay for that? Because if he didn't get paid to do it, he wouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are enabling that behavior by paying him the money to turn on the webcam. So, who, what kind of person does that? Are these people who are, like, obsessed with the guy and just want to see him so much every single stream? They absolutely are obsessed with this guy, infatuated with him, and want to physically see him every stream? Like... That's fucking weird to me. Like, that would that would freak Like, honestly, that would weird me out. Like, if there were people who came and they were like, Oh, the only reason I, 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 I want to see you every night. Oh, I, I need to see you, Phil. I'd be like... Oh, I didn't even take a break. <laughs> I didn't even take a break. Uh, yeah, it's very odd to me. It's like very, very, very bizarre. And that would... I don't know. That would really freak me out. Because I wouldn't want people to come by to just see me... me like, that's weird because you have some weird attraction to me or something. And you want to see me on stream, you pay me to see the camera. Like, that's fucking weird shit. Bring it on. That's why, I mean, let's be honest here. I'm so ugly. That's why you guys pay me to put on clothing. That's, it's kind of the opposite thing for me. It's great. I get to hide under uh, big piles of clothing, right? <laughs> Alex Killer said LTG made one of his fans write a full two page apology. Oh, yeah. See, here's the thing. Up in the world. I tend to be more lenient to someone if it seems like it's a first time offense and maybe it was a genuine thing, they screwed up, or they thought that they were getting away with silly jokes, they get carried away, right? Or if someone does something malicious, which has happened, and if they give you some time, you know, they're gone for a few months, and then they come back and they request to come back, then I'll let them. But in general, I'm not looking for any kind of a detailed apology or anything. When you fuck up, you know you fucked up. Hmm. And the thing is, I feel like if you actively know you fucked up, you know that I'm probably not gonna just let you back in right away. Like, what made me think that you grew up immediately? You know? Hygienic Streamer Tips, thanks for the $4 tip. Since you continue to lie and say that you didn't mean it like that, uh, you're not getting unbanned anytime soon. Maybe one day you'll actually admit it. And if not, I guess you'll just be sitting outside the stream forever because no one here is stupid. We're not that gullible, okay? All right. Bump a berry fueled inverted mode. And there's more gems to collect. Oh, great. What kind of laptop did you get? I'm just curious because I haven't been in the laptop market in about eight years or longer. So I'm just curious what you got. <clears throat> I gotta do it again. You gotta be kidding me. Dude. I and there you go. So now Hygienic Streamer Tips is doing it again. Like you literally just... <laughs> oh my god. You are so dumb. Dude, what is your problem? Why are you so stupid? I, I... Anyway. I did it. Uh, some people are just stupid. I don't, what else can I say? Like, have I, have I ever really said anything inflammatory about, about LTG? Well, let's think about this. Have I ever really said anything hurtful or inflammatory about LTG or wings on my streams? Like, ever. Maybe every once in a while I joke because people mention them on my stream, so I'll bring them up because other people are talking about them. They'll bring up a meme or whatever. But outside of that, like, never do I bring those guys up. Ever, ever. Yeah, oh, that's disgusting. LTG's piss pools. That's really nasty. Pools of piss. What was that meme? The LTG would piss in a bottle or something when he was streaming rather than use the bathroom? 
something crazy like that. Oh, man, I don't have anything I can kill this thing with. I don't have the flame, uh, the bombs equipped. And normal weapons don't really work. It's always incited by other people or the question from other people. I don't care about them. You know, let them do what they want to do. Do I really give a fuck if LTG charges $30 to turn on his webcam? Of course I don't. I don't care about him or his, his viewers who are dumb enough to do that. Like, why would I care? You know, let him do what he wants. If that's, if that's his thing, and that's how he gets by, let him get by. Same thing with people who, who do all these weird things to attract kids to their streams. And they apparently have no morality issues with that. And the fact that they're basically, you know, advertising and playing games for minors because of the way they act. I mean, listen, if that's your deal, go for it. I do my own thing. I'm just happy to do my own thing. I'm happy to have an avenue to do my own thing and be myself on the stream. You know what I mean? I just want... I, I, if I could just sit here and never be bothered by these people yeah. and just sit here and just do my own thing permanently and never hear from them again, I'd be perfectly fine and happy. I don't care. I don't care about any of that shit. <clears throat> then Anonymous Chief, so you said the reason you and Wings don't, do not, will not collaborate was due to certain statements by Wings, which you allege someone construed that as being inflammatory. It was accusatory even true. No, but that was true. Like, now you're talking years ago. I'm not talking... You're, you're talking the last three plus years. I don't care. You're talking about the early days when people first started, like, talking about Wings and shit on my streams. And they wanted me and Wings to do a collaboration. So I was... At that point, I didn't know anything about the guy. So I was said, what the hell? I guess I'm open to it. I don't really care, okay? And first of all, he wanted me to be on a podcast of his that it was him and some other guy. And he was trying to, he claimed he was trying to contact me to be on this podcast, all right? He did contact me once. I said that I would be on it, but then I got sick, so I couldn't be on it. And I said, I'd like to reschedule for a future date. And they said, he said, okay, we'll contact you or whatever for the future date. He never did. Just never contacted me. Then apparently they they ran their podcast again, and they acted like I had I had blown them off and completely like lied to them about the show that I that I just didn't want to go on. I was trying to like treat them badly or something. Like that's apparently what they insinuated on the show was that I was someone who was like trying to completely uh like pull a fast one on them or something. When that's literally not what happened at all. What happened was they contacted me. Will you be on the show? Yes, I'll be on the show. I got sick, couldn't do it. And you could hear on my streams and stuff at that time, I was sick. That was when I, I, one year, this is many years ago, my throat was all screwed up and everything. So I wasn't even streaming or anything at the time. I you know, had to take a few days off. And I told them, let's reschedule. They never rescheduled me, then went on their show and trashed me. You know? So I thought that was fucked up. So that was like strike one of being in content with this guy. Nice. I let that pass. Okay, I'll let that pass. We'll act like that never happened. Okay? So it was like maybe a year later, I think. Again, I don't know the time frame exactly. But apparently, Wings, I remember he came onto one of my streams, all right? And at the time, I think it was either Battlefield. It was a, There was a first-person shooter that was out there that there was opportunity because we were both playing it. And he asked me on my stream, like, could we, we collab? Would we do a stream together or whatever? And at that time, I said, all right, I guess we'll let bygones be bygones or whatever. And I said, all right, I guess we could do it. Contact me or email me, and we'll talk about doing it. He never did. He never, he literally never contacted me about it once. Not a single time did I get an email from the guy about it. Okay? Now, apparently, for what I'm to understand, people asked him on his streams, did you talk to Dark Side Phil or whatever? And he said that he sent me the email and I never responded. He never reach out, reached out to me at all. I was like, at that point, I didn't really care. I was like, whatever, we'll do whatever. You know, so many people are asking for it, I would do it. He literally never sent, sent me an email. Then apparently months later, after like saying this on his stream and trying to put the blame on me, then he admitted to his viewers that he never sent me the email. He was full of it the whole time. He was just trying to pass the blame because he, I guess he decided he didn't want to do it or he wasn't interested, but he didn't want to say that. So instead he lied and said that it was me. So now just think about this. Two, the only two real interactions I ever had with the guy. The first time he lied about me, about going on his podcast. after like I was the villain when in reality he was the one who didn't contact me to be on it after I got sick. And then after that, he lied about wanting to reach out and contact me about doing a co-op opportunity and made it look like I was the villain again. So it's, it's like, dude, twice, twice in a row, this guy does that. Why on earth would I want to associate with that guy? Obviously, I don't want to. I'm not I'm not someone who pulls up with drama and bullshit. I gave the guy two fucking chances, and both times he basically did exactly the same goddamn thing. So why on earth would I give a fuck about that? So after that, I basically said, no, it's off the table. I don't care. 
I would never want to do anything with the guy because I feel it would just be a waste of my time. After someone who's blown you off twice, why would you give them the time of day, right? Now, now, in regards to today, the modern day, I mean, the trolling on the internet has gotten so fucking bad, right? There's no way I would collab with Wings, all right? I'm just being honest here. I have more than enough trolling. I can't handle the amount of trolling that I get. I'm being honest with you. The, the trolling, the way it hurts me, with all kinds of crazy shit that happens to me on my streams, behind the scenes with my business, all the trolling that's happened, the personal shit that's happened to me, people trying to ruin my life and stuff behind the scenes by making up conspiracy theories. I can't deal with more. So to, to have an actual crossover or interaction like with that guy, that, that's just insanity to me. Like, that's absolutely nuts. And I could not handle that. So at this point, even if Wings had never done any messed up stuff in regards to me, I probably still would say, no, I don't want to do any kind of a collab. I, the, the risk is too high. I have enough fucked up stuff that happens. Do you really want to uh, welcome a whole other group of trolls now to come onto the content because you did a collaboration with a guy who already is highly trolled? You know what I mean? So... I would not do a collab with him just on that reasoning alone. All right, and that's outside of any other personal interactions I've ever had with the guy or whatever. It is just too much liability. Mm. 1969 was a good year. Cheers, did you believe the words coming out of your mouth or are you just trolling us? No, everything I say obviously is a lie. Fucking idiot. <laughs> His trolls are more ruthless than mine. Alright, let me put it this way. His trolls probably publicly are really nasty to him. Because of the kind of person he is and the, I guess his history and stuff that's happened with him and things he's done. I think that people are really malicious to him with the things that they probably say about him. Um, with me, some of the shit that they say is just so dumb that it doesn't even really make sense. Like, oh, you and your patchy beard. It's like, you're <laughs> Like, that's the best thing you've got. The best thing you've got is conspiracy theories about mobile games and my patchy beard, like... Okay. Really, you know, for him, he's got a lot of physical problems and stuff going on where I'm sure people are constantly ragging on him for that stuff, you know? And that's that's unfortunate that he probably has to put up with that on a daily basis, you know? But what I would say is, I, again, <clears throat> without What's making any kind of specifics, some of the stuff that I have put up with behind the scenes that you guys have absolutely no clue about, I've never mentioned on the stream, is out of this world insane wild shit. The amount of trolling that I put up with. The thing is, I'm not going to sit here and talk about it every stream. I wouldn't want every stream that I do to become, whoa, woe is me, here's the next thing that happened to me because of a troll today. You know what I mean? Really, nigga? Like... I, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to try to put out an entertaining, fun, interactive thing for you guys. I'm not here to just sit and complain constantly about every little single thing that happens to me. Because there are little things, there are big things, there's some fucked up things that I am still dealing with right now. Behind the scenes that you guys have no clue about that ever existed. Just because there's no point in bringing them up because, it, you know, it's not directly affected by my streams, but it is directly affected by trollish activities against me. And my family members and stuff like that. And... It's messed up stuff that you don't want to bring public attention to. And again, it's messed up stuff that I don't need to talk about constantly. I wouldn't. There's just, there's messed up stuff that's happened behind the scenes, and I'm not going to just bring it up every moment. So I, I feel what happens is on wing streams, probably because he gets so much shit from people that probably every moment of his stream is about trolling, 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 and fucking with the guy. Well, over here, it's not like that. So you get the impression that I don't get killed or something. Oh, no. And by the way, this is not some kind of a, uh, this is not some kind of a contest of who's getting trolled the most. It's just, you know, the reason that I got to the, the bad situations that I did financially directly is because of the fucked up things people did to my private life behind the scenes. Really fucked up things, nasty things that you couldn't fathom. All right, you couldn't fathom that they did it. You couldn't fathom that they got away with it. So I'm just not even gonna bring certain specifics up because again, when you bring attention to that shit, all that happens is now people get better. Oh, I, oh, they, people did that. I could do that to someone else. I could do that to Phil, I could do someone else. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna have the shit that happened to me happen to others, so. Just not gonna bring it up. Okay. Did this guy get banned, by the way? I'm just curious. Let's get nutty! Let's see here. Yeah, good. Thank you. Ready, bag? I give you a official shout out. Because you asked so many times, your diligence paid off. Shout out! 
to Ratty Bag tonight here on the stream. Ratty Bag! There you go. You got a shout out. <laughs> that an animal streets a move, bitch, by Ludacris or criminal by Eminem. Move, bitch! Get out the way! Get out the way, bitch! Get out the way! Move, bitch! Get out the way! Get out the way, bitch! Get out the way! You even have to ask on my stream, anyone compared with Ludacris? With as much as I say that word, you really think anyone else would beat out Ludacris? Come on. Come on, man. You know what's going on here. Here's this guy again, and he's out of here. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Pumpy Bean is chasing do troll channels pay you like wings to license and use your content? No. Okay. I think that guy got banned. That website, Kiwi Farms, doesn't give a fuck. They let anything fly. They have no morals. They have no rules. They just let everything go, and they don't care who gets hurt in the process. Okay? Oh, let's see here. <laughs> Electron Tree says, as Dale would say, they're Phil sexual. They're just fucking weird. Like, why, uh, again, what is the point of coming to my stream and cheering, subbing, or tipping to put an insulting message on the screen? Like, it gets you nothing. It, does, it gets you, like, a snicker on a detractor channel and fucking rebroadcasting. It, you know what I mean? Like, people actually make fun of those people. Even on Kiwi Farm, people sit there and laugh at how stupid it is. They actually make fun of those people. They're like, dude, what idiot would keep, you know, contributing to Phil's streams just to have that pop up? You have to be a complete fucking loser. The people who are losers... Making fun of me also make fun of those people. So it's like the losers making fun of the losers. How low can you go? How low can you go when it comes to trolling? You know what I mean? <laughs> Eat it right. Do you know that? Do I miss my old condo? Fuck no. That old condo sucked shit. It was insanely cold in the winter. It was always way too hot in the summer. There was no fucking room for anything in there. I hated that condo. <laughs> I really did. At first, I was like, oh, this is so much better because it was the first, like, major place I had to myself. And then within a few years of me doing YouTube, I was like, dude, I hate this fucking place. <clears throat> okay. Now, here we go. Someone just cheered and said, you know not about wrestling for someone who doesn't watch it. I told you guys, I follow wrestling on Twitter. I don't watch the shows anymore because if you just follow it as a topic on Twitter, you know everything. You don't actually have to watch the shows. That's what I mean. I got rid of WWE Network and everything. And I just follow it on Twitter, and I know absolutely everything going on with wrestling because they t it's, it's all on Twitter. They even have the matches up and everything. Like, you can see everything. There's no reason to actually watch the shows. Arkham MF Tears, will I play the Mass Effect Legendary Edition? Yes. I'm going to play Mass Effect 1 and 3. I'm not going to play 2 because I just replayed that last year, but I will replay Mass Effect 1 and 3 in the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Did you ever watch Doug Walker? Yes, I said it many times. I used to watch the Nostalgia Critic stuff. He was one of the people who inspired me to make content on the internet back in the day. Him and the Angry Video Game Nerd were the two major influences that I had in, in saying I should try to do content for the internet because if these guys could do it with a low budget but big talent, maybe I can do it too. And I tried, and it worked. There you go. Oh, man. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for watching. Thank you for chilling. Thanks to those who contributed. Top cheer tonight was Toxic Tex again. Top tipper was Joyful Oblivion again. Thank you guys for being the top contributors on both streams actually today. I appreciate that. Thanks to everyone who chilled. Thanks for the fun conversation. Until next week when we have our final major grinding session. And then after that, the week after, it looks like we'll actually try to beat the Super Dungeon. All right. Thanks again. Until next time. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Welcome back to my Yakuza 7 chill stream grinding. I've been doing this for about, no lie, about a month and a half now. As you can see, Kasuga is trailing behind at level 25. Everyone else is between level 50 60. If we can get some of these max to 99 tonight, we'd be outstanding, or at least as close as humanly possible. Next week, I'm going to attempt to take on the optional super dungeon. I don't know if we're ready yet, but at this point, we've grinded a ton, and I would like to see if we can actually make progress and beat it next week or not, all right? So that's next week's set stream. But for tonight, it's our final chill stream of just relaxing, running around, grinding in the dungeon, and trying to level up as much as possible, okay? Dang. Anymore. Like, that was it. After 2016, when they when they demonetized my stuff, like, seriously, that was it. That was the, the extent of what I was going to see and do. Um. Oh, is this, guy, is this guy bothering you? I'll get rid of him. Sorry, guys. People were complaining that this guy's bothering them. All right, he's out of here. Um, that was it. After that, I was like, I'm not, I'm not putting up with it anymore. Like, 
kill this vagabond. He says, the jeans thing started when one day I asked you when you last wore jeans on stream, kids glorify the dumbest shit for no reason. Yeah, they think it's like, like, oh, that's a funny meme. And you know what it is? It's because we don't know what it is because we're not talking about it constantly on my streams. It's the restreamers, the people who are illegally restreaming my shit, likely right now. Uh, they make up their own memes, and then they send people over here to derail this stream with the memes, and no one knows what the fuck they're talking about. It's like, why would jeans be a running meme that you guys bring up all the time? Like, I don't even understand. And then all of a sudden, someone will be like, yeah, some d idiot is talking about it over there on the other stream, so now they're coming to your stream to talk about it, and I'm like, seriously, that's so dumb. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. Major Riot, I don't... Oh, it's way down there. Holy crap. He chews it hush and stay hungry no matter how dreary the darkness. I can't, a can of Chef Boyardee and Phil's cupboard is always a good sign. How exciting. Mr. Puffy Nipples tipped me a dollar thirty, and says, "Do you think people that created the King of Hate.com still watch you? What happened to Hazard? I haven't seen him in a while. Hazard did not create the King of Hate.com. <laughs> that, ew. The, the actual originators of the website. We're talking over a decade ago. Were two teenagers, and they were fans at the time, but they were not huge fans of mine. They were fans, and they watched stuff from occasionally." But what they were actually doing, they wanted to basically get their their name known, and they were making websites for several different content creators. They also made the website for SSOHPKC at the time. So they kind of knew me and him and offered to make websites for both of us. Um, no, we had a major falling out because I tried to help the kid out. One of the kids was basically in this, this I think it was like an internship or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what it was. It could have easily been one of those businesses where it's a scam. Who knows? But I guess the kid was making PC. And the kid was basically making these PCs and trying to make commission on the sale of the PCs. So since he was a nice guy and he had made a website for me and everything, I, and I needed a gaming PC, I bought a gaming PC for him. I told him what I wanted and everything. And when the gaming PC showed up, it was broken. The gaming PC, first of all, had apparently either broken or misinstalled RAM because only half the RAM in the gaming PC ever worked. The other half never worked. In addition to that, the gaming PC showed up with cracks all over the front and the case coming up. So, of course, you know, me being a nice guy, I never really put up too much of a stink about it or whatever. But later on, one, this guy got a bug up his ass about me and started talking shit about me and all kinds of stuff, to which I said, you know what? You're not really the most honest guy to believe on anything because I've done nothing but try to help you out over the years. I've spent thousands of dollars on a PC from you. And you sent me a broken piece of junk that wasn't even made properly. So who are you to try to, like, fucking talk shit about me when you're the one who I, I should be angry at you? Excellent. You're the one who screwed me over behind the scenes I never really told him about. Yeah. So we had a falling out, and that's that. I don't remember the, the exact 100% details of everything that happened, but I had a falling out with the, him. The other person who had worked on the website, who honestly, the other person was the person who worked on the website. One person was his friend, and the other person was the guy who really made the website. That guy basically just didn't want anything to do with drama and just stopped talking to me completely, which I don't blame him. I never heard from him ever again. Um, but that's that. Like, those are the originators, the guys who originally made the KingHate.com over a decade ago. And I bought it. Basically, I just, I bought it from them because they owned the domain and all of that. So, yes, they didn't give it to me. They actually made me buy the fucking website from them, if you can believe it. They held me over a gun and said, we want you to buy the website from us, even though the whole reason it had any popularity was because it was for me and in my name. But anyway, I bought it from them. I paid them for it. And I'm a sucker. I am. I'm a sucker, and I'm a really nice guy, and I do things for people, and I pay for it all the time. So I bought the website from them, and then I had other people basically run it for me after that from then on. So uh, that's that. There's not much to it. There's really not much to it. It's very, very old news. I haven't talked to, to those guys in like seven, eight years. And I think it was bef that was shit was before I even moved out here. I think so. How much did they charge me for the site? I have no actual recollection. I remember it probably being hundreds of dollars, but I'm probably I I couldn't confirm that. I don't remember. It was so long ago. <clears throat> Oh, let's see here. Okay, here we go. Let's ban this troll. <laughs> ban him. See, here's the funny thing about stuff. Some people have this this manner, this anecdote that they say, and they say if everyone else around you always is always being an asshole to you, maybe you're the asshole, right? No, it's actually the opposite. Usually, if everyone around you is being an asshole to you, it's probably because they're taking advantage of you. Because you are too nice of a person to realize that everyone around you is using you 
and then it's too late Watch me. by the time you realize it, and er all the damage is already done. And this has happened to me, sadly, so many times in my life where people have used me for various reasons. I'm not just talking about since I became a YouTuber. I'm talking about my whole fucking life. People used me for their various purposes to get ahead, to, to you know, to help themselves out, and then dumped my ass as soon as they felt that I was no longer somehow a benefit. That's has happened to me over and over and over again in my life, and yet... For some reason, I still keep giving people the benefit of the doubt and thinking that people will will eventually stop being assholes to me and eventually it won't be a situation in my life where, you know what I mean, where, 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 I, I just keep having faith in humanity. I keep having faith in humanity and I keep getting basically, uh, what, how can I say, proven wrong that the faith shouldn't have been there and it sucks. So that's the thing, oh, well, Phil, how is it that you say all the time that all the people do you wrong? Because they do. Because I, in, inside of myself, I'm a, ultimately just like a really nice guy. And I always feel that people are not trying to screw me over. And I feel that people are trying to do the right thing. And it happens again and again and again. It's happened with, with moderators that I've had. It's happened with coworkers that I've had. It's happened, you know what I mean? It's just, it's over and over. And I don't know how, how to stop it because it seems like people just won't stop caring about themselves and thinking about how the actions affect others. They only care about getting ahead for themselves. And I've never really been like that. I'm a person who I do care about myself, of course, but I also care about others. So I try to, to do the right thing to help out everyone and then someone fucks me over. You know. And you guys know all about that and I'm not going to go into massive detail about that tonight. You guys know all about some of the times publicly that people have fucked me over before I trust it. Oh, I finally get to do an attack. Orbital laser. Okay. So here we go. No, it's the same guy. This is the same fucking guy over and over. <laughs> he just keeps making more accounts. Okay. Alright, uh... Always hot teacher, says, so you no longer give people the benefit of the doubt. What if they're trustworthy? No, that's not the case at all. The thing is, I do usually still give people the benefit of the doubt. It's just that these days, I can't really... I, I've learned that you can give someone the benefit of the doubt, but you always got to be on your guard because you never know when things are going to come back to bite you. Like, you, you basically, you have to be... You have to be safe in the way that you do stuff um, and be absolutely sure that... If something does screw you over, if something does actually not go your way, that you're okay. Because sadly, that's what's happened is in my life, there have been times when I 100% believe in someone or, you know what I mean, I trust in them. And then because of that, that literally screws me over insanely badly. And now it takes me a long time to recover from it. Um, you know, again, I'm not going to give specifics because I don't want anyone to try to be calling people out and causing problems for anyone. But that's the deal is, you know, I, now... It's kind of like, it's very hard for me to to now. outright believe someone when they tell me something. Because I'm like, I'm always thinking there's an air of skepticism, there's an air of bullshit there. You know what I mean? Like, there's always some, there's always some underlying factor that of a reason why someone wants to tell me something I want to hear. You know what I mean? And you know what? From paranoia. And it sucks that I have that paranoia kind of ingrained in me now because of what's happened to me over the years. But what can I do about it when it's, it's, it's not like I just was like that that's the end result of people treating me in a very shitty fashion for many many years you know so of course now someone named your therapist hit me a dollar 30 and says book a session with me <laughs> of course of course i'll book a session with you why wouldn't i book a session with a therapist right <laughs> okay then anyway that's a dollar tip thank you hilarious So I'd be here and I'd be streaming and someone in the stream chat would say, Phil, can I hang out with you behind the scenes? And I would go over here and quickly say, no, you can't hang out with me behind the scenes. It's not allowed. There you go. I got it set up again. Perfect. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue. Drove a oblivion cheer against it when you cut, put the face cam in full screen mode, you call it behind the scenes. I did? Oh, like this? You want to see me like this? That's disturbing. 
We are. Right, we're gonna do the whole stream like this. Ready? I'm not gonna tell you what's going on. You're just gonna hear these weird noises in the background. Uh, what was that? I, that was that was uh, that was dinner. That was the the, <laughs> the meatball grinder. My stomach just growled. That's what's happening. All right, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's see here. Cyber Shadow did another 200 bit cheer. He said, be careful when you do true final dungeon because if you die, it sends you back to the title screen. It's no joke. Well, why wouldn't it? That, I mean, that would make sense. Like, there's no there's no saving and there's no... um, There's no saving and there's no checkpoints in the final dungeon. You'd have to start it over from your last, your last save. I knew that. It was the same way in the other dungeon, too. So that's not surprising. Thank you for the cheer, Cyber Shadow. Uh, an in-star rune cheer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for a great stream. Thanks for supporting the stream. Thank you for chilling with me for the final session. Until next week. Now, next week, we'll see what happens. Next week, if we go to the Super Dungeon and we're getting through it and we beat it, awesome. If we get into the Super Dungeon and we get destroyed on the first fight, we'll come back here and chill again. If we can get somewhat through the Super Dungeon but not far enough yet to beat it, we'll get as far as we can. Maybe we'll then repeatedly grind in the dungeon. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what happens. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Yakuza 7 playthrough. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a special night. And here's why. Because unlike the last month and a half that I've been grinding, it's time to finally try to make that grinding pay off by switching to our best jobs and heading back to the Super Dungeon. I want to see if we can make progress tonight. We have a prediction going. In the channel, people have wagered big channel points. Will I actually be able to make progress or not? If I can make progress, there's some points that will be divvied out. And if not, if we hit a hard wall and basically i got to grind more, well, then uh, that's also going to be some people winning and losing points. So we'll see how it goes here. What could possibly go wrong? Bring it on. Oh boy. Watch me. So what are they weak to? Let's go. He's weak to physical. Don't get cocky. He they're both weak to electricity, I'm apparently. Serious. I got this. You yeah, so I'm just using another fucking formidating forecast. You're in the way. Made your attack go up. Oh my god. Uh, he's weak to it. Ultimate stack slap. Let's try this. Miss! You fucking serious? Fucking miss. That's not good, man. Ugh. I'm upset already. I'm upset already. Bring it on. I got this. Pigeon migration. Three thought thirty three hundred to him. Ugh. He's weak to S of Assassin die. Neither of them are weak to the Champagne Wave, and neither of them are weak to the Rose Typhoon. So I can do another Fulminating Forecast, but outside of that, I can't really do much else. Right? Uh, that sucks. Mm. He's weak to shield rupture. He's weak to hell's wheel. I'll do hell's wheel. Still paralyzed. Three of us fell asleep. Oh my god. Three of us. Oh my god! You've got to be shitting me. That was one attack. What the fuck? 
Damn it. Wow. That was one attack. How, I, my, my honest question is, how are you supposed to beat this dungeon? Damn it. If the enemies all are that powerful and they could all insta-kill you, if they ever hit Kasuga, you lose, right? Damn it. Damn it. So, I don't know. I honestly, I don't know if this is even atta attainable, right? Is this even an attainable goal? Without me grinding for another two months and maxing out three, four job classes with each person, I don't know if this is attainable, right? Medrius says use Peerless Resolve with Kasuga every turn, then you can never attack! Right? Hey there, babe, says you need to max out three jobs for everyone. Oh my god. Uh, I'm getting rid of some trolls. Some annoying fucking trolls are being stupid here tonight. Local Nomad cheered. So can you turn followers only mode on if not already? Yeah, I mean, I get the feeling we're going to need to. There seems to be a lot of trolls tonight. Uh, so I think we are going to turn on followers only mode. Since there's no moderators to help me. Okay. I turned it on. On the uh, followers only mode. Ladies and gentlemen, I think... I think we've determined it's official. Uh, no, I, I can't make any progress in the Super Dungeon. So I think we gotta pay out. The answer is, will full progress in the Super Dungeon? No, I can't right now. So, to the only 22% of people who voted no with that wager, you won. I can't. There's no way I can make any progress. I can't have it where Akasuka can instantly die every, every time. So, we have two options. Completely quit and say forget it, or grind more. Like, that's really the only options we have available to us. Yeah. I guess what we'll do for tonight, all we can do is grind, right? We'll grind, we'll talk, we'll have a chill stream tonight like we usually do when I play Yakuza. Which means we gotta go back to Hello Work and change our jobs back. Um. Oh, Microsoft Stan cheered, asking where is Anonymous? Uh, he's been suspended by, from Twitch, and I don't know if and when he's coming back. Here's your answer. Right, you want more information? Talk directly to him via other methods because, you know, he can't come on to Twitch at all. Um, uh, permanently banned! So thank you for that. That gets up to $8 of tips so far tonight. And guys, I apologize. I wanted to do the Super Dungeon. Uh, if Kazuka's gonna die with one hit, there's nothing I can do. You know? It just seems ridiculously overpowered. Alright, so Microsoft Stan just earned himself a ban for talking shit. All right. All right, I've had enough of this guy, too. Another idiot. Get out of my stream chat. <laughs> For the months of August and September. I mean, I literally gave a lot of effort. It's not like, oh, Phil just gave minimum effort. I tried for the last... I, this was what, I think I want to say it was five straight streams of grinding. Where every week we just kind of chilled and talked and grinded. So you're talking, you know, ten plus hours of excessive grinding. And I'm not even close to being able to, uh, to have one hit without dying yet. Like, holy shit, man. That's pretty nuts. Duh! The QE Insider. Just cheer said, Anonymous is at QE Farms right now posting screenshots of the mod Discord. Do you have any comment before I publish my story? This is hilarious. So, for the last few days, this is just so good. For the last few days, all right, I've been getting messages from tons of people. I'm getting messages saying, Anonymous is a secret detractor. And he's about to blow everything open over on Kiwi Farm. I got people who are saying, Only Ice Coffee is a secret detractor. And he's really behind the scenes. He's been doing all this nasty stuff to this and that. It's like, oh my god. Like, seriously. I just gotta be, I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, are you guys fucking four years old? Like, really? Like, it's so stupid. So basically the poll went and 60, let me see here, 64% of people who voted in the poll said they're they're tired of this, they're tired of the grind, okay? It's hilarious because I, everyone just wants to start drama. And here I am, right? I'm on a stream, I'm playing games, I'm having fun. If you haven't, you guys haven't noticed, absolutely like no drama has happened on my streams. Over the last week or two, there's been nothing. No drama. People are insistent on trying to create drama. 
right? You see, the, you know, Only Ice Coffee comes to the stream every once in a while, says hello, every once in a while contributes, no drama, everything's fine, right? That anonymous behind the scenes, is he banned from Twitch? Well, I don't know if he's banned, I think he's suspended. Sucks that it happened, I don't really know what happened there. Or I don't know the ins and outs of the situation. But outside of that, had contact with him, you know, no drama, no problems. He insists, he's like, dude, none of this is true, it's just stupid shit, people were trying to get, get me in trouble and stuff and all this nonsense. So... All this stuff, and I'm like, so exactly what exactly do you want me to do with this or about all of it? Like, do you really think I care? First of all, do you really think I care? Like, here's the truth of the matter, all right? Is there behind-the-scenes discussion with my moderators? Yes, of course there is. Of course we talk behind-the-scenes in the streams about stuff going on. Is there anything that's, like, insanely controversial, oh my god, jaw-dropping, over-the-top, super-secret stuff? No! <laughs> Nothing! We have it's the most mundane conversations. Sometimes we share pictures of each other's pets. Sometimes we talk a little bit about, oh, this person was was banned and they applied for uh, an unbanned oh, fill, what do you think, or whatever. You know, the most mundane, bland, so there's no clandestine secret behind the scene goings on with me and my moderating. If you, if you guys were to see a transcript of everything we Let's talk go. about behind the scenes, you would be bored to fucking tears. There's nothing interesting at all that goes on behind the scenes with us seriously like there's nothing that we talk about that would be anything interesting at all it's the most mundane stuff and it's just about stuff going on on the streams with people and, and, and stuff like that like that's it and maybe every once in a while oh my god geez that was a rough stream there were a bunch of trolls what happened with that and thanks for helping and this and that that's it that's it there's not what is the secret ridiculous Again, clandestine things that people think are happening behind the scenes that are like, oh my god, this is it. One of the moderators is going to go rogue and going to drop logs that are going to blow the lid off of everything. First of all, the lid off of what? And number two, there's no logs of what? There's just nothing that could possibly be revealed that the moderators talk about behind the scenes. That's anything that anyone would care about. It's boring. It really is. It's insanely boring. I just, like, I just don't understand why anyone even cares i really don't because yeah. see here's the thing when you don't have access to something you think oh it's juicy drama and there's all this information there's it's none of this nothing like that anything that we talk about behind the scenes has nothing whatsoever like that at all you know <laughs> it's just the most dumbest shit if if someone literally went to get chat logs of everything that the moderators and i talk about and just Take literally this. dumped it all on the internet right now, it would do nothing. There's nothing there. It, 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 so that's what I'm hilarious. Well, Phil, aren't you afraid? What are you going to do about this? Aren't you? No. I'm not afraid at all. There's no point to any of this. There's, it's completely stupid. It's just drama queens trying to start drama where drama doesn't exist because they're bored because there's nothing going on drama life anywhere, right? It's so dumb. It's so fucking stupid. And all the dumb shit, right? All the dumb sh Oh, did you see the dumped the dumped chat logs of this one? Did you see the chat logs of that one? Yeah, it, nothing proves anything. All of that shit is easily fakeable. Easily. I could do it if I wanted. I'd take some effort. I'd have to actually download a program to do it. I could fake all that dumb shit. Like, people are just so dumb and gullible. I just don't understand why people are so stupid. You know? I really, like... I just shake my head and like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're causing drama that doesn't exist. Like, I don't... It, it would, listen, if a moderator of mine turns out to be someone who's dishonest and wants to hurt me behind the scenes for whatever reason, I couldn't fathom why because, you know, I talked to all my moderators and like, if there's one person there who hates me secretly for some odd reason yeah that would be very disheartening of course it's happened before if you guys remember years ago we had a moderator that catfished everyone they actually lied about their name their gender and everything about they made up a whole invented online persona they did they invented it was crazy to think that they went to that extent but they did they created an entire online persona for someone that didn't exist and told us all for a year that's who they were so they, they attended streams, they were a nice influence on the streams, they ended up becoming a moderator, and for a year impersonated this other person. And after a while, all of a sudden one day, one of my moderators says, Phil, we just got word, or, or you know, kind of got a little bit of insider info, 
that so-and-so is about to try to fuck you over and get you banned from Twitch. So I said, I can't imagine how. Let me take a look. So this was years ago, by the way. Back then, I actually used to give my moderators access to uh, the bot. Now, back then, I don't remember. I think it was Nightbot back then. Because remember, we used different ones. We used Nightbot. We also used Moobot, right? But I think it was still, it was Nightbot. And this particular person had access to do stuff with Nightbot. So they had gone and literally programmed in the Nightbot like 10, 12, 14 commands that were all nasty detractor memes about me. And some of them were racist things and stuff. So I think what their goal was is that they wanted to have me come on a stream with a lot of viewers, like tell all the haters, come to this stream, you're gonna see why. And then they were gonna sit there and activate all the commands. So the bot was gonna sit there and spew racist stuff and get me banned from Twitch. Like I think that's what the I think that's what the plan was, okay? But the whole plan leaked. I knew about the whole thing. Um, and basically stopped it. I put us, I figured out, okay, ban that person. They're not mod anymore. Uh, changed all the chat commands so no one could use them. And it was sad because this was a person who people have come to know and trust over the course of over a year on the streams. And we had to say goodbye to them because they're a fucking idiot who's secretly plotting to, to do this shit all along. So this was like, I want to say this was like three, four years ago, by the way. You know, is it sad? Yeah, it's sad that someone's number one, a, a big enough loser, that they actually did this to people. They actually pretended to be someone they weren't, and people liked that person, befriended that person, and then find out that person doesn't even exist. Right? They're just a faker. Uh, it's pretty fucked up. And on top of that, of course, the fact that they had literally wasted over a year of their time to try to secretly get me banned from Twitch from shit that I wasn't responsible. I didn't do any of that. Obviously, you guys know me. I don't say racist stuff. I don't do fucked up stuff on Twitch. But this person maliciously planning on doing this. Um, oh, the final tally was 114 no, 50 yes, 8. Dr. Seuss is canceled. Okay. So more than half. Basically, two, more than two times the amount of people voted no that they're kind of bored of this grinding. And they don't really want to see it anymore. That's, that's what I was pretty much wondering. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube... Okay, and you like the weekly grinding sessions I've been doing in Yakuza and the chill streams we have around them? Please contact me with email me, darksidephilohotmail.com, or you can tweet me at they call me DSP. Let me know what you think if you want to see it continue as well, because it is important to get everyone's feedback on that. Okay. Like let me let me put it this way, I wouldn't mind it. At the same time, I totally understand why people are, are bored with it, and and yeah, like I get it. You know, to a point, how, how long are we gonna fucking do this, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Melody Zelda Chase, how much drama do they think you can get out of a guy who's in his PJs and plays video games all day? Again, they're still obsessing over their own conspiracy theories that, at this point, have now been running for over a year and they still can't get enough evidence to prove anything. <laughs> they're still trying. You know what I mean? Like, it's over a year! And they're still trying, despite the fact that Things have happened that have indisputably proven that the things can't be true, you know? How could I have insane amounts of money spent on a mobile game if I had to show all my spending to my bankruptcy court last year and my bankruptcy was granted? Obviously, a bankruptcy court would not grant bankruptcy to someone who's shown that they've blown all their money on mobile games. People are fucking idiots to believe that. They're nuts. They just don't want to listen to the evidence. They just want to focus on circumstantial shit and things that have been fabricated to try to support this insane conspiracy theory that's not fucking true. Seriously, they're nuts. They're out of their minds with what they're saying, and they see, keep pushing the same shit over and over. They're that dumb that they keep pushing the same narrative. They just won't let it go. Look at me go. So let them keep going. Let them keep saying they think they have something and wasting their time because, as you notice, I don't care about it. I don't talk about it on my streams anymore. It's a waste of everyone's fucking time. It really is. It's so it's just fucking stupid. <clears throat> okay. Um. Let's see here. Timbo Slice Street again. He said, We all know you and the mods spend all day gossiping about latest TMZ news while you sip on your coffee and read morning newspaper. That's what I mean. And this thing. Well, we have more secret Discord logs. That are proof of this and that. No. You have nothing. You have absolutely fucking nothing. You have nothing. Because nothing can possibly exist. Because it's all fake. It's all bullshit. You got nothing. You can't possibly have any real evidence. 
All you can have is fabricated circumstantial shit. That's not true. That's it. You can never have evidence of something that's not fucking true. Why do you think I'm not nervous? Because I don't care. Nothing can ever come out about anything because there's nothing to come out. People are that fucking stupid. God, it's just it's frustrating people are that dumb. <laughs> it really is. Yikes. Shout out to K Styles 1998 who resold for 52 months. I appreciate that. And then also this Kabuma said, did I get his cheer? I did and I did read it out eventually. I was backlogged on the cheers there. Okay. <laughs> you know, if anything though, if anything, what I can say is this. At the very least. The good news here is that nothing stupid, embarrassing, controversial, or dramatic has happened in like the last year and a half. That's a good thing. If they're still trying to harp on the same shit that they've been claiming for the longest time and still can't prove, that's a good thing. At least there's no new drama, there's no new bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm happy at least that if they really have to harp on old shit no one with logical fucking brain cares about, at least that means that nothing else is, is, is happening that, you know, Thank God I've kept my family safe. You know what I mean? Like, no new shit has come out at all. And that's a good thing. <laughs> so, Andre Lee to me, $2. He's just, he, I guess Andre Lee is, I, I don't, you know, he, I know he hasn't been around for a long time. Um, and he's asking, I don't even understand. Like, what would be the controversy if you played mobile games and spent money on them? All right. The narrative that these idiots want to spin, again, I want to talk about this all night. Here's the narrative that they want to spin. Okay. They want... Oh, my job's going up? Okay. They want to believe that I'm some kind of a crazy addict. And that I sit around spending money on mobile games constantly. And that's why I had to declare bankruptcy and all of this shit. And basically what they, what they it is, because I've told you guys a hundred times, you know, it's not me. This, whatever this, the situation is around this fucking mobile game that he bring up, it's definitely not me. Uh, I don't know who the fuck it is. I don't know if it's an impersonator who purposely used my name to try to get me in trouble. Um, I don't know if it's someone who just had bad fucking luck and accidentally had the same name as my Twitter handle. Because the, the other thing that I've, I've thought about is if this guy really wanted to impersonate me, why wouldn't he just call himself Dark Side Phil or DSP Game? Why is it that it was my Twitter handle that was used? And that's what's kind of sus uh, suspect about the whole situation for me is if someone was really trying to, like, I'm DSP, then they would have used, like, my real full names that I use on my major accounts. They wouldn't have used just my Twitter handle. So I almost get this. Uh, at first, I mean, there's all these different theories. One theory is that this guy was just bad luck, had the wrong name, and these idiots want to believe this guy is me. So then after that, all these conspiracy theories come out and all this fucking fabricated evidence. Oh, look, here's chat logs of this guy talking and all this shit, none of which is me at all. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Like, how can I, how can I prove or disprove something that's not me? I have nothing that I can show anyone or prove to anyone that would prove or disprove anything. It's just bullshit, and the thing is, if it, I were to, for example, try to show any kind of information about mobile games that I played in the past, all that would happen is that would be the next thing. The goalposts would be moved and shit like that, or people would use information that I give you to try to, to clear my name or prove my innocence to hurt me further. This has happened where, oh, here, see, here's the evidence. Oh, wait, look, there's evidence of something else. That's a name. Maybe he logs into other things with that. Let's use that to fuck with him in other places and stuff. That shit's happened to me before. So my best course of action in the last year and a half has been just ignore it. Ignore the nonsense these idiots keep bringing up. There's no evidence of anything. There can't be because it's not real. Um... But their point is they're trying to basically try to act like I'm a liar. I'm, I'm a, I guess I'm, I'm kind of like a, an a, a addictive... Oh, I put the wrong thing. I'm some kind of an addictive guy who spent all his money on mobile games and shit, which is not true at all. Uh, I've openly admitted that years ago, before I was in the bad financial situation that I've been in the last few years or so, that I used to actually play mobile games and spend money on them. I've openly admitted this. I've said, I used to play WWE uh, Supercard. And I played it for a while, and I grinded for certain events, and after doing it for a while, I felt that it was a complete waste of time. It was it was basically a time sink, a money sink. I didn't feel that it was worth anyone's time to really waste time on that shit, because it was just basically a game you could only get ahead by spend, 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 and then also spending an insane amount of time doing events and stuff. And that was, honestly, even though, yes, I played other mobile games over the last several uh, years, and I stopped majorly when my wife was in here with me, um... 
I haven't played anything consistently at all since she moved in a couple years. Oh, three years. Oh, my God. Three years ago. I'm trying to let you. Yeah, she moved in 2018. Damn, it's been three years since my wife moved in with me. Time fucking flies, man. Um, But anyway, the point I'm making is, like, it. I've admitted the times in my past when I, I've stupidly spent money and did dumb shit. I have. So it's, it's what they do is they take that and they say, oh, so how can we make more drama about DSP today, right? How can we make him look bad? How can we do something? And that's it. Well, let's take that that nugget of truth that he offered up publicly to everyone and let's turn it into something it's not. Let's make it that, you know, he's this compulsive guy who, who blows all his money on this shit and let's make it so that he lied to all his viewers. He lied to the bankruptcy court. He lied to everyone. Even though, again, I, this is what I keep telling everyone, all right? The ultimate proof that all of this is a lie is very simple, all right? Last year, I was granted bankruptcy to the bankruptcy court. I gave them all the information of everything I've spent. I gave them all the information of all the money I've made. I gave it all to them, and they asked me a ridiculous amount of questions about every piece of it because when that was going on, these same people, these same insane conspiracy theorists who swear there's going to be a smoking gun someday, somewhere that's going to prove everything that they've fabricated about me, okay? They contacted the bankruptcy court and lied and gave them a ton of fake suppositions and fake circumstantial evidence about all of this. The same shit right now that, you, that people still are talking about right now in the stream chat was, was gone over with a fine-tooth comb by a fucking bankruptcy court. And at the end of the day, the bankruptcy court determined it was bullshit. And I was granted my bankruptcy. It's not real. It's not real. It's crazy. How can you even just... Oh, and the, you don't want to know their justification for this, which is absolutely hilarious. Well, they must be terrible at what they do. Yes, that's right. The judges involved, the people investigating the case involved, my bankruptcy lawyer, everyone who does that professionally for a living right? This is what they do for a living. They would lose their jobs, lose their reputability, lose everything, all right? If, if they basically fucked up, right? <laughs> if they, you know what I mean? They would all lose everything. And you think that they, oh, they just rubber stamp everything. Rubber stamp, rubber stamp, rubber stamp. These people are just so dumb. I just give up. So anyway, that's all it is. You have this drama. So now, oh, an, another moderator is going to uh, is going to turn on Phil and he's going to expose all this behind the scenes information. There's no behind the scenes information, none. The only thing that any of my moderators could actually expose at all is our behind the scenes conversations that we have about these streams, the chat and how we moderate it. And a few, a few pictures of pets and stuff like that. Nothing, there's nothing that could be exposed. So I don't care. Oh my God, one of the moderators is turning on Phil. Where? Where's the evidence? No, none of this. I've talked to the guy. He's like, no, this is bullshit. Basically, basically, people are talking shit about me to try to get me in trouble with you. Uh, you know, at the same time, like I said, at the very same time that all that's happening, they're also trying to convince me that someone who's been a positive influence on the stream and a contributor also is against me. So let me get a moderator's against me, one of my top contributors and, and people who's nice to me on the streams is against me. Everyone's against me, right? The whole world's against Phil. Everyone, I should just believe this. The whole world is against Phil and everything, the sky is falling behind the scenes. All right, what's more likely? What's more likely? That all of this is true or these people are no life losers like they always have been. And they're just trying to derail me from having fun on stream, right? Because here we are an hour into stream, and I had to just waste like 20 minutes answering questions because there's people who honestly come to the stream and have no idea what I'm talking about. And I got to waste time talking about bullshit for 20 minutes instead of actually enjoying the stream. So that's where I'm going to end it. As I can see, there's a bunch of more idiots in here. Uh, let me go ahead here and ban these morons. <laughs> So dumb. I'm just gonna ban these idiots, and uh, you know, it's just it's just a waste of my time. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. There's nothing else going on. There, you know what I mean? It's just so dumb. <laughs> it's so stupid. So we got about an hour left to grind and chill and have a good time, and I'm done with this fucking topic. It's so dumb. It's a waste of everyone's fucking time. It's just hilarious. They still won't give it up. 
mean, it's only been over a year, and nothing's happened, and you're still trying to fucking, you know... They're still chasing the fucking... the clouds in the sky, yelling at the clouds. Idiots. <clears throat> Alright. So there we go. Let's end that discussion, and let's move on and talk about other shit. Fair enough? Okay. By the So, let us now continue on. By the way, Huevos Diablos actually said, are you familiar with Occam's Razor? Now, if I'm, if I'm to remember correctly, doesn't Occam's Razor mean that if, if there's something that's a big unsolved question or mystery, that obviously the most obvious answer is always the right answer? Is that it? I think that's what it is. Right? I think I've now... Com, 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 is that what it means? I, got this. I think that's what it means. This, there you go. The simple, uh, simplest explanation is the easiest one. So here's the easiest explanation. All the shit that these idiots say about me cannot be true because last year I got bankruptcy granted. There is no way you can justify that I would have had bankruptcy granted in 2020. If what they're saying is true, unless you're actually going to say that the most complicated scenario where my lawyer, the judge... The case holder. Everyone was an idiot. And they're so dumb, they didn't understand anything about anything. And they just blanket granted everything. Despite the fact that I was in numerous hearings with these people. Going line by line through all my shit. I was telling you through the whole process while it was happening. Like, literally, on every stream we were talking about it, right? The most obvious explanation here is, it's all bullshit. There's no way that it could be true. It's such an insanely, overly complicated, ridiculous scenario for it to be true. That it can't be true. But that's what I mean. They all want to have this insane, uh, complicated explanation. What was the insane thing that they just did a week or two ago? That was the most nuts thing I've ever heard. Something about a picture, a photo that was uploaded that had extra pixels. You're in for it. I couldn't make this up. There was a photo that was uploaded on, on some chat that had extra pixels, and it proves that you were this and that. Like, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Extra pixels in a photo. <laughs> what? Are you just What are you made? What? What the fuck? Now I'm picking all the wrong attacks because I'm just. All right, I've had enough. I've literally, I've had enough of this bullshit. I'm done with it. You can take your extra pixels, you can shovel up your fucking ass. We're not talking about this at all. Again. I'm done with it. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Anyway, guys, now we can get back on topic for the next hour, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, I I hear you, Derek. I'm, I'm with you on that. And I laid down the law. If you weren't here the, the two times that I had to do this on pre-stream, Derek, I said I've had enough of people harassing regulars and contributors to my streams. I've had enough, and I've laid down the law about it. And I said, there's not happening anymore. If I see it, it's an instant ban. And no more jokes about it. Nothing. It's not allowed. Because I agree with you that just because you're a regular and because, you know, I talk to, to certain people on stream a lot because they ask positive questions and, and contribute doesn't mean that they should then be harassed. They should have people impersonating them. I picked the wrong enemy. People impersonating them on the internet and pretending to be them. It's just really fucked up and stupid that people do that. And it's not fair. Just because you're someone who watches someone stream doesn't mean then you should be subject to fucking online harassment, you know? So I put down, the, I laid down the law. It's not gonna happen. People are trying to do it. They're permanently banned the second that I fucking see it. And I'm sorry that it happens. I wish I could stop it, but sadly, you know, people are just no life losers. So not much you can do about it. Uh, Shirtless Mofo did a thousand and fifty-one bitch here. I mean, the top cherry says, "Don't worry, man. We got you. Fuck the haters. I used a bunch of the Yakuza streams. Are we finishing the final dungeon? We can. We went there." I killed the first group of enemies. We walked into the next room. One enemy walked up and said, Boop to Kasuga and insta-killed him. And that's it. When Kasuga dies, it's game over. 
So there's no way if I can't even uh, survive one fucking uh, one hit from the enemies, I can't survive the final dungeon. So it's either a matter of grinding more, like grinding another month once a week, leveling up these jobs, and then going back to the dungeon, or just dropping the game altogether. And I don't know what people want. That's what I'm trying to ask. No, I don't grind anymore. Pragmatic Tactics says, do you still grind in RPGs? Dude, you, like, I never grind. You, you guys see all the gameplay I do. I don't have time to grind. I stream so much, I don't have time to grind. Rambo doesn't have time to bleed. I don't have fucking time to grind. I got shit to do. Oh, let's see here. Rick Stevens, you're up curious. I think you should show your old WWE game. All right, you're out of here. <laughs> here we go. I've already explained a million times why I'm not doing that, and you literally just derailed the stream. We just said we're not talking about it anymore, so I'm sorry you're out of here. Please have them on the move. Uh oh, right? Nihilistic Goldfish did a 301 bit cheer and said, Get him out of here. So Nihilistic Goldfish is actually the top cheer of the night. Sorry, look. Major Riot cheer, and he says, How can YouTube viewers leave feedback on a Yakuza 7 when you disable comments? I literally just said they can either email me or they can tweet me. That's how. Or, if they can make a live stream, they can come by and say, Hey, Phil, so I saw your video, and here's what I think. Right? You start rude, I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. The thing is, with the people who have termed themselves my detractors or haters or whatever you want to call them, they somehow have the uncanny ability to latch on to a single person and then obsess about them. There doesn't even have to be, like, a legitimate reason. There doesn't have to be, like a logical justification for their actions they just do it they've done it with me they've done it with many other people if you take a look at the people who were harassed on the internet a lot of these people go and harass all of them um you know sadly derek i hate to say it he's a regular he's a very positive influence on the stream he usually has pertinent questions he talks about things that are interesting to the to topics we're talking about and for some reason these people don't like that my God, someone who's a regular to fill streams, who's, a, who's a, uh, you know, a good positive influence, what? and basically doesn't talk shit about Phil or anything, but enjoys the streams for what they are. God forbid there to be a legit fan to Phil's content, so let's harass that guy. The other thing about Derek is, let's be honest here, Derek does not sit here and contribute tons of, of funds or money to the streams. It's not even like, oh, this is a whale who we want to we want to jump on. He's just a regular viewer. There's nothing wrong with him at all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can even hold anything like that against him if you didn't like me. They're just assholes. They would try to find people who are like, you know, innocent and just want to be positive on the street. Let's just harass that person for no fucking reason. Uh, not another snow crawl cheer. He said, thanks for your, thanks for that man. It seems like it's all about Derek these days. Derek's not even here and hasn't been here in a while, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I think you guys are just jealous of Derek. You're incredibly jealous of Derek. Just admit it. Say it. Do these demonic twins pose a threat? That's what they are, right? and you know, you, you can just sit here, you can guess, and you can try to, like, make hypotheses about it, you know, and there's people out there who have made hypotheses about it. Some of the stuff I'm not even going to say, because God forbid that you actually say something like what do some of the people actually think about those people, uh, I'd probably get banned from Twitch. Let's put it that way. It's not flattering stuff. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh-oh. It's Derek. Look out, it's Derek. Derek is here. Personally, I don't know. I don't know why they do it. I, I don't care. I don't I don't want to put myself into the mindset of assholes. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't want to put myself into the mindset of someone who obsesses over someone else. Because I don't want to think that way. I would never obsess over someone or do something fucked up to someone like that. In my life, never. You know? I, so, I can't. I can't even put myself in that situation to try to, you know, guess what the fuck they're doing. I, I don't care. I just want them to stop, but sadly, again, these people become so obsessive, they can't stop. They can't even stop themselves to control themselves from doing fucked up things. Wow. Oh, oh, now, hold on a second. No, no, no. We gotta pause everything. An anonymous gifter went out of their way to do something very nice and gifted a subscription to Evilibrium. Evilibrium's first response in the stream chat is, wow, not tier 3. What the fuck? What an asshole. Holy shit. Anyway, let's continue. Take this. 
A gift for you. I would direct the movie. Oh, that's outstanding. I would direct the movie. That sounds great. <laughs> Despite the fact I have no idea about any kind of direction skills at all. Of course, I would direct the movie. Oh my god, excuse me. So, see, contrary to popular belief, I didn't direct Project 7, really. We, we group wrote the plot. Like, we group wrote the scenarios. And really, it was... Respect the pack. Those guys kind of directed me. They were the ones who were filming, and they were the ones who were like, okay, we know what we want to get from the plot, but here's how to do it, and here's how we'll get the shot, and stuff like that. I didn't really direct it at all. They did. <clears throat> I remember reading his children's book. Dude, when I was growing up, Fat Albert was a huge cartoon, and I used to watch that as a kid. Then I would fucking watch the, the Cosby Show on TV. Jello Pudding. He was the Jello Pudding advertisement guy. Jello Pudding, Jello Pudding pops and shit. Like he was the guy. You didn't even know the camera was on. You know every inch of you know every inch of my dick and balls. Are you the guy? You know every inch of my dick and balls. It's the guy <laughs> watching his Twitch. Is that really him? Is he the yes. one that caught it, Matt? Yes. Really? Oh, everyone called me the Hitler of gaming. Of course they did. Very accurate, right? I'm definitely the worst out of all the content creators out there. I'm definitely the worst content gaming content creator. There's zero value to anything I do, right? Hitler. Yeah. Great, a great, uh, a great uh, comparison there. It's to put a red armband on my character. Isaac Heimler! That's my name! <laughs> did I see Lay Miz? Yes, I did see Lay Miz. I thought it was a. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing about Lay Miz it's a great musical, it's a great movie the music in it is amazing the singing the acting the plot is the most depressing fucking thing ever and i hated it when the movie ended i was like i want i wish i never saw this fucking movie because i respected all the actors i respected all the work put into it it's the most depressing fucking story ever i was like why did i want to watch this it's kind of like honestly it's kind of like the last of us 2 where i don't want to spend my time on something that's supposed to be entertaining and then feel shitty when it's over Right? Like, I literally 100% felt like shit playing The Last of Us 2 even when it ended. And I felt like shit when Les Miz ended. I was like, damn, I'm depressed as fuck. Why did I watch that? <laughs> it's the same thing. Misery on top of misery. And I don't know if there's much of a point besides revenge is bad. Okay. You could have... I, I mean, first of all, I kind of knew that. And you could have, like, proven that without making me play 30 hours of misery. And then forced me to do things I don't want to do with my controller. If... The oh, an in Star Wars series, The Last of Us 2 is not the Schindler's List of games, it's the Les Mis of games. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Actually, holy fuck. Yes. I agree. The Last of Us 2 is the Les Mis of games. You know what? Oh my god. No. No, hold on. That's fucking perfect. That describes it to a T. 100% right. The Last of Us 2 is the lay Miz of video games. Because there's people out there who like the plot and, and respect its artistic quality as an amazing musical film or whatever. But there's people just as die opposed to that who don't like it because they think that the plot is too dark and depressing. That's exactly how I feel about The Last of Us 2. That's 100% correct. Yes. The Last of Us 2 is the Les Mis of video games to me. To me. That is the best, most accurate way you can describe that game. Yes. Yes. Alright. Alright guys, we're winding down here. Only about maybe 5 to 10 more minutes left on the stream, so... Get your final goodbyes to Yakuza, because this is going to be it for it, I feel. Unless, again, unless we have a change of heart over the next... Maybe over the next week, the Phantom Thieves will go behind the scenes and go into our palaces and change our hearts and make us really want to play this again, but I don't know if I'm really foreseeing that happening. I'm just saying. Play those video games, bitch. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, here's the deal. The game claims 90 hours. That's not even true. I've definitely played Yakuza 7 for over 100 hours. Um... It's just that I think it doesn't count cutscenes and the like. But it's been a great run, all right? I really enjoyed playing the game as a new release over, you know, the end of 2020. I enjoyed 
doing you know the, the full story, all the optional content, all through early 2021. I enjoyed doing this post-game grind for the last month, month and a half with you guys. At this point, though, let's be honest. I just don't see me beating that optional super dungeon unless we do this like weekly for the next two, three months. I mean that. Like, imagine doing this for two, three more months and maxing out the jobs. Because as you can see now, we did actually max out one, two, three, four, five of the jobs. So we could go right now. We could go swap again. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I really enjoy this. But at the same time, I could totally understand why some people are tired of it. You know what I mean? Like... I, I just feel like we could, I feel like we could do something else just like this and still chill and have a good time together and it doesn't have to be me grinding for a fruitless end. You know what I mean? I have the feeling this is going to be like so, so much time and effort put into it and I may not ever see that light at the end of the tunnel. Like we may never beat that final dungeon. So... The way I kind of see it, again, I'm going to say this is pr the end of the playthrough. And unless someone somehow can convince me otherwise and say, No, Phil, you just got to do this, this, this to beat it. I, I want to say this is basically the end of the playthrough, you know. Like, I don't foresee myself coming back and doing this week after 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 week. Um, well, thank you, Ultra Goku, for another cheer. All right. So my feeling is, at this point, it's dead. And if ever we need to come back, I will keep my cloud save up in the cloud. Up there somewhere, wherever the cloud may be. It's a real cloud, right? That stores all the game saves. There's a cloud up in the sky holding all my game saves right now. So wherever the save will be up there, if ever we decide to resume the playthrough, I could do it. But at this point, I don't think... I think we should do other stuff. Like, for example, I would like to play more Call of Duty. I would like to maybe implement another late night playthrough, something different. Rather than focus on this anymore. I think we at this point, it's time to kind of retire it and figure out what the question is. What do you guys want to see as a late night chill stream? Think about it. We're not going to talk about it tonight because i got to get out of here. But think about it. What would you like to see take over? But for those who followed along this entire playthrough from start to finish, thank you. Yakuza 7, my game of the year 2020. Outstanding game. I love it. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Until they make another game, whether it's Judgment 2 or the next shot, whatever it may be, I cannot wait. Okay? Thank you guys very much for all of your support during the playthrough. See you later. Surprise, cafe! Devour! <laughs> See you later, Derek.